Good you guys should good you guys remember what are, you got, the, you... what are the Sony properties? What are, like I always forget. Uh Jumanji. Oh, that that's a fucking money maker uh, as well for him, so. Yeah. Do they still own Fantastic Four? Or is that going no, back to Marvel? That was, that was Fox. So Marvel's Oh, that's now. Fox. And then So I think it is movie. just Spider Man. Well, they're so gonna stuff, make yeah. a lot of money from Spider Man, so it's gonna be great. Uh, uh is Die also, Hard Columbia? We are live, by the way. Uh we are live. Oh and shit! We're live. <laughs> and now we can't we can't talk about that anymore. That's Whatever it was we were talking oh, about. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> right before this. My God. No Them's more. the rules. <laughs> they don't like us like it when we talk about that ethnic group, <laughs> so we can't discuss it any further. <laughs> Fucking white people. Very though. important. The worst. We keep that to ourselves. Not we're that not even you can make fun of them. That's fine. <laughs> Fuck them. We just can't talk about the you know, you know. doggo people. Anyway, carry on. What, what about Polish about? people? Because it's kind of relevant. Well, the thing is, now you got me thinking, like, what are Sony's franchises? So I just pulled up a list of their films. Um, they don't have a lot. They have Angry Birds movie. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yes. Angry Birds movie. They got, uh, they got... That made a lot of money, though. The, the, the second one made a lot of money. Does it count as making money no. if it's embarrassing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, oh, sure Ask Ryan Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> they have Men in Black, but they've run that into the ground. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think they're gonna be making another one of that, at least for another year, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, it'll be like Terminator, right? That ain't going away ever. <laughs> Doesn't mm. matter how much bombs. <laughs> well, I, I can't <laughs> believe that they've already set to make another Predator. It's like, whoa, I thought we wait... Like, the time between sequels is getting shorter and shorter as time goes on. It's kind of nuts. Um, as so our ability to produce this. garbage quicker increases or decreases our ability to pump out sequels Man. Oh, fast speeds and, um, increase. Sicario is now a Sony franchise I guess Ew. because they decided to make it up yeah <laughs> franchise Ew. well they made Mario two franchise. remember they made two that's a franchise oh, oh and um they they released Spectre I didn't oh distributed only alright that doesn't count <laughs> that Ooh, doesn't that count doesn't as count. what you could release it during oh. Halloween, call it Spookter. Spookter. I like the, it. the villain is like a guy with a jack o' lantern for a head. I'll get you, James Bond. <laughs> I'm the one who did everything to you, alright? I was the big bad all along. Don't anyone, think about it. Anyone here see Spectre? No. <laughs> no. No, what's that? It's Which the one James is that? Bond movie that no one saw, apparently. It's like the newest it's one. It's like a billion dollars. What? <laughs> no <laughs> one saw it except it. everyone. Like, mm. <laughs> the one from 2015? That's Which right. is the one with M dies? Uh, that's, that's the Sky one before Paul. that, right? Sky yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's spo right. Spoilers! <laughs> uh, <laughs> spoilers for this eight-year-old movie, yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm sure there's some people out there who get pissed off whenever I say Rosebud's the sled, so you never know when there are uh, people like, out there. Wow, Guys, did like you a... know that Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father? No, what? Luke Skywalker From was Darth Vader's father. View... <laughs> Idiot. Didn't even watch the movie properly. <laughs> I mean, that would definitely... You, you do it in an alt-universe sort of thing, right? Star Wars is... Star Wars is on its way to greatness, and I think that that's just going to be another... Th you know, the Marvel Universe is doing the What If series. What if, um... What if Star Wars does What Ifs? What if Luke was Vader's dad? What if um, Luke was in character in the sequel trilogy? What if Leia was Kylo's sister? <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if it was well written? <laughs> what yeah. if it was the sequel trilogy was good? What if the prequels were well written? Uh, what do you mean, Free? They are. They're like ten out of tens. Well, at least the third one. Oh, yeah, right. Black oh, I forgot. That's right. Yeah, you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say. What should be obvious, yet apparently isn't, that the prequels are are garbage films. You guys need to rewatch them. <laughs> like that's you, you, I, I like how you say that as if they don't. Like they definitely do. They just don't. You know, they still oh. don't like them. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Look, man. I get it. There were some cool shots. All right. There were. Um, it was. They're funny fun. Memes. They're memey. They did a lot to expand Star Wars. But yeah, uh, I like the prequel era, but. Those yeah. movies, man. <laughs> Those movies are bad. They're just, yeah, just, it's okay. It's, 
one of these days, okay. guys, you'll come to terms with the fact that there are only two good Star Wars movies. Yeah, speaking of terrible Star Wars content. <laughs> um... <laughs> Wait, okay. So before we do that, welcome to EFAP episode 115 with special guest, Mr. White Light. How do you do, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm great, guys. What's up? How are you doing? We're doing, He's still we're in doing. shock from our, our spicy hot takes. Yeah, no, it, like, I can tell it, in his trembling voice. Five minutes and he's already like, Jesus Christ, so many topics, so many <laughs> oh things. Oh my god, being said I about. didn't know it'd be one of those podcasts. <laughs> Racist. No, 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 it's just, it's just the, the yeah. amount of, you know, abuse and hatred that you guys have espoused has <laughs> broken me. <laughs> the ratio of time to why. hatred is not bad here, huh? I, th I think that's pretty impressive myself. Don't worry. Eventually, Does, you'll get to like it. But just fucking nerds. Like, it, it'll, it'll, here? it'll give you strength. <laughs> well, it's it good will that, sustain you, know, you. We're here to talk about something that's well-beloved today, so it's, it's nice as a sort yeah. of juxtaposition. But, before we could get to that wonderful video game, I was going to say, what is, uh, what's, what's our, the, all I know about your channel, because I haven't watched any videos, I'm afraid, I'm a bad man. I, I think I may have seen... Some at some point, but what I've been people always send me clips of you t like like d poking at me or something like ah oh, uh, would be this log I'm not like baller and I'm always like oh oh my heart it's dying what's what's with that huh why haven't we had a war why, do you hate the long yeah I see I'm just projecting my own insecurities about my death stranding video onto you I mean I was gonna say so it was pretty neat to see no it, it's it's long just people. it's just Funny, Your death you know? video, and people keep taking it out of context. You know, well, I, mean... they, 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 I, I make one joke about how terrible a person you are, and everyone takes it the wrong <laughs> way, as if I actually meant you were a terrible person. Yeah, I got it straight away. You were trying to say that I'm amazing, and that longness is something that I invented, and that you're copying me. That's what that's what you were saying, right? Like, it's just obvious. And these people, I don't know, man. I bet they like the Last Jedi. Ew. Ugh. Oh my goodness, no. That's the longest Star Wars movie, that means it's bad. Exactly. So, um... I mean, my Death Stranding video was just a parody. Oh, like, no yeah. one could tell. Did, did you, did you get... How was Death Stranding? Uh oh It's great. Best yeah. game ever made. Well, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed playing it then. I didn't watch Well, they've got video. a Cyberpunk collaboration now. Fring, you watch his videos, oh, did he hate Death it? Death Stranding and Cyberpunk? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. No, I... Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah, you can ride right, it yeah. around as a motorcycle. That's <gasps> right, I heard about that. Um, I just, I find it funny that there's a line of dialogue in Death Stranding where um, the character says, like Mario and Princess Beach. It's like, wow, Kojima, you're a... <laughs> like, He's breaking is... barriers. Silence. <laughs> it's pretty, in fairness, pretty... strange. he invented a genre. Yeah, the strand game. That's right. <laughs> you feel stranded in a video game, and that's the Kojima touch. I, Kojima. I like how I like how you said that. He'd probably be like, "Ah, yes, it's working. It all makes sense." Yes. <laughs> See, my plan is strand. coming true. Strand means connection, but it also means stranded, and also it has something to do with whales on beaches that can't get back in the water. It's very you think clever. that he? You think also, he had that random it. thought one day when he was in like yeah. a restaurant? <laughs> And just the whole game came from that. <laughs> he wrote on a napkin, like, this is it. Yeah, he's like, I have that. He was at a Red Lobster once, chowing down on butter and biscuits. Like, and this moment of inspiration, pure yeah. artistic creativity. I have to make a whole game based around this one thought that I had. People I have it with the uh, Attack on Titan. Did he it? just got, he, he got assaulted by this, like, drunk guy and he thought wow this drunk guy is a complete fucking idiot so he thought why don't i make giant drunk guys who, who are complete fucking idiots running around the place and then i'll make a, a show about it about it i'm looking that up also right they're now. naked <laughs> i'm looking that up right now <laughs> that one's oh, just for me that's important that's just for me yeah that's uh um my personal touch so yeah we, we, uh so i guess it was nice to meet you and of course you probably haven't met any of these people either from the left to the right is cj the cynical reviews fringy uh um, oh hi there Fong, uh, i'm Moller, of hi course. there and uh and to, to my right is rags and i'm rags hi there. yes i am I'm, I'm the top dog here mm -hmm. don't oh, wanna, i can tell don't want to give any illusions Right, I would establish this right off the I bat. I don't know about that. I think he's more of a bottom, <laughs> to be honest. 
right. no i'm in all places right. you know, it's it's the see, it important. shows what he knows that he he assumes that bottom can't be dominant so simple matter it can't of just it can be yeah it's not about it's not about the geography it's about the mindset uh, ge uh rags geography is not like your listen to you your listen location to you. listen to you <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Uh, with my words. Uh. See? We're Jesus wasting Frank, valuable time when that. we could be thinking about something far more important. Far oh, more God. substantial. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I guess, to go because we'll try and get through this opening topic a little fast, okay? So that Paul Whitelight is able to <laughs> not have to deal with this. But um, Mandalorian finished up, what was it, two days ago, yesterday, yeah. something like that? We, uh, as, as the EFAP audience knows, we, um... We've been watching them, been uploading them. You guys would have seen our coverage of episode six recently. Episode six, uh, as mm. CJ probably knows, mm. legendary episode, filled <laughs> with incredible writing and action, intertwined perfectly. It just shows you're, the craft. You're talking, to, you're talking about episode six, right? Yeah, the the good one, the excellent one with. Oh yeah, that because they put they put the leg in legendary in that episode. You might even they say put the bold and the knee they put got the in there. Boulder and bold. All right. They put the bold and boulder. <laughs> <laughs> they put the dirt and boulder. Hey, White light. You like mechanics in video games. What do you think of the idea of a, a knee weapon that can launch rockets? A knee weapon. You attach that it comes to your, out your knee. knee. Yeah. Do you love it? I, I, I mean, that's basically the thing for the animation department, surely. Well, I'm just saying, like, the if you someone was like, "Hey, pistol or knee yeah. rockets," I think I know which one you're choosing. Just saying. Yeah, but do you fire them out of your knee, or does it just make your knee go real fast? I think, <laughs> I think it's a you know player's choice sort of thing. But I would probably just go with the firing rockets. Oh, so and the don't... ending changes based on which one you pick. Yes. yes. On which knee? Yeah. Oh, on which yeah, knee? You, yeah. You use, yeah, you, use a, you use your knee. At the, your knee rockets at the end just to cap things off. You see, this game, it, it asks you to confront difficult choices, <laughs> like, um, do you put the rockets on your knee or your ass? You know, these <laughs> difficult questions. I, you but know, you... like, Boba Fett does the cool stance of the putting his knee on the on the stone and fire the- Imagine he turns around, spreads his cheeks, and a rocket just flies <laughs> out of his head. <laughs> and people That's are like, sorry. oh my god, he's so cool. I call this I call this one my Starlack pit. <laughs> Italy, my ass will eat you alive. It's um, it's next gen, man. Like, oh, I'm so proud of. Them. So we got episode <laughs> eight left, and we've seen them chat, right? And there's a simple man trying to make his way the <laughs> while he's doing that. That's uh. what he was doing between uh, episode six and Mando season two. He was just getting that mod for his ass. It took ages. It took so I, uh, much money. You know, I like the idea now, Boba Fett just going to the toilet and accidentally firing those off and blowing the toilet up while he's sitting on it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a power move. That's like, yeah, don't fuck with me. I'll blow your toilet up. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. Yeah, his roommate comes in, you destroyed the toilet. <laughs> I'm not working at 100% efficiency right now, sorry. Oh, I the thought... commode wars. I thought you were saying that was Boba. Like, I fired the rocket into your toilet because I'm not working at 100% efficiency. <laughs> so what, it just, so what, it just flops out and lands at the bottom of the toilet and kind of goes... Plunk. <laughs> well, it's always not, it's not efficient. Just gotta put it back in. Uh, so yeah, 7 and 8, we've recorded. They, um... Something, something big happens at the end of 8 that has got the internet going wild. Disney Star Wars is mm. saved. Star Wars is mm. redeemed. Mm. Thank oh, goodness. The writing is oh. now through the roof good. Respect the characters <laughs> given. You know, TLJ, it was kind of lame. But Mando season 2 finale, oof. Mwah. Gorgeous. Gotta give it up for Boba Fett. Give it up for Boba Fett, everyone. Give it up for Boba Fett. Also Luke. Green lightsaber. Also Luke. Slicing through and robots. RTD2. Legendary. Um, so, too. you'll see our coverage of those things coming out in the next few weeks probably um i've been having loads of copyright trouble with episode seven i don't know if it's just because the video is longer and it applies different fucking copyright rules because i've never had this much trouble with mando before but it'll come out um hmm. and yeah so cj what do you what do you think of mando uh how's that how's that been going for you um uh, a bit disappointing if i'm honest a bit oh. underwhelming um 
I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more from supposedly the best Star Wars content from Disney. Um, and I'm, I know that you guys are as well, but like, I'm really, really sick of how incompetent and stupid the Empire is. Oh yeah, yeah. And stormtroopers, yeah. like, it's it's not like it's beyond parody at this point. It's not even a joke anymore. It's just like, okay, they show up. You know they're gonna fuck up and all die. It's not. There's no stakes. It's not a threat anymore. That scene, what episode is it where they go to that secret uh, base where they discover the midichlorian cloning and then they, they escape and then they get chased by That's... scout troopers on bikes <laughs> and then two of them crash into each other as they go down the fucking mountain. That's four. That's, That's episode thing. four. Episode four. That's unacceptable. <laughs> Dude, that was the, one of the what fun. What the were they thinking that was, putting that, was that a... in? That was a strategy. That was a strategy to lull the enemy into a false sense of security. <laughs> you know what's great about that? Our what coverage of that, I think, uh, I can't remember who it is, it could be Friggy, like, we were trying to pass something out about the episode in that moment, about what was happening <laughs> and why, and then they just crash into each other and it's just like, whatever the thought was, it's God, laughter ensues, just like, why? I, what? That, I yep. still find that funny, that is like, the one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what were they doing? Oh, I couldn't stop laughing, it was hilarious, yeah. but like, why? <laughs> It's, it's like it's, just, it's like they're trying to meet they, it's like they've embraced the meme but don't understand that it shouldn't be a meme in the first place yeah um i i think they've gone way too far at this point like even in the finale the, mm. the, the this troopers they used to just get killed because they didn't realize what was happening but they will actively because this happened in six too they will just have their gun and yeah. their enemy in front of them and they just won't pull the trigger and they don't know why they sit there like why am i not Pulling the trigger, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not happening. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. get that. I get they're meant to be faceless cannon fodder, but they could at least try. You know, it's it's just not interesting. Okay, well, you're not going to catch any disagreements here. Uh, but were you blown away by the finale? Blown. Uh, it's okay. Um, I didn't have a problem with that thing that happened. Um. I just thought it looked really weird when it showed up. If I'm honest, I just want, I wasn't convinced. I mean, you don't I've even seen, call it a heme. You call it. I've, it. I've seen deep fakes look better. Well, yeah, I think it. I honestly think it just is that. I think that's what technology they even used. But uh, I suppose we, you know, for the next five minutes, can we just do full spoilers and um, I don't know. Come come back and there will be timestamps on the video version of this. You'll know when we stop talking about it. But I mean. Uh, white light. I, I I think. Did you? Did, how much do you care about spoilers? I don't know if my heart could handle it. Really? <laughs> that sounds very. That's, serious, that's what I we think. call the. That's what we call the Disney magic. Yeah. Um. But someone's told told me to say Boba Fett is cool, which means the show is good. Oh. Well, well that person so. knows exactly what's going on. I was. I'll be honest. Seeing Boba Fett shoot his guns made me feel like six years old again, and that means it's good. I that just means they're winning, Mola. That means they're winning. Oh wait! Oh no, no, Disney, no! <laughs> they they got me. you. <laughs> they're doing stuff now. Um, so Remember yeah, uh, uh, what it you're referring to would be uh, the the fucky face that Luke has when he arrives. Um, did you like? So a lot of people uh, uh, like throwing around different tweets and stuff about how like ah. Oh, People are just trying to hate it for hate's sake. There's like nothing wrong with the scene. Um, nothing's right about the scene. All right. So, first of all, the uh, the super droids should have broken in ages ago because for some reason they yes. don't arrive on the ship for no reason. Like they're just gone for it. Um, there's so much to. Mando doesn't remember they can fly for some reason. He forgets that. Um, they yeah. forget that because it takes them ages to get back in. I think they like triple in size a little amount when they get thrown out. It's like 15 or something, and then it goes up to 30 when they get back in. It's kind of funny. Um, so Luke getting there was incredibly lucky. Um, a more meta criticism would be it's a little bit lame to have your heroes all, you know, fighting this in insurmountable odds, and then Luke just arrives and cuts them all down. It's like, oh, well, that worked out. Uh, yeah, but it was Luke who cut him down. So imagine if he came amazing? five minutes late. That's it. Yeah. Game over. And That's I suppose, uh, for people saying yes, but he was in character. It's like, was he though? Would Luke arrive and be like, yo, that's my baby. Bye-bye. Or would he be like, oh my goodness. Did he even say I'm Luke? 
I forget. I don't think so. I don't think he introduced himself. I no. think I even, yeah, he I'd... showed up and they were like, oh, he's a Jedi. Um, I guess like this is was. yours. So he, he wasn't curious how the Empire are here and functioning and what they're up to. He didn't want to know anything about why they were collecting Baby Yoda blood. He didn't want to know who these people were and what their connection to Baby Yoda is. He, if he had asked who everyone is, he might have found out that one of the most infamous assassins in the entire Star Wars universe was in that room, just watched, looking at him. Um, I'm pretty sure Bo-Katan... D different people have talked about this, like, she would care that that's Luke Skywalker. I think a lot of people would. He's the guy who killed the Emperor, just FYI. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knew this. <laughs> um, and yeah, and he doesn't, like, go like, oh, do you guys need help? Like, why would the Empire trying to kill you? What's, what's going on? He doesn't care about any of these. He's just like, yeah, baby, it was mine. Bye. So, um... Yeah. yeah, I don't think he was acting in character at all. He doesn't fucking ask anything. He doesn't say anything. He's, he's, he just says, hey, the Force. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I got my baby. <laughs> Bye. Um, and yeah, R2-D2 bleeping at the baby who then goes, oh, goo goo gaga. It's adorable. I cried. I cried when R2-D2 bleeps. Fan service. <sighs> And yeah, how I guess... did Luke know they were on the ship? He... Like, how did Luke know that? Grogu... I can That's I... a good question. I, I can explain this to you super easy. If you paid attention, you would have understood it easily. Um, so, uh, they went to the Jedi place with the rock, and then J Baby Yoda contacted Luke, and then they went to a different place, and Luke homed in on that signal because that's how that works. No questions. Good. I'm glad you have no questions. Now, is that is, is that the actual is that the actual explanation? That's probably, that... that's probably the explanation. You with your explanation yeah. desires. The you wanting to know was... things. I'm sorry, guys. The scene. I just like, want to know like... things. <laughs> yeah, that was your first mistake. Wanting to know things. <laughs> ignorance. And so yeah, every element of how it all happens and why he's there is just bullshit, and everyone's like, it's the greatest moment in the history of Star Wars. Seeing Luke chop down robots, it's like, okay. I think all, all right. that's happened is, wow, it is that easy. Just yes. Just jingle the keys, uh, and then congrats. Because a lot of people are saying, like, excuse me, um, you know, this is better than TLJ. The response to that is, yeah, so pretty much anything with Luke that isn't him getting peed on would be better than TLJ. So uh, that bar's useless. Let's get this bar out of the room. Let's let's bring a new bar in that we can talk about. Like, hey, maybe something meaningful happens or substantive. Um, because I've I've heard about the fact that he says training uh, a talent without training is nothing, and this is a line that's supposed to shit on Ray. Therefore, uh, John Favreau hates the sequel trilogy. Therefore, we love Mandalorian. Ah, yeah, it, it's all Mandalorian. coming together. This is. This is Disney playing the long game. Yeah, um, so uh, I guess because we don't want to spend too long on that, we, we've got a main topic today. We might, maybe we'll return to it at some point, but we'll probably have a whole EFAP about it. Not like going through it chronologically because the minis will do that, but we'll we'll have some people on. We'll just do a sort of roundtable chat about how great Mando Season 2 is. It'll be fun. Um, I don't know, is there anything else anyone wants to say before we, we get to uh, a different topic for the um, day? Yeah, yeah I... Go oh, for you it. have something rags, or...? Okay. No, you um, don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fascinated by the response to that episode, because it, it, all it has established is that it's really easy for Disney to just sort of win you over by just showing you the old stuff. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not talking to everybody specifically, mm, just yeah, yeah. people who are going around like, oh yeah, it's amazing. It's like, why? It's because you saw something that you liked as a kid, and um, it's it's still really cynical. Um, I don't I don't get it. Like, I, I, I'm surprised cynical. that it still works because, like, when I was watching that episode, I just, I I feel like after that episode ended, I felt really hollow. I was just like. Yeah, <laughs> deflated. Well, yeah, the, yeah, they uh, will see our coverage of it eventually. We're all kind of down in the dumps because we know what just happened. Uh, mm -hmm. We know what it means. Uh, we have. I put out a tweet, and I think some people may have seen it, where I compare two tweets together. And the funny thing about these tweets is that I saw Jay's first. Jay puts one out where he's got a picture of four different keys being jangled by a hand, and he says, uh, "Mandalorian." scenes but without spoilers like that's that's the joke 
And, um, I don't know. I don't know how well it was taken, but it's not really the important part because then when I refreshed and I saw someone retweet something, where someone says, "I would like to acknowledge that Mandalorian gave us Dark Troopers, Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, and Ahsoka Tano all in the same season," and it's framed just one to one with the keys jangling. That's what those are. They are brought in yeah. to make you say that. They showed us the things we recognize. That is the whole yeah, reason it's... they're there, is to make you make those fucking tweets where you're like, can we celebrate like... the Mandalorian for just having things? Yeah, can we celebrate that Disney owns this franchise and has the money to get all of these actors and all of these it's... characters and all this CGI? Like, as if all of you in chat, and this is not a criticism because we would do it too, wouldn't use these things if you had this IP and you wanted to tell stories. As if we wouldn't throw Boba Fett in when we got different references to Mandalorians. As if we wouldn't have... If your story is set when Luke is still alive and Jedi shit is happening, yeah, he's probably gonna come up. But of course, that's not something I think that's worth rewarding them for. Like, well done. You had character. Yeah. Oh, and, and also, by the way, like, I'm getting real annoyed that people like, oh, see, now Kathleen Kennedy, she had nothing to do with this. Like, all that bad stuff in the sequels, that's her. But Mando, that's that's not her, that's Jon Favreau and uh, Dave Filoni. Um, Kathleen Kennedy is the executive producer of, like, all Star Wars stuff. <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> Everything yeah, that you well. that you say she but, ruins, but, you got to give her credit for too. If you if you're gonna be like this, <laughs> but also people forget that John Favreau was the one who directed the Lion King remake, so he gets absolutely yeah. no credit for me. And also, and like, John Favreau, this show is bad. Like, yeah, the show is so, terrible. Guys. Also, the Just, show is like, bad. <laughs> also, do you, the show do, do, is do, fucking do, balls terrible. Yeah. Do you feel like it's because people are, you know? Because the sequels have been so bad, they're kind of starving for any semi-decent content, so they but see it's this not and like <gasps> uh, it's I've seen it referred to as Stockholm syndrome. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, well, it's it's weird. It's it's like secondhand Stockholm syndrome, where it's something that you love is being held hostage, and you have to attach yourself to that. Yeah, um, or well, maybe an, uh, I think Southport described it as an abusive relationship. You know, they didn't. <laughs> He didn't punch mm. me today. <laughs> he must love me. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh no. Yeah, Disney didn't punch Luke Skywalker today, so they made really good content. Yeah, yeah, I can and see that. I realize that this is kind of just personal preference, this one, but I, when Mando started, I wanted it to be a show that was totally divorced from, like, the Force. The main, st yeah, the Force, Same. Star Wars, like, Luke, any of that. I wanted it to be, like, its own thing. And now it's inextricably, like, it, it's Dude, just it's, totally tied into it. It's downright um, greatest hits. Like, that's what this yeah. is. It's just like, hey, you want to see the cool shit that you like from over the years? So here it is. Season 2 is full of fan like, service. As we've mm. established, Mandalorian doesn't really, like, what is his character? I don't know. He's not really important. He doesn't, what does he think about doesn't really have one. He's a vehicle was... for um, other stuff. Well, I think I said it in uh, episode six. It's like, hey, what does Mando think about anything? Yeah, it's like, that's a <laughs> question you can ask because he's so devoid of character. I think out of context, people would be like, "Ah, oh, you're being ridiculous." Like, no, seriously, answer the question. Uh, yeah, no, really. Like, uh, what's he, like? Give me some of his opinions it. and his principles. <laughs> just really, his personality. Just like anything, please. He wears a hat. Give me something. He wears a a, a mask he never takes off, except for several times. Um, it's the best part of the show. He he's, says he's, this is he, way. he's got to get him one of those. <laughs> uh, so Ooh. yeah, I guess our 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 coverage of the last episode has our more immediate thoughts, I suppose, and that'll be out, and that'll be great, and everyone can watch that and enjoy that. And it'll be a splendid time. Will be guaranteed for all parties involved gonna be great can't wait for the 11 tv be... shows that we're gonna have to try and keep up with impossibly because we'll be prioritizing batwoman over them <laughs> like it's, sorry guys <laughs> batwoman is better batwoman's coming back and i'm i'm batwoman real excited fucking yeah batwoman's... it's way more entertaining it is way more entertaining and funnily enough batwoman makes more of an attempt at certain things than mando does we talk about <laughs> yeah, this, yeah when bat yeah like, Star Wars fails and tries nothing, 
That woman fails because it's trying to do things. It's trying to have characters that believe things, and it's trying to have themes, and, and it fails, but it tries. <laughs> That's at least kind of admirable. Well, not really at this point, but... I know. mean, I can appreciate an attempt. Yes. Well, I guess that thing is, like, as opposed to Mando, where it's, it makes no attempt to do any of these things. Um, and like I said, we're gonna, I think we'll try and get Drinker and, um, you know, possibly a couple of others who actually have, you know, gone through the show. And we'll do a whole EFAP just fucking ranting. Probably, we'll probably go through the episodes and just talk about, like, the, the major plot lines or whatever, but it's gonna be a whole thing. But, that is not why we're here today. Did you guys hear? A video game came out. It was called, it was called Cyberpunk 2077. I have heard of this game. It's I been, have. I'm aware of this game. I still remember seeing that weird trailer with the girl who's got blood on her and weird stabby things are coming out of her arms. And I was like, what? And it was like cyber. That was so, that was only a legend. Well, it came out. Um, what was that? Like a, yeah. a, two weeks ago now? I can't remember. Time flies. Uh, Something like yeah, that. About two weeks. Uh, just over, like a week and a half. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, I have no idea how we're going to structure this because there's so many different things to talk about. Be it, it could be the game itself, or it could be how it was released on then different platforms, or how long it took to make, or how it was made, or what CG Project Red have been doing outside of the game that aren't things that are preferable. I think we should just go through them all as we bounce around topics. So, you know, who wants to yeah. say what they want to say? Actually, let's let's reset here. We'll go from the left to right. How long you've played it for? And just a vague sort of number out of ten that you feel is how good the game is, just just completely off the top of your head, and then we'll justify all of our numbers as we go across this conversation. So CJ, how long you played it, and what do you think so far? Uh, so I played it for just under twenty four hours. Uh, not straight, of course. Um, if I had to give it a number right now, I'd give it maybe a five, maybe a six. Uh, I have been playing it on PC, so my experience might have been better than, uh, quite a few other people's. But yeah, I'd say like five or six. No. Well, yeah, I, I mean, who else left? Who else is up there? What else is left? Really? Uh, Fringy? Um, so I've only played it about seven or eight. Hold on. Uh, I've played it eight hours, eight and a half hours, and, um, I'm not super thrilled <laughs> by it. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I... Like, I haven't played enough to have a number yet, but, like, it's kind of middling in a lot of ways, I think. Um, mm -hmm. As in, there are a lot of things that... It, it, well, not middling, because there are things that I really like, but then there's also things that I greatly dislike. So, yeah. Um, kind of like in the middle. Yeah, I've played it for about uh, the exact same, I think. And uh, I'm not pleased... Uh, lots and lots of things annoy me about this game, but at the same time, there are things I think are pretty neat as well. So, I'm sitting probably on, a, on an even 5, and I'm hoping that once yeah. it gets a significant update of some kind, that it'll bump right up, and, uh, you know, the number will change. Rags? I have played it for 13 hours, according to Steam. Um, if I had to give it a number out of 10 so far, all of this is, of course, tentative. Uh, but after 13 hours, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10, 5, five to 6, let's say 5.5 out of 10. Um, not gonna lie, incredibly disappointed after The Witcher 3 and two stellar DLCs for that. Um, after the insanely long mm. development time, um, I had very high expectations for CD Projekt Red. Um, this does not live up to them in almost every regard. It is a uh, I'd say it it gets a bonus from mixing a lot of things together, but it's kind of just sort of a... It doesn't really do anything well. Um, I, think it that, does some, I think that's probably yeah, I agree. the right solution. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't do really do anything there. well. It mixes together fine into a... It, it's, it's, it, it all kind of meshes together in a decent enough way to where you you feel like you're getting a lot of different things. But each of those individual components are not very well realized. 
and your brain can't help but think that these are just inferior versions of things other games do well yeah i think um like it like if i would have i think it has uh an inferior sort of like open world to like rockstar games yes it has um, wait, wait, just, it hasn't but let's get no. to yeah, yeah sorry oh, oh, <laughs> white light here um white light he's, go he's nice he's running up uh i played the game for a certain number of hours and i give it us. you gotta tell us it's the rules <laughs> can't break uh, the, the rules, rules. okay okay, the rules. okay i'm sorry rags oh you i know you're top dog around here so i'll we're, tell you and only you okay we are you can't tell anyone worried. else i won't tell 35.4 hours that's fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Uh, I wanted to kill myself throughout the entire oh, time. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Oh, my goodness gracious. This I... game had me on my knees oh, my begging God. Oh, God. for Todd Howard's <laughs> massive game of amount of mercy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My fucking... You, you guys cannot fathom <laughs> how um... bad my copy of the game was. Wow, Just to clarify, really? we're all on PC, right? Like, we all played it on PC? Yeah, yeah, high-end yeah. PC for me. And oh, yeah, it was definitely here, here too. Yeah. Something unfathomable. Um, it genuinely made me want to message Mauler. I, I told him <laughs> this earlier. I genuinely wanted to say to him, I, I can't do it. I can't finish the game for the show. I just want I'm not doing it. <laughs> Which would have been okay, by the way. It's so like, that would have been okay. Problem. I wouldn't blame you. Uh, wait, so if it was a number, is that, are we looking like two, three, or...? Okay, so when I it was working, totally when it was working, I'd give it a oh uh, seven point five. When it wasn't working, which was mm. almost all the time, I'd give it a negative twenty seventy seven. Oh no! Oh my goodness, that's really low. That's on a, going pretty far down. Scale. Yeah, that's significantly lower <laughs> than I would have expected. Um, wow! Bo yeah, bonus meme. Uh, that was my exact words. Bonus meme, Theo here has, has played the game a whole bunch and has a perspective too, and I figure, why not? This is going to be a like a roundtable EFAP. We don't have any videos that we're planning on responding to. We're just going to have a big old chat about this. So I figure, Theo, what's your thing that we just did, but for you? <laughs> My incredibly spicy take on the game is I've played it for 53 hours, and I think it is okay. <laughs> It is middling. It is. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's phenomenal, and then <laughs> yeah, we can I talk you about how wrong you are. Damn. I'm afraid not. It's a six uh, out of ten or so. I lean right. a bit higher because I, I like cyberpunk settings and stuff a lot. I, mm. They're a personal when, favorite of mine, taste wise. So, I think when I it comes to like, justify. when it comes to ranking games numerically, especially games like this. I think it gets a little bonus kind of at the end for how all the different parts blend together. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. I'd probably, I'd probably yeah. say that my my best, because um, this is a game thing. I don't think I'd do this for um, movies. And in fact, I wouldn't. But for games, I would. is a different experience. Um, those of you familiar with a game called Seven Days to Die is kind of one of my favorite games. I've played it for many hundreds of hours. It does nothing well. Um, it, n none of its individual components are done well, but they all mix together quite well uh, into a really nifty experience, which boosts it significantly. Um, uh, but I will yeah. say to, to sort of piggyback on that in relation to movies, there are some stories that I'm waiting for an ending to tie everything because I feel like I'm not sure if if everything was worthwhile yet, and if like um. So there's certain movies where like a final scene can make all of the little bits that I thought had no purpose all come together. Um, so you know, I think it's vaguely applicable to some some stories, but I, I get what you mean. Like um, sometimes it's not about yeah, how good the thing is, but how you use the things. Well, it's um, it's um, it's like a little, it's like a synergy bonus, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, like all the individual parts, you know. It, Something could be more than the sum of its parts. Yeah, yeah. Of and course. I think video games are that. Um, mm -hmm. Cyberpunk gets a little bit of a benefit from it because, you know, it just it it's all like no no single part feels super out of place, which is both good and bad, in that it's all just sort of middling to mediocre, and nothing stand out stands out as stellar. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it means mm -hmm. that nothing's like horrible. It's uh, all just sort of 
Meh. Well, like my perspective and probably possibly Fringies and whoever else might 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 change once we are able to spend more time with it. But like yeah. even in the less than ten hours that I've had with it, there's so much to say about things not working. Mm. Um, um, and also, well, there's something to be said about whether or not those things can even be fixed, or if they're like fundamental to the actual game itself. Like, if they're not bugs, like the wanted system is is dog oh shit. Oh god, don't even get me started. People have been system. pointing out that the bugs are the the best thing CDPR could have ever uh, had go into the news cycle because it covers up yeah the things that can't be fixed. That's right. Well, you see a lot of people online saying that, oh, beneath all the bugs and the glitches, there is a, an a exemplary game here. Mm. And the more <laughs> I play it, the more I disagree with that. I, yeah, I don't think there is an exemplary game here. I, I think, think there's a good there game. is an... Yeah, I, I think, think yeah, I it's think the decent, game can... But... Yeah, I, one day the game can be good. <laughs> I don't think the game will ever be great. But it's like, as you were saying, Rex, no particular part of it is like like the driving is okay, the shooting is okay, the stealth is okay, but mostly pointless. Uh, the crafting system is my, my okay, but also pointless. Character weeps. Exactly <laughs> right. I tried to play it as like a Deus Ex sort of. Yeah, you know, I went with oh, stealth. Yeah, yeah, first couple of missions, no, Deus Ex. Fail. It's so much more satisfying to just pull out a rifle, just shoot everybody. Well, so, let me tell you yeah. a funny story, uh, by the way, from when I was trying to go for stealth. I uh, I had this mission, this guy called me and he said, hey, we need to go into like this gang compound and steal a truck. Uh, I climbed over the fence, got onto the roof so that I could scope it out. Um, there were a bunch of enemies I had to take down. So I, I went around, I, uh, I hacked something to distract one guy so I could chokehold another guy. I chokeholded him, he immediately pushed me off and shot me dead with one shot because that was well above my level okay. and I didn't realize. Yeah, okay, yeah. So <laughs> let's, that, uh... Um, what game yeah, did let's, that? Let's pick... What game did that? Oh, many games no, do Wolf, it. Wolf, uh, Wolf, Wolf, Creed Odyssey. Uh, Wolf, yeah, Wolfenstein Odyssey, uh, Youngbloods did that? Where like, I would... if you go into a particular area, it no, it's fine. too OP. But it did it fine. I, I will defend Youngblood on this point. I think Youngblood did leveled zones perfectly fine, and you barely have to do any kind of grinding. Cyberpunk fails in... So this is... I, I would kind of consider for most games, maybe for MMOs it's still... For MMOs, I can see why it has a point and a purpose. But I'd say for the majority of games, the idea of having randomly going into leveled zones that you cannot do anything in is an archaic game concept that I'm fine with having it die and never come back. Like builds um, in non-multiplayer games. Builds in non-multiplayer games? Yeah, uh, I think it's a traditional uh, RPG tenet that is carried over into single-player games, and they just they're just shit because they don't contribute what they would in a multiplayer setting. Um, and you could have Deus Ex-like system. I'd have to mm. I'd have to think about that. Um, well, I think that might be its own long discussion in and of itself. Um, though yeah, I will say, is. I will say that, um, like, I feel so. Whenever you play this game, this game is just like but worse. The game, the right. stealth is like, like day. Sex, it's it's like a, kind of Deus Ex, but worse. The shooting yeah. is like Call of Duty. It's like Fallout, but worse. The RPG in leveling is like ugh, fill in the blank other games, but worse. The the item the looter shoot this game plays like a looter shooter. Looter shooter, yeah. Right? yeah. This I got game Borderlands plays like feels a looter so shooter. annoying when playing it this is game. back on their bullshit with that. Like <laughs> I don't know why they feel the need to have loot designed that way in their games, but Yeah. But the fact they... that like if you if you kill like twenty guys, you'll find like five rifles <laughs> all uh, with different damage values, so you find that you're constantly swapping them out. Have you guys noticed this? You're yeah, constantly yeah, yeah. swapping I, um... them out to get the highest damage one. Oh, I went through like and a then compound. People could say, "Oh, but you could cr you could upgrade one you already have." But like the amount Why? that you upgrade it by versus the amount of components you spend to upgrade it, it's pointless. You may as well just pick up a new one from I've any never... of the street gangs. I've never crafted in 13 hours. I felt no need to craft. I have, I have almost it, yeah. 100 healing items. I am tri I have yeah. hundreds and hundreds of bullets for all of oh. these guns. I have more guns than I know what to do with. I have all what, this what armor difficulty I'm finding. Are we all playing on? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm playing normal. normal. I'm yeah, on hard. I, generally, when I play games, hard. I just I just play normal to see this is what the devs intend most people to play the game on. It's what they probably put the most time and focus into. 
So I just walked into normal, see what is the, the cyberpunk experience that most people are getting. Um, and with the exception of a few points, most of them being um, like when, when you randomly walked into a zone where the enemies will massacre you and, and you have no chance. So just come back here later, I guess. Um, I've never had any issues with combat or anything like and, that. And that, um, that feels weird to me as well for like an open world game to be told. Yeah. Because to that's what I discovered when I got shot dead in one shot is like, oh, this whole section of the city is just off limits. Lame. Even, though you have, prefer, even they... though you have even though you have important side quests there if you yes. wander off and do an extra little uh you know gang busting mission no you're gonna get ganked you can't do it yeah game says um, no there, you the, can in the get game it done if you're playing stealth but it's like if you're not like, oh yeah stealth playing is... towards stealth then you're just locked out more or less mm. stealth is a really it, it's functional but in a way that it is 2020 and we have innumerable examples of how stealth can be done well and yeah, I, the stealth in this game is kind of lame it is skeletal um, distract you don't even have the enemies. option to like pick stuff up and like throw it to distract enemies <laughs> I, know yes, got, I, know. I know you can do it with hacking but yeah it just seems Not like a basic yeah, thing they missed out you know yeah the the amount of so I guess this relates to a story that I had this morning while I was putting time into it. There's an ability that you unlock where you can jump on people from above and do a non-lethal takedown. And mm. I couldn't find out how to do it. There was no tool. And we'll get into the fucking useless ass UI in this game in a second. But I had to Google how to use my abilities in this game because it wouldn't tell you. <laughs> I like that and... both you and I had trouble with the inventory thing. Um... Dude, yeah, I, it I had to... how the inventory works. It won't. So, like, the UI in this game is fucking horseshit, which is a pain in the ass because you're going to spend a lot of time in your inventory. So you can have three weapons equipped at any time on your quick slots and your mm -hmm. fists. Um, three, I guess, is the magic number. I don't know if that number gets bigger later on. Why is it not four? Like, most games, I don't know, but you get three weapons. And if you want to change them, first off, you cannot change the keybind of your inventory button. It is I. Whenever you want to go into your inventory, which is all the time, you have to press I. Which Fuck is, that. This, it, it's weird enough mm. that um, there's, it's not in the key bindings, like locked. Like, so what I'd imagine is it says uh, in key bindings, you, you know, access inventory I, and you try and click it, and it's like, no, this cannot be changed. That would be better than it not being there at all. Because I was just like, what is my inventory? I'm pressing all my buttons. Yeah. And I also I went on Steam, I was just like... Hey, what what is the inventory button? A uh, uh, friend of mine said, "Oh, it's, it's I." And I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." And I was like, "How did you?" Yeah, um... I had to ask Mahler. Yeah, I was like, "How did you find that out?" Out of curiosity, was there a tooltip? And he was like, "No, I just guessed." And I was like, "Why isn't there a tooltip <laughs> for how to open your inventory?" Like, well, that's so strange. I couldn't find it. I asked mm. Mahler, "Is there an inventory in this game?" <laughs> At the beginning, and he was like, "Oh, yeah, it's it's actually I. It just never tells you uh, that." So we'll just said, like, this yeah, this is such a petty gripe. Yes, Cong congratulations. Oh no, this is. This is only not, one of the UI things that no, is really it, shit in this game. It's, just comprehend. I'm gonna keep saying. Grade. I'm just gonna say comprehension, please. I beg you, people in chat, figure out what we're talking about is either a small thing, a part of a big problem, or a big problem. I believe in you. I know you can do it. All right. This. Yes. Not obviously, being in the game, this game isn't a five out of ten because we. It doesn't tell you what the inventory button is, and you have to either guess or ask someone. That's weird, and it, it'll probably be but fixed. That pretty much is the reason I hated it. There, <laughs> there are many problems with this game, including. Did you guys know that the crafting system can actually corrupt your game file? No, yeah, thank you get God, one of eight I megabytes on your save eight, file. So it's capped to eight megabytes, and by crafting stuff, you can actually increase your save file above that. And if you do, it gets corrupted. <laughs> And ruins your sight. <laughs> yeah. True, yes. fact. No. true story. It's true story. Yes. Really. Wow. Unacceptable. Dude. Yeah. This, um, I, I mean, we, I'm sure so we'll talk about that. That's not a petty gripe. Oh, yeah, that's also, not a petty gripe. <laughs> I, also, I, I now just. I, all right, go ahead. I was just gonna say we're allowed to petty gripe. Everyone is okay. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Especially when this is the death by a thousand. Why is the kind cursor a fucking um, square? Why yeah. is it a square? Yes, thank you. Why is it um, a square? Yeah. Oh, uh, now, now I want to. I kind of want to suck their sex's balls for a moment. Oh um, yeah, I'll get oh, in that. <laughs> yeah, because um. Because it it greatly and and let me tell you, man, I feel so vindicated. Avengers game failed, which means that they're probably not going to make another one. Which yeah, means that yeah. Idos Montreal might get to make a new Mass Effect. Oh uh, god, no Mass Effect SX. Um, the glory. 
What if yeah, it's that bad, makes though, really happy. What if it's bad? But also, like, Deus Ex, like, I'm, I'm gonna reference Mankind Divided because it's the most recent one, I think, the strongest gameplay-wise. Like, um, at the very beginning of the game, it becomes really clear, like, the distinct play styles that you can adopt just by, depending on which, uh, augmentations you pick. Like, it starts it starts becoming apparent really early on how differently you can play the game and it's all supported by the level design which facilitates basically every mode of play and like building into a stealth one or sort of a, a mixed one lethal non-lethal all of these options are immediately apparent from the start um and it really starts to feel like the more you lean into it the more that those gameplay paths divulge i don't really get that from this game at least not when i say build yeah. that that's exactly what i mean what Fring fringy just said because that's not restrictive so if you no, go into not. skyrim it's the same thing however once you go into a, a a build you're stuck completely stuck in deus ex however a gun is still a gun it doesn't matter what build you go the gun yeah, still doesn't matter the same amount of damage yeah, it's so this, this it game's increases about your options. Mm -hmm. This when is it, about constricting them. Yeah, you don't level up very much. I'm level 11, and I've played about 13 hours, and I don't think I'm wasting time. Well, I'm sitting down talking to a lot of people, but mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm wasting time, so you don't level up that much. So when my... Well, we're still on... Let's UI. Or we're still on the UI. So this is like... The UI is like the icing that covers a game. If your your inputs are fundamental to what you're doing, to the whole experience, um, are the keybinds things that I like? Do I do do I get frustrated every time I want to have something happen in this game? Um, they they're just the this ubiquitous layer on top of the gameplay experience, and a lot of people don't place the importance on it that maybe they should, probably because they're used to having UIs be generally good across the board. Mm -hmm. um, this game has a terrible UI in terms of item management, which you'll be doing often. Uh, swapping upgrades. Another thing Deus Ex does better. Better, better yes. UI. Deus Ex has the uh, Resident Evil 4 uh, inventory system of like, you can take up different, you know, like how different things are different sized. And then yeah. you can move them around and creatively try and maximize your, uh, your uh, inventory. Whereas in this one, it's just like a big list of stuff that you have. So it's cluttered like... Nice. Yeah, it's not cluttered, yeah. I am... I'm going to take a screenshot, and I'm going to show you this, because I have it booted up to remind me of all the issues I have with it. So this is, this is like a part of the inventory screen here. One of the things that you want to do if you're designing a game, especially one that a lot of PC players will have, is you want to you do something called, like, like maximizing all the space on your screen. Look at right? all this empty space. Yeah, well, mm. yeah, and that's... Well, it... It gets worse, remember, because that's because I have because uh, I was going to go into one thing and it went to another. This is what it looks like when you're not moused over an item. And this is your inventory for your weapons. Um, and by extension, you have tabs for melee weapons and attachments. So look at all the empty space here and look at how they've decided to arrange all the weapons. That's a really good point. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. And then There's no order to them. Yeah, you can change the order, which is good, how they're listed by, like, damage or types and stuff like that, which is fine. Um, but then you go to the first one, right? There's a lot of games who have this problem. I love Guild Wars 2, but it has this problem and it annoys the shit out of me. Whenever you mouse over something, all of the, the info panels that pop up, they cover up so much shit. And this is this is really bad when you're trying to sell stuff, because when you're tr trying to sell stuff and you click on things and want to sell them the item information pops up and it covers up all the other items that are on that list. Uh, very, very annoying. Uh, how do you deal with attachments? So you're going to be constantly swapping weapons because this is a game about having better numbers, which is always fun. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot equip something and have the option, as other games do, to, would you like to transition your attachments to the new gun? No. You will have to teach yourself to always remove your attachments from a gun before you equip the next gun. Much in the same way how in this game, which is a game about looting, it's a, this is a looter shooter, regardless of what this is a looter shooter game. Agreed. Just so we're clear. Mm. Um, you know how in most games, whenever you go to a container and you look at it and you open it up and then it tells you what you got? Yeah. Well, Deus Ex is kind of... Sorry, not Deus Ex. Cyberpunk is kind of the opposite, where... 
it tells you what's in the container before you open it up. And once you take it, it doesn't tell you what you just picked up, which is the which is the opposite of what you want to do. So when I'm walking through Night City and I'm pick, you know, I see a little container here and I open up and I see the thing over here and I open up. Don't stop me before I open the container. Let me know after I've looted the container, which is what I'm going to be doing 99% of the time, what I just picked up so that I can read that on the side of the screen as I continue to play the game. Don't stop me, right? Um, it's one of the, like, you'll, you'll have to train your brain whenever you look at a container to look at the bottom right of your screen to know what you're about to pick up so you don't forget it. Because if you don't look at that, then you won't know what it is that's new that you've picked up. You have to train yourself to play this game. And you sh I don't feel, and not in the good way, right? Like I'm learning a new experience. Um, Remember, take off my attachments before I swap weapons because then I'll have to go back and I'll have to take them off and then I'll have to re-swap and then I'll have to add them onto the new sorry. one. Uh, everybody in chat saying that it does show you. Sometimes. It, it does sometimes. sometimes. So, sometimes. It falls behind sometimes. is my problem. But it takes sometimes. a while to I get load. stuck all the time on yes. that too. It happens sometimes, but things like how much ammo did I pick up? I don't know. What was in that container? I, I don't know. Sometimes it tells you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, how it lets you manage your uh, just kind of everything uh, between there's some there's some little nice things like you could press Z to toggle between the different objectives that you might have on a mission if you have multiple objectives and then it shows up instantly on your HUD. Those are little things that I like. Uh, but in terms of just inventory management, it's a fucking pain in the ass. And you're always going to be going back to your inventory to look at your ugly ass character so that you could swap between, you know, clothing pieces. Um, another little thing here, which is very, very strange that they decided to do. So in your inventory under quick access, you have your grenade on the left and your healing item on the right. However, if you're in the game, the healing item is on your left and the grenade is on the right. It's things like that, which just mm. all these little things that are on these just piles that are on top of each other. It's just it's like this is a death by a thousand cuts kind of aspect Fucking of the game. The amount of healing oh. items they throw at you with this game is kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I've got you'll, never, you'll never run out. You'll never run yeah, out. Yeah, I... They're everywhere. I invested in... <laughs> so... Wait. A step Has forward it? and a step back with the CDPR, because, okay, they gave healing items an animation when you use them in the game, which is, I'd say, a plus, but you pick up so goddamn many of them that any sense of resource management was never there to begin with. Yeah. See, role play is an asthmatic. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I was, a, I was getting dream. surprised when did I first I, did any of you guys? It. Did any like... of you guys have this problem where, like, when you switch weapon, uh, you equipped a new weapon, it doesn't register? So like I have to sometimes I've had to equip the same weapon like three times in order to get it no, to actually I've had a, mm -hmm. I have an adjacent problem to that. One of my issues, not counting when my gun sim the gun model simply does not decide to show up, which happens in car chase sequences <laughs> oh, and other things where I'm just having to eyeball it. Um I have the issue of so to pull out your weapon, you tap left alt, which I'm fine with, totally fine with. To put away your weapon. You would think, oh, well, it's left alt again. No, 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 dummy. That would be dumb if the same button to do a thing also undoes the thing if you press it a second time. What did you do? Make a smart decision? You have to double tap left alt to put your weapons away. But that only works about half the time because yeah, pressing alt... it's so inconsistent. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. Pressing alt mm -hmm. the single time when your weapons are out means you swap to your next it's weapon. Yeah. So when you double tap alt, Maybe half the time you actually put your weapons away. Why wouldn't you just have a yeah. or, when you're trying, or when you're trying to put them away, you switch to the next weapon. Yes. Is yes, there that's any what reason happens. for it to be on double tap? Like, there is no I don't any because, reason at all. Why can they because bind it to a different key? I don't know. I don't Plenty know. Why games do that? Well, why can it just be pressed the button thing. again? Because we already have the scroll wheel in oh, 1, 2, God. and 3. Well, here's the funny thing. We like, were talking about earlier how like you look in the menu to key bindings to like figure out these things i went to the menu for key bindings to figure out how to holster my weapons there is no option there <laughs> the, the, they don't yes. even tell you what the button is <laughs> yeah for, for, but <laughs> like the inventory for you people, are not allowed to change the key bind but people who are saying stuff like wow you couldn't figure out i was inventory it's like well i would have eventually if i just pressed all of the buttons but like i even <laughs> if 
Even if a ga if you go to key bindings and the game doesn't say left click is shoot, I'm gonna criticize you. Sorry. Like yeah. Just, just also, yeah. I can't remember the last time I played a game where I used I to open the inventory. I legit do not know I'm because it's a shitty that. button. For me, it's always tab. That's the one I assume is gonna be inventory. Yeah, it's tab. I thought or it's, I. Yeah. it's tab or something else. Or it's a, it's part of the escape menu, or I rebind. If it's I in another game, I rebind it immediately, and my brain doesn't even think about it because I is a shitty button for something I'm going to be pressing all the time. Uh, also, inventory screen. That's my ugly ass character because all the characters are <coughs> fucking hideous. Um, my character. I'm not holding the gun by the grip. A little detail, but kind of a weird thing that they have in the game. Not sure why not, but oh well. Oh yeah. Can we? That's weird. Have you, have you guys seen know. the, uh, the someone... people that managed to get a third-person view <laughs> of your character? Oh yeah, that's no. amazing. T posing, no. break dancing. You got no head. <laughs> oh my god! You look like something I've out seen... of the thing. I've seen NPCs T posing, Did and then see I go to talk to them and they yeah. say, "What are you looking at?" Someone made handsome Squidward at it. I thought that was great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was very good. <laughs> um, oh, hold on, let there's... me show you. Some of the graphical, and I mean, we already know that this is a problem, but let me show you just some of the graphical glitches <laughs> that I've had in this. Oh, yeah, yeah, and for those who are salty and chat and waiting for <coughs> significant criticisms, just give it time. We're going through all things. We're just talking about different things yeah. at different times. Chill out. We're just starting with the. We're just sort of going over like UI graphical stuff. Let me talk about the C button. You, the this... objective crew can't figure out. Oh weapon fuck! Swapping. You yeah. just reminded me of shit. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, ignore that guy. He's just been. He's <laughs> so angry. Stand, Stand up. up. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. What are we looking at? Okay. Look at those cards. Oh, my card did that. Yeah, I got that Dude, one. My cards. This happens. All the time. Like, they look like, awesome like cards. collecting Pokemon cards, but they're glitches in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Dude, but all the time, them AI, like you know, NPCs walking around looking like Minecraft characters. Some of them have no face. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's, there's the I've had a lot of issues with with uh, texture loading and like yeah. pop, uh, texture yeah. pop up. So you, like, you turn around the corner and the, and the NPCs well, look like they're from Roblox. Are we doing are we Let doing graphical you... issues? Because yeah, I guess that could be the next topic. Let right? me Graphics. tell you a funny story because um, there were I I did a mission. I went to a diner have a conversation with some characters it ended i got up and left and you know how normally it's meant to be like mission accomplished doo, 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 doo. you know like it's meant to do that but it didn't do anything for about three minutes i was driving around unable nothing loaded nothing was popping up i couldn't open the menu like when i opened it it was glitching mm -hmm. it took like four minutes for me to start playing the game again because nothing worked yeah i had that so many times so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm assuming this is my, a constant. My... Go ahead. Uh, I was, I was with it because this will be quick because I, I, I guess I've been lucky. My, gr my bugs have been almost entirely graphical, with one exception: um, trees and foliage. You could see it through walls sometimes, and it doesn't appear to be shaded. Um, sometimes you just get really strange uh, textures; just won't load quite fast enough. But for the most part, it's been an unbuggy game. The one exception to that, as I mentioned, being <laughs> when you reload a game, the it's like the instance of your game that you load back into isn't like, for, for instance, um, I was in a part in a bar where I needed to go to like a back room area where customers weren't allowed to go. And I went to the door and I like opened it up. Uh, just to you know, just see, just to see if I'd get a warning or something like that. You know, as in all other games ever made, and instantly katanas and gunfire because I opened a door as a customer. Odd design choice, I, uh, Red. I, but yeah. um, all right. However, so I reloaded the game. When I reloaded the game to before I had alerted anybody, they were still on alert when I reloaded the game. Yeah, they've got a weird NPC loading system. Oftentimes, when you quick load. They will have actually changed positions, the NPCs and perspectives. I've, yeah, they, I've this was a that, quick save. Well, well this wasn't. Like... A, this was a, a a reload from a checkpoint. It wasn't a quick load. But yeah, I definitely have the issues where there's a let's call them temporal anomalies with the NPCs <laughs> when I've you load back into a game. Well, I mean, I've had it as bad as I've turned around and there are new NPCs standing behind me, and the old ones are gone. Like just that's turn happening around. to everyone. I hear. 
Yeah. Have you, have I have you, had uh, issues with NPCs. Well, I guess this is more of a narrative thing where you, you're at a location, you call someone who's supposed to be on the other side of the city that you've reached the location, and then you turn the corner, and that person that you just talked to on the phone is here at the location because they need to be for the story. Mm -hmm. uh, I, saw a, uh, I saw a bug on Reddit, and I tried it out just before uh, the stream. If you, like, fire your gun in the air and, like, get all the civilians to, like, crouch and panic, turn oh. around, and then turn back, oh, most of them will disappear. Yeah. Oh yeah, because when you're in combat, it like won't load pedestrians. Yeah, and like, then you... um, also like something that's really great is how if you go a little too close to a cop, they'll just start shooting you. That's, start uh, shooting that's... you, even that you stand yeah. there looking at them, and they're just like. And then other cops the load in. Other cops just like blip in out of nowhere. They just teleport there. There's no right cop in front of you or behind you, regardless like, of where you are. How, even how if there's, even there's no witnesses. Yeah, I know, right? It's like make? even even Grand Theft Auto Three has the cops actually drive up in cars and get out and start shooting at <laughs> Grand Theft Auto them. One. Yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah. Simpsons hit and run. <laughs> Jack and Daxter yeah. Two. Transformers oh, like... DS boys. Minesweeper. Uh, <laughs> oh, but there's I had one regarding the cops and pedestrians. That's so terrible. yeah, they they are. This awful. is clearly the an AI example. Yeah, this is clearly an example of a video game developer who isn't Rockstar wanting to make a Rockstar game, and it shows. Um, I did a mission where I had assaulted this area to put a GPS tracker on a car. And I was leaving. I'd killed all the thugs in the area. And for minutes, 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 after I had left the zone and was walking away, it still said that I was in combat. Many minutes pass. And as I'm in combat, it never loads any pedestrians. None. Empty streets. It's a ghost town. Night City is a ghost town. There's no one around. Eventually, after many minutes, it says that I'm no longer in combat. I'm, I don't know how many meters away I've, I've walked away from the location at this point or who is still alive. Then, almost as if magic, pedestrians everywhere. It, re it refills the world with all of these people. And it was fucking bizarre. In relation it happened to, the, to me um, too. There's been a couple of memes back and forth about the the crouched and scared pedestrian. Uh, yeah. Oh yes. It was like, like that <laughs> ten. I don't even know how early this is. One of you guys might have done it as well. Did you? Did you do the first offer to do boxing? Did you come across that in the opening? Uh, I yeah. did the first offer right, where you beat the yeah. robot. Well, so yeah. for me, I was like, oh cool, and I kind of enjoyed the fight. And I was like, this is going well. Uh, the knockout punch for the robot, it fell off the the um platform we were on. And it, and it fell onto the floor just outside of the circle, and there was a there was a random person there who screamed when they saw the robot fall down and did the crouch and hands over their the head thing. Oh yeah, and I, I was like, oh that's <laughs> I'm like that's I'll a bit odd, but you know, fine. Smaller? You know, I guess what? I think I can do you one better. No, 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 I'm not done. That's not even the problem. No, no, keep going. <laughs> oh, you better, you better step it up. Like I was like, oh that's that's fine with me. You know, she got spooked by the robot falling over. And then I heard loads of screaming, and I was like, wait, and I looked up, and every single civilian <laughs> that I could see in my field of view had now crouched and put their hands over their head. And I walked uh. around, and I was like, did someone, like, what happened? Did someone, did, was this because of the <laughs> robot? And then a guy, like, I walked up to, went, no, and ran away, and I was like, what, what, yeah. what, what did I do? What the fuck <laughs> that was impressive, <laughs> impressive, because mine, my, one of mine, I said mine as if there was only one, it's the, the scared civilian, uh, <laughs> This saga will never end. I was in. I went into the the guy the firing range by your house. I went in there, and I and I was shooting at targets in the firing range. And I came out, and everyone is terrified, and they're <laughs> and, and they're and they're huddled and scared for their life with their hands up. So yeah, we're we're having all kinds of different things happen. Uh, we're, sometimes I'll clip into each other in a big clump, and I'll be crouched with their hands up, just in this huddled mass of clipping civilians. Was because I saw memes about it right after that had happened. I was like, wait, is this common? Mm. I was like, Jesus, because I thought that what happened to me was extremely random. Like it was just some girl got scared that everyone thought everyone was shooting at each other or something. But it was near the um the firing range that that, that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, we this game experience. cannot handle NPCs, and it's full of NPCs. Yes. Have you guys noticed as well that the the driving AI is basically non-existent? So they follow yeah. yes. they follow very specific paths, and then if you block them by like I don't know parking your motor motorbike in front of in front of it, traffic will back up for miles because the AI is too fucking stupid to go around you. It's embarrassing. Grand yeah. 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 Run do that, like fifteen years ago. 
Yeah. What's funny about the AI driving is that recently I was uh, driving someplace and it, it was a decently long ride. And I was kind of curious how the AI could handle it. Um, so the AI will not technically run lights because every light that you get to will be red. But right before they get to the intersection, it turns green so that your AI can continue on their way. Uh, but their ability to turn and to do things is really, really pathetic. The pathing that they have in cars. I, I, uh, I remember like when I, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, let me tell you quickly about another glitch that I encountered just before uh, it came on the stream today. So I hijacked a car from the passenger side and you know, the animation plays where you like pull them out. Well, it played, but I didn't pull anybody out, got in the car, slid over to the driver's seat, look over to the passenger seat and the driver is now in the passenger seat, just staring dead ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit, uh, it's funny. A lot of funny. stuff in this game is really funny. And it makes me regret not streaming it to a degree, but uh, I don't think I could handle streaming it uh, like my PC. It's not running fantastically and I'm not even putting right. the stress of streaming on it. Um, Here's one. Um, I get this is I don't know if it's a I don't think it's a bug. It's just a poorly designed video game. Um, uh, I gotta remember to do that. Okay, so you're in afterlife, and there's a little I guess an ambient event, and this is from a video I have. Um, oh yeah. So this guy's on the pool table, clearly fucked up. Might be dead. His friends are going. Oh no, man! It's Carl. Fucking do something. Call a doctor. Carl's gonna bite it. And you're concerned about Carl here on the table, and there's not an option for you to do anything or anything like that, because that would be like an RPG. Uh, instead, you just watch this tragedy unfold before your very eyes. Now, this guy who's leaning over Carl there on the table, lamenting the potential death of his friend that he clearly cares very much about. If you press F to talk to him, he'll say, hey, looking for a good time? Yeah, uh, I've, got, I've, had that. I've got one of those. Uh... I don't know if I, I, to go next. I, I, I tried to ram a woman with a car, uh, <laughs> and she she jumped out of the way, and her response was, keep your hands to yourself. Um, the AI always gets scared <laughs> when I talk to them. They're like, leave me alone! Yeah, so <laughs> NPCs have been so disappointing. The um, I, uh, Wait, so we should probably... I don't know if it really matters. I chose Corpo. Uh, what did everyone else choose? Yeah, me, me too. too. Yeah, me too. Uh, it sounded I'm interesting. Kid. I'm a street kid, yeah. No, mate. I've heard it makes no difference. Yeah, well, so I was, that's going to be a topic on minor, its own, I suppose. Minor differences. The reason I chose Corpo You do end was, up getting another side quest. Um, oh, well, there you go. Uh, I thought it would be neat to have come down from like the business side of this city and then yes. to possibly rise back up or some shit, you know, and, and destroy it. I don't know, whatever the story wants to do. I thought it would be cool. The opening of the Corpo place, you're in the building. I went around to every <laughs> NPC and about 90% of them don't say anything. And I was like, hmm. And then, like, the ones that mm. do speak, it's just awkward. A lot of the time, it'll just be, like, one line and, and, and something that doesn't necessarily relate to you in any way. Right now, by the way, I've got a game, uh, just a long play in the background so people can have visual reference of just the game in general from uh, Le Cry YouTube channel. Do, do, it's just a long play of, like, recording, so it should help with people being like, what the fuck are they talking about? This is the game. <laughs> um, so... You know when you walk around good old fashioned um, wonderful night city, uh, sometimes you'll you'll catch there's some there's some like wars breaking out, little maybe gang wars or police shooting at people and stuff. It's like you can help. And I saw the police shooting at like four dudes, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a good citizen, and like um, managed to take out two of them with the like uh, uh, non lethal takedown. And then uh, one of them saw me, and I shot the last two, and I was like, hey, we did it. And the police like walked toward me, and I was like, hey, I don't know if. Uh, don't know what the game's gonna do here. Walked up to her, pressed after talking. She was like, "Get out of my sight." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I, uh, I'm the guy who helped you with." Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> like, I'll just go. Like, <laughs> oh fine. yeah, the um. So this doesn't just happen with like NPC events and ambient events. This happens in the main story. Um, we'll get to that later on in dialogue and stuff like that. Um, but we we can. And, and I, this is mostly so I don't forget. So one of the things we're going kind of going back to some basic mechanics like stealth. So stealth fucking kind of sucks. I said it was mediocre earlier, but then I forgot one of the reasons why I fucking hate it. So there's a dodge mechanic in this game where if you double tap in a direction, oh, you will dodge yeah, in that direction. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this applies to always. So if you're stealthing around, you press C. It, it, it has different binds for hold and toggle, which I appreciate mm -hmm. and I like. 
However, this hardly matters because if you're sneaking around and you double tap a direction key, which is what you're going to do because you want to make precise movements or you only want to move a little bit, your character will dodge in that direction, which will break stealth and leave you standing up. Yeah. Which is insanely, it's... insanely frustrating. And this cannot be toggled off. I could not find the disable double tap to dodge button. Similar issue. Uh, I'm playing a sneaky man as well. Uh, and so, you know, the key binding to toggle crouch is C. Uh, the, uh, the other thing C does is skip dialogue in a conversation. Yes. So I often get kind of annoyed because mm. my character's standing there crouching around in a conversation, looks a little bit weird. So I'll hit C because uh, I'm going to stand up and have a conversation like a normal person. And then I'll skip a big se sequence of dialogue and I'll get really annoyed. Because it's for some really reason, those two, those two things need to be thing. on the same thing, yeah. That's not yeah. a small yeah. oversight as well. That makes absolutely no sense. It's bonkers. Well, <laughs> yeah. This goes back to, this is CD Projekt Red. This is not some company's valiant first attempt at creating a world that will have a greater sequel in five years. Yeah, can I, this is CD Projekt Red. Two, they two. know how big the PC user base is for these games, but they, they don't have things like being, like I said, like being able to disable double tap to dodge being able to edit the key binds of the inventory and just things like that yeah this, very um, disappointing to see from them that might help contextualize a lot of the complaints people in chat have heard so far like um we expect a lot for a game that's built for pc like primarily or at least by a developer that knows exactly what pc is capable of it's really weird to have it's it feels very consoly to be like you can't rebind any of these yes. things. You can't toggle them on that and off. Explain, like, what? The game that explain really feels like designs. it was designed around the console. Which is a or shame. at the very least use on a controller. Yeah. That's it's why a lot of the UI stuff and inventory management is so dog shit. Because it's clearly designed with a console in mind. Which is why you have a lot of totally wasted space. Tool tips that pop up in the way of things all the time. Um a lot of just ugh. i wonder if it, it like suggests a, a really confused development path as well because i wonder if I the decision it. to have it be like to orient the controls and such like around controller came before or after they decided the game was going to be in first person because that seems unthinkable right you make a game in first person with guns and shooting and then you design it primarily around controller gameplay uh I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, when I'll it's coming out on, when it's, it's coming on PC as well, computer. because mouse and keyboard is just the superior control scheme for yeah, like, undoubtedly, first person undoubtedly. Yeah. Yeah. basically, yeah. Um, the and there, but and it's not even like technically, or at least when it comes to the technical aspect of it, a lot of it it's terrible. It runs fine for me. It runs okay. Uh, there's that one fix in the config file that I linked to some of y'all that helped me out. It's not something you should have to do. It seems like a huge oversight, but it did mm. help me out. They'll um, fix that, I imagine, the, with the updates. The game looks aesthetically... like the, the game's aesthetics are good, but it doesn't look good. It looks... What do you mean? What do you mean by like, that? Like, the, the aesthetics of the cyberpunk theme... Everything fits together with all of the implants and the clothes and the buildings and the cars and the guns and all like the its aesthetics are good, but graphically, I don't think it really looks that good at all. Um, well, yeah, I, I it's really it's don't. definitely a ground downgrade from the preview. So I'd say it looks decent though. I it's actually I an upgrade from the the twenty eighteen preview, but you might be right about the ones that came out more recently. But, but yeah, when it comes to just the way that the the textures and the um the, the way everything kind of looks it's i've have everything gone up pretty high everything's at least on high and all the anisotropic filterings on i just don't think the game looks all that good like graphically I think it looks like inconsistent i i think i will agree there yeah maybe really that's what's good. Maybe that's what's like, bugging uh, me is how inconsistent it looks uh, yeah. with things not loading in and the draw distances yeah. and that might be what yeah, that might be it. Maybe because when you're talking with people, which is going to be 67 percent of your gameplay, the characters that are sitting in front of you look good. The character models are good there um, and they're really well done. But when you're just out and about and playing the game, it's really not impressive at all. 
it's um, definitely a definitely like a a, a a big experience kind of thing instead of all the details so i gotta we, say i was kind of blown away Oh, I'm, I certainly wasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm very. I'm. I don't think I was ever been impressed uh, by this game graphically at all. I, I, Even when I, you I've... stepped out and saw the NCPD for the first time. Um, I thought it was I fine. Don't, right, yeah, I don't remember the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. The thing that most notably I could think of that looks good to me is the rain effects on the ground. Other than that, I can't think of anything like that stands yeah. out. The, no, no, my no, ability no, to judge minute, graphics are kind of hampered by the game doesn't run too great on my PC. Yeah, I, I, I think was, it's just... I will say yeah. that I was impressed I by some of the internal environments and some of the effects and some of the character models. That... Wait. Oh, but, sorry. <laughs> what's happening? Is Fringy right. right? Or I've had to switch to my phone temporarily. Maybe I'll try and reconnect to the internet <laughs> again. <laughs> you sound fine. I think, well, I think it yeah. was delayed, uh, like he didn't realize where the gaps, because that happens every once in a while. He wasn't just randomly talking over you, CJ, don't worry. <laughs> uh, no no okay, worries, I, was, right. I thought he couldn't hear us, maybe. You oh, sound very um, sleepy, yeah. though. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I, I don't know how it sounds at all, so I, I can't tell. Um, well, what go I ahead, whatever gonna you're going to say, say uh, you should be right. It was, um... When it comes to the, the game looking inconsistent, I think it might partly be because the bugs are throwing me off. But like, I think at times, like the characters can look incredibly detailed, but at other times, the characters don't look very detailed at all. Like depending on how close they get to the camera, like as if it's swapping between different like rendering kind techniques. Of, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that is true, but it comes across that way. Um, there are certain. But but I think yeah, like it just it depends. It varies in in the way that it looks. Um, I, I sometimes it I looks agree, really yeah. good, and sometimes it, it it doesn't look as yeah, great. But I don't think it looks bad at all. Yeah, I wouldn't go. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say, I bad. Wouldn't say bad. It it's it looks f I guess like fine. I guess. But like just going through screenshots and videos, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this looks like Dishonored too. You know, it looks oh, it looks totally fine, but. You'll go to one area and it'll look really nice, and then you'll go to the next area and it'll be like, okay, this looks fine, I guess. And like even the picture I posted above there with the chick, like you look at her, her model is good looking, but then you see all the trash bags and everything next to her, and then you're like, oh, okay, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, all right. And I think uh, we, we. I was just going to say that. Uh... This is the same for a, a, a friend of mine as well. Sp more specific issue, because it sounds like I'm probably going to be the only person who was reporting this, but um, as the game ran better in the first few hours than it has in, in the latter few hours for me. Uh, it's been getting progressively less stable, which is really I've strange. I've had a and, similar experience. Uh, a friend of mine My game got worse after it was patched. The <laughs> no, I, I, just, I disagree. Mine's been running better personally. The first... 20 or so hours my performance was like fine and bugs were like graphical and not particularly common more recently i've been running into crashes and like more threatening bugs things where like my character will get stuck in place and that kind of thing i won't be able to pull out weapons uh and yeah it's it's been getting worse i'm not sure what exactly is going yeah, on i'm not there. sure i'm hoping it's some possible like uh, some kind of memory leak thing and that it can be fixed in a quick update um but uh the friend so. of mine said that um everything was running fine he met keanu reeves and then um like for every half hour after that it would just get sign like the fps would be shaved off by about five to ten every time until it started to get ridiculous mm. um and for me it's just been maybe yeah, with crafting it could be that it could be that i haven't been crafting so i don't think i don't know what's going on I... but um this is the kind of stuff that I think. I think my performance is getting better over time. Yeah, it's 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 interesting how like bug testing, I guess, is going to be the best when you release the game, so <laughs> everyone can tell you what's going on. <laughs> it's too get... late by then. Well, it, it just seems to be that's, for them. that's the way to go these days, right? That seems to be. Um... How, how many how many game breaking bugs have you had where it's either crashed the game or you've had to reload uh, like a previous save? Zero. Uh, one crash. One. Like I said, it's been getting more free. Yeah, like me. two or three, not uh, many, but still definitely not that had. frequently. 
because I've had one hard crash where the game's just completely crashed, and I've had it. I've had four times where either the quest has not like progressed; it has like the next step hasn't loaded, so I've had to reload a save to get it to do that. Yeah. Uh, and there, there was one sequence where I was stuck in a brain dance, and it wouldn't let me leave. The option to exit just didn't come up, even though I had solved everything, and the objective was exit brain dance. There was no way to leave, so I had to reload an autosave, which was 15 minutes earlier. So hmm. that was a bit annoying. But um... comp- I've, 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 been, I've heard worse stories from other people about, it's like, apparently Cynic Snacks, when he bought the game, uh when it was released he couldn't even get past the character customization screen like it would just crash every time uh, he tried to get past it i was uh does he have a was that console pc or i think it was console yeah because i'm wrong i guess we should probably mention we're only talking about pc because consoles have had a nightmare with this (laughs) <laughs> yeah, this is console the console seems like a nightmare. Yeah, I hear the crashing is worst on PS5. Hmm. Believe it or not, the performance um, is worse on PS4. Well, I'm assuming Obviously. everyone here knows, but uh, they did. They've pulled the game from the PlayStation Store, right? For uh, available... and Xbox. I've I've heard that Xbox have given out warnings that they haven't removed the game from the Microsoft Store. Just that they've said when you purchase it, the oh, okay. warning: this game does not function perfectly. Basically, which <laughs> it's like, what a great thing to hear when you buy a game. <laughs> so, so this is this screenshot you posted, White Light. So this yeah. would be a good example of how all of the all of the things add up to make something really good, but individually they're not all that great. Oh yeah, um, right. But they always are adding up. Um, well, that's the thing. Yeah, that that's why a lot of people I think either don't notice it or like I can really appreciate like this sort of thing. The city looks great with in its aesthetics. But you just can't look at any one thing closely, or it'll break the, you know. But there's so much mm. going on, and it's very busy, and it's very vibrant, and it's very colorful, and a lot of stuff's happening. There's a lot of effects. Yeah, kind of where I, it, it creates a really excellent aesthetic. I agree with Rags on this one because, like, if you look at anything specifically, I feel like it's not like look at the NCPC sign. It just looks a bit uh, blocky and shitty. I don't know, <laughs> like the the tech, the like an individual. Up there. Yeah, and like you look at the the you know the foliage or whatever, and it's just like, oh, that looks kind of the yeah. blades like, look really. Do any of us have a uh, ray tracing like graphics cards, or because that might make? I a big difference. I have one. I haven't used it because I I'll, I'll try it out just to see. In well, fact, I'll just, probably do that ray now. Tracing, ray tracing makes performance like drop is just better. suicidal. Yeah, that even if you yeah, have an I... idea. This thing, I just don't want to. I want frames at this point. Oh yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. It looks yeah. fine enough. Mm. Um, and I don't care too much about ray tracing. Um, but uh, let's see, what was I gonna? Oh, this is this is my. Oh, I overrode my screenshot. I let me show you this. This is interesting because this kind of gets into the like the dialogue and talking with people in this game, which is a huge chunk of the game. So. Um, let me show you this because it's really weird. Okay, let me boom screenshot there. So I'm talking to this guy, and based on some of your skills, uh, your attributes, you can give particular dialogue choices. Mm-hmm. Um, I have at this point a ten in cool, which lets me have, I guess, the, that dialogue, those dialogue options, and that's pretty high, especially for this part of the game. I'm level eleven. And I, that's pretty high for my stage, I think. Uh, it gives you the option to ask this guy no discount. The prerequisite is 10 cool points. And he says, I only give regulars discounts if you short, then fuck off. Yeah, I did that so too. That it, never changes. So, like, why would you give me the option to unlock that as an option yeah. when it is a failure always? It's completely yeah. pointless. Uh, none of none of the yeah. extra dialogue options make any difference. They just give you a little bit more flavor. Uh, but but it may it, yeah, yeah you're right. It makes the up you know uh, upgrading your stats to get those options completely pointless. Uh, I would disagree. They've made a difference quite frequently for me in terms of it's, my so what life is, um... path and my like character's attributes. I have been able to use those in conversation and world things. Quite the frequently. problem with yeah, but you've some used of them, them though, but has it made a difference to the way the conversation goes? Does it change the outcome at all? 
Because more often than not, for me, even if you successfully, like, there are no real, there aren't really any speech checks, but even if you, quote, pass, it it doesn't really affect the outcome. For me, I've never experienced, I've never experienced an instance where it has changed it. Just a quick example, because I have the same experience as CJ, essentially. Um, Playing as the corpo thing, one of the jobs early on in the game, they're like, oh, you're going to need to go to this particular building. And it was like, because you're corpo, you can say that you have familiarity with the building. I was like, oh, cool. I have familiarity with the building. They're like, yeah, neat. Anyway, we got to move on with this project then. I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay. That's basically (laughs) an olive line as well. I think it gets uh, better the longer you go through the game. Because that was my experience early. It was pretty good, the corpo dialogue, because you get a lot. You get you can have loads of conversations with the corpo stuff, and at that point, though it's superficial, it becomes meaningful because there's so much of it. I see. You can have cool conversations. I um, think I'm, I'm wondering that because there are corpo options for dialogue that are in yellow, which progress the conversation, but there's the options everyone else gets as well, which means that if I didn't have the corpo options, I'd still get the other ones and that would progress it. So it's just yeah. a different way to do the same thing. Yeah, because yeah. you have to build the game it, yeah. around. Yeah, Could it has to be like the same as Mass Effect, though, where like if you have Paragon, you just have that extra option and then that changes. No, because like... that can be that could change the rewards you get and it could change who lives and dies. Yeah, in Mass Effect, it does actually make a difference. Yeah, it does make um, a difference in Mass Effect. It, it changes storylines. It will alter people's, you know, what they'll do for you. It will. And it, yeah, it, like, that's what I was saying. Is, um, yeah, it's, that's it's what I was saying. Like when it's when it's a yellow one, it means that this is const- basically that's all I've deduced from the system. Blue means nothing. Yellow means Blue it's is actually just flavor. It's just yeah. options. For what, and, and I'm, for what, I'm sometimes, what I'm getting at. Yeah, go ahead. What I'm get, what I'm getting at though is that um, if you have like an option that utilizes like your background or your skills and it's yellow then it means that's consequential so it is the same as like the mass effect paragon renegade thing like at least at least functionally yeah i would i would say i i don't i wouldn't say that i would say that the yellow options are just what progresses the conversation to the next stage um and the blue is just what you can do along the way that doesn't change anything. It's just it's just for you kind of just use the player for flavor, but it doesn't actually yeah. do anything. And sometimes they create issues with continuity. Um, I think I was talking to the first time you talked to Evelyn Parker, I had as a blue option, uh, an optional option, I had mentioned Dex. And so she was. Uh, so that was the first time I had mentioned Dex to Evelyn Parker as a blue option. However, the yellow option right above it was mentioning Dex to progress the conversation as well. And then when I gave her that option, she was surprised that I had brought Dex up, even though moments before I had just told her about it. Ah, like the, yeah, the writing same. doesn't like the character doesn't recognize in their writing that you had already brought this stuff up so when you bring it up like you have to to progress a conversation they do the line of they've assumed you haven't talked about it before so they'll act surprised they'll go oh dex oh is that- you know the the guy who gives you the eye in the beginning like the optical upgrade or whatever the hell it is yeah. um yeah i went with the second choices in the dialogue that established um someone i'm doing a job for and then when I carried on with the main storyline stuff, he then went like, so, this guy, you're working for him. And I was like, yeah, we just talked about that. Oh, yeah. There, like, there's was, a, there's really plenty weird. of instances. Yeah, they, 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 didn't, they didn't assume people would use their options. I guess. I guess. So, or did they add the, uh, the options afterward? And I so, don't know. Because uh, I found cause it really odd. It, it feels like they kind of took that into account in some cases because sometimes blue options will lead to yellow options but you know not consistently and it's hard to tell exactly when that's going to take place which gives the impression that they wanted something of a more freeform dialogue system with more branching conversations that i don't know couldn't fully realize it i don't know yeah maybe Uh, it feels like dialogue light um i i feel like conversations are going to for the most part always end the exact same way it's just how long it takes for me to get there, really. Um, and characters often tell you things that you should be very aware of. As a person who's lived in Night City this long, doing what you're doing for as long as you have, uh, mentioning like certain parts of the police, like the elite police, 
and stuff like that, they'll like it will be explained to you what those things are when you you of course know what the, yeah it's like yeah i know what those are i've lived here you're my partner we've been doing this for years you don't have to explain to me what that thing is it's clearly for the player mm. but they couldn't i guess come up with a clever or narratively you know interesting way to give you that info so oh well um the um the story itself i don't know i guess if we're going to get into that or if it's, well I mean, we, we're, look, we'll can i just around, say so. I Go think the dialogue yeah. is not that great. I don't like yeah, it. It's... I like it. Oh, no, I, I like it. I The dialogue's delivery is mostly good, but the, what people are saying, <laughs> no, I, I feel is... I, I don't know if good. I agree with that. I think I think V, uh, male V, is grating. Ah, it sucks, yeah. Male yeah. V's voice sucks. I, I don't fucking know if I'd hate said, it. I just, mm, it doesn't he's very, fit. like... He's hey, like... He's, I'm V. Uh, what, how do you say? <laughs> Yeah, that kind of thing where he, he's, he's, he sounds he, like he's trying to be cool. Yeah, yeah, he's always talking with the eighty percent of the lines he delivers, regardless of context, are the exact same inflection. Yes, in tone, he sounds like Shadow the Hedgehog. He's just, he's just gruff. <laughs> he's just gruff. Hey, I'm V. Man. What hey, corpo? Uh, corpo organics. Uh, also, yeah, uh, um, I we've got to talk biz. All right. <laughs> like that's well, yeah, yeah. I was gonna bring yeah. up that like like oh we we got some biz. Hit, hear the deets. Let's yeah. have a convo in the in, in the I enviro. It's gonna be hella yeah, nice. Just give me a millisec, dude. That was so cringe. Give me a millisec. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, but that's that's the slang of the world. You can't blame V for that. Um, I don't. Well, I blame I, V for anything. What do you yeah. guys think of the word chum? Oh, I don't. It's I still so bad. It, I hate I it. It's I don't know Goomba. what it means. It's it, it's, it's just like a derogatory Goomba. term. No. It's no, friendly. no. It's friendly. Is it? What is it? Oh, it's friend. yeah. I, I can't even. Or is gonk? Gonk is the yeah. Gonk the, is your muppet. Yeah. Gonk, is... gonk and a chum. So not I, yeah, shum. Right. We're not talking about shum. Just to clarify. Not shum. Not shum. Gonk and chum. Okay. Gonk chum. chum. Deriving from chum. Yeah. Kick v. Chum means chum. <laughs> No, it means friend. Okay. Tomb is a catch-all. Hey, you a... got the deets. I got the deets. And also, is it a little... Isn't that inconsistent? Like, if V is a corpo, why would he be using this sort of... Wouldn't there be different That's shorthand depending on where you're from? Yeah. I also, I don't know how much I appreciate adding these sorts of words in when everything else is normal. Like, the language itself yeah. is just like, yeah, there are just words that was like... Deets, biz, and convo. These words could be used in our day and timeline. Just people find them cringy, <laughs> so that's why they don't use them. I don't know. I'm not, my like, my opinion on this is half baked. I'll agree. I need to play more of the game before I can speak more on yeah. this. But I've been finding it distracting. The amount of fucking times you'll say biz. It's like okay. yeah, send me the deets. Like come on, dude. <sighs> Let's talk biz. You're like, do you? Uh... I mean, to be. To be fair, it is very difficult to write slang for like yeah, I know. any kind of futuristic setting and have it sound good. Cause so don't just, like, just oh, you're, you're just trying just too use... hard. I feel like I'd rather people don't like. It kind of reminds me of like you know in fantasy novels when people use these weird. It's just say fuck, all right? It's fine. <laughs> like just just use yeah. just use the insults like that a, we have. It's like a Battlestar Galactica when they all say frack. You know, like I know what you're trying to say, but it's weird that you're not saying well, it, and you can't. TV, so just say a different word. Do they do that to avoid a particular rating in Battlestar That's probably what they do, yeah. Because they do it in, well, in Farscape, they have uh, Pharrell instead yeah. of fuck, and Dren instead of shit. Yeah, so. Somebody just did it in chat, like, Storm you Fringy. It's like, yeah, that probably is some, from some stupid fantasy novel. To be fair um, to Male V's voice actor, I do feel when he was... Uh... We're allowed to spoil the game, right? Yeah, I, th I think. Are we allowed? Everyone... When when he's waking up oh, from being wait. dead. Did, well, does, is everyone? Yeah. <laughs> well, where, yeah, where have we all got parts of the prologue? Generally, asking... well, that's the prologue, man. Come on. No, yeah, well, the I... prologue. It's the first act. I just wanted to clarify if, if everyone's okay with it. Then yeah, I, I don't know. I'm well. I know what he's okay talking about, so it's as fine. As long yeah, as it's we'll like first act spoilers, I'm fine with it. Sure. Go okay, ahead. so <laughs> when he's waking up from from you know, getting Keanu Reeves. The way he sells the, you know, oh boy, I'm dead. I'm gonna die again. I'm scared. That's he did that really well. 
I think he did do pretty well in that mm-hmm. scene. It was kind of it was it was yeah. it was really stark because I'm like, oh wow, you're actually doing good now. What what f- be more like this just throughout the whole game? <laughs> like you know, I yeah, just would prefer shining light. I, yeah, those parts so are good. I wonder if it's just an issue of direction in that case. Maybe, like yeah. the, that the actor is totally capable. I mean, he was in those scenes, I agree. So it's like, what was he told to do for the whole game? Like, I don't know, just played like... I don't know. I, I don't just, know what I don't the like character the, like, yeah. really cares about or what his motivations are. I guess a lot of it is, is supposed to be with me, but I don't feel like I'm playing me as him. I'm play- I feel like I'm being him. I feel like I'm being... Which is a problem that. because he's not as good as Geralt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's not really explained, I guess, what he wants, except maybe to make it rich. I don't know. Well, it's like when a dialogue option pops up later in the game, like what, like you'll get some options of something that your character might like want as a motivation or a desire. Mm. That was the first point I'd ever even thought about it. So I decided on the fly, I guess I want that. I guess, I guess I want that. Yeah, sure. Because I don't really know up to this point. I'm just sort of going through motions of playing a game and my character is not even like a character. And it's uh, kind of like, eh, eh. There's just no either have it have me be a character who has clear desires, motivations, a personality that I can experience and enjoy or have the character be a blank slate that I can be them. Essentially, they are me as the player and I decide all this stuff. Don't do. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, don't try to trick me. It's one, but it's really the other and give me like fake dialogue option. Oh, fuck with the things that your main character says. I'm constantly screaming at the screen because I'm like, no, just say this thing and clear this up. Just say these words. Like, why are you not doing things? Just, just say this thing. Say that you didn't do this or say that you want to do that and just clear up this whole issue that we have right now. He, he does, he, very oftentimes, he doesn't say things that I know that he knows and he just won't say them to the person he's talking to. And it's just frustrating. I it's see like, that no. people are still hung up on the uh, the whole thing of like fake insult words because apparently I've insulted like a book series <laughs> that people really like. You guys do realize that when I say that something is stupid and I have no context for it, I'm not shitting on the actual book series. All right, I haven't read it. Just chill out. Uh, it's a joke. Wow, Fringy, you're the worst. Well, <laughs> did anyone else notice how they call uh, girlfriends? They re- they refer to them as inputs. Output. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, no, it's input, isn't it? Not output. No, it's output. I thought it was input. It's output. Why in, would it be input. output? I just, well, I just call it a bitch. I believe it, but why? I'll give you one guess. Well, I guess they're an output. I will give you exactly one guess. Yeah, you're the input. They're the output. That's how it works. It's totally. Oh, yeah, but they're okay. also an input yeah. because technically they act as an input. If that makes sense. Um. Listen. I feel like. No, this is... <laughs> This is a philosophical discussion. Yes, <laughs> we need to break it down. Only the top tier quality content and discussions here, folks. So someone said, if this game isn't an RPG, then neither is Witcher 3. So listen here, right? Witcher 3 has failings. However, narratively, that is absolutely a role-playing game. That is absolutely an RPG. The, the, the options that you choose and the options that you take and the things you tell people will drastically change where the story goes. Not just the main missions, but a lot of the, the side missions as well. And the things people say in the believable way that they express themselves. That game wasn't that mechanically RPG-ish, I don't feel. I think there were, very, there, there were too many clearly correct options to take. But this game is just like... I, I, I feel like I'm... This game shouldn't feel like I'm on a train track. But I, I feel like I'm on rails with this game. And I, if... It, it seems too large scale that I shouldn't feel that. Well, if that makes sense. What, but what was marketed as an RPG, it does feel a lot more linear than it should. It does feel very linear, yeah. Well, is that an issue of when you replay it, it might become apparent the ways in which it diverges? Because I know that my Maelstrom playthrough was quite different from the, uh, well, I say quite different. It was different from the, uh, the, the demo that they showed like two years ago because um, they give you that chip that you can pay oh, with it demo... uh wait so what played... sorry but was the demo ever something that you even actually could do because yeah so, so yeah. the demo was the maelstrom gang mission where you go to get the the, the bot and um you, you can 
and I think I talked to Mauler, he didn't call the corporate agent, so he went there without any of that, so he had to, like, pay with his actual money. Well, I refused and killed I, them all, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, mm. so, so I, I talked to her, I got the chip, and I fixed it, like, I took the, the thing off of it that would have destroyed their systems, yeah, and so I know. because yeah, of that, the map yeah, the Maelstrom gang helped me fight against uh, Militech. Um, so that was like quite different from what was shown in the uh, in the demo, or at least mm, different that... in the sense I still had to fight the bad guys, but like they were different bad guys, and then so I had a different kind of outcome. Stands, that stands out as like the one example that I could name in this game so far, like that one. I clearly could recognize the options of where I could go based on my decisions. And I could be in hindsight and be like, oh, if I would have done this, then it would have played out like that. But maybe I just have been unlucky yeah, in all the side missions I've been doing. But that is the example that I go to. And that was many hours ago. Well, I think I, I, I think they, the game needs more of that. And it's just not there. Well, I guess my thing is I'm not comfortable in saying yet whether or not I think the game is linear or not. I think I need to replay it to see how different I can make it. Well, two um, things need to happen. I... More time with the game and for them to fully release it, quote-unquote, because right now it's not <laughs> uh, in its final state, I imagine. Yeah. There are major choices you can be made to that, that can be made to affect the ending. Like It's, it's probably even bigger that. than the prologue. I've heard that. I've seen some fairly major distinctions between there are six mine and distinct how endings. Some of my friends' playthroughs have gone in terms of certain main quests and a few side quests, like how we were handled them. So I've seen a good amount of variety, okay. I would say, I guess, in terms of like just from talking to people. I'd need to play it again myself a few more times to like fully check that, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I, as, as it hopefully, hopefully it opens up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it start. It feels less linear. It Though, is worth with, with how these missions play out so far, especially the main missions. They seem like they. they it does seem very linear how things happen. Uh, someone in chat said it's not in its final state, and CD Projekt Red said that months ago, and everybody ignored them. That's absurd. Wait, I don't what? know. This That's game is ridiculous out. argument. That's Didn't not they say it was finished back in like, I, January? I said that as an they insult, did. not as not as a like concession. That's not a good thing. <laughs> like that's yeah, a bad also, thing. <laughs> yeah, once it's for sale, it's I don't care if it's not finished. I have to and pay is, money to get it. Yeah. And and like I uh I'm I find it fascinating the arguments people are making in defense of City Project Red when it comes to like all of this. People saying like, "Well, you know, you should have expected it to run like shit on Xbox One." <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, that's a ridiculous it's, it's, argument. It's, it's it's for sale on Xbox One. It should if, work. It's available you, on that system. If you actually make that argument, you're a moron. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm well, I think I think the problem is I think the big problem is a lot of people are like City Project Red stands. Um, right. Like a lot yeah. of people think they're like the best developer in the industry, and that they can do no wrong because they made The Witcher Three. But like all all this has shown me is personally, I think that they very deliberately cultivated this goodwill, almost like a cult of personality yeah. around this company. Oh, like, did. look at us; we don't do microtransactions. Look at how great we are. We yeah. say things like "We're sorry," um, and then we say that you can get refunds. Except we didn't talk to Microsoft or Sony or any retailers at all about yeah. negotiating anything to do with refunds. So it makes us look really good, and hey, even though these companies are the ones who bear the brunt of that cost, they literally they know tried to they... deceive the public about the state of the console releases. Yeah, there's no, there's no getting around that. They knew, yeah, they, they knew, they, they had to they, know, and they didn't show I anybody. Would, and they aren't the only I'd developer. Call it a borderline scam. Because um uh was it Santa Monica Studios who make God of War like entirely yep. a single player experience um and it's no microtransactions and no DLC and fully released all they had to add within the first like month was it was like New Game Plus that was the only thing that they didn't have that like or one of the most significant things because like the game functions right as much as people have criticisms for God of War four which I'll call it that for the sake of brevity uh the it's uh it was complete. And it functioned on all the, I say all the platforms it was released on. Was it? Just, it was a PlayStation exclusive, right? Yeah, PS4. Yeah. So it. just, just yeah, like the, I wouldn't want it said that because CD Projekt Red do all these awesome things, we should give them some breathing room for a game that doesn't work. <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's just like fundamentally, like they've kind of been quite deceptive because when it came to the Xbox and PS4 versions. 
all of the review copies were for PC. The embargo yeah. was until the 9th, the day before it came out. And I also like how in their thing, they were like, we please kindly ask you not to stream the game before that. We'll send the legal team after you. It's like, what the f you're not asking you're telling yeah, me why are you telling me that you're asking me like and, and just... reviewers and reviewers weren't allowed to use their own footage they had to use footage that cd project yeah, they sent them that's bullshit that that's is bullshit. insane that, that should set up red like if i red was flags. a reviewer and that was the the guidelines i like that's what that would be the header of the review it's like before we talk about the game y'all need to be aware um, that you know they have all these stipulations and stuff and also, I've insane. seen people say like, oh, they didn't have enough time to finish the game. It's like, you guys realize CD Projekt Red is an independent developer, right? And that CD Projekt Red are the developers and publishers of this game. It's all yeah, in their they, hands. They had like, they and people as long like, as they needed. And people I feel like, like oh, you can trace shareholder. all of this yeah? back to the first release date. Because if they didn't, April. you yeah. know, they had to not delay the game again. But if they weren't on their third delay to begin with, and so if they never set the first release date uh, in April, none of this would have happened because it would have been pretty much fixed and they wouldn't have had to fuck everyone over. We wouldn't have seen that side to them ever. It's so yeah. bizarre as well because they got so much credit in the first place from the coming when it's ready line of approach mm, to this game. Yeah. So everyone was like, yeah, yeah. They're, not gonna, they're gonna take their time with it, they're not gonna rush it, we're not gonna get a half-baked product. So to then turn around and end up having to rush it and setting unreasonable deadlines seems... Oh, uh, oh hmm. somebody said something that annoys me. They have shareholders, <laughs> yes, yeah, so does every public company. But, but like, the majority... That's in... <laughs> but, the biggest, but the biggest shareholders are the senior managers. Yeah, 24% of the company is owned by the two people who, like founded the company but yeah, if, also all companies have shareholders you yeah, have if, to this if you're giving this level of, of uh, space for them we, we owe it to ea all has shareholders point. yeah right like, ea has shareholders battlefield 5 that launched buggy but they they got shareholders all right just because just because they have shareholders doesn't mean they shouldn't be criticized and aren't they lo i've heard that they're losing about a billion dollars because of this jesus like they're, they're, well their stock, stock values their stock plummeted. Price is plummeting yeah. 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 And and here's something that's insane, by the way, guys. Um, City Project Red is higher valued, like as a company, than Ubisoft. That's insane. That's insane. That is for, insane. For... Wow. I it's think they own is... GOG. This, oh, this we... like, comes across as should we mentioned the GOG thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. the join, yeah. Join the Geo... yeah, for those of you who don't know, GOG is owned by CD Project Red. Uh, they recently took a game off of GOG called Devotion, I believe, because it had a a small joke about Z, Xi Jinping, and they came out with a statement on Twitter to say, um, "Oh God, the statement!" Basically, we we've we've gotten a lot of messages from gamers concerned <laughs> about Devotion, so we're pulling it from the stores. Bullshit! When, <laughs> Bullshit! It, it, it's, it, it's, it's such a pile of horseshit. But like they just China, China, game no, no, nobody, the GOG nobody for that? believes it. So yeah, uh, CD Project Red bent the knee to China, and this nothing the, will undo that. This is the That's last thing you want to do at this point. Like, why would you do that when you're dealing with all of this? Like, oof. Yeah. Because they make so much money from China, just like everybody else. Ah, uh, I see. Someone said they didn't. Um, someone said they didn't take it off. They wouldn't put it on due to the <laughs> bullshit. Okay, yeah. What? So <laughs> it's just how it. No, no. It's a. It's a. It's a. Good, it's a good, good clarification. I appreciate. Uh, for, so for yeah, context they, as well, it, it was on Steam and then it got removed again because of this same like wait, review Steam bombing as well. bullshit from game. Yeah, it was on Steam a while ago and then it got uh it got taken off because Chinese quote gamers review bombed it. Damn you, Chinese gamers. So yeah, China's shit, and I fucking hate China. If I'm bigoted towards anything, it's the fucking Chinese. I don't Damn, give a well, shit. It's because uh -oh. of stuff like this. I don't fucking care, man. This is this the kind isn't... of shit I just can't... China makes no. everything worse. Fucking Chinese hate it government so much. makes everything worse. No. Um, everything. Fuck that shit. I hate it. It bleeds everything. into the rest of the world, and it makes everything. Literally, every... even, even everything. The food? You don't Even like Kung Fu Panda? I don't like Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> like, well, Kung that's Fu Panda awesome. rags. What the fuck? I don't like his fat face. Oh. I just, I just fucking hate it. I just fucking hate it. How it bleeds into everything. And how everyone's bending the knee. Ugh. I, I hate it. China it shouldn't be like this. Um, shouldn't be like this. But yeah. But yeah, and, and now CD Projekt Red. Just the next one on the pile. 
and this yeah, happening right I'm next to the... the release of Cyberpunk has just it's just <laughs> added the, it's, it's, it's the kind of thing where they're under the microscope right now and doing that at this point is like everyone's like why would you do what oh but uh oh, watch out more will you show the footage of like the seizure inducing thing on stream the uh wait wait uh, you'll have to be more specific oh that's a good point yeah this is seizure inducing the, the, Jesus. the brain yeah. dance thing in, uh, can induce seizures so you might want to take it off I mean um, it can. Well, yeah, but surely, surely well, all kinds of shit that we've shown on EFAP before could induce a no. seizure. I don't know. But there's, but there's no warning. That's the problem. So I'll, uh, I'll skip problem. ahead. Um, like, right. would, I'm yeah. assuming like ten minutes or so is probably enough. Whatever. It's just the flashing light part. Right? Oh yeah, it'll be over now. From yeah, yeah. From what I understand, um, the issue with that is that it's specific. It very closely matches what doctors use to induce seizures for medical purposes. Sweet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the chat okay, is saying yeah. it was fixed in the day one oh. patch. I wasn't oh, aware of that. Did. Jeez. Okay. Um, so, but did you guys, like, how do we feel did about brain dance segments? Because I fucking hate them. Um, I think they're actually one of the coolest things about the game. I like I, them. Really? I, like, I really I like ready them. For them to be really when I get cool, stuck in them. Me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I wa I'm, that's my take, yeah. I was like, oh, there's so much potential here, and then I realized, oh, there's just a list of things to scan. They they handhold that's you throughout it. Never mind. Exactly what okay, I was Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, too shallow. Yeah. It is exactly what I was expecting. I hoped it would be more, and the first brain dance gave me hope, but... Uh, no, it's exactly what I would expect from a system yeah, like that from CD Projekt. It's just to cycle through a menu to highlight the glowing things to proceed through, and it uh, it's an interesting concept in world. Yeah, strip it down but... mechanically. It's you've got three visors to search through, and here's the points mm -hmm. in which you have to search. Uh, that that's like it's the same as it, the. It, it is. It's kind of like three. It's the exact Batman same. Detective mode, but better. But better. I don't know if it's better. <laughs> I don't know. I've yet to see it. I would argue it is, but like I agree with the whole hand holding thing. Everyone's way too eager to half ass systems like that, and yes. it's annoying to me. Just I don't know don't if it's have to it do in. with I... concern for players not being able to. So, say for example, there were no indicators for where the important thing is, and you had to search it all yourself. I wonder if they play tested it and too many people got lost. Like they couldn't find I can what they were imagine supposed to. so. There would be Considering things they wouldn't even think of checking, the... yeah. We, but, yeah, with my, yeah, I, I'm, I'm always happy to get through them. I'm happy when they're done, and I never go yay when they say, "All right, we're gonna do a brain dance." I'm like, oh, can I play the game I instead? Just, exactly. Well, it's, yeah, it's I would rather just. I, that's the sad part. I'd be like, oh, just skip me ahead of it, like whatever I was supposed to find, because you're only gonna guide me to finding it anyway. So just, yeah, like I don't. It's fine. Mm. Yeah, it's it's just not interesting. It Even the, well I was, in the first one, the game's telling me like, okay, you'll have to carefully map out, find where the thing is, and find all of the security systems so that you're ready when you go in there. I was like, am I actually going to have to do this? And you know, keep note of what I found and stuff. And of course, I didn't because yeah, and, uh, right. the, <laughs> not only I thought that was interesting because it was optional. I was like, oh yeah, I'll work a little harder to get uh, benefits. Sure. And it's like, you're going to have to check security systems. And I was like, oh, so next to the elevator, I thought there might be something there. And I found one. I was like, okay, neat. And this was before I'd realized that it's all tagged in the... Um, I thought optional stuff wouldn't get tagged in your timeline thing. Like you yeah. Could, I, I was like, surely that'll be untagged because you have to work harder for it. And then I realized slowly, it's like, oh, wait, no, it's, it's all there. Damn. Crying shame. To, yeah, and, and some yeah, players might be like, why is that bad? I've expected and like, anything. Uh, I guess it's because just, it's tedious and it's a waste of time. There's already so like heat visor mode. You go through the recording and you're searching for like uh you know spots of light maybe, and you're just like that. That's cool enough to me. But when you got spots of light also in this time frame, it's like based on where the person is walking, it becomes incredibly easy. You're just like yeah, I just I'm waiting for the color there. It okay, done. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was just like tabbing shift all the time. Tabbing shift. I was just. Tapping shift a bunch as I just played the footage through, so I could in, in a corner of the room or whatever, so I could just see the things that pop up, so I could click them to get through. I think it's a cool interesting idea. idea to yeah, the world but as it's a, a game cool player, idea that got half-assed yet again. The someday a game will come around that puts effort into its detective yeah. mode type thing, but it hasn't. And I think yet. it's mm. I think it's weird to play a detective segment because it's hard for me to imagine male V doing anything smart. <laughs> What if you upgrade intelligence? 
I, he still says all the same things. And I'm just like, man, if I was in charge of this conversation, it would be just so much better and more interesting. And I would just catch on to things that he clearly doesn't. And I'm not, I, I just joined this world like 10 hours ago. And I feel like he I was written as a street kid. Yeah. That's yeah, something I, that I could tell. Yeah. Sense. Yeah. Which He's is a shame a because He's yeah, because I chose Corpo thinking that there would be this element of high class corporate espionage. I thought that's what the choice was. Wearing, it's well, yeah, this... I thought it, you'd be this fancy suit wearing, well spoken character who was used to the four star hotels and the intrigue of the corporate life and the data and all that stuff. But no, you're just it. It all just it doesn't really matter except for a few dialogue options and you talk the same. And that's like, the thing, I was looking forward to, to uh, okay. underperforming right. with like street smart shit. I was like, that'll be fine with me. Like if I can't understand or make it through or get better deals with like uh, street level stuff. But at the same time, whenever we're dealing with higher up stuff, I'll have insight and I'll know how to move around people or, or whatever else. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, I, I, it's so, I'm starting to wonder, it's like, why did you think that? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I guess I had high hopes for this company. Well, that's that's what you would hope would be the case when you're being offered alternative life path. Yes, yeah. but it's very, very clear that the game was designed around Street Kid, and Street Kid was the one that was taken into account the most. Because I'm, I'm honestly of the opinion that the game's stuck in this really uncomfortable middle ground where it tries to be open, but it's not open enough in that regard, yeah. but also it tries to be specific, so you end up mostly feeling like a street kid anyway, but every now and then you can kind of be a corpo or whatever in, in case, a few select instances. In which case, I'd say it might have been a good idea to just have he be like a Geralt character where like, it's it's clear that you are not V, you know? Whereas the game mm -hmm. tries to, is it's caught in that, yeah, caught in the middle ground where it's like you're V, but also V is like a character with motives and stuff. Yeah, it's a, definitely a weird combo. Course, yeah, I've but he sort of does all the things so that's you do. made my experience work a lot better in that regard, and my role-playing has benefited from that. Because you just said it feels you... well considered, and I can yeah. naturally insert myself into situations because that's what my character is, you know, built around. It's kind of where There's they come a, from. Uh... Just to say, your character is named V, you're a street kid in Night City, and they're in, then the paths where you go from that point on, based because I thought like all the different fixers that you would stick with would change sort of what becomes your main area to work in, and you know who you go with might determine, oh, I, if I work with this person who's like really rich and well rich and well to do, or if I do all these jobs for this one corporation, then maybe, you know, I get a you know a more high life path that puts me on this kind of track, but I don't know. I, I I guess I'll have to play more, but I just don't really feel like feel like they're just quest vendors, and the only they're only different aesthetically. It's just kind of been what I've. The spawn sort of camp yeah, makes a good point. Mm -hmm. He says that I felt Nomad was the one that the game was written around, and looking from that perspective, he's uh, it makes sense because as a corpo, it's just it's a joke. But as a nomad, you've got the whole Pan Am stuff, so it might actually feel like, wow, the game is written for me. I've been told that Nomad is the the one that the developers want you to pick. I don't know how Even true that sounds can, like well, I, can, <laughs> well, yeah, I can tell that they didn't want me to select Corpo as someone who selected Corpo. Yeah. The shit that they have you going around and doing in the game and the general way you conduct yourself, the places you hang out or and the people you associate with, it all just screams street kid. Yeah, you're not, this else. isn't the person that you would actually be. If you're someone who knows all about the mm -hmm. corporate life, doing those jobs, working that kind of security or being an enforcer for a corporation and the things that you'd see in the day to day of your job, doesn't at all mesh with you're just some com you're basically a common street thug who's just talented yeah the um the the corpo intro feels like it could have been stapled onto the game once they were close to finishing it or something yeah it's and even in those segments you still talk with male v's voice you still don't particularly carry yourself in a in a certain way that you'd expect for someone who lived that you know like the corporate life and was in that game it it does feel like an afterthought the more that you yeah you know, now that you've mentioned it and i think about it it does feel like that cuz i thought it was neat when i began the game i was like oh i'm in like the probably the one of the highest buildings most important corporations i'm going to be used as a sort of 
foot soldier for some other business guy, and I'm gonna get torn right down to the bottom. I was like, that's cool. That's, I, I like this. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, they set up the Abernathy subplot and then do nothing with it. It's just like, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you go, to the, yeah you go to the bar and you're like, oh, no, actually, no, you, you're not it with the company anymore. And you're like, I, you do get I don't even really know. That follows that up, by it's the way. Weird. It's I've, just yeah, I've partially forgotten all about that. Because I, 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 when it happened, I was like, oh, this is going to be, this will be interesting then, how all this plays out. Because we're jumping right into some big thing that's happening. But it's like, no, no, mainly just to set up how you got, it's to put you back on path of where you would be had you chosen of, what I assume would be the other twos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The meeting point for all three paths, yeah. Like, how come if I'm a corpo, like, how come I'm, like, Jackie's my best friend? Yeah, I was, uh, like, I was thinking a, about that. What an odd best friend to have if I'm a corpo guy. That was the most jarring thing about corpo, actually, is calling up some random guy called Jackie who's clearly just a street kid, like, why yeah. does V know this guy? I, I was genuinely curious about that. I was like, is he, like, one of my thugs or something? Like, why is... it's kind of strange, but, you know... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, he's like, he's not just my best friend, he's like a guy who I rely on, like, he's like my, my fucking... Someone said it works thematically. It doesn't because I didn't have a choice. Maybe that's the theme. Well, I mean, if the theme is you don't have a choice, but the theme, that it's also, yeah, you gotta work your ass off to be the best in Night City, and you gotta do some crazy shit, and the game's like, actually, no, this is the only way to go, and you're a loser now. I was like, oh, well, that's not thematically. It has the appearance of being thematic, but this is a video game, and... My input should sort of matter if you're talking about who wins and who loses. So, yeah. How the game uh, is built, it almost feels like they wanted almost completely separate Corpo, Street Kid, and Nomad stories, but again, just couldn't do it. Well, there's, there's, I mean, there's, no, way, like there's no way they thought that the Corpo intro was appropriate to how you then spend the rest of the game. <laughs> well, that makes me wonder, because, I mean, it's pretty obvious that the Cyberpunk 2077 from that initial trailer is not this game. Um, By the initial trailer, do you mean the one way The original back. one, the 2013 yeah. one, like, oh, it's not, it's not said, the same game. I said earlier in the chat, like, tonally, they're completely at odds. They're, it's a completely Absolutely. different kind of thing that they presented back then, which, granted, it, was long before they started development on it, so, fair enough. Was it? Did they? You know yeah. what? They only started development after Blood and Wine, from what I know. This reminds me of, believe it or not, this reminds me of Borderlands 1. So, this wow. is taking it way back, but before Borderlands became the Borderlands we all know that it was, it wasn't, at it, originally, it wasn't going to be anything like that. You go and you look at the art and the design and the, and the thoughts and stuff, like I remember re reading Game Informer articles about it, it didn't turn out anything like originally how it was sort of thought out to be. Um, it just changed into a new thing during development. It just became something else. Um, was it always funny? I don't think so. No, I don't think it was going to be like a comedy game at the beginning. Now, this is me going off memory way, 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 way back, like high school for me and stuff like that. But um, was it always a loser shooter? Uh, sort of, yeah. I think it was always a looter shooter, but in terms of its aesthetics and the the focus on humor and things like that, totally different. Um, I think it was going to be played totally straight with a lot more realistic graphics. Or can you nuke the like um, that, but, um, the YZN guy? Anybody? Yeah, someone <laughs> got him. James got him. Yeah. Thanks. But um, yeah, it's just I I do feel someone mentioned it that this game's development was confused i totally believe it if it took this long and this is what we got and everything's just like a and this game is just like but worse i can believe it like you know they had to think are we gonna have vehicles should you be able to drive a vehicle in this game should, is uh, i i guess i was surprised when they yeah, said yes can. what i was huh? what i think yeah. i was getting at when it comes to you know how long this game like how long ago it was announced is one of two things happened either they announced the game and didn't start working on it until like four years later which is a bizarre choice <laughs> or mm. they did and they restarted part way through i'm inclined to believe that the latter is the case um and that like it was in development and there were problems or that or the team got peeled away from its work on the witcher 3 and then after they finished with The Witcher 3, they started working on it. And of course, that leads to the problem of, well, there's a lot of pressure to get this out because people think we, like, we announced it eight years ago. 
people don't want to like people don't want to wait that long for a video game and it needs to come out when this game probably needs another year of development it comes across as a game that they spent two to maybe three years making just because everything everything that's a part of it is just sort of meh, meh. I heard Keanu Reeves changed a lot of things because uh, he wasn't supposed to be as big a part of the plot. In fact, in one of the wow. original trailers, you can hear that Johnny Silverhand only died the year before 2077, whereas, of course, in the game we got, that's not even remotely true. No, so yeah, when, really? when Keanu Reeves yeah. said, yeah, I'd love to be a part of this game, make me a main character, the, the writers were like, shit, we got to remake the entire story. Oh, Oh, did anybody else find apparently? Did anybody else find uh, the fact that Keanu Reeves was in the game really jarring, distracting? Because he's distracting, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah. Keanu it's Keanu distracting Reeves. because he's Keanu Reeves. Games. I don't know why we're stepping backwards, and well, I know why we're stepping backwards <laughs> for clout and marketing. <laughs> like, but it's it's a step backwards in terms of immersion because we're going out of our way to render something that looks like someone in real life who is an actor whose job is playing people that aren't themselves. Yeah, I find it <laughs> I find it very weird that we want, like, I mean, again, Kojima, Death Stranding, it's like, oh, look yeah. at all these actors. It's like, I remember when, like, you see, you, like, Nathan Drake is, is, a, is like a character who doesn't exist in the real world. How is that not much better for immersing me in this in this story? That these are people that aren't actors, even if they're played by actors, and the same goes for like all manner of different characters. Whereas, like, oh, it's Norman Reedus, and you could see it in the way that people talk about it. It's like, oh, it's Keanu Reeves. People don't call him Johnny Silverhand. It's Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it's Keanu yeah. Reeves. It's it's Keanu Reeves who looks like him, sounds like him. It is him. Um, and he he, he talks like Keanu Reeves, so it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. looks, I wonder what Keanu Reeves did a really good this. job. He sounds like Keanu Reeves. I think Reeves, he's doing a better like... job than yeah. I, th I think he's. I think he's better I like than John Wick. This game. Oh, it's so much better than John Wick, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's better than John Wick. John Wick, but, he just like... goes yeah. yeah. Whereas in this game, you know, <laughs> it, it, there's real it's intonation on that fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, uh, John Wick. so let me see what others. Um, there's, there's there's the gang system, like, there isn't one, like, they have like different gangs in sort of each area, but it doesn't really mean anything because there's no reputation system. Like, the amount of um tiger claws that I, I must have killed hundreds of them, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. Like, they should be they should be gunning for me, they should be like. Sending hit Hiring, squads on. Yeah. It, it, should make, it should make a difference to the way that you interact with certain characters, but it just it doesn't matter. There's One no feet. faction. There are no factions and no represent. Yeah, words. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. One, just, one, of the, one of the one of the earlier fixes. One of the earlier fixes has a lot of ties to the tiger claws. Yeah. Oh yeah, Wakako, Wakako, right? And, uh, Wakako, right? Yeah, Wakaka. Wakaka. Yeah, Wakaka. Uh, Wakaka. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. because when I, I heard her saying that or I learned that, I was like, oh shit, I've murdered like many, many, many tiger claws. I guess she doesn't care. All right, right. well, all right, good. That's good. Ludo I think, I think dissonance. In one of in one of her gigs, she does have you go out after like she does have you go after tiger claws who are like overreaching and stuff. But I can be like walking down the street and just butchering every tiger claw I run across, and she won't bat an eye. I think I'm just excited <laughs> to have combat. Well, isn't it funny? Because like mm, you compare oh boy, it to you compare it to like Red Dead Redemption Two, where like when when a bounty is on you, like people will start actively pursuing you. You'll be out in the world, and then bounty hunters will show up and try and kill you. And it feels like the world is actually reacting to your presence, whereas in Cyberpunk it doesn't feel like that. At least in terms of, like, when you're just out in the world exploring. And thematically, the game's about, supposed to be about you making an impact and being a big guy and making a difference and having people remember you and stuff, but you're sort of like a ghost a lot of the times, regardless of what you do. Yeah, that's so. a huge, huge thing that I actually think... think is what makes the game feel a little hollow for a lot of people because in most well in in most of the huge western rpgs you do rise from the bottom to the top a great deal especially in bethesda's games and fallout but um in this game wh where it's literally themed on that the theme is immortality through heroism or legend 
and you can't do any of that at all. You just, you know, you can't progress. You can't interact with the it factions and to, rise. It, it tries to imply that you do as your street cred statistic goes up, but yeah. it's never realized in the game at all. Yeah, um, my street cred at level well, one and level 13, it, they're is, indistinguishable. It I make, can just buy some more things at shops, I guess. I was going to say that is you the one thing that implies. I think is a good implementation of that actually tying what people will sell you to your street cred is that's a that's a decent i'm start, fine with that it's just that that's the only thing yeah they need it, to it's a start them. and there needs to be more <laughs> yeah you can't have these eyeballs until you're 15 level street cred you gotta go to kill more tiger claws and i'll give you these robot eyes <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, from the perspective i don't know who you are i'm not selling you an lmg <laughs> yeah yeah um it's it's like i'm not it's not miserable Can I, i'm not even saying that i'm not not enjoying it well i'm just, just, just kind of going it. through it we could probably just talk a, a bit about like what we like i suppose the game in case people yeah. feel like it's like wait why have you guys said it's middling and only criticized it <laughs> be like because <it's... laughs> like i said the it all everything from the stories to the aesthetic to the world building in terms of those you know cyberpunk aspects to the guns and the stealth and the hacking. We didn't even get into the hacking stuff, really. Um, but there's not really much to say. I like how... I, I will say this. I like how you can... So I have, like, abilities. You can you can scan people and objects and things and learn about them. And if you scan an enemy yeah, or, dogs. like, a player, <laughs> you can do little, like, ability... You can do little effects to them based on what upgrades you have for your hacker implant thingy. Mm. so like i have an ability my abilities are i could turn someone temporarily blind which is cool because then if even if they're in combat i can blind them then get behind them and like take them out or or i could like make them for I, like a memory wipe where they'll leave combat like those are kind of cool um they should have more stuff like that i feel I the quick um, acts are good perhaps yeah, a little underutilized because i'm playing a stealth hacker man character yeah me too and, uh, Same here. It gets, it starts to trivialize the game late game, but I've heard a lot of things start to trivialize the game late game. Like, it's at the point where, you know, short circuit, you can upgrade that to the point where out of stealth or in stealth, you'll just pop that on someone, it'll go off instantly, they'll die immediately, and they'll die so fast their model doesn't even register to fall over, so they just stood there um, for a second. Speaking <laughs> of that sort of thing, I wish I had it on video, but it happened once near the first, like, battle or whatever I had him once um, in the latest hour. So um, two dudes, and I hit a distraction on a machine, and um, both of them, and this is this is when I'm already about two meters away from being able to uh, choke one out. The, first, the dude who's closest to it, like, personally inspects it. The other guy, um, li like, like stands still for a little bit, then shakes, and shakes even more, and I was just like, okay, I'm backing up, don't know what's happening with that guy. Uh, uh, ooh. And then he chills out. He looks sort of moves towards it, and I was like, "Okay, I'm still not trusting it." So I activate something else that's like near that area to distract them again, and I'm like, "This will nail it," because he's already looking in that direction. And now he'll be distracted, but um, so as if his uh, pathing and his uh, vision are two separate systems, which naturally that that's very possible, but they conflict. So his pathing was going to send him back my way at the same time that I hit the distraction. And so his legs started, like, they turned and moved toward me, but his body was still facing the distraction. And so, like, I, I like, was just looking at a, a, a torso, at the back of a torso, like, heading toward me with the legs forward. No option to grab. And I was just like, what the fuck's happening? And then it's just like, oh, you've been spotted. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I, I know like, I've had issues with characters supposedly facing one direction, but not really. Like the model's just clearly not actually displaying what the 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 character in the data is doing. And I have a lot of complaints with the takedown system in terms of its, like, when you're allowed to do it and when you're not allowed to do it. Um... Like if you're behind someone but they're alerted to you, you can't take them down even though you're, you know, kind of behind them. Um, if you I've jumped down behind people and before and like as my feet hit the ground and make the noise, even though I'm staring at their back, it won't let me take them down because I guess they're like alerted to me. And so they spin around. 
uh, it's really kind of finicky. It's it's mm-hmm. definitely not a not a great system for the the stealth and the takedowns. It's kind of strange that they decided to have the decision for your takedown to be non-lethal or lethal after you've done the grab. Like I feel you could just I think yeah. they attack the same way you decide before you've even initiated any yes. takedown. You have the options for a lethal takedown or a non-lethal takedown. Yeah, you'll knock him out or you'll use your blades or something on him. Yeah. yeah, I feel life is much easier if you just do it that way. I'm not sure what you stand to gain by deciding after you've grabbed them, other than it, grabbing people and dragging them away, which is It feels nice, clunky, too. It feels uh, uh, cumbersome yeah. and clunky. Um, mm. it, it's not like other games where you get behind people, you... Like games like um, Metal Gear Solid and Deus Ex, where you get behind people and you you knock them out and you take their body and you move them and drag them. It's a very, it does feel like a very cumbersome and clunky system. Um, I think by default, as you kill or knock someone out, you should retain possession of the body. Uh, it's because having yeah, to. It's just it feels like it's unnecessary steps, and it's just we just it's, need to give people things to upgrade, I guess. It's three inputs to do what you can usually do in other games in one, or like other yeah, stealth. Games that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you have to start the grab. You have to choose lethal or non-lethal, and then they fall to the ground. Then you loot them, and then you pick up the body. That's another so. thing. When you pick someone up and go and hide them, you don't, I guess, automatically loot them or anything. Uh, so yeah. you can just pick people up full of loot and stuff and just throw them away or you have to go and f- fuddle about with their body for <laughs> well, a while to try and pick up all the stuff it was kind of one of the first things that got brought up and I, I, I meant to <laughs> say it uh, around then but I'll just say it now the uh, CJ bring it up like you know, you go through one compound let's say as a general sense of a word and you, you just you just tap in loot on basically everything when I went to the bartender in the, the sequence that followed it and I saw that you could sell him the guns. I was like, okay. And I sold him like twenty five <laughs> <Yeah>. guns. <laughs> I was like, Thanks for yeah, buying them. You, I guess. Yeah, it's like you can sell anything to anybody. It looks like it's a it's a compromise for the sake of convenience. And yet, like you can't market. even shop at the market. Despite there being That's those drop off points that you can sell things to, it's like they didn't want to inconvenience the player and have you you know have to go to a specific kind of vendor to sell a specific kind of thing. Like, so, ah, they're selling stuff. They'll buy your 12 pistols and your three ugly yeah. boots and your ugly pants <laughs> and your ugly shirt. And your yeah, ugly no, it's, con- it's convenient. It's just weird. Yeah, it's very strange. At this oh. point, I sure as hell am not going to tell them to change it. I'll take all the convenient things that I can at this point. So two things. One, hello. Uh, Tone, how you doing? Hello. 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 Uh, hello. You you've uh, you've had some some fun with this game. While we uh, ask about your experiences, I'm just popping a video on in the background. You guys are welcome to uh, check it out for yourselves. You don't need it on mute, really. This is from Das Bullshit. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty funny video. <laughs> yeah, take a look. Who knows? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> He's gone to heaven. <laughs> I, uh... Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my Alex goodness! Gold. No! <laughs> We're going gold! Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. Um... That's 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 cyberpunk in a nutshell. Yeah. Um. Uh, das bullshit. I think has probably got the <laughs> lowest opinion out of all of us on this uh, game. He's not happy. <laughs> Is, is is that the PC version that he, that's being shown? Surely I, Das is I playing on PC. I seriously doubt Das is playing on anything but PC. Yeah, um, it's wow. pretty funny though. I've never had anything that bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, so we've we've been talking about all kinds of issues. Uh, uh, tone. What's what's your uh, blurb for this game? What do you think? Um, fuck. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long have uh, you played it? Uh, 40 hours? I beat it in 20 and then I played 20 more. Um, oh. oh, wow. I feel like it's not a terrible game, but um, it's definitely not like Jesus' second coming as we all thought it might be. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's got a pretty good like style to it. The, aesthet- the aesthetics are really nice. The city, while it's like defunct and completely sterile and void of any actual like NPC physics or like uh, intelligence, which is makes the game feel like really like child like almost child's play sometimes 
like the city itself is really nice and like the gunplay is like you compare it to like the outer world or like fallout the gunplay is, is, is better um but like everything else surrounding the game is pretty much shit well <laughs> um we <laughs> that's we have, uh, yeah we've got a lot of overlap here there there's a lot of consistency with a lot of the stuff that people have been saying about this game uh, yeah so. it's not like like on one hand like i look at this like entire situation as like as like a management issue but like the development too regardless of how much time they had on the game like they had like eight years right there's like no excuse for like some of the shit that's in this game so like you can blame the the management and like the publishers and like all oh, shareholders and stuff like that well, they're sure they're a big studio. problem yeah or whatever but you still have to blame the developers it's, and especially the marketing team by the way the pr they like acted like nothing was wrong and i then don't they, know about blaming but, the developers because they would have unfucked the situation had the release dates not fucked them i mean maybe um you'd I have know, to give though. them a lot a lot of time yeah, yeah like a lot I, of time i'm i'm not at the point i i i'm not going to be so charitable i'm i don't know that's a that's an I don't know for me on that one. Fix the uh, bugs, fix the police I, system, and people would be saying, eh, 7 out of 10. I think that they're, um, I think yeah. this is just the kind of game they're not prepared to make. Possibly. It's too, it's too ambitious, it's too big, there's way too many false promises. I would agree. You're looking at like 12 months, 18 months more development, and then like, that's just to get the systems in place that you promise people. Then you have to time in in a way that's like functional and works on all systems. So you're, look, you're looking at like a long, long time of development. So yeah, I get you, dude. Like the developer, it's not their fault that they were you know, basically forced to crunch time and they didn't have the time they needed. But at the same time, they had a lot of time and what they did in that amount of time is not good enough. I think that's management is like the main responsibility there. Mm. If the people who are in charge of overseeing the, uh, the game's development, I'd put that... Because I mean, ultimately... You know, the developers are just following the lead of management. The management is dicking around and wasting, a, well, maybe not wasting time, but just making ill-advised decisions. There's not a lot that the developers on the ground can do about that. And apparently um, in the company, there's been a lot of conflict in the mm. last couple of weeks between the devs and the management like in getting into fights about how the reputation of the company has been tarnished, which it has. Like, I would be upset. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so pissed. Definitely. I completely yeah. agree with you, Frenchie. By the way, it's good to see you again, dude. Um, but yeah, at the yeah, same time, if I'm going to play devil's advocate, like, there's no excuse for the city to feel this pedestrian and the AI to be this bad when you have games like Grand Theft Auto 3, like 10 years yeah, ago, yeah. doing it way <laughs> better. And their development cycle was way, was probably less than eight years. Uh, so, like, there's no I, excuse, yeah, but I get you. Three was made less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I... Well, of course, like the problems with the game itself, like the fundamental core design problems, that's development issue, but like bugs and all that, they had more time. Oh, yeah. They'd probably yeah, be yeah. fixed. That's a completely it's different a, story. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it feels, like, it feels like there was a lot of juggling between, well, are we going to make this look all right or are we going to have it work? We have to choose one. And I guess they Did, flipped a coin yeah. on all the things. And so it just feels like a half and half game. Did you really guys talk good. about like, the the pre-release like review controversies mm -hmm. and like Briefly. all of the displacement with There's yeah a good like, you that's know more a mess about it too than, uh, than, than we might do uh what uh what what what's what yeah let me tell you my it? brief story on that yeah so yeah let me tell you br really briefly about that so i got a pc code um on de december 9th at 3 15 p.m the game was set to go live at december 9th 4 p.m <laughs> My time. So I well, got 45 minutes review? to beat Cyberpunk 2077, by the way. Yeah. Just... And then to make it, you gotta and, play it, make a video, publish it. Yeah, so like, um, <laughs> I feel like there was two groups of people. I was in the non-important people, obviously. Um, people like IGN and everyone, they probably got enough time to beat the game. Granted, probably not enough time, because they probably rushed through the game, which is why they didn't report on as many bugs and, and performance issues. But that's a whole different, uh, you know, bag of bag of worms or whatever but i got the game and i basically refused to, to to review it until i was absolutely ready which is why my review came out like five days later so like this preferential treatment towards certain outlets um and then hiding the fact that um any like they didn't give anyone ps4 codes at all so yep. 
like that in itself is like one of the biggest Very slaps scummy. in the face to the consumers yeah. of this industry like how could you possibly do that not it's not even that they omitted it they blatantly it's not they forgot they blatantly omitted it for oh the they sheer, knew what people would say yeah just to get more sales which is that is so scumbaggy and then you turn around and look at their twitter like the pr team and they're just like all lollygag everything's fine i can't wait to release this game this is going to be amazing it's so stressful but i can't wait and then like deep down like they knew they fucking knew and they did it anyway they had to yeah. definitely they knew yeah absolutely well, they made the game they made the fucking thing well, yeah like, they played the shit out of it like, as they were making it and putting it together they knew here's, exactly yeah. what those would release as here's the here's the here's the big question though you guys remember the witcher 3 that game released pretty shitty too how long do you think like do you think they could turn around the witcher the cyberpunk 2077 like they did the witcher 3 was it oh, to. i i think I, that they could they make this to. game well yeah if they want it to be on like console or the, like the playstation yeah, yeah. um <laughs> Dude, i, I think that if they uh if they I, work I, very hard I just and wonder what they... the cost. Like is how everyone's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <It's> yeah. just... <laughs> you think you think for a second, like, oh yeah, you know, they could recover. You're like, oh man, they got the the game was pulled. Like, that's how in in pieces it is. That's pretty that's intense. Huge. One of the most right? anticipated games of recent time was pulled from PlayStation Four. Oh, yeah. Unprecedented. It's crazy. It's Could you imagine if like Red Dead Redemption 2 got pulled from the PlayStation store a week after it came out? It's like unfathomable. And this is like equivalent. Yeah, is like is CDPR in the same bucket as Ubisoft and EA at this point? What? Like Anthem and Fallout 76? Ooh. Is this real? I, I Anthem Fallout like, 76 uh... didn't get taken down. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know, but like the whole <laughs> it, controversy of the game being yeah. arguably, well, they haven't have. doxed their customers yeah. yet, so oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, I think that I if think they the work very hard and put a lot of time into it, this game can eventually become good. Yeah, uh, yeah I think definitely on that. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I do not think this game will ever be great. Well, I, I think I the big thing agree. is like. Do you think I don't think they can recover their reputation to where it was before? Like I don't. That's impossible. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah, they they can't recover any of their reputation without like going ham and fixing the hell out know. of this game. I, don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, Hello Games it. managed to repair their reputation, but it took a lot of work and a lot of time. Um, well, I, I think well, I think CD I Project can, but it's going to take a lot. Maybe I don't know uh, if it will because I, I don't know I think, if it will. Um, yeah. Because I their reputation the... before this was like spotless God in a lot tier. of people's eyes. Yeah. God so, here, exactly. Good guys. That's not something you can get back to if you fall down from it. You can get Whereas back up like, to mm, good, or really good, but you I can't think, get back. I think that's a big difference. Yeah, we'll like, always be there. Hello Games was a small developer. They'd made good games. People knew of them. And this specific game was really hyped. And then it was a disappointment, but then they clawed it back, and and that makes the company look good. Whereas here, it's a god tier developer did a lot of really, really bad things that make it clear that they weren't the god tier developer you thought they were. So it's like, oh, yeah, the, the yeah, they're not they're not going to get shattered. back on the pedestal they were at. Definitely, well, this no. is the this is the year like for it. Yeah, Naughty Dog, CD Projekt Red. Oh, Naughty Dog, yeah. And, and oh, I, don't no one's <laughs> not not yet. It's not the time for the last one, too. It's on my counter right now. I have yet to play it. Please, Wait, did... God, no one mention it. Was the end of that uh, list going to be... <laughs> was the end of that list going to be Frictional Rags? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have Frictional with Amnesia afterwards, oh. yeah. That's, that's oh, genuinely man. sad that I look, we look back and that's what happened to three beloved developers. Like, damn. This is mm -hmm. why I tell people, don't pre-order games. Your little tiny fucking trousers that you get in the game, it's not gonna. Don't do it. Don't pre-order games. Make Barats. them earn your money. But gun Every skin. company can make a dud, Barats. and I've been vindicated skin, time and time again. I feel like Cyberpunk though has a lot of good things going for it, and like maybe really? it's not gonna be the game we all expected, but I feel like it can be a good game. Like, yeah, have you guys talked about like hard. the deep rooted flaws with the game? Like at the same time of like what it does well. Uh, um, well, go for we've whatever. Mostly been talking. I was gonna say like whatever well, you I want mean, to bring up. We might have covered it. 
I feel like choice is a big thing in that game that really got mis uh, misunderstood. Mm. Like, does it, did anyone else like feel like, okay, I'm coming in. Like I bought the art, the, the world of cyberpunk book. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was like a hard, I did. like a I big did. old, yeah. it's a really cool book. Right. And it said That's like cool. a lot of stuff about the lore and like, it told you a lot about like the gangs and the, the most underlying uh, thing they talked about in that book was the fact that like everyone in the city was really like uh, under this impression that you can like, um, you, you should be a cyberpunk like you could go out and like you can make body modifications and you could do whatever the fuck you want make choices join gangs and stuff like that so like that entire aspect of like not being able to customize your your um the actual the way you look outside of your arms like maybe take off an arm and put on like an implant or something yeah, like that and like cyborgs remove an eyeball faces yeah. that are all like mechanic yeah. yeah like go wild if you want to be a crazy you, cyborg, you can't even you can't even change your hairstyle or get a tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is the game setting is the time of like absurd degrees of expression for every yeah. person. Complete control so. over everything you want to change is just like sweet. Yeah, yeah and like it, it gets tied into yeah, like it gets tied into like the lifestyle choices too. Those don't really mean shit. Uh, conversations don't yeah. you, you can't really save any. I don't want to spoil. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to talk spoilers, but like the choices you make in terms of like the main characters and like where the story's going it doesn't matter what you do mm. so like that's a huge issue too uh yeah i so i'm only 13 hours into it right now and i feel like i'm on rails i i know in a lot of it how and i know in some aspects i'm not but i feel like i am because a lot of the stuff i do doesn't yeah. feel impactful mm -hmm. choice wise mm. um which is weird because they they touted that's the that's one of the touted features like immersive storytelling like I, it's immersive to, to a degree but it's mostly just because of its presentation um and it, it's got an yeah. interesting world and the aesthetics really solid and interesting but a lot of the immersion mm -hmm. aspects of it are just like surface level like doing like the players doing the work in terms of getting immersed like you kind imagine of. what's in this world, not you're shown what's in this world, and you're like, whoa, that's amazing that this is there, rather than, whoa, yeah, imagine the possibilities. Of, yeah, you touch upon all the aspects of, you know, the robots and the cyborgs and the corporations and all the, the everything from the Ripper Docs to the gangs to the fixers and how it all works together. And you're like, yeah, this seems like a, I totally buy into this world. I absolutely oh, yeah. believe it. And like that the aspect, area, yeah. the, like the area, the Pacifica area. I don't know if you've gotten to it yet, Rags, but it's like this. Not yet. It's like the, <laughs> it's like the beggar town basically on the coast. It was basically like a hotel destination for tourists, but then the bombing happened, and then the whole area went to shit. There were supposed to be like roaming gangs that you can join, mm. the, like just like that one single example is gone. That whole area is like there's nothing in that whole area. It's shot yeah, very widely. It, 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 it now, there's just it roaming really groups of three up. people that you could murder. Yeah. The area was really hyped up as like, this place is so bad that the police don't come here. They, they exactly. don't Exactly. Yeah. Here. And then they'll so, spawn behind you if you shoot. Yeah. Them. yeah. <laughs> Someone in the police spawn in behind you. It's, uh... That's probably the dumbest thing in the whole game. You shoot someone and instantly the they teleport that. behind you. <laughs> yeah, part Even if there's that. no witnesses. Stop right there. In yeah. Pacifica, it's and then they don't chase you. you just, really? Yep, turn and a corner and they forget you, just, you exist. You just Amazing. jog away. Yarny got away. Well, I guess I'll go back home. What if I found them. But what they're trying to tell, like, underneath everything is really compelling, though. Like, they've got some really cool ideas and, like, yeah, the and story itself. Super hey, fun. Super cool. They had the power to make something here, definitely. And it probably will be something by the time uh, they're done with updates. Because it's to, especially which is a which is the biggest slap in the face to people because you're gonna refund the game you know yeah I mean? or whatever and like I I hate that this is just another notch in the in the belt of of just uh, we're moving more and more toward games release unfinished that's just how they release you're like no I don't want that to be the how it's done <laughs> it's like I don't know they. I, I think people have become way too tolerant of like day one patches and like, oh, it's in a big RPG, so it's going to have bugs in and oh, they'll fix it later. I think we really need to get back to the stage of if you release a game, it should at least fucking work. On this could day be a one. turning point, you know, 
because they've lost, what, a billion quid? And obviously Fallout 76 destroyed their rep too. This might be the lesson that the industry learns. Well, because wasn't that supposed they're to... losing billions. Wasn't that supposed to happen with Battlefront 2 and Microsoft? We said that with Anthem and everything too, though. Yeah, and Battlefront 2 with microtransactions, yeah, but, we... but that's not stopped them. Yeah. People yeah, will I heard act that how they Battlefront act. 2 had a crap ton of work done to it, though. Oh, sorry, I don't mean... Good. Like, Battlefront 2 itself, I think, was was uh, improved dramatically, but the overall, like, people were like, this is it, we finally sent... Because, you know, they started to do, like, hey, this game has no microtransactions, okay? That's why you should buy it. Everyone's like, oh, we've seen a change. But it's like, I mean, they're still everywhere. <laughs> like, for a yeah, lot of things. Yeah, they stopped doing a thing that they I started think, doing. I think what that game was, was the line is drawn here at how far you can push it. Yeah. And I think that that's held yeah. true, but microtransactions... And maybe this will be the case for this, like, you can't release a game like this like it's yeah not i think acceptable. so I, I think battlefront 2 pretty much sealed it in the industry that if you're going to be in this sphere of gaming microtransactions have to be like strictly aesthetic mm -hmm. or just time saves and that that that's where they have to stay um or that versus Lord power Lord. yeah Lord. yeah versus Lord. power yeah Game content should be which accessible. is what valhalla did yeah and ubisoft games do that they do a pretty good job like you that's could buy swords them. in cosmetics or War of the boosters Roses, yeah that's it um, uh, someone but, told me uh, the hairstyle change stuff used to be a free DLC for Witcher 2 and 3, so imagine barber st uh, Barbershop stuff will be free DLC because we love you so much. Here, have a free thing of uh, Cyberpunk 2077 as well. Um, yeah, it's weird that something... It's one of those things where you're just like, why is this in the game? You had it in the last game. You would change your hairstyle yeah. in the last games, so... Like, how come you can't do it here? It doesn't I, seem I like it'd be that difficult. Yeah. This is especially weird in a game where everyone's hair is usually, like, really different. Crazy. And, and yeah. 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 Pink and spiky or sway -y and well, look at and is purple and green. Pretty strange. It's just, yeah. a, it's just yeah. a world where everyone is exactly what they want to look it's like. It's just a really bizarre thing to not include in the game on release. Yeah, no, you can't get a tattoo. You can't get a robot arm in this cyberpunk game. You can't change your hairstyle. It's like, ugh. Like I guess I'm I guess I hope I made the right choice twenty hours ago. <laughs> Do you guys ever have that glitch where you look in the mirror and your hair's disappeared and your dick's out? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, my tits sometimes. Not my dick. Oh uh, yeah. well on that note, I have to ask. Uh did you guys pick penis one or penis two? Penis the two. Big one. Right. The big one. The big uncircumcised one. one. Yeah. Whichever one that is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't realize that, I didn't realize there was another option. But my, my canon is that I was circumcised, but through the use of cyberpunk technology, I was re-circumcised. I was re-sized. Re-sized. I was un. I was uncircumcised, and so that's my it. that's my my canon for my character. Wait, I'm re I'm slowly but surely returning to monkey. I like it. <laughs> Even yeah. though I have robot eyes. One of the funniest glitches, though, is if you if you choose to have a large penis, uh, sometimes it will actually glitch through your trousers. Yeah, that happened all the <laughs> time. Oh, that happens in real life. <laughs> that happens. I did not see that. That's just life, man. That's life with a big penis. Uh, I wouldn't know. Pants. I wouldn't know. No, that's uh, that's all right. If you hoodoo. If you You don't know the struggle. Yeah, well, the small so, penis um, option is bigger than that... most people's real penises. I wouldn't be saying that from experience or anything, but uh, it's really unimmersive. Because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of, uh, you know... Yeah. Life really lacks immersion I... when you have the small Has anyone bought a hooker yet? They're alright. Did you? Did anybody else accidentally pick the male hooker? Oh, oh yeah, in because... That, in that the... scene? <laughs> yeah, I they, got they... it right. Yeah, they, they give you the picture with the two names, and but when then they take the pictures away from the names, and ask you which one you want by name, and you're like, uh, I hope you remembered. <laughs> I uh, missed that, I guess. I It was I in the main quest. I had sex with Judy. I didn't see no hooker. Oh, so I haven't had sex with Judy so yet, but that's what I'm working her. towards. Yes. Uh, yeah, or, if you're a female, you can. Oh, oh fuck God. off. Never mind. Hell yeah, well, let me go. Let me... <laughs> fuck. I can't convince her to see the light. <laughs> hey, well, if this game had customization, you'd be able to kind of be, a, you know. Yeah, for this, yeah, for this female. mission, I want to be a woman. Yeah. Did anybody else? Uh, Prosthetic. Did anybody man. else sleep with the uh, lady from Militech? 
but I really wanted what? to. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, on accident. Yeah. On accident. So, oh wow. By the way, really? she called me up. She calls me up and she was like, I yeah. guess this is the last time we're gonna see each other. And I, and I, I replied joking to like, oh shame, I wanted to see more of your tattoos. And she's like, go to this motel. Uh I'm like, okay, showed up the motel, and she's there in fucking bondage gear with black tape on her nipples. Yeah. And then we do it. <laughs> Neat. All right. So you guys have that to look forward to if you if you play your cards right. Can I say something about Meredith, by the way? What and a couple of the other characters in this game? Go for it. Why, why doesn't she? Why doesn't she get more screen time? Like some of these characters get like no screen time. They do one story beat, then they then, and then they move on, and you never see him again. Regina Jones, though, she just never fucks off. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Constantly calling. <laughs> you know. I'm not a fan of throwaway characters. It just feels wasted. I don't mind them when they're like used effectively, but. For the most part, people I've met in what? All right. oh. oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> nope. He was about to spoil or something. So yeah, I guess yeah. He, he um, himself short. Yeah, I got the right thing. Um, I'm glad I don't have to go bowling with anybody. Hey, Nico. When they, when they call me on their cell phone. You know, um, just going back to mechanics, I guess. The, there's a sequence where um, you have to go down. There's like a whole room you can clear, you know, stealth or not, and then the next room, you'll kind of, uh, there's, there's a guy you can knock out, and then there's two cameras, and there's a whole bunch of shit going on, like, a, a level below you. And I was curious, like, so what does this game, how does this game deal with, I'll shoot one of them and just run all the way back to really far into the map. And I guess I shouldn't be so invested in the idea of, like, we evolve to a point where that someone could do something with that in the game, because they all had vision on me. They were like, oh my god, a little, little, and I just like, I ran off a few rooms back and just stood still, and it only took a few seconds, and it was just like, okay, they lost you. Like, you oh. mean resetting aggro? Yeah, it's just, um, I guess a little bit disappointing that um, there wouldn't be more to it. Uh, in As well as, like, you know, the, you have the, uh, is it, what, is it, what is it called, like, reset optics or whatever? You can just... I found that it was yeah. really yeah, okay. easy going, and I was on hard mode, right? So I was like, come Reset on, give me... Trivialize. Yeah, it, ma shit. it makes um, a lot of these sequences, like, I can make so many mistakes, and uh, I just don't really care mm -hmm. that much. Like, you know, um, I wanted to play through stealth-wise, but if ever I lost my stealth for whatever reason, I wasn't really worried. I was just like, well, I guess I'll just kill everyone. Yeah. I yeah. think if I play through the game a second time, which I honestly probably won't do, but if I do, it'll just be a straight up, just just fucking combat character like just what fuck i did stealth. yeah i'm just combat gonna give myself so the satisfying. I'm, I'm just gonna give myself the cold-blooded regen shit and then that'll be done with that tree and then i'll just put everything else into other things and just say fuck it yeah i feel like if you get quick hack double jump in the slow slow time ability you just do john wick it's because the ai is so kind of dumb in this game like mm -hmm. what you were saying Mahler. like you could take advantage of a lot of the aggro stuff and resetting the, yeah. the areas i feel like going john wick is just so much and more they fun. do the whole when you you shoot at enemies but they don't really like behave like they're being shot and their life is in danger they'll still stand in the middle of the street and not hit you at a distance they'll yes, still um, just like w remain out in the open uh, uh, i was actually did you guys watch go ahead i was just gonna say when i was shooting them with um i had a, i had a pistol machine gun and shotgun with my three like just cycling weapons Unloaded the entire like rifle into a person essentially point blank and they didn't even notice like the blood was splattering But they were just mm. they were carrying on with life the shotgun I shot them and they flung across like and landed on the room I was like, oh sh sweet cool. The gun has actually has impact. They got back up and I was like haha I've already reloaded shot them again. It did nothing. And I was like, oh Huh, and it's like the shotgun has a chance of knocking them over I guess or at least that was my experience yeah. with it it either makes them flinch or it just flat out ragdolls them, which means they're dead, essentially. Um, but yeah, I, I, I won't fault the shotguns for being... They've been very potent for me. Uh, they're really good. Power weapons, but, too. Um, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, power, apparently. power weapons do feel powerful. They do. Did, did, how, did you guys experiment with like the ricochet and the smart weapons? I didn't really get Not too yet. much of that. No, no, right. Not yet. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel a need... Kind of... The handy, but I don't because that was supposed to be a big feature. Well, I don't feel a need to experiment work? with anything because the guns that I pick up from the thugs that I kill are just like great. So I don't feel a need to try new tactics or things. I know that if I ever get into a fight, I could just hit them with this baton and they'll die, or I'll shoot them with these guns that I found along the way, and it's all good. 
I just remember playing. I just remember like watching early trailers and like they were walking on walls with the mantis blades oh, doing all yeah. this crazy oh, shit. Yeah. There was like smart tech weapons like going around corners. Like, where is the game? Where is that game? Yeah. I don't feel like I want I, Ricochet. Just sounds like I'd, I'd use it once and be like, that's kind of nifty. And then I'd Why go back to you, just yeah, shooting like, everyone in the face. Yeah, like just go back. Like, Smiling standing out the ocean. All the different weapon types feel really half baked in the integration. Yeah. Like, like it feels like it's just there to tell you what, like, what kind of weapon you're firing in case you don't want to be firing weird electric bolts. Yeah, because uh, just shooting out. them with whatever gun you have works perfectly fine mm. all the mm. time. So you never feel any need to, oh, well, exactly. what mod am I going to use? Am I going to check my strategy or am I going to do this or plan ahead? Like, no, nah, it's fine. Just run and shoot them in the face. It's all good. They'll, guys... stay, they'll stand still for you. What the... Did you guys find the lack of like an actual cover system bothersome? Like the ability to like, no. like an escape from Tarkov, you can like, um, you could like reach over obstacles or around corners with your gun to get like shots down a, like a hallway, which is really cool. Like I mm. thought that stuff would be in the game too. I'm I feel like fine it'd be nice to found it in an option to like lean out of cover. Yeah, the leans. Well, you can lean out of cover, but yeah, you when you can lean in cover yeah. is like really nebulously defined. They oh, could okay. have easily just given you a it's lean like button. Oh, or like never noticed. They could have given you a lean ball. button, or they could have. Like made sticky cover, like Deus Ex Human Revolution. Yeah, yeah. But instead, they've got this weird middle ground again, where yeah, there's a cover system, I guess, and you can lean, I guess. Kind of. We're not mm -hmm. gonna really clearly. I haven't had an when, issue with it. <laughs> it's worked fine for me. But then again, I play a lot of Battlefield One, and it uses that system, so maybe I'm just used to it. Uh, so it's eh, relatively it's intuitive one. to me, but yeah, like, it's, I'm getting it's along fine. fine with it. It just feels like. A strange way to do things. I think if your game isn't built around the idea of sticky cover, like if you're not a Gears of War or something like that, sticky cover feels extremely out of place and is just worse to have than not. Mm. Mm. In which case, I yeah. feel like just a general lean button would be. Yeah, like, you just have like a soft, like a soft. You could just have like a soft sticky cover system where you can have like more control and like you could put your gun around corners and above obstacles. Like if you're behind a table, you could like literally move your you could just reach over the table and start like uh shooting which in turn would the, like the ricochet mechanic would come into play then you could like ricochet shit off of like pillars to hit people to the right or to the left like i don't know like i just think about the combat system i think it's really good but i feel like they could have done more I, and like I what they promised has, th there's some missing mediocre. features for sure i think it's like five out of ten for 2020 it, it works. Uh, it's yeah. totally serviceable. It works fine. I have no complaints with it, but I have nothing to really praise about it either. It's perfectly the, serviceable for 2020, I guess. Yeah. The only thing Can't I really that. No, go Sorry. on. No, you first. I was gonna. Well, I was gonna talk about the melee. Um, has I don't know about anybody else, but I found that melee combat is very. It's really weird and janky, but it's also very overpowered. It's very effective. I've put no skills at all Love into it. melee stuff, but I know that I could just go up and punch a dude twice in the face and he's just done. I, I could shoot him 20 times with a gun or I could punch him. Yeah, the, 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 with the, the, the weird. stagger is incredibly effective. Simultaneously, I feel like it's too easy, but also that my bullets aren't really bullets. They're more paintballs. It's got enemies are very bullet spongy. Really yeah, kind of. Yeah, it gets um, better later. They are in the until game. you get OP. Yeah. Well, because it's difficult to kind of track that sort of thing because you they're like leveled. Mm. Um, mm. So sometimes you'll fight enemies and they just drop instantly, and sometimes you got to put you know maybe five or six headshots into them with your assault rifle. And it's like, eh, I just, I is like the game knows what my numbers are. I feel like you should just have all the enemies be slightly challenging based on what my numbers are but yeah it's, it's... that's something i kind of take issue with in the game broadly i don't know if we need like number based level up system no in the game we don't overall <laughs> like especially when it creates really odd things like i am not high enough level to equip this tank top <laughs> which starts to get kind of uh, annoying yeah, yeah little... in the fashion game yeah. Oh, yeah. Your character always looks ugly, and so your tank top will give you more protection than this body armor you picked up. <laughs> yeah. <RS -talk> security <laughs> guard. It's the most unthinkable so, like, thing as well because there is an armor slot where things like ballistic jackets and that go. You have an arm like it's the outerwear place. You put things like bulletproof vests and stuff there, but other stuff factors into your armor too for some reason. 
Like, if we like, really needed an armor system, why couldn't it just be down to that slot? Well, and they me? need they need to have a uh, like a light and heavy, or maybe a medium armor in each tier, and that could work into the upgrades you have. Where, yeah, heavy armor it will protect you significantly. But you're slower, but you're slower. Yeah, you can't I jump know. as high. You can't run as fast. You None of that's in far. the game. No, that's in the game. Yeah. Nope. If you are buck ass naked, and, or if you're running around with helmets and Kevlar and heavy vests and suit, same thing, no difference. Because it's a, the only stat your armor has is armor and ugliness. <laughs> I, <Yeah. laughs> relating to the uh, the the bullet sponginess or whatever, it, it, as you said, it, well, it's not consistent across the board for me because obviously I'm fighting different enemies and stuff. But um, part of the awkwardness of it is I'll have my rifle and i'll be like if i essentially blind fire but they fill my cross here it'll be fine and then i wonder to myself like how am i how am i losing no health while doing this and it's just like because the enemies often don't they either like sort of shoot and miss almost deliberately or they just go, sort of go like hey stop i'm gonna get you all with the same voice by the way which yeah, is so I'm, funny yeah and I'm just like, man, it's, it's lucky that I'm not getting shot at right now, I guess. <laughs> and then I like, I, I, I need to reload, I hide behind like a box, and then I can just repeat. I, I do We're... find myself losing HP in like, cover-based I'm definitely shot at, that. I'm saying this, this shouldn't happen at all, but it happens every once in a while, and I find it really odd. Oh, I only die to bullshit. Such as? I die because, oh, you just walked into the zone of high-level people who instantly kill you. Or that thing next to you? Oh, actually, that's a that's a barrel that's been activated, but it's like a cyberpunk barrel, and it looks nothing like something that would explode. Oh, it exploded! Yeah, oh, now you know that those explosives. things explode and kill you. Explosives. Um, I'm not so a fan awful. of, and this might just be I need to play the game more, and I'll, I'll be cool with it. But I wasn't a fan of the fucking magical hacking setting you on fire shit. I don't know. Uh, that's annoying as shit. But you <laughs> have to get a perk that disables the enemies the ability to do that to you. Because it's annoying as shit. Unlock the ability yeah. to not I've get set on found fire. It, I've also found it really weird how they can hack you even from different rooms or through walls, but you can't do the same to them. Or is that because they're doing it through the cameras and I'm well, being an idiot? You, they're probably doing it through cameras or something. Usually, I think that is how the game would like. I like how we because, don't have an answer. Uh, okay. Right. Well, so that was going to be my follow-up question it about this. Be... Um, Sorry, oh wait, what is this? I just posted something, uh, I don't know if you could show it or whatever, but it's the funniest thing ever regarding the AI. Yeah, I've seen this. This is, uh... I oh, yes. cracked <laughs> up. Man, this, this subreddit is amazing now. <laughs> How, so, what, what's um, the um, funniest what's, thing I've ever seen? What's the sentiment like in this subreddit? Is it... The... Absolute hate. Horrid. Absolute There's a lot of people hate. on the game. <laughs> Anarchy. Yeah, it's gone Some to very hell. good memes. Very good memes. While, awesome. while it's on my mind, because uh, I don't want to forget, we, we briefly talked about combat for a while um, and how it so how combat mixes with stealth mechanics in this game are really shit. Um, one of the great things about games that are especially built around stealth or have a lot of stealth options in mind, games like Deus Ex, games like Splinter Cell and whatnot, is that you can effectively, if you play right, kill every single person with like a headshot. And the, the skill isn't in the shooting of the people. It's in the positioning and the awareness of where enemies are and moving around tactically. And that's that takes the place of the exciting gunfire. It, that, it's its own skill. But in this game, especially when, uh, when suppressors will reduce your damage on their gun by like 30% or something crazy, um, I've never used... All of my stealth is just takedowns from behind. It's never shooting people stealthily mm. one at a time when they're isolated or not looking at each other uh like there's well like in splinter cell you have your basic enemies and it's the amount of them their positioning and if they're interspersed with armored enemies that will change the difficulty in how you behave as well as the like the layout of the rooms and the play areas that you have and this game doesn't seem yeah. like even though it has a clear stealth option present stealth slash combat mixed together works really, really poorly, and it just wasn't designed for it. I just really, I just really don't care. It, it, and what's the point of trying to use these combat stealth options when everyone just 
dies so quickly anyway. Like, I don't feel like stealth is giving me anything. It does. You know, like, it oh, no, I, it's late game, it, it does. <laughs> yeah, because, I was, oh, no, I've been spotted. Well, that's fine. I'll just, I guess I'll just massacre them now. Like, eh. Again, I don't even think, even if you couldn't massacre them, you just run back, and then if any come anywhere near, you deactivate their optics, and then you just reset the room. I think it's more along the lines of a player's fantasy. You know what I mean? Like, people fantasize about being sneaky ninjas, and the game does give you the option to sneak around and kill people. You don't have to. It's not necessary. You can kill everyone easily, but the game gives you a little hacking mechanic that makes it easier. So if players want to engage in that system, then I feel like that's the extent of it. Like, I recently played Chaos Theory Rags. Complete yeah. the sophistication in the stealth system regarding the positioning and the tools you have, it's so much more eloquent. But like oh, here... About like conviction and blacklist, those are excellent stealth games, and they're yeah. quick and they're really snappy. But they're not like complicated. They just have really good mechanics and in terms it's of very, and how stealth works and how enemies are spread around. The integration's much more sophisticated for sure because yeah. that's what the game is. Here, I feel like if it's the fantasy you want to live out, if this is the cyberpunk you want to make, if you want to be a ninja. Here's a couple options. They're not that complicated. They're not that complex. They don't really weave into, like uh, what Mahler was saying, they don't really weave into uh, the other applications of the combat, like, you know, gunplay or whatever, because you'll just trigger everyone, right? So it's like, it's there for players who want it. It's not fleshed out. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier, where they could have done much more. Can you be yeah, a ninja? Because there's no blade stealth takedowns. It's only fists, which is insane for a melee yeah. character. Yeah, I hated that, by the way. Only universe. one animation. Mm. It's like you either choke them and they pass out, or you just break their neck, and that's it. There's no deus ex sword through the face, or yeah. cyberpunk, like you jack into their brain and fry it, or you stab Seriously, them. Seriously, or... dude. Nothing. So it's cool. Just like, your neck and they fall down and you're like okay i i feel like a lot of these enemies are broken neck wouldn't actually kill them in this universe but <laughs> all right Elstrom gangers like could you even break their neck do they have necks yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> can we be sure it's just a really dis if you play this as a stealth game it will be very disappointing it'll it's like a watered down version of way better games but it's not bad sex. it's not bad yeah it's just, it's just yeah, not like, like phenomenal Mm. Yeah, I was... it's, not, it's not the game that it, it had been hyped up to be or that we were promised. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are doing the whole, it was never going to be able to live up to that. And like, okay, let's chill. Like, it's not, that doesn't, that's not an excuse, okay? <laughs> like, it's just because it was but it never... Doesn't, but, I, but I'm not even talking about what people hyped it up to be. I'm talking about what CD Projekt said they were going to deliver. It didn't live up to that. I when I wish that. I had the, yeah. when, when I'm wishing that this There's game a was more for Far Cry New Dawn, like, you need to step it up. I have more of a problem when I was working through the game. I don't know if you guys feel the same way as I do, but I just didn't feel like the variety and the amount of combat scenarios scaled well with how much storytelling there was. Like, there's a lot of like listening to people, sitting your ass down on the couch, following people around. There's, I didn't feel like there was a lot of organic events. There wasn't a lot of variety in the missions. You just kind of kill people, follow, sneak around. I just didn't think the brevity was there either. Look at that. Because the game's quite short. So this is a list Wait. of what was gathered from the gameplay reveal demo in 2018 compared to what we got, is it? Uh, yeah. I'll get a magnifying glass. Game. <laughs> I must oh, just be clear, clear though, just with the Mantis it. Blades and the, the wall running, they did actually say after the 2018 demo that they just couldn't do it because it broke the level design, so they were, they, we did know that they were going to take that out. Hmm. Reflex with the cyberware final game, you can't let Jack say no third person cut scenes in the game. Yeah, that would have been cool, especially if you could customize your character with a lot of enhancements and upgrades and cybernetic stuff to more regularly see your character in third person as part of the world. Maybe that's why they, they didn't do that because you couldn't. I get like, I don't know, um, if they just needed a whole other year. Recoil spread and range are gone from stats or hidden. Attachments still have a mysterious range stat. If someone knows what 0 0.24 range translates in... Oh, yeah. So this game... Let me actually show you something that I found in the game. This game has one of my big pet peeves, which is that like the tooltips and the info they give you for stuff is practically worthless. 
and so you have no idea what it is. Some of it, like, for what sure. Is, yeah. Yeah, like, what does plus point... What does plus 0 0.24 range mean? Like, I, I have no idea what that means, other than I guess it's more range. Um, from user ranks... Have... Oh, here we go. Yeah, let me... This is This is cyberpunk, everybody. And it's very useful information that it gives to the player. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth 10 quid, though. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> 10 eddies. For muzzle. Zero, Zero times, times damage multiplier when attacking from <laughs> the That's a steal. <laughs> That's probably the, that my favorite bad. tool tip of all That's time. That's 3. What was that one when I showed you, Mahler, the eye implant and its little tooltip was like enhances vision? It enhances vision, like, that's what oh, it said. It's like, okay. Okay, all right, then. Thanks. That's helpful. Like, all right. Um, that helps me making four decisions. <laughs> this one, so this is, I guess, a spoiler clip. So if anybody is still not. Oh, about no. The yeah, death I've of seen someone. This too. Um, so oh, look, no. look away, everyone. But this is something Das just sent me, and don't look away if you want to see something funny and don't care about spoilers. Uh, all of you, check that. Something video. like this happened to me, and it <laughs> ruined my time. Yeah, it <laughs> fucks <laughs> this scene. Oh. <laughs> I've seen this before, where like weapons and items get stuck to people's hands and stuff like that. <laughs> this doesn't even surprise me. This should happen all the time. All the time, yeah. <laughs> Does, it does happen. No lip syncing, heads disappearing, you put the tea posing in the middle head. of a cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. People, I, I found that like the lip, uh, sorry, that the mouths uh, often glitch out during these in-car cutscenes where they just won't, the lips won't move. Has anybody else noticed that? That happens to I me have. all yeah. the yeah. time where the, they stop moving. Yeah. So I don't think anyone it's... who's played this game didn't have graphical issues like uh to the degree some more than others obviously but i don't think anyone's had a clean experience with this game unfortunate yeah my the bugs have uh they've ruined immersion for me well not, in some cases they've ruined immersion on when you're talking to somebody in a diner you could see the diner happening behind you as you talk and sit in it and i've had characters just appear from nowhere just appear in the world in the middle of the diner and just like start walking around Normally, a character will like slide a little bit before their walking animation can catch up. But, <sighs> and that's the thing is not of... um, it's not like 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 a like a game that's so broken that we're all laughing at it constantly or anything. It's just that... I'll finish it, and I'll probably like I enjoy my time with it mostly. But it's more like a yeah, I guess I'll play Cyberpunk for a while. I'll play it for a bit, and then I'll go do something else after that. Which is weird, because like I was like touting this. like I was like, dude, this is going to be the fucking game. This is the GOAT. Mm -hmm. And then when I finished it, I was like, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's... I wonder what the table is. Kind of fun. Minus. But okay. Did you Minus guys get bugs? ever get the bug where you'd walk in, where you'd get into a car, but the car hadn't loaded yet? It was still about like two polygons. So yeah. it was just this massive mess of unloaded polygons and you couldn't even see. Well, normally I, I uh, get the problem where I haven't loaded yet. I uh, I really like when um my car just, a, a car spawns into my car and then they start like, <laughs> you know, like flopping yeah. around and, <laughs> and crashing. Yeah, I've summoned my entire garage into the same place at once somehow. <laughs> a persistent issue I've been having with vehicles is... Anytime I leave a car, or like this happens a solid like seventy percent of the time, the textures on my character's outfit will just go ballistic and they'll start like flying everywhere, all in front of my camera, so I can't see shit. And I don't, I don't know what's causing that, and I have to just unequip everything I'm wearing and then reequip it in order to fix it. I have a couple of times like reloaded like a quick save or an auto save, and for some reason when I load in, my gun will be firing. Um, and then I'll, I'll I'll fire into a crowd, which will of course trigger the police. So then I'll have to reload a set. And some there was one time I actually got stuck on that loop three times before it finally loaded in, and I wasn't firing my gun. I have no idea why. Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, I guess this is an Act One spoiler if you guys don't mind. But yeah. um, I was I really do not like that T Bug died. 
I really liked her. I thought she, I thought her voice lines and her character was really interesting, and I was really hoping to get more of her as time progressed. So I just she was say, wasted, yeah. yeah. I think she, well, I think she was wasted, yeah. I think. Do, uh, you feel that way about that. Jackie too? I do. Mm, Although yeah, his death was, it was kind of a motivational thing. You at least yeah. got closure with Jackie, though, whereas you never find out what happens to T-Bug, I don't oh, think. she died. That's it. Yeah. You, she you died. Did. You don't yeah. even know. It just happens over the radio. fried by something. Whoever the fuck. What killed her? I, um, I have no idea. Like, she got made. When she Net says Runner she got made, caught. and then she, like, went, went she offline. She by the connection thing. Called she called the disconnect. security. They, she got, they just get fried. She got like, ghost in the shell, I guess. Um... Yeah, pretty much. But uh, you, you don't know that she died when she died. She's just like, oh, a scream of pain, and then yeah, she like, screams, oh. and then that's it. Oh, like, yeah. oh, she dead forever. There's you no more her. Oh, she's dead. Yeah. Makes you wonder oh, how these decisions that. were made, and whether or not it was like maybe she was never that important originally, and then they just she got padded she out because of different tutorial things getting made and different opening stories getting made. That's how I feel about Johnny. Like, how much was he in the game before they? Like, you know what I mean? Like, was Keanu Johnny at the beginning, or did he come in and they were like, holy shit, we got Keanu, let's let's make the whole game yeah. about him? Apparently that know. kind of was what happened. Yeah, I don't really feel interested in him at all. I, I Maybe he gets better, but so far, it's just like, eh, it's just Keanu. Reeves. I had a bit of that I like weird weird Johnny's game. character. I think you can have some really good back and forths with him. Well... Funnily enough, Later I had on. some weird Ludo narrative dissonance because I finished Act 1 and I immediately started doing side missions and Johnny would just pop up and we'd have casual yeah. banter. And then I do like that. I do well, I do like that, but yeah. what I'm saying is I then do the story mission right after the like the first story mission in Act 2, and Johnny pops up and they're talking like they've never met before and they hate yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is a bit weird. It's, 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 the it's surprising how much of that is in this game. They don't account for the different pathways you can take very well at all. The yeah. game expects you're going to go straight to Takemura after you leave, but which I is didn't. the that most was... bizarre expectation. Well, after two Why hours, ever expect that was that? like two hour mission. I want to explore the world after yeah, like two hours of Arasaka you, shit. You've, you've been set. Some of those missions like, are this hell feels long. Like the moment you get set loose, right? Yeah. Like this is the moment you get set loose into the world, yeah. and then. They, they seem to be banking on you immediately going to the story thing. Mm -hmm. Why would you ever expect that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So for me, it was it was their relationship that screwed up, because I did talk to Takamura, and it was clear that V and J Johnny's relationship was, you know, not good. They didn't like each other. So I just went, you know, five meters and found a guy playing a guitar, and all of a sudden they're best chums <laughs> yeah. talking about how finger technique and finger style like what, I, yep. what the fuck just happened yeah <laughs> and one of one of the the things early on with me and johnny that made it hard for me to connect with them or be interested with them is that v says nothing that i would say like v v is always he is i i want him i'm interested in learning about this johnny guy and what he's gonna do and what he thinks and are we gonna work together and stuff like that and every time v would say something it would just be nothing at all like what i would say and so it got really hard for me to connect with this relationship they're trying to build. Well, it also kind of splits the game in two. I mean, for the first, I don't know how many hours, it's basically a story of V and Jackie, right? And like what they they want they what they want for their lives. And then Takamura comes in, and then Johnny comes in, and then it's the end of the game. It's it's some consistency I think is missing. I feel like the Jackie, you know, the though. They should have kept him around for way longer. It felt like it went from probably. Mafia Two to a completely different story. Because I don't have any, I don't have any anchor, and maybe that's sort of the point. But the gameplay suffers for it, and the story does. Like if I, if if the one constant I had from beginning to the end was Jackie, and then he was what was in jeopardy that I was, you know, going to care about, and maybe I had to decide between him or what other gameplay things might happen. That would be effective, but if everyone's just like dying, and I don't have anything to to have and keep in terms of characters and relationships, it's just like, oh, well. It's yeah, they they dump that off in favor of um like the actual narrative versus the character. I felt that way anyway. It's like I really liked Jackie for the six hours or whatever, and I was really curious of like what was going to happen. And then Johnny comes in. I think he was his performance was really good. Like he's an asshole, but you kind of like him, so. 
I feel like that's a that's a win. But after like Johnny comes in, it's more like uh like goals versus like uh things inside the world that change. And then the ending happens and it's like huh. It it does something that bugs the hell out of me in these open world games, and it's kinda petty, but it really annoys me in that always in these open world games where you're encouraged to like go around and explore and piss around and do whatever you want uh they make the main story something where time is very pressingly of the essence which makes me really feel weird anytime i'm not doing something that's directly tied to the main story yeah we have like, to go save such and such oh like, this person's over here we gotta get there quick 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 like Witcher like, 3 yeah, for example yeah. like siri is being hunted down by the wild hunt as we speak but also, let me go and help this lady find her pan. And then yeah, in just, Cyberpunk, just a few more rounds of Gwent. It, Cyberpunk, it's I'm literally dying by the second. But uh, I'm gonna go and just do some biz to get money, I guess. <laughs> let me buy a new car. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to be the best street brawler in Night City. It's really annoying to me, but it's. In, it's in I don't think any in open world can ever get away from that. Besides cutting the I amount of content disagree. you can interact with, I think, I think you just don't have a you, you just don't have a ticking time bomb as your main quest. Yeah. The main quest is just yeah. this. I no, mean, I mean like games that do have those, you can't expect people not to notice unless you just remove everything away from them yeah, to do. So they can the, focus on that stuff. Yeah, if it's Fallout, I mean Fallout New Vegas. You know, there was just this overarching, mm. the main story for the most part was there's these factions and they don't like each other and something might go down, but like it's it's not like a huge deal if it's not super fast. And you have Fallout 4, which is your son has been kidnapped and stolen from you. You have to go find him. Also, there could be duct tape in that outhouse. Go and check. So Cyber mm -hmm. Cyberpunk, I do want to give a bit of credit to because it almost feels like it's somewhat aware of that issue and tries to solve it but doesn't try nearly hard enough which you know makes it harder to give the credit in that a lot of main story things uh after you get done with like a particular quest or quest chain uh the person will then go to you okay i need to do some stuff you know call some people find some stuff do some digging whatever uh i'll call you when i love that actually it's yeah. like yes good so you're enabling me to go and do side things without feeling like hold on i have very pressing main story concerns to worry about the trouble becomes there's three main story things for the most of the main story so and there's no way you can get them all done quick enough that you then still have time to do things before the next one is like back to being ready to proceed with so yeah but at least they're aware yeah of the issue they're like, trying something there's something there that's like you needed to go a bit further you need more time i think between main story missions perhaps yeah but then you could like um fast forward time which by the way is hilarious because <laughs> the cars don't move <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like you can fast forward 24 hours in advance and the same car will be parked right next to you at least you just change the quick. position of the sun at least it's quick because yeah. you could just fast forward three days or whatever because takamura is like oh hold on i gotta find out some more shit give me a couple days you fast forward uh 72 hours or whatever he calls you right back so like yeah, they try, but at the same time, you can circumvent it at the same time. What did you guys think about the montage with Jackie that they just... People felt that they skipped over what should have been in the game. I feel like... Uh, it was, it was, it was cut content, wasn't it? It does feel that way. Like I mean, it, it feels like it would have been good, that, that part of the game. It feels like that part of the game would have been where you really figure out what you're going to be doing. Like who you especially are especially because in the during act one in particular if you do the story missions you don't feel like you get to do a lot of stuff um like there's a lot of talking and, and i'm not generally the one to complain about this but there's a lot of sitting and listening and yes, talking and so i'm just like man all that action that you blew by in that montage that that looked awfully fun. Not gonna <laughs> lie, like, those, were, those were looking really fun. All those that stuff they were doing. I, was, I just think it would have been better for for your uh, investment in Jackie too. Like this is a guy who's essentially mm. taking you in, looking after you, and then you work with him until you're able to take care of yourself fully. Like that sounds like something that yeah. if you went through it would be really good for a uh, well the the first act. Yeah, you live like... in his house for a while until you get your own place, so you should know his family and. 
you know, things of that nature. And I think I that feel like a lot of people most clearly displays the issue with the multiple life paths because you see your corpo character, and then the montage is the same every time. It's like that's the shit you end up going and doing, which is like you're very clearly mm -hmm. being funneled into this one particular like type of character who has this particular op uh, like, occupation being a merc. It's like, almost so. like have the have your lifestyle be like your character class in a way. Like it's it should be big and important and impactful. Tie that into tie you got to tie in the narrative to the mechanics. I have no idea how feasible it could have been, but it almost feels like it should have been like three completely separate stories almost have mm. have the ability have it to where like your lifestyle choice will determine all of your like what your attributes are mm. you know like if you're a street guy then you'll have you know these stats and you'll know about these things more than these things if you're corpo then you'll know about these things more than these things or or it, like in addition to things you know about the street kid gets more cool and they get more reflexes or yeah something. it's like here's your pool of stuff but you because of your lifestyle you can distribute it between all of these you can't do over there because you have no idea what those are because you're corpo. You don't know anything about the the seedy underbelly of the city, really. You yeah, maybe maybe that, uh, that thing like, like maybe you system. could have it where um if you like pick a corpo specifically, you are better at uh talking. You're better at um like getting information through interrogating, yeah, communicating with people. And should yeah, yeah, we, we, we talked about it earlier. Like just yeah. you should be yeah, shit with yeah, street right. smarts, but you should be on top uh, with oh, yeah, operations. But I, I guess that's what I'm saying is like maybe just because I kind of feel like um I sometimes think it's better to just do the thing that Rags just said, where it's like these are your classes, you are this. Yeah. So um, at least and that's your so at playthrough. least you feel like you made a choice that's important because yeah, choosing what class you are that is a very impactful and constant thing that you know it creates constraints and challenges for you to work within that you're always aware of and you're like yeah that was a choice i made and it makes sense narratively too like i am a corpo i need to use my technological skill and my speech craft and my handgun skill because you, you you carry a like a concealed sidearm with you, and so you're really good at pistols, but you don't you don't really use rifles and snipe rifles ever, so you don't really have much knowledge about those. It is so it things like that. Like the game belabors the point as to the corpo types are not well liked on the streets, which makes it a wonder how your character with your background <laughs> gets anything done. Considering all of your interaction is because with the that game wasn't rebellion. built with well, it's corpo. Fine, it doesn't make a difference anyway. Yeah, the, the game was built with corpo having its own thing. It feels like, and then they had to staple it onto this, despite the fact that everyone would probably tell you to fuck off the moment you started trying to talk. Which to honestly them. would be kind of cool. Like, it, it, that's really like that. a part of your handicap is that most people on the street hate you. Like, they just don't like you already. So you have to work mm. a little harder in that respect. They already did that with Mankind Divided because you were yeah. hated for being an org. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like unless unless you've got business with someone in particular, like they just don't let you into the afterlife. Things yeah, like but that. they're or, like or you're just not allowed. To. Yeah, in some yeah. missions, especially like have that be yeah, have that be like a whole mission where it's like I need to get into the afterlife. It's like, no, fuck off. And then you have to like sneak in in the you same have to way. Do something like, else. You, well, a, yeah, a like in human identity. revolution. Well, it's yeah. it's basically the same as in Human Revolution, where you go to the police station. If you screw up the conversation with the cop at the front, you have to sneak your way in. Same as like, in the Hive. That was a really yeah good sequence. It's it's almost like Deus Ex is better, but hey, look. Almost. <laughs> yeah, y'all need to play Deus Ex. I've I haven't uh, I've played uh, Human okay. Revolution was the one I played. I still need to play Mankind Love Divided, it. but I really liked it. It was a fun Maybe game to play. I played Mankind a Divided non lethal stealth just, game, and yeah. it was so fun. It was great. It's mm, really fun it. that way. So and good. I just say Mankind Divided is basically just Human Revolution, but with uh, improvements to the gameplay mechanics. Yeah, but the story though, the and story it's not, not the music's yeah. not as good, and it's not it's I not got like the grandeur. Yeah. And uh, I hope we get a sequel, please. Just, just Avengers fail, all right? Just bury it. <laughs> and give me a better game. Give I up actually tried to write the the third game once. Unironically, I tried to write fan. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's cool. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna. Uh, that uh, this this is probably a good interval to be like, hey, if you want if you want to jump out now, um, that that's that's a okay, and uh, 
uh, I guess if, if before you go, uh, t Tone, if you want to talk about what you do on your channel before you, uh, before you, before you go, so people can find you wherever you may be, whatever you're up to. You've done a review oh. of uh, Cyberpunk, right? Yeah, um, I just talk about games. You guys can find me at uh, slash down with thrust. I uh, appreciate you guys having me on. It was really fun. Thanks for the chit chat. Yeah, always good to get your input. And I hope you all are well for Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It is almost upon us. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Dude. Hope you guys have a fun. fantastic Christmas. You too. Nice to meet you. Hey okay, guys, see, see you later. Bye. 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 Got you, dude. Did you I, wanna... I think I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. take this opportunity to head off as well. Uh, got some family stuff <laughs> to do. Yay. Um, <laughs> family. I know, right? Ugh. Who has one of those? Oh. Not Spider Man. Not um, Corpo's. Not Corpo's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely. Um, I, like I said, I think it's going to be like a. I think it's a five out of ten is a fair rating for this game at the moment. Six if you fix all the bugs, and I'm hoping they do do like a No Man's Sky do, uh, yeah. thing where they, you know, add in all the features they promised and make it good. Uh, there's a lot of potential here, but it's just not here at the moment. So, my final uh, yeah, I do think it's got potential, but yeah, they're going to have to work for it. Do you want to uh, let people know yeah. what you're up to on your channel? And... Uh, links are in description and chat for for both. So yeah, I make uh, I make videos mostly on like movies and TV shows, uh, just like funny reviews and stuff. So you guys might be interested in that. Uh, do feel free to swing by. Yes, very much so. What was the last one you did? Was the uh, Cthulhu? The Lovecraft for... movies. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the the Howard Lovecraft movies. They're like at poorly uh, poorly made animated movies about. Lovecraft's like Cthulhu, but for children, so it's very, it's very weird to say the least. Really uh, you should, you guys should check out the trailer for the trailers for these movies at least, because you'll just be like, "What the fuck is this?" I think I did at one point, and that's why I found when you were covering it, I was like, "Oh no way! What a coincidence!" I'm almost certain I saw them once. They're like, I don't know why anyone made them. It's a, it's an enigma. Funny though. Oh yeah. Uh, and for that for that person asking in chat when's Mulan? Uh January. There you go. January. Mulan, you very, very good movie. Yeah. Great, you'll love it. Yeah. Alright, yeah. catch you later, guys. Yeah, man. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming on. We'll see you around. Bye. Um So yeah, what else do you <laughs> in relation to Cyberpunk? Uh is there anything anyone wants to cover a bit more or uh... I think the music's okay. Yeah, you sure. like the right. music. There are a couple good combat tracks in there, and I think the uh, the one where the ending one, which I won't spoil, is also quite excellent. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I like the yeah, cause... like the one that plays when you Johnny Silverhand flashback yeah, the first one. Easily the best track in the game. Uh, that's yeah. good. The Rebel Path, it's called, if you want to search it. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> As time goes on, and, you and know. there's a really good version with an electric cello at the start that isn't official on the soundtrack, and it makes me unfamiliar. Yeah, it's unreleased. I hate it when people do that, when they have, there's clearly stuff in the material, and it's not on the OST or the soundtrack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's every game. Ready. Literally every game. It's, like, it's so, like, no. The cello that's going, you know, watching Saburo get murdered. It's like, that was really good, but no, it's not on the soundtrack. It's like, oh, what's that? You want that menu music from Remnant? Be from Ashes? Well, guess what, asshole? It's different. It's a, We got a different version on our OST. So if you want that other one, you got to, like, rip it from the game or something or record your screen. It's like, ugh, no, why? Ah. Ah, uh, you got YouTube yeah. for that. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, they usually try and save you on that with <laughs> different people who are also looking for those yeah. tracks. Yeah, and and I was gonna say I'll probably finish the game. I might give it a second playthrough if uh, if I feel like it'll be worth exploring more. And no. we will keep an eye on it as the podcast goes on and keep updates here and there. But yeah, like it's not great as a starting point um, for CD Projekt Red, I guess in general. If the if you strip away all the context in this game, just this is a game that released. What do you think? You'd be like, eh, yeah, all right. <laughs> like needs a few updates. This would be an if if this was a, a studio that hadn't really done anything like this before, and this was their first attempt at making a big game, it would be a very admirable first attempt. 
Mm-hmm. However, yeah. the context of this is CD Projekt Red. And it's like, developed by a team oh. of like 500 people with a like $100 million budget, probably. Which is yeah. actually probably significantly than lower than Red Dead Redemption 2. Hugely lower. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, now, now I want to know. Actually, <laughs> let me see. If I can find out. Yeah, still. I wrote cyberpunk hey. when I was looking it up. <laughs> cyberpunk. <laughs> I'm generally more down on CDPR than most people. I think like, I'm fairly down on The Witcher Three. I, yeah, I think I've been over this on a previous okay, conversation. But so. this, the game is quality-wise, with the exclusion of the bugs, which is a big ask. I know. Uh, roughly equivalent in terms of quality to what I would have expected from CDPR. I'm finding many conflicting stories on the budget. Wikipedia says it was 330 million, which I don't believe. I don't think uh, so. I think it's around 120, make... 140. Yeah, so I found something that said um, City Project Red Q3 2020 presentation about non GOG development expenditures was about 111 million. It's like that seems more reasonable. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably like half a billion dollars. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, and they have like 800 it... people there? Uh, well, I think it's not only the people who are in Rockstar, like North, the main studio, but also like pulling from all the other studios. Because they don't make other games anymore. It doesn't seem like Rockstar make anything like Max Payne's or uh, Bullies or LA Noirs or Midnight Club anymore. It's just their open world games. Oh, hmm. No, that's not the budget. That doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm probably not going to find this information, but yeah. I Good don't point, actually. A, a lot of that budget might have went to marketing. It, it is the biggest marketing campaign I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's huge. I don't like the bright yellow with that one dude on it. I just. I oh, do. I think the cover. I do you like the cover? See, it's unique. That's what I like about it. Um, I think it's unique it's, in yeah. the sense that, uh, in the sense because the guy with a gun on the box definitely isn't. Oh, really that's a bit. Thing. You know, no, yeah, the guy with the gun's a bit shit, but I actually do like the colors. I, the I do like the color. Yeah, I like the yellow, but yeah, but I don't like I don't. the cover as a whole. Mm-hmm. Um, the game to me is I don't know why. the game is like especially Night City and how it's 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 the most interesting to look at I feel during the night when it's mostly dark with but with all the lights and stuff illuminating everything I just don't feel like the the big bold fully yellow just really kind of gets that across and I think it's just a bright obnoxious color Fucking hate you. Oh, well, I mean, you know, I guess Imagine if it was like, blue or red or green. <laughs> it's just shit. Yeah, it, 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 would be, it would be shitter if it wasn't yellow. But yellow. Yellow is yeah. where it's at, man. I don't know. I think a big bold I'm, red, you know, you could do a lot with red, white, and black and stuff like that. I I don't know. Well, I guess mm. I could do the well, funny thing about the genre, right, is contrast. That's part of what makes the aesthetic so striking, right? Is like the streets at night in the rain with Bright like lights. this visual overload of neon signs and lights and sounds and colors everywhere alongside it. So I feel like when you're marketing something with the cyberpunk setting, like that's kind of the angle you want to be playing. Mm-hmm. Um, though, admittedly, I uh, I've started to shift away from the like, oh, this is what cyberpunk is so it should be that it's funny i because i did a video on mankind divided and i shit on the setting because i'm like oh prague like why is it prague why isn't it somewhere else oh, um, yeah well i've changed my mind since then like now i i don't care <laughs> like it's whichever setting you want i think is i would argue favorite. that's one of the most creative cyberpunk art styles ever especially human yeah. revolution I, Tech, I think I... techno renaissance that's just genius mm. I uh, yeah, I've changed my mind. Yeah, on, it looks on really good. I... Cool. Like the city of Prague, it's really cool to have these old European buildings juxtaposed against this really high tech. Yeah, it's probably what it'd it's be. Cool. Yeah, it's um, uh, it's like nowadays, you know, people, you know, you you compare your gadgets with the buildings, you know, which one changes first, and how long does it take the, mm-hmm. you no, know, that you still have the sidewalks that have the. You know, the weeds growing up in between the you know cracks and you'll take a yeah. step and you'll be in front of it oh this is the new building and it's clearly modern and different and it's next to this other building that's just still kind of old and bricks and someone it's will scary. drive by with a car that's super high tech a tesla and then behind it it'll be just some you know some old car yeah that's something i really like about night city's design actually that i do want to raise uh 
in the, it looks like this absolute mangle that was built like very iteratively. And I agree. I like the way yeah, that this city, city looks. looks. Good. I think the city it's looks awesome. Um, it's a shame that I, I think uh, I think that's part of the trick that the game pulls as well in terms of like density because a lot of the locations that the game takes you to are like markets or like these little side alleys you got to walk through and it really makes the game feel like this uh like a real city but then i feel like the areas in between those places are not as uh dense but the illusion is still kind of nifty mm -hmm. yeah i'm definitely um immersed when i'm just walking around i definitely believe that this is a real city Mm -hmm. and it's not difficult for me to do so well, yeah really like when you go up, when you go up the elevator to go to your apartment and then the glass like you're peering through the glass and seeing all the other buildings it feels like you're uh it feels like you're in this place it's oh it's yeah skyscra it's just this mangle of skyscrapers and you know buildings offices apartments all just twisting around now, each other <laughs> feels someone built very iteratively like that yeah no it absolutely does it's uh it's cool Unfortunately, I've seen somebody in chat say, Mankind Divided City is like three blocks. Yeah, but every door That's opens, the point. buddy. Every That's door the point. opens. Give me, give me dense. Oh, look, over... yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, just, dimension yeah. over breadth. And smally, yeah. small, small, yeah, because in Malaria. Yeah, because in Cyberpunk, you already see it just like you do with GTA 5. You know, how many buildings can you actually go into? Uh, GTA 5 is a lot worse than GTA 4 in that regard. Which is funny, yeah, a lot, a of, lot, people, of, a lot of people shit and... on GTA 4 for being empty. It's like, no, it's not. You just didn't look around enough. There's lots yeah. of buildings you can go into. A lot of, lot of places that are just boxes in, that are empty to take up space. You can't go inside of them or do anything. Remember how you used to be able to go to Clock and Bell? Have you ever gone to Clock and Bell in Grand Theft Auto Five? No, you haven't. That's true. And you that's can't a in fast. shit in the uh, fast food toilets. And that is a travesty. Precisely. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I do like that when you shoot rockets at Michael's house. The only house, black guy in the call them. is saying it's a tragedy. You can't get fast food fried chicken. That's kind of fucked hey, up. Hey, look, you. all right, Clock and Bell. If up. that was a real place, I'd be going there every day. <laughs> Yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right. For breakfast, you have egg and bacon and chicken in a in like a muffin, not like a, a muffin with berries <clears throat> in it, like a McMuffin. Why is it called a McMuffin when it's not one? <laughs> it's not a muffin what, at McDonald's. Yeah. It's a, oh, I guess it's just some fucking McLie. I guess <laughs> <laughs> a McLie. Friggy ordering, friggy ordering a number nine. I'll have a number nine large. Number six, two number sevens with extra dip. What what were they all? And I'll have a McWater. Uh, no McIce, please. No McIce. I like how that's just how it works. Mc something. It's like, hey, can I get a, a McBurger with some McNuggets and a McCoke? We'll see, and a, yeah. Can I originally make it a McSmall? I'm not that hungry. The place was called Donald's, um, but once the muck came into it, they just applied it to everything. Donald's? No, just Donald's. The the Donalds. People are saying in Cyberpunk, they'd send death squads after you. Mm -hmm. Can I get a Mc cybernetic arm with the Mc um eye enhancement or go? Mc Mc can I have Cyberpunk. the Mc surgery? <laughs> can I have Mc some surgery? surgery? Hey, can I Mc use your Mc bathroom, please? Yeah. <laughs> I need, it's like, oh god, I need a Mc bypass right now. Uh, <laughs> can I get? Uh, this sounds like the setup Mike for a funny movie where someone's transported like 200 years into the future where McDonald's owed everything. And McDonald's but... owned it. Well, yeah, they're yeah. the government, they're the And he has to refer to things they that have way. Squads. He has like diabetes, he's like, I need my McInsulin, please. <laughs> President, <laughs> President <laughs> Big Mac. Alright. I'm back in my Mc apartment to watch my McTV. I'm gonna watch McBuffy the Vampire Slayer. Man, I'm still watching that 200 years from now? Shit. <laughs> Hey, look, all right, it holds, it holds up, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, you've yeah, been, uh, Theo, you can tell, Pete, you've been watching some of that, haven't you? What are you what's, what's your latest update? How do you... Uh, oh, wait, what? What are you watching? It was pretty good, guys. What do you mean, Theo? What do you mean? It was pretty good. Theo, yeah. where, are, where are you an angel? Whereabouts are you up to? He's about to start uh, season four. I think we... 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard things, and I, it makes uh, me very worried considering what happened in season I three. Want to, I want to be there when you watch a specific episode in season four. I'll make sure wanna... that we, we okay. sort that out, yeah. But I'm the bright side gotcha. is that Theo recently finished Buffy season six, which is pretty fucking, yeah, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, really good. I just remembered, like, I was at the shops the other day and I saw a box set for Angel on DVD, and I was like, "No, I'll look for it online." And it was way more expensive online, so I need to, I need it, <laughs> I need to have that in my life. But the Angel is this actually set. a good show? Well, Angel, yes. Oh, Very yeah, Buffy. it is. It Surprisingly, is. Uh, yeah. You got it. You got to be in it for the long haul, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. It is a good show with an asterisk that says the asterisk. The asterisk is: Are you willing to sit through two seasons of not good? Mm -hmm. You can't just skip the two seasons. <laughs> no, it's it's all. No. You got to watch the whole thing. Um, yeah. But hey, I I don't think anybody is... would fault you if you quit uh, in the first two seasons. Yeah, that's a tough sell. But yeah, at the I same think... time, I don't know anyone who's completed the show and gone. Hey, it wasn't worth the shitty episodes. Yeah. See this. See Buffy and Angel aren't like uh, the Clone Wars, where people. T oh <laughs> where God! People here we go. <laughs> people are it gets good in season three, guys. Oh, are... but season three was bad. Well, well, then it gets good in season four. Um, season four was still bad, I'm afraid. Um, well, it gets good in season oh, five then. Funnily enough, by the way, guys, apparently in um in Rebels, Bo Katan got given an, a dark saber without having to get it in combat. Yep, I uh, <laughs> I think uh, that Star Wars girl sent me a clip of it. That like she gets handed it by someone as a, as a like a, literally the same scenario as in Mandalorian, but there is no bullshit about how you have to beat someone in combat. That's completely made up, apparently. It was funny because <laughs> we treated it in, in our coverage as though it was set up in TCW in or Rebels, Wars, but yeah. it's not even, apparently. So, uh, man. <laughs> I'm amazed that they actually did that, like... <laughs> whatever, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid <laughs> manufactured drama, you got bo -Kat Oh wait, sorry, bo -Kat Also, by the way, um, the way that a character's name sound should be the same across all like why would it be bo katan and then katan yeah Theo, why, what's, why what, what do they call her way? in tcw if she is she in that uh who sorry bo katan katan what, what's the what's the consensus on that oh uh because yeah, bo katan well she's they, everyone calls her bo katan in mandalorian let me let me pull up katan. i'm pulling it up on a... i don't think i think they just said katan and Hmm. I don't know, I might not be remembering. Yeah, even, she, she, she was calls a... herself Bo Katan. Mm. I don't know, She's it's also fucking a weird. War criminal. Theo War. is a pretentious a hole who doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, you got $5 for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Z Zach actually was the last Thanks, EFAP Zach. that he said but... something similar. He is not a fan of your TCW takes. <laughs> well, he can continue to be wrong then. Oh, he's gonna send another super Enjoy chat. Your rose you it goggles. <laughs> How dare you! People keep yeah. asking me what the best moment of TCW is. I never have a good answer, so I'm not gonna give one. Oh, that's that's reassuring. Uh, What's the best moment? I don't fine. know. <laughs> right. Here's the thing, guys. When you watch when you watch episode three and you're looking at Obi Wan and Anakin going on adventures, do you believe that between episode two and episode three? That Obi Wan faked his death, shaved his head, and got an implant that shape shifted his, <laughs> his shape shifted that. his face into a bounty hunter, and then went on an adventure yeah. as a totally different person. What? Like this is? It's insane that that's canon. Apparently, it's canon. That arc was such fucking yeah, nonsense. Yeah, and then they do like this Especially... weird like battle in a gauntlet to like get to get into this like weird club of bounty hunters. There's another $5 for mm. you, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me to be wrong, Theo? Choosing to be blinded by hate? Listen, Theo. Yes, maybe if I you watch the show again... Hate being wrong, you'll be a million oh, no. soon. <laughs> you could pay me. Well, maybe you could pay me, but... Oh, you um, know what? I, I, I wouldn't do it willingly. I don't want to, um... I don't want to explain this. I yeah, just thought no. it was interesting uh, that it's been asked. I watched Once More with Felix, and I don't get why it's so great. Waller, could you explain? It's like, I, 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 <laughs> ooh, um, hmm. 
this I would Watch like I said, again. I don't want to go into it for spoilers. It's one of the best episodes of Buffy, so I would want to just watch it again and listen <laughs> that's all I can say like, I don't, yeah, I don't, no, I don't we're not trying to come across say, as like, mean we're not trying to come across as mean it's just to explain yeah, I, it uh, in this context would be spoilery as fuck I came off too rude I, d I don't mean as in you weren't listening before I mean you know like pay close attention because you'll be rewarded for it ECW better than Buffy maybe maybe uh, go away Ken can I... <laughs> what it's do you not... think uh, Theo <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, if I said it's not even close to being close, would that would that give the right impression? <laughs> like Buffy is better, and it's not even close to being close. At well, the season six is the worst yeah. season of Buffy. <laughs> uh, I was looking at that one. Now. It was funny because uh, I, well, I, I think uh, were you there when Theo finished season six? For you were in the call, I can't remember. Uh, I I was, yes. Yeah, I we was. fucking talked about how good season six is for like two hours or some shit. I don't even remember. It was just fun because it was it was oh, just yeah. going over everything. It's uh um it's good shit. Everyone should go watch yes, it, and if you is. hate it, that's okay mm. too. Well I to talk about and it's it's very holistic to use a vague word. Do you guys so, actually no. like Star Wars? This is something I haven't figured out yet. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> when you say these guys, do you mean chat or us? Because, yeah, we all hate it. Everyone yeah, here. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> yeah, I in thought the you guys community. were, like, really passionate about Star Wars, but, like, <laughs> you, you don't like anything. <laughs> we we just went over how much we like Buffy. <laughs> that's, that's not Star Wars. Okay. Um, uh, so, I think I, like... The, the, there Season are two. There are two the good season. movies, uh, and there's there's two more that I like, um, and then the rest I don't like. And, and yeah, I like the games. I like the prequels. Well, I like the prequels. Yeah, but um, but, mm. but they're not that good. <laughs> I would not describe myself as a Star Wars fan. I like the first two films, and that's about it. I think there are some neat ideas at play. I don't know, but, but what does it mean to be a fan that, of something? That you yeah. like everything in it? I don't know. I don't you guys know. don't like anything. We like <laughs> New Hope and Empire a fucking shit ton. Based on, okay. like, how into okay. <laughs> the thing itself, I guess. There's a whole bunch of Star Wars games that we've got a lot of uh, praise for. Oh, yeah, yeah. the games. Like, the old games. Love that shit. Do you like Fallen Order? Uh, no, not really. It was one. fine. Yeah. It was fun. It's a nothing burger. Did you like Rogue One? Um, I, I like to... the ending of Rogue One. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to rewatch it to tell you. It's been so long at this point. I remember being quite bored. It felt like it felt like a forty-minute sequence that they had a clear vision for, and then they needed to put the rest of a film on it. Yes, I think that's I think that's accurate. Actually, mm, that point. describes how I feel. Didn't um, know that you like. I've always said on EFAP that I like the prequels. I just think they're bad. <laughs> they're so bad. The prequels I'm the one who are fun. Hates them. I enjoy them. I just it's oof. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so who's up for me actually getting into super chat, seeing what the community has to say about Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven? Sure, yeah. sounds fun. The first one says very very relevant. You guys want a Krabby Patty? Yep. Sure. Wow, I was expecting a little bit more discussion on that, but okay, fine. Like, you can't get one in the game, can you? Four it's hours in, more. Like, okay. Four hours. Really more unplayable. like three like, hours and 46 like, minutes, okay. loser. Fuck. Dab. Uh, <laughs> hi, Mauler. Hi, Rags. He oh, would say hi. He's just a little bit busy. Have you seen the Berserk Motion comic by Studio Taka? They aired episode two just recently on YouTube. It's good rap. Theo, your anime. What does that mean? Uh, I have heard about this, but I have not looked into it. I presume it's someone just incredibly desperate to get animated Berserk that isn't terrible. Mm. I wonder how well that's going. Because yeah, yeah. Berserk can it be? a manga series, but good god, it has a really bad history with animation. It's got one good adaptation that does some of it, but then it ended, of course, so 
And then the manga kept going, and there was more to do, and they kept trying to make adaptations, and it didn't go too well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that is good shit, and Berserk fans, looking. go have a look at it, I guess. Uh, Mauler, with dramatic voice, silence rags. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just wish to be happy. Also, hi, rags. <laughs> I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Uh, holy moly, is that the legend himself? The white light? I love your prototype videos. Uh, uh, it's good to see you, man. I uh, hope you're still here. It's, it's been three hours and 46 minutes. Ooh. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> 48 minutes, idiot. Oh, for fuck's sake. Completely changed since you last looked at it. You see, this is classic white light. All, you, all your information is out of date. How many silver play buttons do you have, Mola? 17. <laughs> How many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I can Wait, hardly move. Why I'm do you have so many silver play buttons? <laughs> because I, well, I got you know swindle multiple girlfriends at once, so I give them each one. Thinking, just keeping them under like a big coat. Like, you want to buy some silver play button? You're gonna make a silver play button empire. I mean, I could do with the amount of subscribers I have. It you just would not be a dent. Down. It'd be a Beskar armor, and all the bullets would deflect off of it. Do you get yeah, shot my regularly? Clout. An aura of clout. Yeah. <laughs> I want that to be an unlock in a video game. I want a clout aura that intercepts incoming projectiles. <laughs> um, three seasons into Clone Wars so far. I give it a watch it while doing chores so you have a distraction from the bad bits out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> what a ringing endorsement. Holy shit. Well, that's about go. accurate. Uh, white light is the best. More of the boy. I demand it. Agreed. Wow. Can't believe you just said that about yourself. That is so fucked up. Yeah. Exposed. Um. You know how it is. I do. I do. Are you uh. So you're working on the script now for your uh cyberpunk video, yeah. I'm working on a lot of scripts, but Cyberpunk's one of them. I've got a, I've got a lot to say. You reckon it'll be a seven-hour video? No, it'll be like a forty-minute video. I, I, I would rather die than make a seven-hour video on this. Do you think that if you finish a script and then it got a huge update, would you then play that update and then update the script, or would you just release? No, I'd release because I would have accounted for any possible. Patches. They're not going to overhaul a game by, before I manage to put the video out. All right, mm -hmm. the race is on. Yeah. Uh, Blues Brothers EFAB movies. When it's the best film. Oh, that could happen eventually. Definitely not out of the question. Do we have much to say about it though? Well, I mean that logic well, is some. It's kind of hard to tell what movie will work for EFAB movies ever. Honestly, mm -hmm. never know, and they can get scrapped if they don't work out. Yeah. Um, hey, rags and white light. Yeah, this is what I mean. It's oh. kind of officialized the podcast to get someone like white light on here. I feel like yeah. Once you get you're white in the light big leagues now, boy. And Count Dankula. Once you get those two, it's kind of like you just you're the best podcast on planet Earth. I'd say. Because uh, you've done it. You two are the two sides of the your cool coin, right? I've donated you my aura of clout. So sweet. You're now projecting it out into the into the internet sphere. Uh, waiting for Mola to say, well-seasoned argument. Wait, is that like they want you to say a line for a, a meme video, or...? I don't know. I'm not just sure. Just say it. But I, I, I mean, it. I just did. They just say got it. it. Say it again. Oh, wow. I mean, if you want me to say it a second time, I guess you're going to have to send in a super chat, because that, you know... That's costing me right. a lot to be able to oh, say three words. My credit card's not attached to the, uh, the... Sorry, I can't do it. Just do it. This podcast you owe me more, because I've made the podcast official. <sighs> Fine. Wheel-seasoned argument. Wow. There you go. I give you a discount. Malicious compliance. Here. Top post. Well done. <laughs> Muller, please recite this in your epic voice. What the fuck is this? 
I am the storm that is approaching, provoking black clouds in isolation. I am reclaimer of my name, born in flames. I have been blessed. My family crest is a demon of death. What, what is that? That is the lyrics to Bury the Light, a character's battle theme for Devil May Cry 5 that just launched on PC. That sounds pretty edgy. <laughs> How do edgy? you know that? It, it's edgy as fuck, and I know that because Devil May Cry 5 is my favorite game ever. Oh, okay. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5 yeah, is pretty yeah, great. Fair enough. Still waiting on that video, Theo. Yeah, well, the script got deleted, so... Are you YouTube, Theo? Are you a YouTuber? Uh, I don't, but I want to. A YouTuber Just, in uh... in practice. Uh, no, wait. In theory. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> one day. Yeah, in practice. Hmm. I hope to get there eventually, yeah. Oh god, chat's exploding with it. Yeah. There you go. There's your audience. Yeah. Bury the light. Yeah. Uh, high rags with... Indeed. Oh shit, we didn't mention Gene at all while, uh, while Tonald was here, damn. Who's Gene? Uh, Gene is a character he created, an, an original character, on a uh, little game we play, where you draw pictures and stuff. Like oh. Galathar the skin. <laughs> skin yeah, have you, have you heard of the, the Eater of Skin, Galathar, or...? <laughs> edgy the Hedgy. What? Is that, is that no? You've not heard of Galathar the Eater of Skin? I don't know. Like, I'm just asking. You guys are just saying syllables at me, man. I've got no idea what hey, it was even making What I it. said was words, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to check, but still. It's a pretty simple question. Have you heard of so Galathar elegy, the Skin? Elegy the Helegy, Gene the Destroyer, and Galathar the, G the Falathar. Gene the Destroyer. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, well, that's that's gonna happen. There's gonna be memes about Gene, the three lines. It's gonna be the destroyers, the end times. Uh, yeah, you know, I'd say that your life will be enriched if you could uh, find out about Galathar. It's a it's a good one. Galathar the Falathar. Is that is that what his name was? Galathar the Skin Eater. <laughs> right, and who's who's OC is that? <laughs> Isn't that just the universe's OC? You clearly pronounced Skin Eater as if someone might not know how to spell that or something, or how to say it properly. Yeah, they might not. I've Googled yeah, that, yeah, it, and I have not found oh, anything. Oh no! That didn't come up after a Google? I'm kind of disappointed in that, actually. Gala Skin Eater. Come on, Google. Hey, it does come up in Google Images. Please. <laughs> okay, so you got a good selection here of stuff. Um, th th I'll put it on screen for everyone else. How you? This is what you can see from Galathos Eater as the first results. Do you, do you understand it now? Right. So he's a he's a he's a vicious man eating plant. No, uh, it's skin eating plants. Skin eating, not man eating. It's different. It doesn't eat the people. It just eats. Oh, okay, he just eats your skin. That's right. It sustains him. <laughs> Did you get a free circumcision? Uh, I suppose that's that's to be decided, so to be written in law. I like that his buddy Chumbo Eater of Worlds is actually there. Too. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know what's not to understand. Like, <laughs> all makes perfect sense. I love that Eric, Eric the schoolboy with a glove on is there as well. <laughs> right. Wait, where's our? Where's what was the one that I came up with? That one? The I guy. Don't... The guy who could balance, except he couldn't. The snap neck. Uh, let me look. Let me look this up. Galathar the skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Edgy the Hedgy. <laughs> Light. <laughs> Metal Commander, where the fuck is the God of War streams? If it's... I haven't been streaming for one and a half days. You calm your tits, okay? Yeah, put like, the tits down. Hey. Where's my free like content ten... today, alright? I streamed like 10 hours this week. Like, leave me alone. Actually, Whoa, no, 10 more. hours for it's a week? More. Whoa. Listen, motherfucker, okay? <gasps> I, I I need to do other stuff. Wow. Look at you, doing other things. What are I you, know, Chumbo? Right? No, I'm Moodlo. Chumbo doesn't even seem to care what he's eating. He just shoves it in. I mean, yeah. Can he actually eat the world? Well, yeah, uh... For... It really depends on whether or not you trust his the label he gave himself, right? I mean, he doesn't look like an honest guy, to be honest. 
<laughs> what about him is lies? That is a lying face, yeah. I mean, look at his eyes. <laughs> what are you trying to say about <laughs> Those aren't honest eyes. I'm kind of upset. It's kind of fucked up of you to say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is he eating at the moment? What is that green thing? So, is that Galathar? See, I could see how you'd make well, that mistake, but it, wasn't it? Wasn't it Gurn? He's eating. I Gurn. think it was. Yeah. There was a, there was a drawing of mine like Gurn the Gloop or something. I don't know. You see, Chumbo oh, yeah. will consume Gurn like and in is, an instant. Are these images yeah. to scale? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, so Chumbo, he, he, I mean, Chumbo's no. How does he eat a world if he's well, that small? Gurn is the size of a. Or is planet. Galathar really big? Well, no, we, we have scale, so Galathar is about the size of a bed, which means that. And well, that, that doesn't well, help at all because Chumbo is eating Galathar, <laughs> so we don't have any a, sense of scale. The long pause after, which means that. Which means nothing for um, Chumbo. <laughs> I'm, I'm what still now? To figure it out. Well, I, I just I gave think... you the answer. You got, Gurn is the size of a planet, and if Gurn is being consumed by Chumbo Eater of Worlds, that gives you a sense of scale. So Chumbo is... Well, what if Chumbo wants to eat but Jupiter? What kind then? of planet, is man? Is it Mercury it or is it Earth? Yeah, exactly. Or is it Jupiter? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, so... he, can, he can consume well, them all. Yeah. Gurn is I mean, the size eat... of the Milky Way, okay? Theo makes a good point. If you eat Jupiter, it's it's not like eating anything at all. It's like consuming farts. Yeah. You know, have you not just lots done that? Lots of farts. Yeah, but it's a big fart. It yeah. is a big fart. Um, and there is a Steamy nice too. chewy center at the middle. Well, except yeah. that the core of the core of Jupiter is like a big rock, so I guess it's not chewy at all. It's actually rock Crunchy. solid. And see, Galathar's not interested in that sort of thing. He just wants skin. No, he's just skin. <laughs> just skin. <laughs> Can Galathar <laughs> eat Chumbo's skin? I don't know. That's It'd one of those. A long time, probably. That's one of those Super Smash Does... Brothers things where you throw them together and just see what happens. <laughs> How do you yeah, see what happens? Do you have like a simulation? Uh, we're designing one specifically for this. This is. A, uh, you might have thought like, oh, I'm the first to ask this question. No, it comes up all the time. Chumbo versus what Galathar. What if the simulation explodes by simulating Chumbo's true power? Uh, then we might have to talk to NASA, which I I do yeah, regularly right. do anyway. Create a Lovecraftian yeah. god accidentally. If the simulation creates him for realsies, I actually do think it'll be worthwhile. Having him in the universe, as much as he'd eat your planet, is still going to be beneficial. What happens when you get eaten by Chumbo? Do you ascend to heaven, or is it you just get fucked over and that's it? You um, it applies Chumbonics. Oh, Chumbonics. Yeah, like new information to me. So like you'll enter a different universe of Chumbonics. Uh, an alternate, yeah. Yeah, okay. So really that that's how the and that is how the MCU is gonna multiverse, alright? Yeah, Chumbo. I mean well, to be fair, Chumbo. it is gonna be something like that. People are gonna say do that, that um it should be Galactus. I think it should be Chumbo because if they mishandle the character, it's not gonna be as devastating because Galactus is quite important. <laughs> Imagine if it was Chumbo, like, Chumbo, I've come to bargain, <laughs> and then just eat him. He's holding Doctor Strange in that image. <laughs> <laughs> Chumbo equals Chum God. Yeah, like, the Church of Chumbology would worship Chum God. Chumbo. I'd like to join us again before the important uh, topics mm -hmm. in here. Oh, that's, that's good, thank It's good that you join hey, now. Look, it is important. It yeah. is important. Is he a flat earther? Chumbo, yeah. Me? No, I'm, I'm not. Well, yeah, he flattens like, kind of Earth yeah. underneath his teeth. Yeah, he flattens planets. He believes they're all supposed to be flat. Oh. <laughs> That's Chumbo's <laughs> secret mission. He makes it a reality. He's not a flat Earth. Uh, that should be that he makes it a reality. <laughs> the perfect <laughs> MCU plot. It's perfectly... The world's not flat, but it should be. Perfectly flat. Yeah. <laughs> Chumbo confirmed for Spider-Man 3. <laughs> hey, look, it's, I mean, it's it's probably going to happen. Yeah, there's no need to, you know, assume otherwise. He is, he is the, the Sinister Six's big bad. It's, you know, it's like in the game when um they're all fighting, and then it, instead of clawing up, it's, it's Chumbo. <laughs> Chumbo. And then he eats oh, Spider-Man, and that's it. And then Spider-Man bites him because he was bitten by a radioactive spider and Jumbo was bitten by a radioactive human spider person. He becomes a giant human spider radioactive world eater. Spider Jumbo. 
Yeah. So exciting stuff. Uh, can't wait to see that movie. Yeah, it's gonna come out eventually. Coming up for the MCU, yeah. Uh, next one says, Hail Zack Snyder. Now, we've got an <laughs> info. Know. It's coming out in March, right? The, the... It is coming out in March, yeah. So we gotta get gonna watching as a away. <laughs> big old crew. We gotta watch this, the DCEU oh, ahead of dude. that. Dude. And record that for EFAP <laughs> movies. We've already watched Wonder Woman. That was pretty bad. Not gonna lie. What? Yeah, I, like I know. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You guys are just sad. What? You don't like anything. What? Watch it again, is what I would say. <laughs> we like loads of stuff. We recently put out a whole bunch of minis about a show called Mandal. Well, we liked Hill House. We did, and we liked Blind right. Manor, and you're all wrong about that show. <laughs> but oh my god. I'm not upset okay. about it, okay? I'm, oh, I'm no, not chill. upset. It's fine. Uh, oh, fine. But yeah, we, we're going to try and watch more. You'll see some coverage of the Snyder Cut. Right here on uh, on EFAP. It's gonna be great. Um, playing Cyberpunk now, but I need more RAM. Hi, Rags. I feel like download it. Yeah. Where, where did that meme originate? Download some more RAM. Was that like a that's like an old? I, I don't know. Minecraft cringe thing. The the guy was asking a Minecraft developer, uh, how much RAM do I need to wait? This is a different meme. I've completely fucked this up. I'm that sorry. That could be it. I can't oh, remember. Man. <laughs> Uh, still a better launch than No Man's Sky, Andromeda, Anthem, and Fallout 76. It at least has I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not money-wise. I mean, getting pulled from the, the the Sony store, like that's... Yeah, exactly. And there's a bunch of fucking garbage on the Sony store. <laughs> um, Andromeda didn't get pulled from that. Having a seven-year-old tech doesn't mean you're an overall bad game. I don't. Well, I, well, I don't understand what. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it is true. Mm, no, right. Yeah, you know there are seven-year-old games that are fucking great right now. So there are even there are even older ones than that. Do you guys know that games started a whole bunch of time ago? It's pretty cool. Yeah, like three seconds ago, right? Like Bull in a Cup. Yeah. Really old. Yeah. Okay. Um. Looks like I'll have to skip this one until I get a better system, but I wish you all a massively great stream. Mwah, thank you. Um, Max in Thanos voice. Okay, I used the meme to canonize the meme. It nearly bankrupted me, but the work is done. It will always be... Uh, I am the storm that is approaching. Who's Max? This again? Is Max from know, DMCA Max five? Is... DMCA five. Wow. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's Nintendo's uh, release. <laughs> There's no Max. I like the idea of DMCA five. You play as like Nero, AR, hmm. an agent of whatever. I don't know, like some corporate, like legal team, and his his job is to go around to YouTubers and chop them up. Yeah, like it's like a cyberpunk the type world. We're applying yeah. a DMCA to somebody is to shoot them through the heart with your like fucking <laughs> cease and desist. <laughs> yeah, and there there is no music um, in this game. Of course not. There is no music. Uh, I feel like EFAP is so jaded by all the crappy media coming out nowadays that sheer mediocrity like Hill House and Blind Manor feel like a masterpiece in comparison. Shut up! <laughs> Stop it! See, this guy okay. knows what's up. This guy <laughs> gets... <laughs> If that were true, then we'd love CD Project Red's brand new project, right? Because it's pretty oh! mediocre. Oh! <laughs> um, also, mediocre. Mandalorian we'd adore, well, but then again, Mandalorian isn't mediocre, it's just a fucking garbage fire, so I don't know. Oh, uh, that shit is terrible. Um, hey, Amusely. Gene Cream here. <laughs> okay. Yo. Thoughts on Doomcock and Az <laughs> simping hard for the Mandalorian? Everyone is welcome to feel whatever they feel in relation to media. However, a thought upon that. I would be interesting to fi interested to find out what exactly is so good about The Mandalorian that isn't the, s the simple image of characters you recognize. I would like to know what is meaningful about The Mandalorian. Um, good main theme. Sure, I like the theme, yeah. Alright, there you go. We did it. <laughs> also, currently having fun with Cyberpunk, even if it is a flawed game, technically. Sure. You know what I did? I didn't buy Cyberpunk. 
Wow. <laughs> the fuck, Mel? Get wrecked. I'm playing DMC5, funnily enough, right now. It's funny you guys uh, start talking about it, because I randomly felt like, I could I could play it again. And then 10 minutes later, you start talking about DMC5. Like, okay, that's weird. Are you, are you, are you, are you playing Virgil, or...? Uh, oh, I don't. I didn't buy that. Ah, uh, fair enough. I just randomly had to itch, and I don't remember any of the combos, and I'm sucking hard right now. <laughs> Um, Ahoy lads, love your AC videos, white light. Wow, you made a thanks, man. Videos about air conditioners. That's a bit interesting. Yeah. Which well, you know, one? I made a video about Death Stranding, so it just the next logical topic was <laughs> air conditioning. You sound so wonderfully like cynical. I guess is that the voice <laughs> I probably tie that to the most. You're like a variation on Theo. <laughs> People say that. I don't know. I, I just, I just don't hear it, man. Like, no, I just don't hear it. Yeah, I just don't hear it either. <laughs> That's what I would expect. <laughs> it's okay. We can tell okay. the difference. Here at Efab, we love you both. Um, Great. I'm, I'm glad you guys have at least liked something. Yeah. I don't. I like I that like metal guy. Things. I mean, I'm German. I don't I get to. I don't get to like anything. Oh. Uh, no, it's efficient. well deserved punishment. Oh, good job, Dingo Dial. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, wow, is Bring that like an Australian slur to call someone a Dingo Dial? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a Dingo Look, Dial said right. anything wrong, but uh, that's that's your opinion. I, guess. I um, I I well, it's funny, right? Because most people here are totally contextless. I'm making a video on Crash Bandicoot Four. It's not going to be done anytime soon because I've made it my mission to 100 percent this game. Um, it is a nightmare. I hate, mm. <laughs> kind of hate playing through this game to go 100% completion. I still love this game, but I, I, it, you, I, I'm yeah, tempted yeah. to, uh, in that video. Hey, look, let me think. All right. Um, oh, God. The funny. <laughs> there, there are, Shut the fuck up, Dingo um, Dial. It's, it's funny. <laughs> it's it's kind of lucky that, um. Because I'm thinking, like, if if you if you could hear some of the times when I've been getting really angry with this game, but um, it's a little too embarrassing, getting mad over this kitty platformer <laughs> game. But um, yeah, I uh, dingy dial. I didn't say dingy dial. I said dingo dial. All right, <laughs> he's a very respectable <laughs> character. He was enjoying the retired life in his restaurant that's in New Orleans for some reason, even though he's Australian, and um. And it got blown up, thanks to uh, nobody in particular, I don't think. And um, he's on a quest to just get back to his home. It's a nice, simple story, good motivation. Dingo Doll is more of a character than Mandalorian. Everyone's more of a character than Mandalorian. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Can we just ban this guy for hate speech? I think so. <laughs> hate speech he's, against the Mandalorian. He's being a fucking Dingo Doll, like, seriously. Hey, that's pejorative. That's, you can't, that's, that's, you're not allowed to say that. I don't care what purge it is, whether orative or analtive, like, it doesn't matter. I think it's valid regardless. Uh, I'm thinking of making a video about the ta the thing that made the, me the most upset about Cyberpunk 2077, the weak-ass character creation. They hyped it up and it is so lacking, I don't care if it's first person, it needs to be addressed. It's actually um, kind of yeah. true. You can, you've got a penis selection, but you don't have... Yeah. You don't even have Dragon Age Inquisition levels of customization of your face or anything else. You'd think you'd get a lot Colors? of customization on that penis, though. You know? Just extending exactly. all the It's lot. not even a slider. It's just six possible combinations. Mm -hmm. The absence of sliders is really weird guess... in, you know, current year mm -hmm. of... King of it's kind of weird though, isn't it? It's, it's a first person game that has character customization, but you need to look in the mirror to see what you look like, uh, unless you're driving third person in the car. Why isn't the game in third person? Or, like, Chris Davis isn't... made a very good point about that. He said something along the lines of, you know, Apex Legends has its entire business model entirely predicated yeah, on I saw that. dressing up uh in a, in a, in a manner that you can't see for four people you don't know and yet yeah. it makes millions it's a fantastic point we suck as a species don't we 
Yeah. <laughs> we do some cool stuff here in the world. I the approval of strangers for digital accomplishments I paid for. Um. Boop, boop. Rags is a power bottom doggo. I think you'd agree with that if he was unmuted. Uh, I have I I have a clip to prove that. <laughs> oh, what he says it. <laughs> uh, Lord Longman of Mubschlington Abbey, did you hear about the finale? Do you think it was a gimmick or good? I'm assuming they're referring to Mandalorian, oh, and uh, I thought it was shit. Here we go. So. Don't worry, we covered it earlier in this podcast. I don't need to repeat it. We'll do a whole podcast for it, okay? All those, because everyone out there is probably like, oh, what do you think about Mandalorian? Wasn't it so cool when Luke sliced the robots in half? And I'm going to be like, you know what? No. It wasn't cool. It was no. fucking lame. Um, P.S. Hello, Wagsies. Oh, wait, I'll, you know what? I'll save the Rags comments now, because I might, you know, I'll just pile them all on him when he gets here. It's going to be great. Um, hey, White Light, really enjoyed your Assassin's Creed and Destiny videos. Glad to see someone like you critique Ubisoft games the way you do. No problem, man. I, li I like critiquing Ubisoft games for some reason. Brings yeah. me a special pleasure. Mm -hmm. um, How do you do it, man? Hello. Sorry, see, I had the, to like, had the to Ubisoft take care of something, so. How do you do it? I actually think they're really good in some aspects, and are yeah. often really bad in just as many. So I'm very passionate about talking uh, talking about them. I don't think they're just a boring experience. I think they're incredibly remarkable in some ways and incredibly remarkably bad in others. I think uh, they're super formulaic is one of the problems that those games have. They're the similarities between a lot of them and like the trends that they go through where for a period of time they were all copying Assassin's Creed and then for a period of time they were all copying Far Cry and then a period of time they were all copying like, you know, this sort of Odyssey. No, Origins kind of like thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very cyclical. Um, hi, Rags. What's your Devil Dagger oh, score? Um, let me check. I think it's... Uh, da, 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 da. I... Let me look at it and find out, because I don't remember off the top of my head. It was pretty good. I've done pretty well in it. At least oh, the thing's pretty look at well. This guy, I've done pretty well. Uh, three nineteen point four. Uh, is that? There you go. I don't know if that's good or not. I'm assuming it is. Yes, yeah, that's in sec. I'll that's in seconds. Yeah. No, I think it's pretty good. Um, but it 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 gets tough. Definitely hard. But yeah. I feel like Moller and Co. don't like it that people like things they don't like. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's us. You figured it out. It. You figured that's it out. Agreement, by the way. Well, <laughs> you know. People don't have opinions that are like that and shouldn't be allowed to speak. Um, there is the, the one significant piece of argumentation that I think is worth considering as, as quite valid, being if everyone likes what Mandalorian did in Season 2 and praises it and goes nuts over it, then all of us have to suffer that we, we will get that forever and that Disney mm. will see it as the hey, this is what Star Wars should be then and we're all like, oh yeah, everyone's gonna it's, it's, it's all gonna be garbage it's all gonna be crap, there's gonna be no characters and the plot's gonna make no sense and it'll be contradictory garbage but but hey, Deep remember Luke Skywalker, Skywalker, right? yeah and so, um, I'm cool with anybody liking, you know, whatever movies and TV, whatever. Like, it doesn't really affect me. However, um, it will affect me if everyone praises what they did in that finale, and we end up getting that throughout all of Season 3. So I'm be like, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. So you just hate it to teach Disney a lesson? That is a strange interpretation that you got from what I just said. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, we hate it because it's yeah. shit. <laughs> to teach Disney a lesson. <laughs> Did... You specifically, Mauler, are going to teach Disney the corporation a uh, lesson. I'm going to imagine all the money and everything that Disney's getting from this, and they're like, wait, 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 he doesn't like it. Oh, I guess we got to shut it down, everyone. One, one long man doesn't like it. I mean, there are some episodes I really liked because of how stupid they were, but this is the problem. If, I, if I'm like, yeah, I mean, carry on doing stupid Batwoman level shit if you want to, I'll just, like, it's enjoyable for us to react to and hang out with and talk about, but... I mean, if we ever want to get back to, like, Empire, this is not the way. 
This is never ah. going to be the way. Uh, pun intended? Is that even a pun? This is the way, Mando. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, but you know, wouldn't that just be, be a reference? I don't know. You know what? You can suck my dick, okay? I don't want to. Germany. Okay, then don't. Yeah, it's pretty far away. Yeah, never mind. At the end of Cosmonaut's TCW review, he gave Mando Season 1 a 10 out of 10. Why? I'm gonna get some ice. Nice. 10! Okay. It's like the end of season, uh, the end of season two for the Mandalorian, where they reference Luke Skywalker. I mean, you probably give that a Luke eleven Skywalker. out of ten. Boys, dude. Uh, no. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just very upset. Uh, hi, Ragses. Uh, uh, oh wait, hello, Wagsies. Scritches for Hello. the good boy. Oh, nice. That's such kind, kind messages. Oh. Only the second most powerful knee of 2020. Oh, I get it. That's a very edgy super chat. In reference to the knee rockets. Oh. Mm hmm. What's the first most powerful? I, I mean, if anyone here hasn't gotten what they're referring to. <laughs> no, I, I know. Yeah. I, I am. Yeah, okay. Well, those would be what well, we're talking about. Boba Fett's knee rockets. He's got yeah, rocket. Lo he's got rockets that come out of his knee pads. So fucking cool. So cool to see white light. Love his work. Cyberpunk outrage is grossly overblown. Don't get me wrong, unpolished, no, but still a very solid game overall. Either way, Demon Souls game of the year, baby. Also high rags. It's not. Yeah, I bet he wasn't glad to see me after that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You, yeah, you had the hottest take of all of us, I think. You had the least favorable, like, intro, uh, thing. So that, yeah, poor Loveless, that guy was probably like, oh no. As much as it does annoy me that talk about bugs, like, is consuming the discourse around the game. Mm. Like, it's kind of unavoidable, just because of the scope of things. It's gonna consume the discourse. I mean, look how, look at the state of the game. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right on time. Those knee rockets in Boba's armor have been there since the 80s. Alright, then. <laughs> oh, I guess, right, then, cool. then I guess it tag, take it back, then. Yeah, that changes... That's wrong. What, yeah. nothing about everything we've said about them? But okay. <laughs> They're still dumb. Like... Like, wait a minute, you, you, guys, you guys think there was dumb stuff in the OT? It's like, yes. Yes. But at least he didn't fire those fucking knee rockets in the OT. <clears throat> Jeez, oh, who's described as the Mandalorian? So then everyone else who's described as a Mandalorian must have a jetpack with a missile mounted on the back of it as well, with Sweet. armor that looks identical. Sweet. This is Star Wars lore writing. Sweet. Mm -hmm. For all the faults with Cyberpunk, oh. I'm quite impressed with the new engine. With this as a shakedown cruise, I think Red Engine could make some great games down the line, having tons of fun regardless. Man, I feel bad for these people. I don't know how you come to that conclusion. This was right before we all just shout on it, so... <laughs> What's the functional difference between this and the creation engine? I don't know. Oh. The, only the highest quality bugs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got CDPR quality bugs. I mean, they are really funny. I got my money's worth. Yeah, they're hilarious. Uh, Fringaddy G, that. watch Renegade Cut's Rick and Morty video. It calls the show problematic while saying Bojack Horseman is superior in about uh, every way. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay, okay. Challenge accepted. I'm not sure <laughs> I'm there not is a single that. element of craft that I think Bojack beats Rick and Morty at. No, I don't think so. I think the animation isn't better, that's for sure. Rick and Morty is really well animated and it has a better look as far as I'm concerned. There's and you know, way better characters. Wise. Oh yeah, the characters way better are dialogue. monumentally better. The I reckon the, the themes better. are executed way stronger in Rick and Morty, but you know. I think it has a uh, stronger dramatic writing as well. Um and it's not even trying to be that. Yeah we might we might cover that video in future. Who knows? Um, are we going to ignore that the Beskar staff survived a blast from a Star Destroyer cannon? I sent a tweet to you about it if you want to see. Uh, I mean, it, I guess that makes sense if in this universe Beskar is like unstoppable metal other than a random fucking Smith's refinery place. <sighs> Beskar is vibranium, basically. 
Indestructilonium. I like how in Black Panther, he had a suit that could never be disabled, and that was considered a downgrade from a suit that can be disabled. That's yeah, a... I, I don't know. I, I don't know that I take any issue with the Beskar staff surviving that blast. I guess it, with what we've seen before, it should probably survive it. I don't know. Yeah, it's basically indestructible. Uh, correction, gimmick or redemption? Oh, they're asking if we think the end of season two of Mando is a gimmick or redemption. Um, it ain't no redemption. It's a big neon sign that says we're really sorry about the Last Jedi. Please forgive. <laughs> all, it didn't uh, work. Dude, Last Jedi peeps are very unhappy with that ending. By the way. Good. Aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I've seen loads of people tweeting about how like that's What's exactly their reasoning. Uh, so the TLJ's point was that we shouldn't celebrate Luke as this powerful Jedi who slashes down everybody who's in his way. Rather, he was someone who was flawed and needed to be uh, grown beyond, but at the same time was a hero for like a core reason of his personality being tied to defense and support, and that that's how he won the day in TLJ, not through slashing down the AT-ATs and cutting the head off Kylo. Rather, he stalled them all and taught them a lesson, and the good guys survived. Now, as much as that might be lesson. the lesson they're going for, like the execution mechanics are fucking garbled, but they're saying that the end of season two of Mando was what TLJ was talking about being like not the answer, and so everyone loving it is like annoying to them. Oh, what my shitty oh, well. movie was wrong? No. I will. I. I mean, I'm. I'm not on either side of that. I'm just like, oh, I, I think fun. both I of fight, I say. both of them are fucking shittily written. So what do you want from me? Like it's. Just, yeah, they're both bad. There's a, there's some other Shoot stuff as well. Like they, that's that the, they're worried that like Star Wars is just going to be about Luke and not any other characters and stuff. And I'm I'm sitting there kind of like, mm, kind of. At least my worries after seeing there's eleven shows they're planning. Yeah, was it Don't Mark worry. Hamill? It was a uh, deep fake Mark Hamill. But Mark Hamill did the voice. I'm thinking they they couldn't Maybe, just yeah. hire Mark Hamill. Well, Mark Hamill was not that as old as he was, like, chronologically. This takes five years after Return of the Jedi, so... Uh -huh. If it was him, he'd look not right. It's been a rough Don't five me. years, I look like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Rag, stop abusing the guests, they're not Mauler. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Mauler's... Mahler's used to, supposed to be a bottom, not a top. Abuse. He's the abusive bottom. I can be an abusive bottom. Uh, I just don't get it. Oi, Morley, what's your I'm, most... I'm, I guess I'm abusive. I don't know. Loved uh, slash hated lol hero and why. Loved would be Victor, because he's awesome. I like the gameplay, and his aesthetic is cool as hell. Um, most hated... I guess it depends on what era of LOL, because those are champions. Well, obviously, it's, obviously, it's Israel. <laughs> Good clip. <laughs> I actually like Israel. I... So, uh, hmm. Help me out, Theo. You play LOL. I don't. Uh, what was the question? I wasn't paying attention. Most hated champion in LOL. Ooh, for me, Yasuo. Um. <laughs> quick, explain Everyone's why, the and then I will adopt that as my opinion, too. Um. He gets a shitload of special treatment in terms of design, and he's just incredibly unfun to play against and lane against. It's like the game babysits him, and he's also the most popular motherfucker in the game, so everyone's playing weebass, son of a bitch. <laughs> wow, when Theo calls someone a weebass. <laughs> oh, I was just joking about it's, the weeb thing, it, but I, okay. I, I don't it's know. A wind samurai. I know nothing about League of Legends. It's a wind samurai with sword. We find a. Wow. You're just jealous because he's cool. Uh... He's cool, and I am jealous, but I also hate him. Isn't it annoying when people use a standard when critiquing a bad movie, but don't apply the very same standard to something they like? It's like some yeah, movies are it. immune to criticism. Kind of unfair. Yeah, it's annoying. Not gonna lie, it is yeah, kind of annoying. It's pretty annoying. Wish people would be uh, more consistent, but you know, I... oh well. No, I think hot take. There's a lot of things you could spot in Mandalorian that are also in TLJ, and thus 
you might be able to draw some lines there. Just saying. Just little connecty points, you know? You'd be like, Exhibit A. And then you'd be like, Exhibit B. And then you'd be like, it's the same exhibit. Uh, it's nice to know that Grogu will eventually be murdered by Ben Solo. Interesting route for the writers to take. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a great scene. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I want that little fucker to die. <laughs> Kyle's Black like, hole. you... Kyle's like, you hungry? And then just stuffs Baby Yoda's face with like loads of innocent, unborn children. <laughs> Trust me, what I just said makes sense if you've seen the show, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rags, you need to watch the first 20 seconds of Mario Judah's Die Very Rough. He looks like the one black guy who shouldn't be allowed to say the N-word. Huh. Yeah, no idea what that's well, referring to, but good luck with that, Rags. I recognize, like, the words. It's the arrangement that mm -hmm. has me confused. Um... A revision on a classic to get us into the festive spirit. You'd better watch out, you better not cry. Grandma bite the pillow, rags is going in dry. Oh my good oh god. Gonna <laughs> 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 be ruined. Oh no. The things that YouTube let through in Super Chats, can you believe it? Uh, hi rags. I really can't. Oh hi. Thoughts on the receiver games? Much uwu. Receiver <laughs> games? Mm-hmm. But I don't. Is, is that, that another like bottom series? thing? I don't know. I don't. Even, I don't recognize <laughs> right, yeah, it. As a bottom and a, a, a receiver uh, in in some kind of you know turn of phrase to to sieve again. I'm not. I mean, if you don't recognize it, and I don't recognize it. I think we're in trouble. I don't know what. What's yeah, going I'm on not. There. I'm not really following, but what's being you know put out there? Feel a little lost. Uh. Stormtroopers might as well kill themselves. Yeah. Um, I mean, they do. Whoa, it's a shock the how they don't actually constantly kill themselves by accident. They're too stupid to live. Wait, Mel, say something. <clears throat> hello, 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 hello. Why do you sound like ass? I, I don't know. I didn't do anything, I swear. No, I, oh, yeah, you're loud and shitty. Words. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything though. Oh Jesus, what have you Did done? You, oh yeah, you sound it's yeah, you sound, like it's sounds really show. rough and loud. You sound like a bad person I'm now. I'm only playing Devil May Cry, that's all I've done. Oh my goodness. I'm watching Devil May Cry blah. <laughs> uh I gotta reconnect, I guess. Oh. That's well, pretty exciting. Well, you sent him away. Oh <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hello? No, still gay. Still, yeah, it's still that thing. But, but still sounds I gay. I didn't do anything. <laughs> well. Well, being gay isn't always about what you choose to do. <laughs> not really a it's choice. what you choose to have done to you. Look, you have to fiddle with your microphone sides because that is that is some that is some Bilbo stuff odd. right there. <laughs> I didn't know what to. Oh my goodness! Did a did a. Desk fall next to you? Oh no. He might have swallowed his mic. I didn't know. It's in his belly. <laughs> 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 oh, there hey, he goes. Pro tip when you cough, don't cough into the mic. I didn't. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the other person who coughed. Do I didn't cough there? into the mic. I'm like, <laughs> I'm really far away from the microphone. <laughs> Well, it was louder than what you spoke, so I assume that uh, it, it could go further away from where you speak, you know? Turn that old okay. head. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Well, you know, mute, that could be a real cool thing Modern to do. Warfare 2 microphone. <laughs> I, I don't know when I'm gonna cough, and I'm in the middle of this game, so you gotta, you oh, gotta okay. deal with it. Alright. Yeah, hey, Mahler, he's in the middle of this game. It's unfortunate the crash removed pausing in the fourth iteration, I, uh... Yeah, it's a shame. Hey, man. look, all right, it's like Dark Souls. You can't pause. Well, that's a lie, but like some you know. boomer mom who doesn't understand that he, I can't just pause the game, mom. mom. Well, so what do you want? So, like, if I feel like I'm about to cough, is it you want me to pause the game and then like? Hey, Fringy, how often do you hear me cough? Uh, I, I've heard it happen. All right, you, you've you've yeah, no, you have, but it. how often? <laughs> What about Rags? What Probably. about Theo? What about White Light, yeah, our guest? Me? How many times has he coughed? Yeah, how many times have Sorry? I burped? 
I utilize yeah. the power of push. Is this, this is a per, is this a personal attack or something? This is a personal interventional attack, Jol. And uh, you're gonna have There's to. There's an intervention about my coughing. Yeah, all of chat wanted us to do this. They asked us last stream. Enough of your coughing, especially with COVID around. I, you're ganging up on me. All right, it's not okay. We're putting you on lockdown. Mm-hmm. Which is the same as normal, but you can't. Cofring nineteen. Yes, attack him. <laughs> yes, yeah. Coughing equals communist. Uh, I guess Mel died as well. Oh well. Wait, what is this? What kind it's of Mando shame. are you today? <laughs> I don't know. Someone posted that in my Discord. It was funny. Um, Going with eight. Honestly, the Empire is the poor, retarded kid getting kicked by everyone, yet no one says anything because the kid is really big and so they think it's okay. <laughs> well, that's a comparison, I guess. Wow. Uh, it's okay to bully a big person. Also, Table Jean says, hi, Rags. Oh, hi. This one just says white light. Yeah. What, what, what could that be a reference to? Uh, hope, hope that was worth the $5. It's it's probably a reference to all the a lot of those uh, like in cyberpunk you have all the lights uh, right, and they glow. Some of them are white. I he fear no man. White lights. But that rags, he scares me. I was angry when Nintendo too, falsely advertised Age of Calamity as a prequel to Breath of the Wild. Whenever Nintendo does something scummy, someone else has to do something worse within a month, I guess. Wait, was I thought Age of Calamity is a a prequel is it not is it like not canonical i don't know uh, well because age of calamity is like hyrule it's like you know the dynasty warriors thing and obviously that isn't on the same tier as like proper zelda so maybe maybe it isn't canonical because i don't want it to be that way i don't know um yeah i, I haven't heard um to be honest with you i'd probably ask you for information on it so <laughs> for yeah, age of calamity I, I, I haven't paid much attention to Nintendo this year because they kind of haven't released a lot this year, hmm. have they? I mean, what have they released? Like, that and Mario. Aren't they releasing a theme park? Uh, they are. I guess that is their, their cool new thing. Super Mario World or Super Nintendo World or something. Oh, boy. Universal. It's, it's just a bunch of, like, paved brick roads and turtles. <laughs> what, turtles that you can kill? <laughs> you encourage children to jump you, on turtles. You, you jump on them, the flesh splatters everywhere, and then the, the parents are like, Jesus Christ, and the, the people there are like, they're not real, don't worry. They're not real. It's like, well, have you considered taking these mushrooms? <laughs> 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 Good fucking lord, don't let the Smash YouTubers anywhere near it. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. What, where you punch people out of your field of view? It's like, why didn't they explode? I was thinking no. more that they'd hunt down the little kids. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's, no. <laughs> it's more of a. You gotta get on our level. You got... our, our brain is just elsewhere. <laughs> Well, wow. my brain is in Australia with Dingo Dial as he Whoa. tries to get back to his. Dingo Dial ever. sounds like the most Australian critter. Yeah, that Dingo is Dial. So true. Dingo Dial is kind of great. Like, he's one of my favorite characters in any video game. He's just funny. A, a, like, this genetic abomination <laughs> who just wants to live in a rest, have a restaurant and cook food. How you doing, man? Are we good with the sound now? You sound back to normal. Okay, so I don't know. Place does I need to cook food? I, I guess the driver shed itself. Because I listened back to myself, it was like, burp, 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 burp. I don't know what the fuck it was. I've never heard that before in my life. Well, you're all it fixed went, now. It went, burp, burp, burp. It... Yeah, when, when, I, when I tested it and talked, there was like a voice in, the, in my head, headset. Okay, like, burp, burp. Is this like oh my deference God, picking it. up from somewhere? Record it and check for EVPs. It That's could gone be now. They, uh, they, yeah, there's there's ectoplasm all over my microphone now. Check, check this, check this audio for EVPs. Check <laughs> this audio for EVPs. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> there's no vice presidents in my in my microphone. 
Fire At least one giggled. I'm, I'm fine with that. Imagine Racism. if Joe Bu Oh, wait, no, he's... Imagine if... Wait, <laughs> wait, sorry, I lost track of the joke completely. So it was something to do with the VPs hiding in your microphone. So, I don't know, I guess imagine... Well, no, she's not... Okay, so imagine Mike Pence hiding in your microphone. That'd be pretty scary, wouldn't it? Uh, All yes. right, fuck I don't know joke. why he <laughs> took, be took way too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here trying to figure out who the fuck is VP of America. <laughs> uh, Firefly had better cannon fodder than Mando, both Alliance and Outlaws. The heroes were vulnerable and the whole show had is better sci-fi western. Hi, Rag. Hi. I wouldn't even slightly be surprised if I was to rewatch Firefly and, and conclude it's better than Mandalorian. Um, you have I'm to sure be pretty fucking Mando. terrible. I haven't even seen no, that. We, we've all decided that Joss Whedon is terrible at, at storytelling, even though he's Are not. You, do you guys but... like Firefly? I, I don't know shit about Firefly. It's been a while since I've, I've seen I've, it, but I, I always seen it. liked it, yeah. I just only hear good Never things. Seen it. Does that surprise you, White Light, that we don't I'm... shit all over it? Is that what you're trying to get at? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Surely it's better I mean, than Mando. We're almost there, but... Definitely better than Mando at this point, yes. There's no... Well... Why don't hmm. we just list off everything in the world that you think is better than Mandalorian? Auschwitz. Be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like how Mando isn't even a real Mandalorian. He's from some weird Mando cult that's not respected by true Mandalorians. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. He's not weird a weird Mando cult. <laughs> I just appreciate that about season two. Where he's like, wait, you take off your masks? What the fuck? And then one of them is like, oh, he's one of them. <laughs> like, you fucking weirdo. He takes off his helmet, clearly has Down syndrome. <laughs> like, oh, he's one of them. He thinks the helmet protects him from oxygen you know they just believe weird things i uh, saw you guys on but boss won't let me stop the slaughter line to watch hope it's a fun episode stop um, the slot do you work in a slaughterhouse oh no well <laughs> imagine watching efat while cutting the heads off of cows like what a weird day you must be having yeah, I feel like EFAP kind of matches that vibe a little bit, you know? Well, animals dying. Yeah, <laughs> you can see how they can blend yeah. maybe, complement each other. I, I can well, see that just perfectly. Mm -hmm. I mean, EFAP <laughs> is generally half the time, it's, it, I mean, animal shitting all over things. It's mm -hmm. animal killing things, like art. Yeah, yeah. So. It'll make sense. Give me, that's, give me a burger. That's true, you did kill art, rags. Uh, not gonna lie, would prefer Shot they got head. Sebastian Stan, Winter Soldier uh, actor, to play younger Luke. He's awesome and looks a lot like Mark Hamill. I mean, I I would have been more on board with that than weird, loompy face. <laughs> loompy face. Loompy face where he can't emote or it'll become clear that he's a monstrosity. Yeah, and he can't <laughs> really do many speakings. Oh wait, wait, are we talking about Mando or are we talking about? Like, yeah, Mando. Who? What? Wait, what part did you? Yeah. I was Loompy face. I was doing a thing. Yeah, I was doing a thing where you're talking about another thing and then I apply that in its attributes to a different thing as part of the joke. Oh. Nobody understood it though. Well, I'm sorry that we we <laughs> ruined your terrible joke. But... It wasn't a terrible joke. Just because you, you didn't understand it doesn't mean it's a terrible joke. <laughs> well, right. because Nobody's you're laughing. like it can't show any emotion or else people will really that's oh, I, right okay then, I like, use oh, that defense oh, we, talk, we talking about mando or are we talking about deep brain fluid yeah <clears throat> uh love your stuff white light also hey pedro what pedro what? pascal um, I, I think so. Oh, right I maybe yeah. hate Pedro, like like when Vulture said that to Spider Man before he tried to kill him. I think so. I think that's. <laughs> Hello, it's, hola, uh, Pedro. It's what because it's Southpaw. I think he adds that to the end of his messages whenever he does. Uh, hola, Pedro. Hey, Pedro. Yeah, what's oh. up, Pedro? Have a good one. Good afternoon, Jorge. So talking about horse rags. I would say I I. I... I purchased the services of a friendly hooker in Cyberpunk 2077 just to see if it would be like super awkward or not. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was all right. Sweet. It was all right. That's yeah, pretty Mine had no cool. head and T posed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Whoa, that's you pretty, pretty hot. hot. You, you bought, you bought the premium? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay her down on the bed and fuck her neck hole. <laughs> Ew. 
<laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. Because cyberpunk. <laughs> because cyberpunk. Right. It's very cyberpunk. <laughs> That's true. Um, just watched Mando season two, episode one. Rag said the desert town looks fake. I felt that way, but for the night city in the first scene, to a much stronger degree. Hmm. That the night, night city? city did feel kind of fake. Yeah, the one where Mando killed that guy in cold blood by hanging him up and letting him get consumed by like alien dogs. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm not gonna kill you, and then I'm he just leaves in a position yeah. where they'll it's, be consumed it's, by. It's like... like in Batman Begins. I don't kill people except I'm gonna leave you to die. Yeah, that was bullshit. But um, the that city, <laughs> I think the only reason it was benefiting is because it was nighttime, and so you couldn't see beyond you know the line of sight, like a, a building or two. So it's like it just looked like half a street, and everything else was darkness. And so it's like, believe us, there's a whole city here, and you're like, uh huh. All right. An EFAP about games with white light? This is going to be my favorite EFAP to date. Well, it depends on you how liked you... it. Yeah, yeah it depends oh. on how you feel about cyberpunk, I guess. Yeah, like if you like cyberpunk. Yeah, if you really love it, then yeah. This I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. Um, I'm not. If if you love cyberpunk, I want to. I want to know what games you hate. <clears throat> yes. Can we get an EFAP you movies? Me not... No, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, if your thing was about that, you can carry on. Your booze mean nothing. <laughs> I see what oh, right, yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we get an EFAP movies for League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Same director as Van Helsing and the real greatest crossover event. We're going to do that for next Halloween, I think. We'll, uh, that'll be... That was, uh, the Sean last Connery. movie Sean Connery was in, right? I think it was the movie that made him want to retire. Um, but yeah. his, his last movie was some weird animation that looks awful that oh. will probably EFAP movies as well. Uh, Mandalorian caused fandom menace civil war. Oh my. I mean, I doubt that. I'm sure it's chill. Like, this is like, did you like it? Yeah, did you not? Civil yeah. war. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure it'll be alright. It's just, uh, some people think it's good. Some people think it's really shit. Uh, unrelated theory. China is the reason Thanos sucks in Endgame. In Infinity War, Thanos wants to wipe out half the universe so that the other half can eat. Mao Zedong, the founder of the CCP, once said that it is better to let half of the people die so that the other half can eat their fill. So, what you're saying is that Thanos is Mao Zedong reincarnated with purple. Pass <laughs> <laughs> the tinfoil. That's the most important change, is that he's purple. Yeah, he's well, like purple. they. Yeah, and I guess his chin is bigger. <laughs> instead of cracking the sympathetic angle, they were like, oh shit, this is too close to Mao Zedong. Let's make him super villain in the second one. Make sure we make him evil. <laughs> There you go. That <laughs> makes sense. Endgame is way worse than Inf Infinity War. Yeah, I don't even I know. Agree with that. I, like, who yeah. disagrees guys, with that, and where can we find you them? You guys. Well, I don't know. It's just like. But he's so much worse. It's like, you guys <laughs> proved to me that ha killing half the universe isn't good enough. I'm going to kill all of it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Lame. <laughs> I still remember in the it? cinema just being disappointed in that moment. Like, no. Why? Didn't even he's like just crazy evil now. He's Why just... is it. By the way, that like Thanos is as strong. Like Thanos can fight Thor without any of the stones, but I was under the assumption that the Power Stone was what actually made him strong. He's got the two strong. stones that count. No, but mm. he. Oh, right. I see. <laughs> I was about to be like, no, that's 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 uh, no rags. <laughs> They're not in Fury Stones. They're just no, testicles. Oh, he doesn't have the Reality Stone and the Soul Stone or whichever ones. He didn't. No. You, ones. Wow. Good job. You <laughs> you got that wrong. <laughs> what one? It was the was Power just... Stone and the Space Stone. Oh no, I, right? or as the most powerful ones? Oh no, as the ones he had from like the very beginning, basically. Oh yeah, I was going off like, what What would be the... Um, oh, top tier. Reality the Stone powerful is the most one. powerful one by far. It's kind of insane. Yeah, uh, well, powerful is an interesting... Def I would say most helpful in like a fight has got to be the Reality Stone, right? You can turn someone into sludge. Like, I don't see how... Except he never does, for some no. reason. Well, no. why can't he just say, well actually, I win? Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a weird one, but um, Reality in Endgame, yeah. in Endgame, he is stronger than when he has the gauntlet. And he, for, why? <laughs> well, just... yeah, I mean, remember, <laughs> like we... he, uh, he was strong enough to to throw Captain Marvel away when he had zero stones, but when he had all six, he couldn't headbutt her, and in fact, he was terrified of her. <laughs> Such uh... bullshit. <laughs> 
Don't mind me. He will just like, yeah, get Thor. Someone said I get a lot of things wrong with this get bullshit. To, get him to Thanos and he'll take care of it. And then <laughs> Endgame went, no. Literally, mm-hmm. he's vindicated. Like, because I said the reality stone. You've been you've been exposed, Rex. How's it feel? I just vote for being correct as usual. <gasps> like all of the things that I say, super oh. correct. Also, if they're wrong, and I yeah, say people them, don't give give you money for being wrong. How's that work? This is <laughs> this is the Sheevan Fro dilemma. Are things correct because I say that they're correct? I say them, or does me saying them make them correct? I mean, I don't I don't know. It's a, it's the thing. It's the dilemma is i don't we'll never know maybe. we'll give it a go say something yeah oh um let's see oh god what, what's I, I don't know how i how i could test it a cyberpunk is a mediocre game like oh it's true okay. oh my goodness wow. there we go canceling my video Tring, tringy's you, upset is tringy building a house like he's oh, like <laughs> he's yeah. he's building a house to live in when, for when he beats this game that's yeah, it'll be it'll be my house that I sit in when I've destroyed half the universe, except I've beaten Crash Bandicoot and I get to look over the sunrise. No, the sunset, and then have a little smile on my face and then end credits. It's not a grateful universe though, because you've murdered them all. Things are correct well, when Rex says them because the universe is too scared to disagree with Rex. <laughs> that's very true. That's what happens. Well, that's a good reference. As is all what all everyone on EFAP, everything mm-hmm. goes through Rex. As we established. This is all delayed. Everything goes like it's being approved in a little script that he's constantly saying yes or no to. Kind of amazing how we managed to maintain the podcast this way, but I think it works. Yeah. Also, White Light, your Death Stranding is one of the best pieces of content on this entire platform. I've watched it at least three times now. Hey. Fuck me. What it's a legend. A <laughs> watching it, yeah. yeah. 21 hours. Well. It, yeah, worth every minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey oh, guys. I applaud the dedication. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, I'm assuming you go over um, a couple of things in there, and the, it's probably worthwhile seeing it a second time. I make more than one point, uh, contrary to Reddit's fucking belief. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did you it get seems criticized to, you seem to on think the that I, ac- I accidentally made a seven-hour video essay? Like, I hate, oh, I hate when it happens. Hey. Yeah. So you must, you must really love Death levels. Stranding if you. Spent that much time talking about it. Yeah. It's just like, it's a commentary. And and people on Reddit are like, oh, you could have made this video in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, then it would be an uncommentary. Jesus Christ, man. Well, I mean... No, re- no reason to bring him into this. Yeah, poor Terry. I- I'm already up to, what is it, like 11 hours on my TFA series? And it's a two-hour film. I can't remember anymore. Um, You see, sometimes when you want to talk about a thing, you just end up talking about other things. And then you've talked about lots of things. Life. Chumbo. Finds a way. Chumbo. This is, this is, so Leonardo DeGonzo in chat, he says, I like Death Stranding. Okay. Legend. Well, okay. Do you have any? Do you have any comments to make? <laughs> oh, I guess legend was the comment, but if you'd like to elaborate on that, I agree. You don't have to. So it's fair enough. So uh, yeah, it's free fucking country. You can stay in there. Wait, which country? Not say anything. All good. Not all of them are free. Yeah, which huh? one? Oh, I don't know anymore. Night City. Night City. It's a free country. Sweet. Hey guys, and Mr. Rag. Hello. Hi. Hi. Your inflection implied that there would be more. Oh, there will be. But I was waiting for everyone to say hi back, and we only got three out of six so far. Uh, hi. Uh, well, hi. Hey, <laughs> hey, if CD Projekt Red can do five out of ten, we can do three out of six. Yeah. Uh, what other D&D podcast slash groups do you guys recommend that are hilarious and not politically correct like D&D Crusaders? <laughs> Oh, I, I don't, I don't watch any. I don't, <laughs> I, so I don't watch anyone play. Um, uh, I don't really watch some. There's some ones that I've watched. I used to watch. Uh, let's see. Who are the? Every once in a while, I'll. Uh, generally, 
Seth Skorkowski. I like his videos. He talks about tabletop RPGs. Um, how to be a great GM. Sometimes I listen to him. Um, I used to watch. I used to watch uh, or listen to Matthew Colville until he told me that it, um, I I need to like examine, re-examine my behavior and rethink about <laughs> what I'm doing because the people that I played D and D with were all white males. So yeah, <laughs> fuck that guy. But uh, yeah, I don't really watch too much in the way of um, like tabletop RPG content, honestly. I used to watch the roleplay series back on EJP's channel, like way back in the day. I used to watch a bunch of those, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, I don't really watch people play tabletop RPGs. I play them with my friends usually. Uh, All of you do have friends. people have mm -hmm. friends, yeah. <laughs> White Light should still be here since he's a proprietor of the long, so he can tell you, Dumbos, to play Doki Doki Literature Club. No spoilers, though, lol. Yeah, I was harassing Chris Davis on, uh, about that on Twitter, that he, he needs to play it, but... Alas. Would you recommend so, it to you guys played it? So he can... No, I haven't, it. though people tell us we need to. Often. We have been I've told. I've seen a playthrough. I, I know what happens in it, so don't know matter for me to play it. I don't know anything about it. I guess it's some schoolgirl game. I don't know. I, I yeah, don't know dude, it's anything. it's it's really really lighthearted. You'll you'll love it. We won't it, hate it. Are you sure? I mean, you guys not <laughs> hating something. Come on, but uh. <laughs> uh yeah, it's very cutesy. There are absolutely no dark moments in it at all so you know sweet <coughs> uh kylo mm. killed baby yoda when he left it's canon excellent cool. i would like it if they showed us that scene though for my own satisfaction i would like to just be <laughs> cool. i want him going gaggle go go and then kylo stamps and it's over apparently there's a there's like a there's a fetish called a uh, boob scat where ladies poop from their nipples. Cool. You know, I'm gonna forget I have that. There's nothing that humanity won't won't try. Maybe I shouldn't have woken up today. No, it's, I often ask that question. <laughs> but then you couldn't have the you couldn't have the incredible catharsis of letting all of your cyberpunk thoughts off your chest to a to a small room of like-minded individuals. An echo chamber. Where we all just said the cyberpunk has the big gay. Yeah. I don't know why Chad is surprised about what Rex said. I just don't. It's normal. It's just yeah. knowledge. I saw some people saying okay. It's like that's the correct response. <laughs> Everyone else, you know, thanks, Rex. That's another good one. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Off your chest. Thanks, thanks for your thanks. It, I'm thankful for your thanks. Um. Snyder confirmed on Vero that the Snyder Cut will be released in March of next year. Hail Snyder and the Snyder Cut. All meat, no cheese, no bolognese. What? Or bologna. <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be checking it out. I can't wait for the discussion around that one. It's going to be fun. It'll be really good. If people like that one scene in The Mandalorian, then they should be calling for a return to the old EU. If that, with heart, crafted over decades. They probably would prefer that, to be honest. They're just, they're just very hurt from the sequel trilogy, okay? They're recovering. You gotta pat them on the head and be like, it's okay. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is so bad. The enemy AI is awful. Weapon balance is all over the place. And the cars feel like driving on ice with buttered up tires. Only positive is that it looks good. Butter. I wouldn't go that far. That's not the only positive, but... I mean, okay. I like butter. The only so positive is what? That it looks good. That it looks good. Right. Hmm. You know, here's a controversial take on driving. People will say that literally any driving system in a video game sucks if it doesn't feel like GTA. Doesn't matter how actually well coded it is, they'll just say it sucks if it's not GTA. What do you guys That's think? That's my take. Um, That's interesting. Um, because I I don't think the cyberpunk driving is good at all. I think it's very unresponsive and strangely designed. Yeah, I'm not necessarily applying that to cyberpunk, but I, yeah, I people are way too. Yeah, people who say finger. that are very odd to 
hmm. odd sort of. I suppose it makes some sense in that it's going to be the one that's the most popularly like mm. played, most familiarity that people will have. And maybe just because of that, people will associate that one with being the best one. But yeah, you got to dig into easy, their yeah. argument, find out if what they're saying is true or false. Uh, character, uh, bleh, character assassination is more recognizable than plot holes to most people, however numerous and gaping. Uh, I think this is why people prefer Mando. Yeah, I, th I think that's very, very clear that they didn't have Luke drinking titty milk, they had him slashing down robots, and I think that's the key difference. Mm. Doesn't matter that both the plot lines in Mandalorian Season 2 and TLJ are Swiss cheese but melted and torn apart and then strewn across several uh, chopper doesn't, things. Doesn't, it, doesn't calling it Swiss cheese but melted kind of eliminate the entire point of the... Well it would, if not for the fact that I continued to say it was then strewn apart and being melted it was easy to do so, idiot. Yeah but, yeah, but why Swiss cheese at all at this point? Um, I just think it's easy to melt Swiss cheese. Do you think so? Yeah, I, I, like, of all the things to melt, I feel like Swiss cheese is pretty good melting because it has holes in it yeah like it comes pre-holed so you can get some extra <laughs> holes while pulling it apart i don't know oh. i think it's kind of <laughs> I'm struggling to put that sentence i don't together. know like shred <laughs> i think shredded like shredded cheddar would be easier to melt um i mean the swiss, the swiss cheese could with. be shredded actually that's Okay, we'll have the Swiss cheese shredded and then melted. Well, could, what about, um, it'd be easier to melt, um, what, what's the, like, like a soft cheese, you know, like, um, what's a nice soft cheese, like a goat cheese, maybe? Hmm, okay. okay. Really runny goat cheese? Or Let's a... do that. Pre-hold. Pre-hold goat cheese, yeah. There we go, we've described Mandalorian. Yeah, it is pre-hold goat though. cheese. Or cottage melted. cheese. Cottage cheese, that's pre-hold. It doesn't look anything like a cottage. Yeah, some bullshit. What, cottage cheese doesn't look These like a These are the conversations you have at 3am, completely blackout drunk. 3am? It's only midnight. Add five minutes to midnight. Is a tub of cottage uh, cheese. It's not midnight. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's didn't not... you get on my ass for that earlier, Mola? I did. Do you feel bad? About what? <laughs> not lying. Lying about what? Why, when Wilight like, talks, I think it's Theo, but <laughs> hi. About the <laughs> I said this earlier. The two of them is too <laughs> similar. We have to separate them out now. It's official. Oh, no. You should both. Theo, do you mind? Do you mind amping up your your northern inflection? I'm afraid I can't. Um, no. I don't have I'm a northern inflection. I, I don't understand your weird Albion speak. All right, speak English. Down right Albion. Here, no, I only speak the city of Albion. Can you do any right. impressions? What? You want to hear my uh, impression or... of Sylvester <laughs> Stallone? Go on. Uh, he's a pretty good actor. <laughs> Seems like a nice I guy. see what you did there. Boo. Boo. I feel like uh, I wonder what the the when you think about the accents that are, that are the hardest to do. I feel like American is super low on that list, and like the the more you know. Can like, you do an more... American accent for us to what me? To show... oh, yeah. Oh boy. So it... <clears throat> hey guys, I'm Fringy. I I uh, I I'm from uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. I uh, I I like going to McDonald's. Um, I like watching, uh, Gridiron. <laughs> it's, it's, no it's like... <laughs> That's so no mean, at all. <laughs> nah, I, I think there's definitely a difference. You sound like you're... you're you, you definitely sound less Australian. Mm-hmm. People yeah, saying boo bad accent. Oh, get fucked. That I don't think. Fucked. I don't think that. I don't think that's a terrible accent. I like the. He oh did my that god! On stage. So bad. Well, how about you give me some script or material to work with? All right. I don't know if it's the script that convinced me. Because you did. I, you did say the words. I'm from Pennsylvania, so that should have convinced me if it was the script that was the problem. What I'm saying. Like, well, he studies exactly from Pennsylvania. The same as usual, to be honest. Well, I don't, I don't know agree. what you want me to say. Um, 
They want I, you to I say American. no in American. That was bad. I was American. That was, I am. A, is that how it works? <laughs> You're from America, so you get to decide what the accent's quality is. No, I, just think it was, I think it's pretty, I think it's all right. It's not that bad at all. I just like I to hear like, people do American accents. I, you know, you, you need to ease into it. I, I can't, I can't call on these things, you know? Listen yeah. to somebody else for some pointers. Nah, no thanks. <laughs> I just, I just like they all boo you and then you throw tomatoes at the audience. <laughs> like, well, yeah, you? all right, sorry. I just, I, I, I feel like, um, <laughs> what, what, but yeah, I think American, maybe like Southern, that's, I think that's literally how it works. Uh, oh, is that how it works? You live in a country, you're the arbiter of the accent quality. Is that how it works? Because I'm not British, and I can tell you when somebody's doing a bad British accent. Well, the funny thing is, like, if I were in a movie, uh, <clears throat> and I play a Welsh character, and I speak as I do, someone's gonna be like, Oh my god, his Welsh accent's terrible. And I'd Dude, be like, oh, I've had people I'm from Wales, but okay. I, yeah, well, I mean, this happens <laughs> to me. Like, I've had people say, you sound American. It's like, the fuck are you talking about? No, I don't! <laughs> well, isn't the, the funny thing about accents? It's really hard to be definitive about a judgement on them. Um, we, we were talking about this with Bly Manor, right? Like, uh, the criticism of Peter was that his Scottish was too generic. It didn't sound like it came from a particular, uh, I don't know, part, part of Scotland. But the thing is, there are th those accents. There are people who have what you would consider a generic accent or whatever. And so you're just like, as long yeah. as it's... This is why there is no accent that is technically uh, inaccurate to a, like, to a degree. If you have someone who speaks like a perfectly generic Scottish accent but they randomly throw one word in there that sounds off and like their normal accent is the actor <coughs> and you point that out as a flaw, on, in some respects like, but they, what if they did that in real life? Would that be a flaw? Like, I don't know. So. Well, and also just, um, you know, like the, the minor variations in the, cause you know, for, for, for instance, like people think that there is just one Australian accent, like there is the homogenous one, but it depends on like how rich you are. For instance, if you're if you're poor, you're probably more likely to be like, "Hey, what's up?" Or, well, I'm I'm fucking up here. I I'm 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 stressed. I'm not performing well under pressure. I need so lines. What are you to do? Give me lines. What, so what what accent are you trying to do? I'm trying to do Australian, but you're poor. <laughs> the Australian, Australian accent. If you're poor. Poor. So like like an Aborigine accent? No, <laughs> no, like um, like if you're if you're you know, basically bogan accent. Like if you live in uh if you live in the western suburbs of Sydney bogan? or something. Well no, they West... don't sound like that. Bogan? Um, west of I'm... Sydney. Well they don't that's more like your cliche like what what people in America think that uh Australians sound yeah. like all of them. Yeah. It'd be more like um Yeah, kangaroo. You know, that'd be oh, like you've got a fight. That's you know, they say instead of fight, it would be fight. Like fight Floyd, the war, kind of. Somewhere. Come on, Morty. We're going to where's the where? Yeah, going? basically that. Uh, we're going to Bendigo to get the green cube. We're gonna go to Bendigo, Morty. <laughs> yeah. Like that's. <laughs> but then again, that's that's really playing Chat it up. saying I'm spot on. <clears throat> hey Same Morty, check it. it out. Yeah. I I made some modifications to be portal gun. Now it's also a real gun. I got a real gun, Morty. Why yeah. are you putting it over my head, Rick? Morty. I'm gonna go to the Sydney Opera House. I'm gonna well, bring my to... bring my pet kangaroo. Nobody who goes to Sydney Opera House is talking like that. Yeah, it is. To go to Sydney me, Opera my, House. me and my pet kangaroo. We're gonna go oh, to Sydney no. Opera House. I just saw somebody say something about his name's Keith. Pouchy. Rags definitely sounds more like a New Zealander than I, uh, cause New Zealander is like fush, fush and chips. That's, that's, if you're a New Zealander, that's how fush, you say. Fush, fush, fush no, and chips. Fush, fush, fush. fush. They don't Why would you fish. flush the chips? Fush. Fish, fush. Just like fush kangaroo. Um, I think that's Poisonous that's spiders. Right. Um, and then I guess like, what, what's like, there's variations of, there's like 10 million British accents. So I, Quickly I feel down like under. Any, 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 attempt I would, any attempt I would try to make would be a butchering of like all uh, several but of Reynolds, I know that there's like, um, like if you- Shooting Aborigines. Well, you don't, you don't meant to call them Aborigines. <laughs> well, you're supposed Aboriginal. to call them Stephen. Stevens. <laughs> Carlos. Um. Adam Savage. I think the lesson of the story is that uh, American is so generic that everyone can do it, much like like was shown. 
No, the the, mor the moral the moral is that American is so generic that when you do an impeccable American um, accent, like even Americans think that you're doing it badly. But um, you know, the more we learn. You yeah. call them I'll just hey, look, I'll prove you wrong. Like I'll just speak in an American accent for the next thirty minutes. Do it. Uh, Go just... on. Yeah, yeah, do it. Right, I, I yeah. will. All right, I will. I'll be the Australian, and you can be the American. <clears throat> what are we gonna do for everyone else? I'm, I'm for a very, I'm, a, I'm from an unspecific part of the down under land, yeah, a place that doesn't exist. Rex, give, That's give, not give true one at all. for everyone you else. Ain't, ain't been Metal there. has to do Russian. Metal, metal's got. He's got to yeah. do Russian. White light's got to do um, Antarctican. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps the same accent. Um. Just means you shiver. Open. Speak penguin. Yeah. <laughs> what, about I what about me and Theo? Well. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I already fucking broke out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's Chinese. Uh, Mahler, you do uh you do um uh South African. Sound like John Wayne. How does South That's African go? Give me an example. I I I I don't know. What In about uh, what about like a character from a movie? Uh you you remember Vicus from uh District Nine? Oh, is that the protagonist? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't remember what he sounds like. Shaping up to be an interesting effect. Yeah, at least for the next half hour. At least as long as we could keep this fucking shit going, innit? <clears throat> yeah. I saw somebody <laughs> say, say no, no, no. Roll. So <laughs> no, you roll can't say no as an American. <laughs> um, <laughs> No. How, how, how do Americans say no? South, South African. How the fuck do Americans say no? Uh, Where are you from? That's, that's Scottish. That's Scottish. Ah, it's oh, Scottish. Right. He's, he's, he's been a Scottish man in Antarctica. That's you not have a debt The original Scott came from Antarctica. There's white as snow. Exactly. Yeah. One soul Nigerian. is not equal to another. Oh, you come from Antarctica too. No. <laughs> no. You can't say the N word. <laughs> I can. Bronze. I just can, all right. Uh. Hey, hey Mola, I heard you mentioned a dark in a previous video. Did you finish it? And what do you think of it? I got two and a half seasons in, and that's when I realized that I was getting more questions than I was getting answers, and I gave up. Um, it was really hard to keep track of everything. If I was to rewatch it, I might have a better shot. I thought it was really cool. Um, soundtrack, aesthetic, and acting, and hell, I really enjoyed uh, the fact that it was in German, honestly. The German language is pretty neat. Um, but well, I, I couldn't fucking follow the storyline to save my life. There's like five, four timelines and dimensional travel. I was getting so lost. Too many <laughs> questions, not enough answers. And then more questions, and oh, I was like, no! Bad. The question to answer ratio was it's all out of whack, all bamboozled. So Same Super Chat says, Fringy's Fringy gotta do Cajun, Rag's gotta do Boston, and I've gotta do Southern Drawl. What was Cajun? Isn't what that, is that the accent that it's fucking like, um, Daniel it's Craig like a, has? Like French, a bit of um, American Southern. Fucking I, 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 uh, yeah. I don't know what that is. That you fucking get, hell didn't get, sound very Russian metal. It, you gotta oh, talk bleh. like you're a, um, like you're a crawfish. <laughs> Blit. That's bullshit. Come on. <laughs> hey. It's like Nico Bellic. Go, let's go bowling. Okay. I can totally drop the accent now and just stop trying. Uh, also, hi, Rags. And anyone else who's there? Hello. Hello. Hi. Howdy. New old people. That's, you know, that's way Howdy. Yeah. I have I so, so, so many I'm dreaming peeps. Today. I have so many Today, peeps mate? that are longtime Star Wars fans devouring all of the content going back years. I've been heavily invested as well. 
up till the Disney takeover. I'm always told that I'm no fun to turn my brain off, or this content is just as silly as the old. It's exhausting. <clears throat> hey, this podcast perfect for you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> We, uh, we deal with those arguments all the time, and yeah, the content fucking Fuck. blows. This, this podcast just, it's sort of turning into like a, um, like, like a, like a Star Wars, um, emotional support group. See, now that's, thinking. that's my, that's my, uh, that's my coaching for you, uh, Rags, is like would be more accurate. Like? <clears throat> like. 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 I mean, come on, just listen, listen to what I'm saying it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just do that. Do like. do you like? Somebody's saying that it's Cajun is Gambit from X Men, but I can't remember what he sounds like. So, yeah, yeah. See, somebody spelled it out. L O I K E. Like, like, like. The hysterical tip. Well, how does Canadian go again? That's Canadian like... is basically just American, but hey, a every now and then, or a boot. What's this a boot, eh? <laughs> I thought that was just wow, um, Minnesota. No, Minnesota. I think that Canadian is a boot. Ooh, this is a yeah. Canadian. Well, the Minnesotan boot. accent is fucking crazy. Like, uh, it stands out in yeah, American accents so much. You're just gonna have to, yeah, you just sort of go oh, with yeah. it, you know what? Uh, I just encountered <clears throat> a crazy glitch in oh my Crash God. 4. But, uh, in any case, I, I guess yeah, I gotta tell me about it. American. <clears throat> um, Some people often say that Australia's kind of the like the glitch of the earth. Who says? Everyone says that, Fringy. Jeez, you wouldn't everyone, know because you're a glitch. Everyone says it. We just don't say it when you're around. Because it's insensitive. We want to be nice. We want to just want to make fun of hats and say the day, mate. over there. Right. They've got enough yeah. to worry about. Fringy, have you ever been to Outback Steakhouse? <laughs> uh, that's probably as a place. It's a restaurant chain in America. <laughs> <laughs> Probably nothing like Australia at all, actually. Do they actually right? No. Someone said regs do Rottweiler. <laughs> Rottweiler? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. <laughs> it's, 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 it's want me to start barking? Uh, I'm getting tired. Bring you why is Twilight Princess objectively bad? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't... Twilight like, Princess. Yeah. Are you racist? Oh, Twilight Princess. That sounds like the name of a horrendous sexual maneuver. Give me the old Twilight, you wanna, you wanna Twilight Princess, princess no? please. I'd fucking He's love it. He's gonna that. bend you over a barrel and show you the 50 states. Well, Fring's not disagreeing, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know... Don't worry about being the one person in your friend group who doesn't like all the new Star Wars stuff because you can hang out in our comment section. I like uh, I, I I like how somebody made the observation like Maul's American accent's better than yours, free. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maul's Australian's better than Fringy. <laughs> voice acting. Like, well, anything's well, yeah, better. It was funny. Than... The two years I did voice acting, I did way more American voices than I did British ones. Yeah, you probably would, because just American is more called for, mm -hmm. in general. Even the, I mean, just... the amount of Australians who are in American, like, films, and you just wouldn't know it, because they always have to put on an American <laughs> accent. The funny meme, though, is that, like, villain roles would often be British voices. Mm. Just, like... <laughs> it's funny, that. Those yeah, but the hero's, say? like, Crocodile Dundee. He was from Australia. He was a hero over there. Yeah. Crocodile Dundee is like I just don't the typical shit. Australian, really. <laughs> An yeah, average representative Australian. of the represents typical what Australia's Australian is all about. That, yeah. That's how that's how you guys say Australia. Australia, like that's all Australia. I hear. Australia. Australia. All right, yeah, right. Yeah, that's why I said Australia. Australian. <laughs> no, you have to say Australia. <laughs> I think, I think Fringy fell off a fell off a platform. Yeah. Yeah. Platforming yeah. and uh, take a little tumble. Or about yeah. time. You are such Someone a said to fucking do accent. dongo Someone dial. said to do V's accent. V's accent's not too bad. You just have it's it's more not how you say it. It's more what you say. And it's like um, 
Yeah. Right, it, Sargon, what are you doing? Yes, yeah, the key word to get you started is Sargon. Yeah. That's what you and need for yeah. What are you doing? Gotta talk Wait, bit, right? But Let's you have to bit. get on a podcast with me. What are you talking about? Sargon. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? What are you oh, doing? I, I, miss, I, miss, I mistook BV, the YouTuber, for V from Cyberpunk. V for Vendetta? No. V's more like this. Sargon, we have to find a Ripper Duck. <laughs> he's, he's an optional, like, companion in the game. <laughs> Yeah. Oh God, what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> Where are we going? He mysteriously survives like all of the gun shootout fucking places. And he, he just, <laughs> he just continuously pops up like, at the end of the out. fight. <laughs> Thank goodness we survived, Sargon. Game of, Game of Thro Thrones. <laughs> um. Star Wars. Finished the game last night, really enjoyed it, plenty of good character moments throughout, and tons of choices slash results. Also high rags. Hello, hi. Why does everyone say hi, Rax? What, what? Well, it's because... Wow. Well, I mean... there's, there's everyone here. you got Morley, you got Fringy. But they're, all, they're only at hi, Rags. Has Morla been greeted once? Everybody says hi, Rags, but nobody asks how, Rags. Or why. Yeah. No one says anything to Morla at all. I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling a little down under right now. Why would you feel down yeah. under? Everyone's saying hi to you. <laughs> I know a, a, an, an element of, of your uh, Australian accent is just speaking to my bitch. Like, that's part of your accent. Well, saying hello could cure depression, Mola. Oh, shit. Push it further down, Rags, oh, and you can false. start getting closer to, further like, down. really cool Australian accents. Cool Maybe I can push accent. it down so far, I, uh... Instead right of being like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, up yeah. There. No, no, this is it. This is it. Nice and up high. What's, uh... Floating on the clouds, I am. What what demographic can I piss off now? Like British people, I guess. British. Well, you got three here, so. British. Yeah. yeah. British. Um, but what's what's the easiest one to do? Probably Cockney, right? Like. This is the one that Americans think that uh, British people actually sound at, like when there's like three Cockney people left in Britain. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like people still people still think that Brits say governor. Governor. Sophisticated British villain, you know? British. It's either you're oh, British. Yes, of course. Well, there's the, the, basically the only thing I've noticed is that if you're upper class you actually say T, and if you're lower class you don't say T. <laughs> have empty space. In fairness, British. I do both of those. I'm British. I'm I'm British, British. Yeah. British. I get, I uh, let's have it go. Yeah. I I fluctuate between <laughs> them because I call metal metal and metal. Oh, are you having a giggle? You having a giggle, mate? Giggle, no. You having a giggle, mate? Wait, it's Come whether on, or mate. not in it. It's like it's whether or not you want to put the effort in, isn't it? It's whether Whatever. you want to actually yeah. pronounce these fucking words or not. <laughs> British. <laughs> So uh, fucking British. Someone, someone's waiting for the Wakanda accent. I am the king the of Bombay. Wakanda. I am the, I am the king of yeah, Wakanda. See, I, I'm better suited for this. This is in my blood. Oh, 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 oh geez. Oh, okay, wow. all right. Pulling, he's pulling the race card. Well, no, it's, it's not because pull it, pull I, I've never race. met African who sounds like that at all. That's because they're not from Wakanda. Wakanda Can forever. Can help? Fictional we do, we do not do that here. I, oh. I am. I I never freeze, freeze, freeze. Uh, you gotta roll the R a bit freeze, more. Freeze, freeze. Sargon, why do you say Wakanda forever? Wakanda forever. Wakanda. Oh, we're gonna slip into the fucking the slip Uganda the knuckles fucking... here nice. real quick. Uganda knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the way to Wakanda? Do you know the way? Why are you it's running? Like, it's why like half running? African, half Indian. <laughs> um. Disney Star Wars is like a cheating girlfriend. Mando is like saying, well, at least she only gave the last guy a handy while she baked me a cake. All right. That would be impressive if she could bake a cake while giving someone a hand job. If it's a good cake. That's pretty like, impressive. Yeah. Ow! It could end up just being well, a really shitty a good... cake. I think it'd be hard to give someone a shitty hand job. No, I meant I mean, hand job was the hand, hand job. job part will probably be okay. It's just if the cake turns out really good, I'll be impressed. But if it's a shitty cake, it's like, is it yeah, really impressive to fuck up a cake? Yeah, making a cake is way more complicated than giving someone a hand job. And so if they fuck it up, I'm not going to be impressed. But if they manage to nail it, yeah, I, I would. Yeah, okay. I would give them rewards. Amazing. Hmm. 
Best case I can make off the top of my head. Mando's character is that he's a violent hardy who softens up increasingly to a child who reminds him of his traumatizing childhood being kidnapped, etc. Piss. Mando doesn't have a character. Yeah, I don't I don't appreciate this, these lies in Super Chats about whether or not Mando has a character. He's like, come on now. Don't be silly. Called Norman. Norman Neuchen Mando. Norman yeah. Mando. Um, but yeah, as for that arc... Um, they didn't do any of that. That's just something that you might have spotted because he chose not to kill the baby and then cares about it vaguely. Kill the baby. There's no, um, like, supporting scenes of him having to deal with his old life and now his new choices or anything. It's just the baby is awkwardly, like, in episodes, kind of. Marketing. So that is new advent calendar. It's about me, so I care. Wow. <laughs> I, to wow. I told you that earlier today. Why, oh, little angel? You told me that yesterday, but it wasn't up yet. Um, oh, okay. Look at that adorable yeah. little Aussie. Beautiful. He got his yeah, halo. No, yeah. This is, this is some cool stuff. Been good. Yeah. Keep Akin's killing it once again with the 12 days calendar of Chris Krimbus. You got um, Looks like the Avatar uh, too. I got the, the red nose and the antlers. We even got Spot. Spot came before Fringy. Not trying to say anything Spot, there. Just Spot, stating facts. Spot, Spot. Why are you saying? Yeah, they're really interesting. Do you think any other of Ra like Rudolph's organs are red? Hot. Well, I mean, probably the, the organs that are soaked in blood. So probably. No, most no, of them like there. like the glowing red. You know, like he's got the glowing red nose. Does he have any other organs that glow red? Maybe they're like inside of him, or we just don't talk about them. Well, I mean, how would anybody know unless they cut him open? Well, maybe if it's really dark skin, right? and they're bright enough, you could... Yeah. I Imagine don't know. trying to sleep in the same, like, room as Rudolph. It'd be impossible. Well, you know. Can he control it? You ask him to no, leave? He, well, I don't think he can. Is it like um, Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man where he has to have confidence in himself to... Have his like to be able to turn it off. Playing with fire here. <laughs> what? Rags. What Rags just said is what, just, what happens in Spider-Man Two. <clears throat> I'm just saying yeah, what no, happened in Spider-Man Two. You know, but just yeah, it's all I'm, it all I'm saying. Is that someone said his glowing red rocket. You know. Oh, like a <laughs> new rocket. Like glowing. a South Park red rocket. Well, I I think I mean, he's confusing it with the sleigh that he pulls, the red uh, Santa's uh, red sleigh. Yeah, the sleigh and the rocket are two different things, but you know, it's a yeah. fair. Imagine though, like if uh, if if Rudolph, because his whole thing was that you know Santa needs him as like his headlights. What if they just shut off in the middle of the thing and he's driving blind? Well, I figure if you're flying through the air, you probably won't bump into anything. Well, unless you crash into another plane. <laughs> But yeah, Whoa, you could. Are you I trying to insult Tasm yeah. too? What the fuck? Someone said if he could turn it off, the others wouldn't make fun of him. I know. That's why he'd have to have like. Um, if, they could still make fun like, of him even be... if he can turn it off, right? Well, yeah, he yeah he could be like a fucking dweeb or something, yeah. and they could make fun of him for other reasons. And then the red, you know, knows what happened too. My favorite part of that story is how um they all bullied him until they realized they could use him, and then they all like him. And that's meant to be a happy ending. Well, it's we a lesson, right? You be useful, you fuck. It, yeah. it, it showed that Rudolph was actually kind of a cuck, where he was like, he was so desperate for affection of any kind that even if he's only loved for the usefulness he could bring to other people, that's better than nothing for him, hey, and he'll look, settle for that. that. Twat Blitzen, the hell has he got to offer? What, Blitzen? Which yeah. one was, wait, which one was he? Well, He's just one Wait, of the let me... regular shit one. On dancer, on prancer, he could, on... Shit one, he could fucking fly, Fringy. Well, they can all fly, so what else are you doing for So me, none though? of them are shit. I, <laughs> no, not all reindeer can fly. Well, yeah, but these eight can, including... Wait, Rudolph, couldn't Blitzen, so... like, That's only eight. That's really important, though. Couldn't Blitzen control fire? I, I, I'm pretty sure. Is that Blitzen? But could Blitzen now? control fire? Pretty, pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It's in the name. It's like a dragon. Holy... He is Blitzen. Well, let me look Dragon. up what which one Blitzen is. Um, Try to type fire controller. It might get you it. Uh, Blitzen fire control? That must be it, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, here's, here's a, there's a, there's a hero's wiki, and Blitzen is on the, this one is Blitzen. He's, the fire that's section? kind of a, 
low quality. No, he's in the. No, he's in the. He's in the male animals, spouses, and oh, those are tags. Um, Blitzen is the brother of Dasher, Comet, and Cupid, the husband of Mitzi, the oh. father of Rudolph. Oh, so Blitzen. Yeah, Blitzen. Okay, so Rudolph is the son of Blitzen, and it's good to control M fire Mitzi? too. Sick. Wait, wait, his. So is Mitzi the so Mitzi is wife of Blitz and mother of Rudolph, the sister-in-law of Comet, <laughs> Cupid, and Dasher, and uh, the aunt by marriage of Arrow, oh a supporting <laughs> character in the ninety-eight, uh, 1998 film Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the movie, and a minor character in its sequel book Rudolph Saves the Sprites. <laughs> she was voiced by Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> it doesn't even mention the fire. Okay. The problem yeah, is that all weird, of these reindeer look the fucking same. <laughs> they yeah, know. They just know. Like... Would you rather fuck Mitzi or Lola Bunny? <laughs> Wait, what, 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 is, what, where did that come from? Didn't Lola Bunny know. birth fairydom to a degree? I'm sure that it, she's kind gonna of, win yeah. out. Along with ascension. So Should this is Blitz. Uh, he's got a medal <clears throat> on his. I guess he's got a medal. And he's got a he's got a like a lightning bolt scar on his on his sweet Harry his Potter. Oh, uh, look at that fucking edge lord. Yeah, this is like your OC. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, my reindeer OC. Has my reindeer has a fucking bolt. lightning scar. Well, mine can it's control fire, so fuck you. <laughs> um. Disney style, oh wait, yeah. Uh, best case I can make off the top of my head, Mando's character, wait a minute, I read that one too. My god. Oh, you idiot. But there are penises, and that makes it good, just <laughs> like how Mando has Luke, and that makes it good. Oh my god. We're getting such different takes in chat about the game. Without this expectations, funny. without expectations, I found it to be okay, I guess. The game came out some three to five years too late and suffers heavily from Rockstar Syndrome. Strict linear missions are boring in an open world. Six out of ten. All right. And this one says, hello there. Hello. I heard an Here's opinion. Here's a test on... about which of Sam's reindeer are you. I guess you could take a... Uh... Like a test or something to see which one you are. Or actually, no. It just it just names them all and it fucking describes them. I'm gonna see which one I'm like. I'm blitzing. <laughs> which reindeer is right? One is gay. So, the other is gay. Can, can y'all <laughs> all of the uh, all of the reindeer? Y'all know the names off the so top of your head. Dasher, Dixon, Donna, Blitzen. Yeah. <laughs> That's the that's jingle all the way. You guys will see that. Yeah. What are the, what are the last ones, though? I don't fucking know. I'm a gay. Someone just pinged me uh, in my Discord. They pinged me with uh, porn of reindeer. <laughs> okay. Cool. Not real reindeer. They Anthropomorphic reindeer. It would right. be so, weird if somebody was just standing next to reindeer filming them while they had sex. That would be really <laughs> This one has Rudolph and the tip of his penis glows red. <laughs> I don't know if that's canon or not. That's not sure. Can you ask yeah, Santa? Not, he's not circumcised in this image, but I feel like if he was, it'd be more of a spotlight down below. <laughs> spotlight. <laughs> oh, that's the thought that I had at the moment. Uh, I gotta go back to find out which of the reindeer I am. I heard an opinion that said <laughs> that any game... Oh yeah, I know. Strong, very fast. I mean, this is just this is me written all over it. His love for munching on <laughs> carrot, uh, grazing the oh, grass man. outside the barn. Yeah, we're autumn. Yeah, we're yeah. This look good up until the grass munching. So, oh, dancer is a female. I had no idea. I always assumed vixen was a female because if vixen was a guy, that'd be a pretty gay name for a dude. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I heard an opinion that said any game that uses the crunch tactic shouldn't qualify for Game of the Year award. Thoughts? Wow, then most games are going to be disqualified. <laughs> it says Vixen's a guy. How can you have... Who, who the fuck has a kid who's a boy and names him Vixen? <laughs> yeah, God, you're just setting him up to get bullied, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Getting so this bullied is... in a reindeer high school. Well, I mean, this that's is... what happened to Rudolph, isn't it? 
Yeah, it says he here. Vixen is the flirt of the group. When they aren't on the job, <laughs> flirting with someone, usually Cupid, because she's the only one that takes him seriously. So I guess Cupid, I thought... Cupid's a male name. I thought, yeah, that's weird. So, Santa's fucked up. Wow. Did Sa oh, Santa... Oh, name oh my him? god. No! No! <laughs> I was nearly finished with the level! Now I'm gonna do it all over again! No! Oh. Man, I heard that phrase, oh. like, 17 times in the last week. I was <laughs> it's always I was funny. Like right there! <laughs> I missed no, one no, box no, and then no. I went back and uh. like, just... Stupid T Rex got me. Now I'm gonna do the whole fucking. Oh. Damn, if T Rex. It's nice when I'm not the one suffering in the game for once. <sighs> You've made chat very happy. Yes, they like it when he does that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, as for whether or not they should be able to get Game of the Year, I don't know if we should keep those two things separated. How good the game is, and whether or not it was it was completed with crunch time. I don't know. Get blitzened, because uh, of course, does that does that take away from the sacrifice those people would have made if you don't let them get game of the year because of crunch time? I wonder. Ooh, or yeah, I think I think yeah. Yeah. is the problem that it rewards developers for having used crunch time. How about we make the fucking awards worth something again? Before we think about when who's not worth getting anything? it, <laughs> huh? If they, when were they worth award? anything, Mel? Wait, I still didn't hear you. When were they worth anything? I I don't know. Maybe uh, when they were the Spike VGA when it was uh, Mountain Dew, the best <laughs> independent game fueled by Mountain Dew. Fueled by Mountain Dew. Yeah, what Fringy? Yeah, what Fringy said. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> fueled. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we haven't even asked, asked White, White Light the question yet. Hey White Light. Oh boy. What's better, Christmas or Halloween? Uh... It's, it's Christmas, I'm sorry. I know that's the normie answer, but it's also true. Christmas. I agree with the first part. Correct. Because this person said, also, Christmas is greater than or equal to Halloween. Interesting take. <laughs> it's just, Halloween is diabetes. And Christmas is draining your bank account. But there's a turkey involved. You get a turkey, so it's alright. <laughs> meat, meat is basically candy. Yeah. Is it though? Yeah, I think so. Can we debate this? I would, rather, I would rather have delicious meats than candy. I'm not a big candy guy, but I'd just rather have a, a really nice, juicy steak or some delicious bacon or some yummy turkey and some, some you know, sweet ham than just candy. I love meat. I can't get enough of it. I've actually gathered that you like meat. Uh, from our streams, I really have. I've got lots of references. A big folder. Yeah, I, 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 I go through chicken and mm. bacon. Well, mm. chicken's or... more of a poultry, but all right. What? What? Uh, you Aww. think Cyberpunk would be better if, after the tutorial, Keanu beats your character in the head with a golf club, and then you play as Keanu the rest of the way? I genuinely think that, that probably would be, would be really funny. an improvement. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, love the EFAP crew, and it's great to see White Light on. Also, hi Rags. Hello. See, no one ever asked more. No one ever asked more. This one time, I was created and I super chatted hello Rags to myself. There. Now you understand White Light. Are you happier now? Are you a more fulfilled person? No, I enjoyed not knowing more. I know. You destroyed the mystery. Story. Nice. I'm, I think I'm a, a, an enjoyable drunk. Well, when Mel Just makes his new highlights cool. video, we will see about that, won't we? Oh, yes. Yes. This all gold. All of those are gold. <laughs> uh, in Gale's voice, 
What? Still here? Handed up? What? Who's Gale? Gale from uh, fight Street Fighter. Right. Uh, this is Gale Cord Schuler. I heard what's still here, so it's Mr. Slave Knight Gale. How does mm. how does Slave Knight Gale sound? Theo, you're really good at impressions. What's like Slave Knight Gale? Slave. Am I? He's all sort of low and grumbly. Like what? Still here? I don't know. Um, it says hand it over that thing. Your Chaos Swihander? Is that a thing? Uh, -huh. oh, my... uh it's a it's the giant dad. Haha. <laughs> Ugh, for my lady's giant dad. Also, favorite weapon? Uh, what, like in general? What is everyone's favorite weapon here? We'll go from left to right. Fringy, go. Souls. Favorite weapon. Uh, Wait, Dark Souls? No, just in general. In general? Oh, dude. Give me some more time. Someone else go. Alright, Tasm 2 Green Goblin Knife. <laughs> <laughs> That knife is so stupid. Let me let me get a picture of it. It's so funny. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. I got you, bro. Okay, you ready for the coolest fucking knife you've ever seen in your entire life? Shoot. It's such a fucking awesome knife that anyone who holds this has automatically had sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's not a knife. That looks like a bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> but it has Oscorp Someone on it. Was <laughs> he was told to draw a knife, and they started drawing, and they didn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> they just kept going. It's like a, re it's it's like a really dangerous guy. fidget spinner. It's a sharp metal object. It looks like it's a fucking really weird easy. boomerang. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> it, it's so fucking bizarre, because it takes you a moment to pass, like, what's actually even happening in what you're looking at. Look um, at it. It's the world's most shitty knife. <laughs> it really is, and... The best part is, uh, they've got, like, little promotional image, I guess, of him holding it for, um... Weta Workshop, I guess, made the, this knife? I feel bad that that's a thing, but, uh... <clears throat> look at the grip you have on that thing. Um, I'm not convinced. Man, that's feeble. You're gonna kill so many people. Best knife, Ooh, best he... weapon. It's so they good. They would probably allow him to take that onto an airplane. Yeah, they'd be like, what are you going to do? <laughs> like, that's a cool novelty <laughs> item. Oh, is that one of your collectibles from your little superhero movie? You're like, shut up, Bob. It's proper <laughs> knife. Shut up. <laughs> I'm the Green Goblin, Mom. Shut up. It's so dangerous, okay? All right, I did Yeah, mine. you can take that under, under the plane. It's not going to hurt anybody. Metal, your turn. Favorite weapon. Shut up. Uh, P uh, P90. All right, Rag's favorite weapon. Oh, it's Finnick Shan's rolling boulder. It's my favorite weapon. <laughs> What? You, Mel, how do you not know what he's talking about? I'm the one that, that does the Indiana Jones in episode 6. Da, 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 oh, fuck, okay, yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, God, I'm, yeah, I'm favorite, stupid, favorite. sorry. All right. Theo, favorite weapon? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Red Queen. Red Queen? From the Resident Evil movies? Not, not Resident Evil films, uh, oh. Nero's sword in the Devil May Cry games. Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's a cool weapon. Wow, not as good yeah. as Green Goblin Knife, but okay. Uh... White light, <laughs> white light. What is your favorite weapon from everything ever? Um, boo. AK thirty-seven plus ten. Plus ten. <laughs> oh, extended capacity. Nice. Yeah. Uh, plus also. Uh, bye, everyone. G two G, bros. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at him. We've worn him down. We've, we've managed to kill him. That was the goal. Okay, uh, before you go... <laughs> Bedtime, do, guys. Do you want to tell... Get... It's okay, I understand. Do you want to tell <laughs> chat about who you are, what you do, and where to find you? Well, I am the white light. <laughs> I, uh, I'm the second longest man on YouTube. Actually, I'm the first longest man on YouTube if we just go by... Singular length. No, you're not. Um, I got an 11 hour I'm... video on my second channel. Get yeah, fucked. but is it all awesome? <laughs> or is it just. Is it just <laughs> I'm so sorry, Molly. It doesn't count. I'm so tired. <laughs> he, is, he is one of the longmans on YouTube. He makes uh, long, long content, you see. Yeah. Mildica. You can Man find it at uh, youtube.com slash. 
long. Might, might. Shockingly <laughs> enough. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Pog and White it's Light been, Clout House. It's been fun. Why don't my emotes work anymore? What's going on? Fringy, did you break my emotes? What? Wait, Your they all emotes? start with an underscore now? Ew. Yeah, let me test out and see if emotes work. Yeah, the lotion works. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks, that dry hands. Yeah, they make you do an underscore. Gross. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, catch the line. Goodbye, sir. Thank you yeah. for joining us. Goodbye. We will catch the around. Would have been nice if you didn't you hate so hard on Cyberpunk, though. God. Nah, well, uh, so mean. Leave them alone. What is my favorite weapon? I, I'm, I'm figuring out if I want a meme or if I want to actually... Uh, I think I think my favorite weapon is the the you know how that like Kate Kane had a, a a bat axe or a what was it the bat, <laughs> bat, bat shotgun bat scythes oh bat, bat scythe. scythe yeah that's my favorite um <laughs> if I'm being serious it's probably like I really like katanas katanas Weeb. are cool yeah. they are cool um. Oh no! Admittedly, you know, actually, I would, I would revise that. I think, uh, I think, like, just standard knight sword is really cool, more yeah. so than katana. Yeah. 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 My favorite weapon to outclass all of you: a knee rockets. What yeah, about the rockets. Desert Eagle? Shoots through everything. <laughs> Doesn't shoot through knee rockets. <laughs> That's your opinion. I oh X to doubt. Actually, no. My favorite Jacob thing. Jacob told me it shoots through everything. That includes knee rockets. You liar. My favorite thing is blackening. Black lightning. Cool. You're, all, you're all stunned that's by a, how cool that is. Black, black lightning black, is a TV show. Lightning you know sounds right? super racist. Like black lightning? DC, no, that, no, that's static hero. shock, you asshole. No, 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 no. There's actually... No, there's Call them black asshole. lightning. I can't believe that. He calls so static angry. shock black lightning. There is an actual black... <laughs> you remember he was in Christ's on Infinitisms? I do, yeah, I actually do. <laughs> yeah. Now that you mention it, black lightning... You think, why, you think I, it, why is that the naming convention? You're you're a black guy, all right? Black something. That <laughs> could have been a coincidence. That could have been a coincidence. Yeah, how do you know you well, didn't get bitten by a radioactive black? black yeah, maybe his maybe his real name was Black Bart, <laughs> but he got a superpower, so he just called him Black Lightning. No, Theo, you got to do underscore Mola Smug now, okay? That's what they yeah, make. Yeah, they're, they're not auto-corrected to that, and then I hit enter again. And <laughs> Why have they done this? So... They fucked it up. I, don't I hate know. them. Everyone who wants to type emotes has to do colon underscore and then the thing. Like, why? You said colon. I did. Colon, yeah. Hey, this is a semicolon, all right? Yeah. That's what I say. No. Colon? Colon. Like a colonoscopy. Yeah, problem ossifer. <laughs> you guys it's... heard about my uh, what my English teacher in high school, right? Maybe I don't know what's the story here. <laughs> well, hey. back when I was in high in high school, right? My my English teacher he had to have a he had to have surgery, and so now he has a semicolon. Ah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's my cue to get more to drink. <laughs> Skyrim 2076. Oh. I think that's their way of saying the game's not very good. West Virginia. Shenandoah Rivers. Boo hoo, my game crashed. Slash the end. Cry more. QQ. I think uh, that's from the guy who was annoyed at us for complaining about the I game. hope you're joking. I mean, but... I'd be upset that my game crashed. In fact, I have been upset well, that my game crashed before. I mean, fuck it. We've had loads of hot takes in a row. Why not add to it? I don't think it's good if your game crashes. There. I mean, is really? that a hot take? Serious? <laughs> Look, wow, I, yeah, I know I'm gonna God. have to make a fucking video on this eventually because everyone's gonna be pissed at me. I don't care. I just don't think crashes are like... They're not that fun. I get they are kind of fun because they're exciting. You don't know what's gonna happen next, but... Mm. It's not like oh, something's version. Somebody was whistling the Batwoman theme. Is that a problem? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> Dun, 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 that only dun, improves dun, dun, whatever the scenario currently is, alright? It's a perfect It's such thing. a terrible theme. Oh, the, the guy who dun, made dun, that dun. is totally in our chat right now, like, Oh no, Fringy, you're my favorite, don't. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, buddy, but somebody had to tell you the truth. Oh. Don't get mad at me for dropping them 
truth bombs. Uh, I disagree. I played for about 10 hour, and I would give 8 out of 10. Now, I have played it on a low-end machine, and it worked well. The story is engaging, and I have one more scene feeling all the time. Well, that's great. Fair enough. I, I give it a 6 out of 3, but I've enjoyed it a lot. What do you guys think of the take that Spider-Verse is woke? Uh, what? what? Why would you? Why? Oh, why? well, to be fair, there are black people in it. Yeah. Uh, it's the worst, I guess. Are there any gay people what, in it? it? My I'm sure there are statistically. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, but like... does the film point those people out? I hope not. Hey, look at that gay over there. No. Keep your gayness off of my screen, y'all. <laughs> I think I might have missed a. I think I might have missed some crates. Whoa. Just a couple Whoa. of webs. Told you. We love some each gaze. other. Well, oh, dude, if I missed a crate, I I've got blown up. It was really rude. Um. But yeah, no, I, 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 I would assume that calling it woke would be a, what we call a false positive, uh, based on probably very weak references. Yeah. Uh oh. Dr. Octopus is race swapped? I think you mean gender swapped. Gender swapped. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's also gender. <laughs> race swapped. <laughs> that female race. <laughs> that female was race swapped into a man. My god. Uh, anybody watching the final attack on Titan season? No. No. <laughs> that was Free's response to that question. That is very curious. I don't think he likes it, I can I can tell by his He's annoyed uh, that people are watching panic. it, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. So pissed He's the people are actually his watching furniture. the show. Guys, Seriously, please stop telling us that house. you're watching the show, it makes Fringy very upset. Uh, Theo, you're the only person that would answer that question, oh, probably, shit. so... <laughs> Attack on Titan, and yeah. uh, I don't particularly care for it. Ripperino. Sorry, Attack on Titan fans. We got no one here to answer the question. Uh, just like, but worse, the game. Rags, you nailed it. Yeah, thanks. I feel like it's an apt description, because whenever I play that game, I can't help but feel like... Oh, this is like this other game, but it's the worst version of it. And oh, mm -hmm. this is like that other game, but uh, it's not as good. And I oh, I feel like I'm playing like a spin off of this other game that isn't as good. At Mola, Spider Verse's art style is an absolute eyesore. How do you defend that? Um, no, it's, it's not. not. No, it's not. It's very colorful and bright and vibrant and it flows well. I think it's very pleasant on the eyes, despite how busy and. Uh, busy it, it is. I guess and how he's much referring going to the on. fact that it's animated in twos instead of ones. Uh, Wait, what does that like, mean? What do you mean? Oh, so, so two, when you animate on ones, it means that every one frame is one new like animation, so or one new image. Um, so okay. like, but if you're doing it on twos, it means that. So so basically, instead of twenty four frames a second, it's kind of like twelve frames a second um, okay. of animation. That's what the that's what it does. So um, it's it's a unique look, and a lot of a lot of stuff does it. Like a lot of anime does it when they're doing like crazy animation sequence. Because you have yeah. to do these on ones. Like goddamn. Theo, really? You disagree with what I like? <laughs> Having trouble there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like uh, one thing, but not another. And I get told I disagree. But, mm. <laughs> Well, <laughs> don't really know how to pass that. Clearly, they simply mean that they have the reverse take. So oh, you can't get say over it, anymore. Theo. Sure. Uh, I thought the shooting and melee felt was pretty stiff. Okay. Also, thank you, Mola, for saying that. Uncomfortably strong Borderlands vibes from Cyberpunk. Yeah, it made me feel like it felt a bit like an off brand Cyberpunk. Uh, Borderlands. Um, but I need to sort out their loot. They also kind of need to, I don't know, do the thing everyone's expecting, which was to no. possibly provide us something new rather than oh, I recognize this. But they did I'm it. I'm Mabba. Mm-hmm. If I'm berries. being honest, again, I, I wasn't expecting any such thing from CDPR. Yeah, I don't think they're really in the business of something new. 
I want to say it quickly, just say Sudpa. Sudpa. No. Alright, Kudpa. Kudpa. <laughs> Hello, Matthew. Come on, man, he's I compromising here. I don't even have two hours in the game because it runs like shit on my 1070, and because of my disappointment, I went to pick up the Witcher games. Uh, I have Wild Hunt, but I haven't played it. Should I play one or two first? Or both? One or two? I haven't played one. I played two. I liked it a lot. It's tough, but it's really, really great, and I really like it. I want to understand one is quite clunky. It is some yeah. prime jank. <laughs> Euro jank. Exactly. Euro jank. <laughs> Euro jank. Welcome to the Euro jank podcast. <laughs> I will be your host, Hans. Okay, Hans Janka. We will be discussing today's Euro Jank. Hans, hello. Which one? Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 shows me exactly why I don't pre-order games. Yeah, I mean, just yeah, don't. don't you'll, be, you'll be fine. Unless yeah. the circumstances like you're reviewing it, of course. Uh, or, well, in that case, you probably, yeah, I mean, you could be reviewing it and you don't get, like, a review copy, in which case, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, what other circumstance would you say pre-ordering is fine? Um, if you have maybe really crappy internet and you want to preload it. Hmm. Maybe in the case of collector's editions with limited runs of physical mm. stuff, maybe, but, I don't know. It's one of those things maybe. as well where it's like, is it worth... Putting these out as like caveats rather than just being like, hey, if everybody just doesn't, it'll be better. Yeah. Yeah. It's not normally I just don't do it at all. I think the only one I would do it with so far, just from personal experience, is probably from software. I didn't have any problems personally, but they still have buggy shit in the beginning, so it's it's you, you lose all you always lose, basically. <laughs> I feel and like you always lose. Consoles, like, God damn. I can't think of anything like that is yeah. as bad an idea as pre-ordering a video game console. Pre-ordering cancer. What do you get? What do you do that? Cancer. No, I mean, like, <laughs> what do they offer you as a bonus if you pre-order cancer? Uh, early cancer? They you, just... They <laughs> cancer. Cancer. You get they, the cancer, They, they really. try to give your cancer to somebody else. Is chemotherapy DLC, or is it just not included? Oh, it's definitely... It's... it's but those are microtransactions. Oh, you gotta pay a whole bunch. That sucks. For Gotham Knights, all of the open world territories will be the same as your character's level. The devs want you to go anywhere when you want. Okay. I mean, these are all. The, it's not necessarily bad that there are parts of the world that you are not ready to go to level wise. It's just about sort of telegraphing that clearly. I think it's purely it, arbitrary and there's no reason to do it. It's just saying, yeah, you just can't go here yet. Mm -hmm. Especially with how arbitrary it seems to be. Like, if yeah. ever there was a place that should be level gated, I think it should be Pacifica, just based on the description you get of it from the game. Like, this is this is the bad part of town. The police don't come here. It's that bad. It, mm -hmm. it's also, it's weird, right? Because in like a fantasy type game, if there's just, you know, the territory of the trolls, and you go there, and it's like, oh my god, I hit it with my sword and it did nothing, I run away now. Um, is a bit different from, I hit this guy with a bullet in the back of his head and he died, but this guy took one out of <laughs> 1,000 damage. It's like, that's weird, they look exactly the same, mm -hmm. but okay. And also, like, I'm only 10 blocks away from my home. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing, that's it's not even, red. like, radially further away from your like starting location you get the harder enemies will get yeah. it's weird and patchy like in specific locations things get randomly more difficult and then easier like just like a block or two away story. Like, it's yeah because it is story. based on where the story takes you but that doesn't account for the fact that i'm going to explore which of course you knew i was gonna yeah. maybe i don't want to follow the story first off maybe i just want to yeah. go around and do stuff put exclamation marks all over the map and you think I'm not gonna just run off from like when the story takes me to a new place I'm not just gonna run off and start going and doing them really no and again the, the game knows what your numbers are so just have the enemies be based on that whether they're tougher or about the same level like you know the damn you know the DPS that my character does you know what my character's armor is you can literally on the fly uh, have the enemy stats be at a level where it's, yeah. you know, close to me. 
and the, and the difficulty is how higher or lower they are to you. Yeah. Just seems like a fairly natural thing to be able to tune based on location and, you know, type of enemy. How embarrassing, Rax, choosing to be blinded by hate. Oh, no. Your critiques are poor. I didn't choose the hate life, the hate life chose me. Damn. What does it look like when it selects you? Is it a giant ball of hate and it just grabs you and you're like, ah? Oh. No, no. It's... Well, Can't that's remember. a meme. It's all a blur. Get on it. Draw that. You, you draw rags you getting like selected by the hate ball. <laughs> selected yeah. by the hate ball. <laughs> you know, at five minutes, we'll have like a, a masterpiece. A really shitty paint thing when they draw a circle with hate in it and a stick hand and then a really bad <laughs> doge. <laughs> like... And then I and then they go around and they say, where are you from? And I say, I come from the balls. <laughs> and it'll be accurate. I like that there's a, uh, a cryptocurrency that's just called Dogecoin. <laughs> Why? Why not? It's it, funny. I, it's funny because it, it's funny. It's the kind of thing I would buy just because it's a funny name. And well, it's got that's a dog how they the, tricked the... you. This game was developed by women and it shows. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, you see you can make a pistol that no one can sh sorry, you see you can make a pistol that can one-shot everything? Is that a thing? Can yes, you make a I, I didn't so, Someone crafting stop. nonsense. Someone watched Spiffing Brett video, I guess. Hey, alright. He, he, he broke the game with, like, the, the skill tree, and he used, like, a common pistol and dealt, like, 7,000 damage or something. Sweet. After the after the tutorial. <laughs> uh, I really like Cyberpunk after 60 hours. Not saying you need to play that much. I'm understanding all your points, and they are fair. This is the thing. I actually do think that if uh, if you sort of roll the dice a little with this game, you could probably get a really good experience. And yeah, yeah I'm enjoying it. Does my improve. Past I'll finish the, it. My my amount of enjoyment with it improved significantly past like. 10, 15 hours. Okay. Despite the increase in bugs. I mean, like, I would say I... I'm enjoying it more now than I was like five hours ago. Hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's funny because it uh, reminds me of uh, Arkham Knight, was it? That had like this dodgy launch as well, where most people couldn't play it in the beginning. Yeah, it was mm. bad. Yeah, and I, I, was, I was a lucky one and I could play it fine somehow. Um, just reminds me, it's like almost the exact same thing. Inventory is not always I. Come on, chat. Well, that's the thing. I, I honestly figured it was tab, and when tab was something else, I was like lost for a moment. I was like, wait, wait, wait how do I? What, what is? What is my? And it wasn't quite. It wasn't inventory. Wasn't necessarily the the specific word I was just thinking of. I was just thinking of the screen in which I see my stuff because I don't know if it had like a different name for the game or whatever. Yeah, like a character panel or a hero panel or a like a cargo or a. I don't know, pockets, or just a catch-all sort of crafting all-in-one item management pain. Uh, for me personally, I always go for I first. I tend like to for... go to I as well. Yeah. Well, this is the yeah, thing. I, I think that's fine, as well as going to left click for shooting and right click for yeah. aiming down the I mean sights. it's still These stupid things... that you can't rebind it at all. Are, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's all the point you what was. It is, and you can't rebind it. Yeah, that's, I that's don't mind. Obviously stupid. Like I was saying, there was no tool tip for it that I saw. I might be wrong on that, uh, but there was definitely also, no key I, binding. Let me remind some uh, people that is, there's people out there that haven't played a game before. Yeah, well, it's, their, it's <laughs> like, their fault. To I, the way you or I will, or uh, change from console this to PC. Thing. I think the the whole. I you expect a person to is able it. to just press some buttons, and if you if they can press escape, right, which is like. Mm -hmm. You get the menu. Then you can go, oh, click options. Oh, and then key bindings. And then they have access to everything. As long as you're able to do that, then you, you have, like, everything. But they couldn't just throw it in there. They couldn't do it. I, just, I hate having to... Because you use the inventory so much. I hate having to look down to my keyboard <laughs> to press I. So every time I want to go into the character screen or the, the fucking inventory. Like, fuck that. It's dumb. It's dumb. Dumb. Without um, a B. Dumb. Just dumb. Oh no, I missed. Did I miss a. 
I missed the crate. <laughs> oh no. I missed the crate somewhere. Oh no. I missed the crate. <laughs> I just absolutely love the random throw ins. It's like, ah, oh, I missed the crate. I can't oh. take it. I've been doing this one level for like an hour and a half. And then mm. I nearly finished it, but I missed one crate. Now I've got to do it all over again. I have to keep. <laughs> oh, Frongo. Frongo doesn't uh. deserve this. Uh, you can't be upset about petty gripes, you need to be upset about the unpopular representation of trans people. Gosh, guys, be real gamers, TM. Sarcasm, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that. The game's gotten lots of criticism for, um, its portrayal of trans people. I, I, I don't know anything I'm just more convinced you can't portray a trans person correctly. They're gonna shit on you for anything that you do, so you just don't even fucking try. Um, best UI that. of all games? Dead Space is way up there. Yeah, I like Dead Space's UI a lot. Dead Space has... Yeah, it, has, uh, it does have a very good UI. Especially with it being diegetic. Oh, this uh, one, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just realized crate. I didn't miss a crate, by the way, so I restarted the level for no reason. No. I miscounted. I miscounted. I, uh... You fool. Yeah, I saw somebody say you're bad at this game. It's like, you do realize that trying to beat this game without dying on every level and getting all of the crates is not easy, right? Or I'm, it, I'm waiting for yeah, them all to say get When you're bad. ML, elite MLG hardcore gamer bro or something. <laughs> Look bro. at me, I'm so good at Crash Bandicoot 4. Specifically. <laughs> Chat, beat him up. Say get good. Do it. It'll trigger. No, wait. I'm I'm calm now. I'm I'm zen. All right. All right. And I'm not lying at all. I. Um. Uh, do do. I'm glad I didn't go gun slash blades. I use quick hacks and legendary mono wire. Shame they didn't get those elements right. You mean the shooting and blades? I'm guessing to say that the the it's a shame they didn't get. Yeah, maybe, I guess, because they're glad they didn't do the thing they have apparently gotten wrong. I don't know if that's in reference to us talking about the, uh... It's... We, we said the melee was overpowered, didn't we? For... The melee's over... The melee's really strong, but it's also... Shit, I hate how it controls. <laughs> <laughs> what an Did they think that a lot of people were really gonna use, like, dodging and blocking and countering? Like, I've never had to use that ever so far. Like, why would you when you can just shoot him? They did. Uh, help. Oh my god, someone said do yeah, better, I, you amphibian. I, Damn. <gasps> That's fucked up. Sorry about that, Frank. You shouldn't Band. be subject to such hate. Banned. <laughs> yeah, that was an A word. <laughs> Jew? Are you talking about fuck? You can't say it's fucking school, you fucking fat ass. Are oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a writer and I'm thinking of creating a writing workshop for young people. Any particular topics I should cover? Um, uh, <laughs> oh, there's just a couple thousand, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> if that had to be. Well, better. go on then. Yeah, that's that's one of those questions that there's so many answers that could be so long, I don't even know how to approach that. Yeah. Um, obviously, you just well, say long men bad. Maybe try and find some kind of aggregate study of what the most commonly asked questions about writing is? I don't know what they would be exactly, to be honest with you. How do I write a character? Maybe that's number one. I mean, no. I feel like if you're there, yeah, though... Uh, hmm. That can get hard and fast rules. Uh, yep. Everybody can. has their rules. They're meant to be active, not passive, according to fucking Ooh. nobody. But... Yeah, they have to be X they have to be way, this. because they said dead roll in yeah. the story. They have to be cool. Give them a cape. They have to change. That's that's <laughs> necessary. By the end, they don't wear change. the cape. That would be change. That's right. They they wear the cape and then they don't <laughs> wear the cape. Symbolism. Right. No capes. Um. Any no particular capes. topics I should cover? Uh. Oh wait. Yeah. That was the same thing. Um. Also, I'd like to use your Star Wars reviews as recommended viewing. I mean, yeah. If you wanna, it's very nice of you. Yeah. I mean, this bits and bobs of might be helpful in there. Uh, hey Massives, I really haven't been able to uh, EFAP since 100. Covid lock and US election has me wired, but last week I got 2077 to try and escape reality. Fuck my life. Hey man, 2077 and just a constant flow of EFAPing, because from 100 to 115, that's probably a lot of hours if you wanted to, uh, you know, jump into it. All, all Plenty kinds. of great games to lose yourself in. Play Deus Ex. 
Oh, yeah. um, I just noticed somebody said, what are your thoughts on passive characters exactly? So my thought is basically that any rule that says anything other than make sure that your character's motivations make sense is some sort of... Pro like, there are, there are stories in which there are good passive characters. There's no getting around that. And if that's the case, then maybe it's not an important rule at all. You know? Yeah, the, uh, it's, it's the, the simple conversation of always do X, but what about when X is Y? Oh yeah, that too. Well, but wait, you said always do X. Like, yeah, rule of yeah. thumb. You're like, well, but, uh, yeah. That, exactly. It's not <laughs> Help. helpful. It's not helpful. I think that's the problem with a lot of writing advice is it doesn't, like, it doesn't cut to the fundamental, like, you know, learning lessons. Um, at least I don't think so. It's like, there are just certain fundamental things and the rest of it is just complicating it uh, too much. Anything, basically anything can work as long as it makes sense. That's kind of my stance on writing. Anything can work. Active, passive, likable, unlikable, all of this can work. It just, it depends. That's it. What about a story where the main character is psychotic and their motivations don't make sense? Well, yeah, I guess that could work if it makes sense with what well, that would be. Is. I was going to say, that yeah. would be the making sense. That would be the making sense part. Their motivations don't make sense because they can't make sense of things. Much in the same That's way fine. if you had multiple personalities, you can't say, like, their motivations don't make sense. Sometimes they think this, and sometimes they think this. Well, like, well, it's multiple personalities. I, think, I guess that's... Because when you think about... When people say, like, passive is bad, they'll be like, passive is bad because people want a story where characters make decisions. It's like, that's not an explanation. That's a preference. That's not a rule. A rule can't just be a preference. Like, it's not my preference that the story makes sense. It's a requirement. Because if it doesn't make sense, then I can't understand anything that's happening. If, 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 if the fundamental thing is that stories are supposed to make sense because, um... A equals B, A, A causes B, which causes C. Oh, I'm, I'm going to pause crash to talk about it. You know, oh if, 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 if oh. a sequence of, if, if a story is A, therefore B, therefore C, therefore D, it's the therefore that's the important part. Um, and there's not much therefore in this character doesn't like making decisions or this character is guided by the outside events because fun fact about life you're not really that much of an agent in your life a lot of what happens to you is guided by your environment and i don't see why the same wouldn't be true of stories anyway uh i mean that that's kind of beside the point though it's just fundamentally are there good stories with passive characters yeah so maybe this is a shit rule that you shouldn't pay much attention to and any rule where you can be like hey is this required no it's like well pfft. It's, it's just a recommendation at that point, and I think you should treat it that way. I don't think you should look at, like, a story that you have where your character is passive, or your character is uh, static and doesn't change, or where your character is unlikable, you know, by design or whatever, or if your plot progresses this way, and there are examples of that working. If there are examples of that working, there's no reason yours can't work either. Um, Rags, makes valid criticism, chat. I hate you. <laughs> wow, Rags. Stop making them hate you. The double tap right. alt left click is probably something to do with consoles. On Xbox, it's double tap the Y button. Could be. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to register like half the time I try it. And it's well, it just funny. That's, and it's not even an excuse. I think Metal Offering, I can't remember which one of you mentioned that's how you do it. I hadn't even realized that when I was playing it in a call with you. And then I did the double tap and it didn't. Nothing happened. And I was like, hmm. Like, I wonder if they, Wait, they're actually right about this. Then I did it again, and it did work, and I was like, oh, okay. Wait, Examples of double tap? Uh, the putting weapons away. Bringing or... up and snowing yeah. your weapon, yeah. Uh, examples of good passive characters. I'm... At the moment, hold on, help me out here. Gimli, son of Gloin. A uh, passive character would be the protagonist in Sicario. That's true, yeah. This car is fucking great, so come at me. Um, Pat, there are a lot of passive characters in video games who just do what they're told. Um, I wonder if somebody would say, like, if I said Master Chief is passive, they'd be like, well, no, he takes action. It's like, yes, but he's always told to do it. It's rare that Master Chief makes a decision on his own. It's usually Cortana or Lord Hood. Or, um, or Keys who tells him to do something and he just does it. That doesn't make him a bad character. And just like he's a static character, 
and that doesn't make him a bad character either there are characters who don't have to change or don't need to change or if their past or, or if their path in the story is uh that they don't learn anything at the end for instance um or I'm they've sure already had enough development, development in their life and they've gotten well, to a point where they're you know, it's like not every story they, yeah. involves someone going on some arc or learning some important moral or life lesson that mm -hmm. they change and develop with. In fact, most times people are just kind of then, themselves as they go through things and they don't really change much. Well, I mean, there's there's the fact that like, what if your character was, I mean, I said this in my video, what if your character was right all along? What if the whole point is that they didn't learn their lesson, they're doomed to repeat the same mistakes again? That's not a flaw. It's not like a floor. Halo 4 exists. Yeah, but Halo 4 contradicts what comes before. So Halo 4 is bad, my dude. <laughs> as a story as well. Well, someone said Jack Sparrow take. in the first Pirates movie. He makes a couple of strong, like, uh, st main story sort of pushing decisions in that movie. Um, I'll agree he's a little bit passive. He's essentially, like, bouncing between someone else's storyline being uh, Will Turner and Barbosa, <laughs> but, uh,. Jack still makes um, some important decisions that, that do some, some things, you know? Um, so, speaking of passive characters and active characters, <laughs> I'm going to make the decision that I need to drop out because I am thrashed. thrashed. I, uh, I, was up, I was up all night playing this cyberpunk game and working and just stuff, and I need to... I just need to sleep. Absolutely, so, yeah. my good man. I'm gonna uh, have to just leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll catch you on the flip side, and if any are directed at you, I will save them for the probably the opening of the next one or whatever. Whatever we end up. Oh doing. yeah, please do, and uh, I will cover them next time I see them. But uh, yeah, I gotta go, and I just gotta rest. Good I've enough. been a busy, Flips. busy, busy doggo. So yeah, I'll catch everyone later, and um, hope y'all have a fun time reading these and i'll get to the ones for me uh, later on so goodbye everybody Bye. 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 See ya. all right another more fight time somebody asked me to explain why halo 4 story is uh bad so it's massively inconsistent with what i mean in many ways not only from a world building perspective but from a character perspective there is no getting around the fact that master chief is a totally different person he never he he so rarely talks in halo 1 through 3 and the second he wakes up in Halo 4, he's already talking constantly. There's no getting around that. That is a contradiction. He is not a talkative person. Uh, and, that's, and that's ignoring the fact that Halo 4 establishes that Chief was basically, like, built by the, the Forerunners to be, like... Like, he's basically Robot Jesus... Um, <laughs> when, when before, I, I, I mean, it's basically they were trying to canonize, like Cortana says, oh, Chief's lucky. It's like, no, you see the forerunners, like they designed you that way. <laughs> it's like, how is that not such a cop out? Why would you do that? Why would you make that? <laughs> like, oh, Chief's lucky. Nah, you see that there's an explanation for that. It's like, we didn't need one. He's just a lucky dude. That's it. Um, I need to replay those games, but I know, I know that yeah there's a lot of problems with uh with those games story-wise a lot of people um i think mm -hmm. ignore because it's really easy to see the things that they do well like cortana but yeah uh boop 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 <laughs> have any of you guys happened to look at your shadow in gameplay as you're performing actions and have a weapon out it's uh it. not good Funnily enough, um, I played Cyberpunk for about two hours before we came on today, or I think it was one hour actually. It was um, I was in a room and I was like I was in a call with Rags, and uh, as we were talking, I was just like starting to share some screenshots with him of just like the shadows completely bugging out, like the, the, they were crossing people and just just coming on and off all the time, uh, like uh, hardcore flickering. And it's, it's just like, yeah, I haven't even really looked to see if the shadows are working um, in general, but I'm assuming that's probably... Whenever a game has graphical glitches that are being reported by everybody, shadows are going to be one of the things to like, uh-oh, how are the shadows doing? Are they safe? Are they okay? Good luck if your character's shadow resembles your character. Hmm. Man, yikes. Hey, shadows are overrated, okay? I agree. Shadow the Hedgehog is overrated. Oh! 
The cop uh, system is balked. Lol, I wanted to try out something, so I pissed off cops near my apartment, went in, and a cop had teleported inside and shot me dead. 11 out of 10, would we <laughs> woo again? <laughs> um, that's just... It's a feature, and you're not understanding it, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I played Cyberpunk for three and a half hours, after which I reached a bug that crashed my own game every time I tried to proceed with the story, making progress impossible. Steam was nice and gave me my money back. I mean, that's honestly, nice to me, that's the system yeah. working as intended. That's good. Uh, well, not, yeah. not the game working intended, but, you know. <laughs> <it's>, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but what are you going to do, I guess? And this is the thing that CD Projekt Red are going to have to claw back, um, I guess, purchases. Because, yeah, it's not preferable for a lot of people. I hate being forced to use the F key to interact when I prefer using the E key. Uh, can we show our big clips? It's hilarious. I got one to show. No, um, uh, the, the clips I was sent were just from uh, Das Bullshit. If, um, but that would be fun, like, everyone send your clips in and we will showcase, like, a bunch of shit from Cyberpunk. I'm sure there's people doing that already. A chunk of content. Uh, Mola Rags, please stream the game. I want to see how broken the game is, and I think it would be really fun for everybody. Also, hi, Rags. I'll save that one for him. My answer would be, I don't actually think it's possible for me to stream that game. It doesn't run well enough without streaming it. So, it, yeah, that, that was one of the first things that I thought of. It's like, if I want to play it, I'm going to stream it. And I don't think my PC is going to make it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. do, do, you mind, do you mind if we skip ahead and read a super chat that's just come through right now? <laughs> Very well, Fringy, go ahead. Uh, Zach Gilbert, five bucks. Uh, the contradiction is that he didn't talk before, and now that Cortana is basically near death, he talks more now. He talks more before he knows that she's near death. So, um, sorry. Oh, Fringy with the slam dunk. Will Zach Gilbert recover? The one who hates Theo as well. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, Zach, they're all around you. Mission, survive. Oh, look at you two just <laughs> yeah. dragging the hate. Bad pics everywhere. Uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. You can't play Smash Bros. Why not? That's illegal. Illegal. Illegalos. Oh, what? I got, I got reset. Where was I? It's unacceptable. There we go. Uh, I hate... Oh, yeah. Being forced to use the F key rather than the E key, by the way, that is really annoying. Um, like, <clears throat> I hate to say it, but it's just like, isn't it a basic thing that I can rebind that? But it's like, no. Yeah. You know, oh. A lot of people rebind their keys, man. Yeah, Cringe. who knows that shit? I consider it racism Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is good. It's a buggy mess, but I still love it. Also, high ranks. Um. Hi. Would you guys call it good? Uh, no. I don't know yet. I need to play it what, more. Cyberpunk? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I think it sits right below me being able to say that with honesty and confidence. It's, it's just below good. Yeah. It, I go back and forth from okay to pretty good. I I don't know. I'm sitting more towards okay at the moment. Well, I think I'm done with Crash for now. <laughs> oh no. You can play more Cyberpunk? I'm downloading the Insane, tr I'm downloading the Insane Trilogy right now because you're playing Crash. I just um I just keep dying on this one little platform. It's um it's a bit janky and I I, I think I can't take it anymore. Like I I think I need I think I'm getting worse as I keep trying to uh to reattempt this level, so I'm gonna uh I'm gonna stop for now and uh just chill out. <laughs> Excellent. You should chill out with CD Project Red's uh Cyberpunk seventy seven. You'd enjoy it, I think. Oh. You can send us screenshots of funny things you see. <laughs> yeah, well, there, I'm sure there won't be an end to that. Uh, would the Cyberpunk 2077 still be terrible after all the bugs are fixed? Is this game salvageable? I regs. I don't think the game is terrible to begin with. So, I salvageable? Think... <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that um, oh. given time it could be pretty awesome, I would assume. Yeah. It will take time though, because man, the game is a mess in terms of like. What are you, like, what are you woeing stuff. at, Mel? 
So, I just started to crash inside Trilogy, and it opened a window that goes across two of my screens. Neat. But only the upper half of the window. So if I would have two more screens below my two screens, I would see the whole picture. Unlock Falco, you coward. How do I do that? How do you unlock Falco in, in Smash? Bringing you'd know this. I, I can't, I can't see. Help! <laughs> Um, oh, Metal has died. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, the crash game did a weirdo. Uh, Cancel trilogy. Da, 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 da. Yo, White Light, did you like AC Valhalla? Yes or no? Does anyone know if you like that or not? Uh, Lorms. I have no idea, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Oh, I hope he did. Wait, was Valhalla liked? Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Yeah, was it? Did people think it was good? Uh, I think it was really mixed. Some people like it, some people think it sucks. Damn. <laughs> Rick and Morty bad, especially season four. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure which is the worst season if I was to pick one. It could be four, though. Probably four, yeah. yeah. Even though fucking it has the. The train episode, which is fantastic. And it has a prestige episode. Yeah. Uh... Also, this isn't aimed at the guys in EFAP, but you can't complain about the buggy launch, but also complain about the delays and pressure the devs to release sooner. Saw a lot of that recently. So, um... No, you can still complain about the bugs if you wanted them to release it sooner. You didn't know If it was someone that buggy. promises to release a thing by a time, and this is why you shouldn't promise to release videos even, guys. Just, just never do it. Um, if you promise to release something at a certain time, and then it releases and it's buggy, and they say, I needed more time, and you forced me to release it at this time because you complained, it's like, this seems unfair. And almost yeah. just weird as hell that you're going this direction with it. Uh, I would prefer that you just say, we're working on it until it comes out. But um, the hype generator that is our industries means that you need to... Like, release a trailer, and then next year release another trailer, and then next year release a really big trailer, and then release it. And if you can't, like, do that, then you're out. Or something, I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like if if, if it were possible, without like some kind of legal repercussion for them to just say, Look, I'm gonna have to be honest with you guys, it ain't ready. It's just not ready. And we don't want to release it when it's not ready. I know that they would uh, get increasingly level, increasing levels of crazy people sending messages to their family members or whatever the fuck people do these days. Um, but I mean, they're wrong for doing that. Those people, I mean. Yeah, clearly. So yeah, that's my commentary on it. Boom, 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 boom. Eh. Boom. Young Link. <laughs> Oh, I don't feel safe in this map. Not buying into the hype about how revolutionary this game was going to be allowed me to enjoy the game a lot more. The bugs I've experienced haven't ruined my experience, but still quite a sorry state. Yeah, I think that's kind of the overall sentiment of what we've said, I would say, to a degree. If you were expecting something revolutionary from CD, CD Projekt Red, uh, you weren't paying attention. I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was expecting something yeah. that was going to surprise me. That's... That's not how they operate. Wow. Did it here first, they don't, folks. They don't do revolutionary. Maybe they should. That might be a controversial take, I think. That would be nice. Oh, is it? That they don't do anything revolutionary? Well, well don't people really like The Witcher 3? People adore that game, and... Uh, I almost said they're right too, but I also dislike that game. Well, I don't dislike it. Uh, I, I'm much more down on it than most people. Uh, partially because it, it doesn't do anything particularly spectacular other than be narratively good. Right. But it's a video game, so... Hmm. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Uh, Doom, Doom Eternal UI on console is great. You can completely customize your controls, which greatly improved my personal experience. Genuinely, if, if you make that a thing for your PC game, you're doing things right, right? People like it when you do that. 
Mm. Why is there no sound options in this game? Wait, <sighs> come on. Oh man. Why does the insane trilogy not have any sound options? Are you for real? I'm sorry. Oh, some creepy announcer. I just didn't do it in time. It's my bad. Uh, completely unrelated, but I've been up for two days and can't sleep. Thank you, Massive, for keeping me entertained instead of bored. Merry Crimbomus. Merry Crimbomus. Merry Crimbomus. Man, imagine how gay it is to be Luke and not Luke, Link getting beaten up by a younger brother clone. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty gay if you were Luke and you were getting beaten up by a younger brother clone. Imagine you were Luke and you ate titty milk. How embarrassing would that be? Titties. Pretty embarrassing. Take my magic wand, bitch. No. That's rape. Stop that rape. Do, 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 do. One more rape? I got a few glitches on PC, but what made a few sessions insufferable to play was the audio skipping. Had to restart my PC. Some had to change audio settings to lower frequency. Also, it looks grainy as fuck. Hmm. I enjoy the roulette of various issues people have. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, it's such a weird... Everybody's got a different review of this game. Uh, but, like, they're all centered around the the circle of things aren't quite what they should be. <laughs> Game! 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 Giant Yoshi. Obsidian made New Vegas in under two years, and it's one of the best RPGs of the decade, and it took CG Project Red eight years to make Fallout 4 Cyberpunk Edition. Oof. Um, yeah, but don't act like... So don't yeah, act like New Vegas isn't a buggy mess as well. Yeah, isn't oh, yeah. it known for that? Yes. It's a buggy fucking mess, so... But it has good tisms in it, right? Yes. Sounds like another game I could think of. Maybe <gasps> seven, maybe I saw 77. what you did there. You related it. I saw that. Shoo. I can see right through you, Theo. Step. I'm like Zach Gilbert. I know it's... You're not allowed to do cool that. cool and hip to hate the popular thing, oh, but... Yeah, things. Wow, Theo. <laughs> I can't. That's the only reason Theo's here, by the way, to tell everybody to stop being contrarians. That's why we Even, brought him on. The I'm truth really is I'm really contrarian when it comes to like, most of my I opinions. could do it if I wanted to. Really? At least on video games. Oh, jeez. It's really fucked up when the AI eats you as Yoshi and then fucking poops you out on the edge of the map. You're like, oh, whoa, you cheated. <laughs> you can't do that. This is what a human does to another human. Um, Man, the inside trilogy looks really fucking good. <laughs> in your opinion. Fine, fuck you then. Haha, <laughs> two trophies, so good. I got a few glitches on PC. Oh wait, that, yeah. Um, ooh, ooh, lol, there was a line during a mission when you need to get into the black web. What's the black web again? I mean, I know, but you're a merc that should know about that, kind of like the dark web. Yeah, I think Rags touched on that, right? Like, you were getting a lot of information uh, that seems like stuff you should just know. But, uh, mm. that's, a, that's just a challenge of writing in anything. How do you get to stuff? The like... To the game's credit, uh, with um, me playing as Street Kid, there has been a lot of instances of things like that where my character did know about things that they should know about, as opposed to me having to ask for exposition about some group in the city. Uh, my character would just go, ah, it's that group, they know the blah, 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 talking to the other person, what do they have to do with this kind of thing. So, maybe that comes with not playing the clearly intended experience, but, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I just, I don't consider that a huge criticism, because it's in a lot of stuff that has trouble dealing with it, and Fuck. just the That's whole terrible. concept of, like, oh, we're going to have to bring in the the Thurbs. Um, hmm. Should we just have a character who just doesn't know what the Thurbs are? And you're like, yeah, I guess, or it's like, what's, what's, what's a Thurb? Mm. It's a radiation system designed for spiders. Forms. No one's questioning that? That's good. I guess you all know about the Thibs. It's a spider designed for radiation systems. Created by Cyberdyne. 
You know, Cyberdyne and Skynet are both oh, cool no. names. Just saying. Legion is not a cool name for your evil AI, okay? What about cool. Legion? Um, or Flongus? What else are cool names for things? Agamemnon. Gala That's a cool name. Galathar. Galathar, Skin Eater. That is definitely cool. Like a one off Buffy villain that gets referenced in a single episode <clears> as like <throat> a joke and then never actually comes up again. What, Galathar? Yeah, Galathar the Skin Eater. Yeah, Tell that me is, that yeah. Sound like... It's okay. <laughs> when they do gags like. They're looking like at Giles um, reads that out of the book or something, and yeah, like please don't put the spell casters next to the Galathar law book or something. <laughs> yeah. Um. Boop, boop. They made Halo Two in ten months. What the hell went wrong with the devs? This game looks like a mess. Okay, to a degree, don't... right? I understand those kinds don't of comparisons, but these are very different projects. Okay. <laughs> Also, different... Halo 2 was not no. made in 10 months, it took 3 years, they just screwed up while they were developing it, and then they had to, like, frantically finish that game. So, really, if anything, Halo 2 is quite comparable. The only difference being that Halo 2 is, like, really good when it came out. But, to be fair to them, 10 months making an Xbox game is probably a lot more productive than 10 months making a... 2020 PC game. Ten months is not a lot of time nowadays. Good and they have the whole yeah. world watching them too. That's Dude, right. imagine being on that team and just more and more bugs are found every day. You guys would be like, oh no, please. Hey, can we do triage? Like, no, oh we shit, oh shit. Hey guys, yeah, I added exactly. I added the biker jacket and now the entire prologue doesn't work. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And honestly, if there was like a little documentary of that, of their everyday struggles and stuff, I think people would actually just back the fuck off. Just all these kinds of things, because it seems like that game was a nightmare to fucking uh, code. But just from playing it, it feels that way. But uh, you know, it's 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 all so very complicated to understand exactly who's to blame and by how much. Uh, hopefully, because CD Projekt Red are interested in having good faith from their uh, audience, the game will be in a really great position even in just a couple months from now? I don't, I don't know. We can I hope, right? I expect they will do a good being the game up. Yeah. I'm... It was made right. in 10 months for me. It okay, so... Needs to, be good, but it won't have to, be great. to clarify on Halo 2, Halo 2 was announced in 2002. They were in pre-production. Um... Maybe the core development was 10 months. That sounds about right, but like, I didn't know that that's how we considered development to work. Like, pre production isn't part of that development time. Is that. Maybe maybe that's like a different industry thing. The pre production doesn't count, but um, I would say that it does count, so. It was made in more than 10 months. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know. What does Wikipedia say? Well, no, I, I just know this because I watched the uh, the Halo 2 like behind the scenes documentary and they were talking about how they were developing it from um, and they built a demo for E3 and Bill. they came back and they were going to be working on that game to get it done but the demo was not anything close to what they could actually achieve on Xbox and because of that yeah. at some point you know, some months later they realised oh shit, we can't like make this game so we have to basically cut a bunch of content just to make sure that we can finish this game by the end of 2004. And, you know, it, it, it's it's crazy because you look at that game, they crunched for like a year. They, like, they were talking about how they're working 80 hour days, like 120 hour, you know, where they wouldn't leave the office at all for like three days. And it was, it was the same for um, Melee, which you're playing right now. Sakurai nearly Made a lot of sacrifices to make this game good. Yeah, and he, I mean, he made a really good game. Yeah. So. This is one of those legacy games. I, uh, I adore, I adore Melee. I think, like, everyone in the Smash community just loves this game forever. 
Do you wonder if that's because it's the most mechanically consistent, or if it's because it just came out at the right time? Um, I think, um, uh, it, yeah, I think it's both. It's a really well-designed game, but it also was like, oh, this is what Super Smash Brothers can be. Mm. It was that kind of moment. Well, this game was epic know, as but, fuck. Like, all the unlockables, all the characters, all the, the yeah. missions and stuff. The first game. Granted, it's a sense of glitches, it manages to be really mechanically deep. No. Yeah, well. exactly. And the first game was fun, but it was definitely more of an experiment. Yeah, it was like having to be like, hey, what can we do with this? Even though I think there are some people out there who um, think that one's the best one, right? The original. Man, there must be few and far between. <laughs> I, I'm sure I've seen them out there, maybe. Fucking asshole hand trying to kill me. I'm like a little kid. Whoa, so language. Up. Language. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Springy, you really have no idea what you're talking about. They realized before E3 that it would never run an Xbox, but they had to finish the E3. Then after E3, they scrapped everything. Is, isn't that exactly what I said? And also, that's, that is, e, you realize E3 is in June and that game came out in November of 2004, right? That's more than 10 months, but. Like I'm always picking fights with people. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, hey, listen here, all right? <laughs> like, look, <laughs> here, look, listen. <laughs> uh, it's a city full of tranks, lobos, and zip heads. Yeah, I think that's when we were talking about some of the language they use or whatever. I know you guys aren't sports fans, but are there any sports-related movies you guys like or would call objectively good? Um, Sport-related movies. There's probably a whole bunch that I'm just not able to remember off the top of my head. I couldn't tell you. I like Meme Machine. Uh, that's football. Blanking Full. completely on this. Sport movies. The Mighty Ducks? How about that? Oh, I remember that one. Oh, I don't... wait, does Ford v Ferrari count? Start? I guess Rocky counts, yeah. Dodgeball. Oh, Dodgeball's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dodge yeah. a wrench, you can dodge a ball. It's true, though. I mean, it's likely if you can dodge that, you can dodge the other, yeah. Yeah. If you can dodge a car, you can dodge a dodge ball. I've listened to the dev commentary. This is why I'm finding this insane. I've listened to all this behind the scenes stuff, and you're telling me that I'm wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm very confused. Fringy versus Chat, the movie. Out now. Starring Rags. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Who's he playing? Free? Oh. <laughs> uh, v kind of sounds like Discount Adam Jensen. <laughs> what? Um, I Well, I don't know what Adam Jensen sounds like, so. Adam Jensen is like, I never asked for this. He's like a low, gruff, grizzly voice. Sorry. Yeah, while V is... Uh, how do I put what V is like? More high pitch, maybe? No, it's a letter. <laughs> it's the ladder? Letter. That he's more high pitch? Man... He, his name is a letter, it's V. He's just not letting, letting me have my little joke. This is a dick. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm positively confused by your perception. I... Because you made. I'll beat you up. Do it. And film it. Put it on the YouTube. On the tubes. <laughs> uh, super chat because I want y'all to see this. The minute the game went gold, it was printed. It's done. If you don't update it, that's the complete game. Well, they're going to update it though. Yeah, but, of course um, they will. Wait, is the point there that we should be treating this as the game because that's just the truth? And I'd be like, yeah, well. If anyone reviews this game as is, uh, that's fine with me. And that review will always be useful. But if the game gets updated like a million times over by the time someone sees that in three years from now or whatever, I hope they understand that when they watch the video. That it's not how the game currently sits. This goes for No Man's Sky, of course, which is, what, from what I've heard, a very good game right now. Remember when it came out, though? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I like some of the slang, like Eddie's. 
I think Eddie's is fine. I just find some of the other ones cringe. I think it's because of the fact that they're real things that people say that I find cringe right now. And that not many people say it right now, but they're saying like, yeah, in the, in the future of the cyberpunk world, they say it a lot. It's like, uh, instead of like just completely new shit. Yeah, Eddie, leave, leave Eddie alone. Well, some of them are lame though, like like Enviro. Like, you, you've seen the Enviro? It's like, uh Is it that much harder to just say mint? Well, I'm trying to think of like whatever the context of the sentence. It's probably easier to just say a different word entirely. Fuck. Check Twice. the Enviro. Like, the area? <laughs> I don't know, some of it's weird, and like I said, if I play the game more, I might be able to articulate better what I'm, I'm feeling with it. So I'm, I'm happy to say it's just a pet peeve that I'm not even sure of what the problem is. What does it make you feel? Makes me feel all the feelings. All the beef the hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm actually hungry, but we got super chance to read. Now, Jum I actually, oh, sorry. Um, I'm just saying like, I need to depart now, unfortunately. Oh Racism. God. You mean like dead? Become oh no! No, nothing, nothing that serious. Oh, thank goodness. Um. Okay. Like Bye, Frankie. Oh yeah. <laughs> see, see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> am I, do I, do I, am I meant to do the pitch? I mean, you can if you want to, but at this point, you're one of the people that's yeah. always here, so I, I, it's really up to you. Uh, I think anybody who's listening to this and hasn't already subscribed when they wanted to would be one of those weirdmans. But if you want to account yeah. for the weirdmans, go right ahead. And also, well, I guess the only thing is Crash Bandicoot's more video eventually when I beat the game and then I can actually start working on it. You hear that, you uh, bastards? He's making a video yeah. that's not even the type that he's been making so far. Is this going to be like... How are you going to format it, out of curiosity? Uh, this is going to be like, you know, big old, big old, like, you know, critique video. You know, the, you know the kind. Whoa. Like, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably try and figure out what the format would be in terms of like integrating the character into it. I'm sure, yeah, you know, experiments. We're trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I, I think it I'm, I'm thinking this will be a good video whenever it's done, Sweet. whenever, whenever that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been fun, fellas. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye. See you later, bro. Yeah. Look what you did, oh, chat. Shit, right? Look what you did. You couldn't keep your hot takes to yourself, and now Fringy left. Outrageous. Yeah. Bastards. Oh, Jigglypuff's already dead, Jesus. God, Bowser just fucks Jigglypuff up. It's like he just wants to eat Ew. it. Ew. Like... <clears throat> um, Coomship ended with Fringy, now Molar is my best Coom. Oh. That's weird. But okay. Uh, yesterday, Cy CYP, oh, Cyberpunk blue screamed two times after downloading the latest NVIDIA drives. Today, it's randomly freezing for a couple of seconds, now completely crashed, had a restart PC. It says retard PC. Um, <laughs> uh, said it has to repair by C drive first. Oof. Well, maybe it is actually your PC and not the game. Or maybe the game just did a big bloomple. I hope it's. I guess I hope it's neither of them. Mm. Liar. So many problems getting reported directly to this Strumenheim. I get it. I'm a sys admin. I'm not gonna fix your shit. Go away. Oh wow. Yeah, I said it. I fucking said it, okay? I'm fucking better than you. I'm fucking better than you. <laughs> Five. Dollars. You guys see GOG unlist devotion from its store? We did mention that. Big shame. Big sad. Yeah. But, um, what a good look. China money, big money. So, Ugh. really, what does it but matter? But the gamers sent the messages mutely. Fuck the gamers. Whoa. <laughs> well, I wouldn't recommend that. You might get a disease. <laughs> the gamer disease. Oh, yeah. I remember in this game that if you fight the DKs on this DK map and you just run around enough, they all eventually kill themselves. And I think it was an allegory. It does sound like a racism, but I agree. But they're not doing it, so I guess I'll have to find. I think it's when you fight the big one. Maybe the small ones. Are... Oh no! There goes another one. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh. 
Ow, Jesus. I probably should have tried to escape that fate, but I found it too amusing not to. Alright. Dude, Link is so fucking OP in these games. Even though I just <laughs> died twice in a row. Trust me, guys. Source is a dude. So trust me. Um, I always played Samus and, and Millie. Yeah, that's my main. I don't play Link, but Link's pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Isn't it fucked up that... Oh, I killed myself again. Nice. Three deaths on the map that I established. This is easy. <clears throat> Mel, don't drown. Classic Jinx. Classic high Jinx. Oh. Wait, what's Jinx high? Uh, your chat is dumb if they don't like Bly Mana. Seems the best horror I've seen in a long time. Mandalorian sucks, Christmas best, CD Projekt Red overrated. Um, you know, I think I think they're right about Bly. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. Bly Mana, pretty damn good, just saying. Uh, you should have invited Louis Levi, I think it's pronounced. He knew months ago this game would end like it did. Uh, I think, well, I think everybody was already concerned, right? That was like the whole meme. Like, will CD Projekt Red be able to stand up to their, uh, what everybody wants from the game at this point? Um, I mm. think the sentiment was no, like, they never were going to anyway, but no way. we were hoping they would do better than what they did. Nah. I hope not, but didn't expect more. Uh, I died. It was horrible. I'm so sorry, Bringy. You didn't get that crazy. Bringy. Yeah. I'm so oh, yeah, used I mean, I did, to. Didn't... You, I'm so used to complaints coming from Fringy about games that I just, I don't even see the difference anymore. Well, I'm playing Crash, so ah. it's fitting right in. <laughs> you know, the fast run from Link is pretty shit, guys. I'm gonna say it. Link's not very good for this portion of the uh, of the game. There, there, there it is. Something so like link is. Move faster, Link. You suck. Wow. Could you just say sucks? It's like super racism and stuff. Super racism? No. Super racism. Final Fantasy VII Remake was another game that was released and actually wicked. Are we just going to start naming all the games that were released and wicked? Wicked on release. No way. Pokemon. Pokemon 2. The Pokemaning. Pokemon Reloaded. Just play God of War 2018. That's a really good game. Wow. Have you completed that yet? No. I'm, I'm taking my grand old time with it. I'll probably go for all the Valkyries uh, in my next stream. You're taking your granny's time? I'll take my... No. She doesn't have that much time left, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so no. mean. Fuck you, Captain Flacken. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say fuck you, Granny's mom. <laughs> <laughs> granny's mom? Uh, granny's, metal's <laughs> Granny. I don't know how the fuck my granny's brain was mom. that direct. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> fuck you, Granny's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I got there. They I call that a super like grandma. A, there was a super brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> like Icarus, CD Projekt Red flew too close to the sun. So true. And you know what? Poignant. Icarus is the bird man from God of War, right? That's that's where that's where that comes from. God yes. Of War invented that Originated one. there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Rex, what did you do to Battle's grandma? Ruined. Ruined. So, since E.T. and Star Wars are in the same universe, see Senate, does that mean that the E.T. movie was the real first introduction to Force healing? I guess oh so. God. That's where they established yeah. it. It's weird they didn't bank on it at all. Except in those shittier movies. Ah. Oh, Lank. You're not going to be able to do this. <laughs> Lank? <laughs> no, he slapped me. Fuck you, Lank! Oh no, We're going to start edit editing the, the clips tomorrow. I'm so excited. Wow, that plug. He wants you to go watch his Fuck. editing streams. 
on editingmetal.com. That's... <laughs> I bought that today. Yeah, but I actually, I actually downloaded all the clips and mm. put them in Vegas already. The guys. And it's two hours of clips. <laughs> wow. It's a long man highlight reel. Oh, what? I've only got one life left and they give me the crazy hand too? Bullshit. Yeah, but dude, all the clips of Rex from the drunk stream, they're so fucking funny. <laughs> this is pure gold. Hmm. So good. Yeah, spooky <clears throat> hand. No, 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 he's gonna poke me. Hey, hey! Oh my god. How am I supposed to survive this? It's ridiculous. I'm under so much pressure. I'm like CD Projekt Red. The 105 patch of Cyberpunk made it run slower. Yay. Hooray! <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, Chinese gamers equals CCP paid in game currency farmers. Oh, I imagine they said, like, we can't lose the Chinese market because we need their money in order to continue fixing Cyberpunk. Like, <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like, guys, too honest. Too honest. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> uh, did you know that Pedro Pascal was in Buffy? Yes. He's in Season 4, Episode 1. He's the friendo who eventually is not a friendo. He's not in it for very long, though. Unfortunate. If only he knew he would become the Mandandalorian. But it's funny. Every time I, that I mention that I haven't seen Buffy, it's like, wait, how the fuck did you how did you manage to not see Buffy yet? <laughs> yeah, aren't you friends with me? What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's yeah. That is the mean bin. Like even Porky was like, wait, you haven't seen it yet? <laughs> it was that was today. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to point out that you're a very disappointing friend, that's all. Hang on, that's not my fault. Oh my god. You piece of shit. I am a butcher, and this time of the year is brutal for me, but thanks for helping me get through 18-hour shifts. I couldn't do it without you guys and Jameson. Also, hello, Rags. Um, hey man, yeah, you know, I, I can't picture the whole, like, butchering while listening to EFAP thing, but if it works out... Would it be helpful if we were derogatory toward animals as you chop them? Get Fuck em. you, reindeer! Get fucked, cow. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking cow! Fuck them cows! But uh, yeah, that's neat. And hope it's going well. You know? Hope, hope it's going well. My experience with Cyberpunk 2077? It just makes me want to play Deus Ex Human Revolution or Mankind Divided instead. <laughs> True Cyberpunk RPG immersive sims. What, 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 what do you guys think? You, you either you played Deus Ex? I played Deus Ex a long time ago. Useless. I never got to Mankind Divided. I heard it was very good though. I mean, I've heard that it's good. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. I am glad that you enjoyed it a lot. I felt that Nomad was the one the game was... Cyberpunk is a very different topic, so... Cyberpunk is what? Sorry, go. Oh, I was saying Cyberpunk 2077 is a very different vibe to Deus Ex, so I don't know about... Mm. Just play Deus Ex instead. Um, I felt Nomad was the one the game was written around. It's certainly not Corpo, that's all I know. <clears throat> Mad, really? Mm. I don't see it, considering the shit you do in the game. Maybe. Maybe. But the only real problem child is Corpo. Uh, we're in a cold war with China, but USA just hasn't entered the ring. Also, did y'all see Drinker? Such a handsome drunk. Keep up the good work, guys. He is handsome. That is true. The Cold War shall be decided by CD Projekt Red when they put the game back on the market. <laughs> and everything but not in off. China. <gasps> oh dun, my god. Dun, dun. Chikorita, fuck up that. Oh my god. It worked. Uh, if writing can be objectively bad, can a film be objectively <gasps> bad? If so, how many issues does a film need to have to be considered bad? Thank you. So um. It's a little bit more nebulous when you go with film, I find. We need to break it down into all the different crafts involved. Whether or not you, like... Because this is why I would always... If, if, I, if I'm like, oh, film bad, and then they're like, what? Film bad? 
Um, but I love the, you know, and then name stuff that isn't right and it all. I go, oh, okay, the writing's really bad, I guess. And then they're like, uh, okay. Um, because you'll find with a lot of mainstream stuff these days, they're usually kind of pretty good with, like, soundtracks and cinematography and acting. And oftentimes casting, too. And, like, everything just sort of is okay. And then you're like, how's the writing? And you start crying. <laughs> like Mel. That was so embarrassing. I'm, 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 I'm happy that's not on stream. Hey, you know how Zelda can teleport? Does it disapparate her I mean, and then reapparate her, meaning she's not necessarily the same entity anymore? Oh my god, what is this, Soma? Soma doesn't. How the well. fuck did I fuck this up at the same place again? <laughs> also, um, you mean Zelda, not Zelda. Zeldan. Zoltan. Oh, woman on woman violence. This game is bad. Uh. <laughs> she dies every time. Oh no. <laughs> she does the moves like. Aah! But yeah. Gets... Um. A film being objectively bad. It's just like if you want to make your standards clear and then say they fail to reach these particular standards, I think that's probably going to be the best way to be clear about what you're talking about. Um, but like, you know, even TLJ and stuff, we're dealing with films that uh, have so many crafts put in there with thousands of people working really hard that they're not going to fuck up all of them, more than likely. Look at the costumes and sets. They're pretty neat, even if you don't like Canto Bite. There's a lot of work went into it to make it look like a real place. You guys like Canto Bite, right? No. No. Um, I like a bite to eat, though. That's pretty cool. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> oh. Where is that one? Oh, okay. Left. It's kind of fucked up that they expect me to work to get these targets. I'll just be able to grab them all instantly. Um, the game probably would have been better if it was made more linear, a more curated experience like Deus Ex or The Witcher. Is that how people feel about Deus Ex and The Witcher? Depends which not know. Witcher you mean. <laughs> which Witcher? But I, I would say I would like to have some more linear games and not another open world game. I don't care for open worlds generally. I think they're more hassle than they're worth. I usually often. find with open world just searching for all the ways they account for the fact that they're open world. Like, how yeah. do they deal with yeah. the fact that they're open world? Because it's never going to be what, if you get what I mean by this, but like, it's never actually going to be open world. It's always just going to be a compensation for the fact that it's not open world. Um, mm -hmm. But of course, colloquially, when we say open world, we all know what we mean. And yeah, um, yep. curated, ex curated experiences can often be pretty damn awesome. <laughs> Deus Ex is a good example of that. More like Ooh. Deus Sex. Ah, you got him. Oh, dude, Snorlax beat Pikachu. Is that, like, lore accurate? Yeah. Alright, fine. I, I died. Like you... It was horrible. I feel like you could have an entire game from just the intro getting this corpo or nomad into Night City streets and getting you to know all the important characters. Yeah. Totally. Uh, but sure. this is the thing, at that point, so this is, you know about the whole, like, getting to know Jackie through that series of flashback, flash forward, whatever. That is a different story, rather than a strictly better or worse one. I was just interested in talking about how, like, it would probably make everything to do with Jackie a little bit more meaningful, but ultimately if that's not what their focus wants to be, it's just, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think it probably would have been for the best, but maybe it would have ended up being worse. You don't know with these things, for sure, you know? Just assuaged one issue immediately being, you know, the main plotline is very urgent, but it's an open world game, so you're encouraged to ignore it. Because hmm. stuff with Jackie seems very much to just be yeah, we're doing jobs, going around, partying, you know, going up in the world in the city. <laughs> I'm gonna skip ahead because I find this one funny. Muller, I've been trying to watch Buffy, but wow, season one was tropey? Tropy's not quite how to describe it, I'll just say it's bad. No. <laughs> but like, <laughs> uh, fair enough. 
Uh, why is Charisma Carpenter in the opening credits? She's um, quite prominent in the series in terms of- she's not as prominent as the other main characters, but she's definitely like around a lot, and she's supposed to represent mm. a sort of um, a life not lived for Buffy. That's the character that she's supposed to kind of be. There's a rather overt shot that I quite like where she's setting up for- I think it's either prom or some other dance or whatever, and Buffy's just looking at her through the window, uh, surrounded by her friends and wearing a dress. While Buffy's like preparing to go and fight something. I don't know. There's some stuff in season one I do actually like. I just don't want to imply to anyone that season one is good. So I usually just like it shit. Hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's main enough that she makes it into the credits. And then uh, you said, isn't she just 90s mean girl? Seems odd. But yeah, she's a tad one dimensional in season one. Uh, season two starts to get a bit of, a bit of chonk. And then season three... Um, I shouldn't probably describe this, because it's telling you how long she'll be alive for, or whether or not she will be alive. Can't have that. But yeah, don't worry, season one's bad. Though it makes sense that you'd be unhappy with it. So you shall be right back. Oh. Well, that just happened. Uh, I'm very bad huh? at this trophy what? thing. Not you, but you oh. can go pee pee poo poo whatever you want to do. <laughs> it was for May Queen. Oh, there you go. A frosted robot with the Buffy references. Ow. Do you think it's bad that Bowser is hitting a woman? Yes. Alright. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you got your, your input on it because I think chat were curious. Mm -hmm. Go on, bomb. Light up. Light up. I'm not really. Wow. Hey, Bowser, you gotta die now. That was very rude. Oof. You fucking dodged the stupid bullet bill, too. I hate you. Please drown. Going for the Pokeball, huh? Well, now I have it. Oh, and it's a Chikorita. How annoying for you, Bowser. Okay, that was actually pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Um, I personally still haven't heard a good argument against Return of the Sith? Revenge of the Sith, I guess? Uh, sorry, would love to hear your thoughts mutually. Also, hi, Rags. Uh, the prequel arc is not complete on EFAP. We have done Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Revenge of the Sith is yet to come. We were inter interrupted by good old The Last of Us 2. So, uh, the prequel arc shall return. Possibly with more Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith coverage, because I feel like Phantom Menace, you know, it, it got its coverage, you know? Um, but yeah, we'll talk about Revenge of the Sith, um, eventually. And you're in luck, if you haven't heard a single argument against Revenge of the Sith, oh boy. It's gotta be like three. It's gonna right. be like Christmas for you. Okay, so, um, that might have been hard up until I got the hammer. Yeah, Hammer kind of just solved that encounter, didn't it? <laughs> I got lucky. How come when a celebrity's in a movie, we can see them as their character, but when it comes to video games, it's considered so immersion-breaking? I don't think it's as clear-cut as that. Sometimes in movies, you can what? have trouble with it. Oh, fucking... It's because you've taken a very clear step back. Like, you have actively gone out of your way to represent the character, like, to represent the actor in the video game. Mm -hmm. when you absolutely had other options to further disguise that it's an actor playing a character. So, you've just for some reason, you know, gone backwards in terms of the ability, like, immersion oh. and stuff. Well, Ye I know, I keep saying for some reason, I know why they do it. It's, <laughs> it's for clout. Well, like, yeah, I don't is anyone under any illusion about that? Like, so, they have Keanu Reeves in there and they make his in-game character look exactly like Keanu Reeves because they want to sell the fact that Keanu Reeves is in the game because he's a popular celebrity right now. Like, nobody is wondering about any of that, right? I'm glad that we're yeah, all not wondering I, I about that. we're all on the same page, right? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Um, if, and so someone's probably out there like, well, wait, why is that bad? And it's like, okay, so if you were like, oh my god, we need this actor because he's best for portraying this character. Um, and then he's in the game, and then they model it directly after him. Uh, that could have similar results while also being completely, like, altruistic. And Well, what's the right word for that? Just... A good move. Um, but like if Samuel Jackson was some kind of character in Cyberpunk as well, it'd be pretty impossible not to uh, detect him 
to his voice. Mm. And I, I think this happens to some degree with um, certain actors in certain things. So, like, Robert Downey Jr. in anything, if he's like Iron Man in any way, it's just going to be like, I don't know, I just kind of see Tony Stark. I don't really see, you know, Robert mm. Flume or whatever he's playing in the, in the film. Shit. It can happen. Um, and I think... They uh, they knew they, they they really wanted to bank on Keanu in this game, which is weird because did it get marking? Maybe choose someone who's um, not only beloved but also is. A... Is it a hot take to say he's a bad actor? I can't remember. I've heard that a lot recently, so I don't think it's a hot take. Okay, good because he's an awesome guy, but holy shit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> when I was watching the new Bill and Ted, I was like, oh my god, can't you please help? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the line and get to someone, Mr. Connor Hamilton. I have seen 2003 Clone Wars by Gennady Tartakovsky. Uh, it was fun. Is it better? It was a lot of fun. It was significantly better, mm. but I, I don't have much to say about it other than it was fun. Because mm. there's not much to do in terms of People like rating suspicious. it. Fuck! I certainly wouldn't call it bad. I think it was pretty good. Oh, but go. I'm not particularly interested in rating it. It was just fun. There you go, chat. Chill out. He likes it now. It's it's officially yeah, canon. Yeah, fuck out! I mean, Samurai Stop Jack is... Sit down! I, I fucking love Samurai Jack, so... Things from... Well, until Season 5 broke my heart, but... Aww. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Another show that did that? Yeah came back from the grave for a final season after forever uh, and the first three four episodes were fantastic and then the rest was bad remember Game of Thrones Very tragic. remember that Game of Thrones <laughs> I will never stop finding it funny how Game of Thrones has just vanished from like popular culture it's just gone Bam, 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 bam. Uh, How come? Oh, never liked the idea that I couldn't grab Cyber Psychos, lol. Also, did anyone find the non-lethal takedown animation pathetic as hell? Just give him a tug on the throat and boom, unconscious corpse. Yeah. Uh, it was a little lame, and it's the same thing every single time. Uh, even, even Tonal mentioned that he was annoyed about that. That was a fun cameo, wasn't it? No. Hmm. He was just like on Twitter, like, oh, I'm available. And I was like, oh my god. Lord Tonald has entered the chat. Oh, there you go. That's, the, that's <laughs> where we're at in the Super Chats. Uh, <coughs> feels like they forced the release for Xmas. I bet they would have been better off aiming for summer. I, I think we can all agree that they needed more time. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you'd like the final episode of Mando. I hate the show and agree with you on it, but the final <laughs> ep made me cry. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> also, let me snort your seat flaps, Rags. I'm going to save that for him. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> the last episode made a whole bunch of people cry, and they'll cite why, and then you'll understand, like, do you know why they did the thing that you just cited made you cry? It was to make you cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I don't know what else to say. Uh, DT is here again? Is it already Christmas? Hi, DT. It's hey. Christmas. From Barnis. Also, he's going to be, um, the next EFAB Gaming to release is the one where he was in it, so. Hey, double dose Ooh. of Tonald. Oh I God. cried when I saw R2-D2. I clapped and I cried. <laughs> Both it. It made a lot of people feel like they're 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what no, people said? No, I've got two crates. No. Do you know what they said about TFA? <laughs> you know what a lot of people said about that movie? It was stuff Wait, like what that. Is it? What was it? Stuff Ooh. like, it made me cry because I saw the things that I know and it was so sad. <laughs> it made me crumbus. It made me cry because I saw Han Solo <laughs> fire his blaster. And Han Solo Lord. said, that's not how the voice works. And it was so wonderful. It was glorious. 
<sighs> Dio, did you cry when you saw The Force Awakens? Yeah. It's so cry. wonderful. I'm so glad. Listen, uh, Mandalorian is going to age really badly, just FYI, because it's really bad. <laughs> that's, that's probably going to lead to it. Relatively um, bankrupt. Horrifically. Um, it's so sad to see such a well-funded property that's designed to tell you a story that has absolutely no interest in telling a story. Like, what the fuck happened? Mm. This story is... There's something I think... Do you like Star Wars? I think it was something you said that really resonates with me about that show where you can just picture all the writers sitting around the table like head in their hands kind of like I don't know what now ice spiders <laughs> <laughs> well so everyone wants to say that like uh, it's a Macquarie design that um that, that, that they use and it's like as much as that's probably true they still would probably like what now ice spiders and then they just use the designs. <laughs> um, mm. And then, yeah, because uh, episode two... So you got episode one was the the Boba Fett reference and cool new cowboy character from other TV shows you might recognize, such as Deadwood and Justified. Episode two was completely like, nobody gave a shit, the writers-wise. The, there was nothing they were doing with that one. It was just to make the quota of eight episodes. Episode three was uh, Bo-Katan. That was the Bo-Katan episode. Episode four was the cool characters from season one that you liked episode. Episode five was the Ahsoka episode. Episode six was the Boba Fett episode. Episode seven was the Bill Burr episode. And episode eight is the Luke Skywalker episode. Episode two is the only one where they were like, I don't know, fuck it. Mm. It's funny because episode two, as far as we were concerned, is probably one of the tightest episodes in the season. They're all kind of bad, though. <laughs> I want a Pokemon! <laughs> oh my god, those writers must have been cooning when they thought about people enjoying all the episode characters. You know what? It's not just gonna be Boba Fett, it's gonna be Dark Troopers as well. Dark Boba Fett. Dark Troopers are black and have red eyes. Because they are very cool. This is storytelling, You're by the way. It's not, though. God fucking damn it. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you so much. <clears throat> um, I don't like this Ripper fight. It's dumb. Who put Tonald in the not important group? We must find them, beat them with a rubber hose, hang them, and then make, him the, make them repent. Yes. Um, wait, who put him in the not important group? <clears throat> what, what was I referencing? Uh, he did because he didn't get a, a pre-release copy because oh. he the important group like IGN. Man, it's good that they're wow, considered what? important. Yeah, yeah, they're very important. The people so who gave us that. Mandalorian episode ten a ten out of ten, I believe. Thank goodness. Uh, Highest of ever reviews. Only the you know most rigor exerted. <clears throat> I just like their standards. I'm a big fan of them. I'm not sure what they are, but they're great. <laughs> well, that's the standards. I don't know. It's I mean, great. if your standard gives you better numbers, that must be better, right? That's how this works. Do you think CG Project Red can pull off a No Man's Sky, or do you think the base problems run too deep? I think they're going to. If by pull off a No Man's Sky you mean improve their game and, you know, fix the things that people didn't like about it on release. Yeah, they'll probably do that. the bug. The bugs. <sighs> uh, COVID and working from work, working from home, uh, played a part for sure, and they started full development after Blood and Wine. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, I, that makes the most sense to me, I guess. Something clearly didn't go quite right in the development process. If they were reset, mm. which is what I've been hearing is a possibility, that would probably be a big dent in the production. Oh yeah, absolutely. Gonna be a big ol' flumpledingus. Fuck, I'm so dumb. Uh, cut that out, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, Mel, it's live! And I immediately jump back in the water and die again. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut so that, right? Can we, can we redo that? 
<laughs> Guys, we're all gonna go rewind five minutes, okay? Everybody go back to your positions. <laughs> Even, like, the enemies in my game start doing it. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so far, it reminds me of, like, a like an really old wrestling uh, thing that's, like, a famous clip now. They're, like, live on pay-per-view, and they do, like, an interview or a promo. And he fucks something up, and life on TV is like, oh, can we redo that? <laughs> and is like, we're live, no, we can't. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, it's so great. We're playing, are you sure? We They're completely out of character, it's like, oh, can we redo that? It's like, no. <laughs> they should have just gone with it a bit like, yes, we can, let's do it again. <laughs> Psycho said, oh, good. Plus points for uh, Stephen John and Chad there. What do you say? Oh, he he recognized what I was referencing. Ah. <clears throat> good, 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 good job, good job. <clears throat> good job. Good job. Where are you going, Lank? Oh, he's going for food. You fat fuck. Wow. What the hell is going on here? What's going on, Mando? <clears throat> Get that gun out of my face, Mando! Good old Bill Bear. <clears throat> People should call him Mando. Yeah. Everyone stop calling Bill Bear Mando, please. Bull blurbs. Billis and Bibbleton. You know, <clears throat> um, his prison sentence was very meaningful because he just left as soon as he was released. How long was he in there? It was time. That's how long. Wouldn't it have been neat to have had it so that they did put him back in, and then he gets the nicer view, and the next time they need him for something, he gets better again. And then, like, the third mission or some shit, they're like, you know what? Just join our crew, you fuck. Like, fuck no, you fucking idiots! <laughs> I don't wanna fucking die. <laughs> Are you crazy? Every single time I hang out with you guys, we're getting blowed up! <laughs> oh, Bill Bear, come back. Bill Bear show. Yeah. Uh, any thoughts on Baby Driver and Samurai Jack? Uh, Theo, wow. take it away with Samurai Jack, go. I really like Samurai Jack. It's a large part of my childhood. I fucking love that show. It's fantastic. I adore it. Except yeah. season five. Back half, which was very upsetting to me. Oh. It's okay, <laughs> is what you're saying. Wait, 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 did it touch you? Sure. Oh. Touched oh. me in my feels. Oh, oh. oh your feels. Uh, oh, I guess. <laughs> and as for. Um, what was the other thing we were talking about? Oh, yeah. Baby Driver. Fucking Baby. Writing was garbage. I thought the character sucked and the story sucked. But, um. Pretty much every <laughs> other element was pretty awesome. I'd have to rewatch it though to, to be more specific than that, because I honestly can't remember at this point other than someone was was a crazy person character. I think it was Jamie Foxx. And someone else John Hamm, he gets very angry by the end of it. That's all I remember at this point. Also Kevin Spacey was in it. I like Ham. So that means the film is now aged really badly. It's so unfortunate that Kevin Spacey's in so many good movies, you know? Also, mm. Yoshi just fuck killed himself again. A lot of people kill themselves <laughs> in this game, I don't know. <laughs> um, Cyberpunk 2077 is an, uh, an unbridled meh. I won't- I am not the person to make much content on Cyberpunk. Um, I'm happy to talk about the game on the podcast stuff and probably complete it, yeah, but... I am not the one that makes a video on that game. That's that's not that's not me. Uh, hey, White Light said he would. So there you go. Theo said he would too. So we'll just wait, and then we'll get stuff you want. How long till your video's out on ML? Uh, I released it uh, two years ago. How did you? How? I remember watching that. I, well, that I, I told everyone sense. like, don't buy it. It's gonna be super buggy, and if you do, you're flangus, and now you're all flanguses. There, good job, Buck, guys. Damn. You used it two years ago back when you could get away with calling people flanguses. Yeah. I have a history of uh, calling people flanguses. You know it's flang guy. Like, why are you even saying this? Whoa, you can't. Uh, that's, uh, that's a slur. You can't do that. 
Oh my god, I killed three children with a turtle shell. Nice, dude. <clears throat> Not even guilty. Oof, another child dead. Uh, do you guys love the <laughs> montage that skips character development potential for Jackie? Lol. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think it would have been worthwhile having that bit, but I guess they want to fast forward Fuck. you to mm -hmm. just... I would be curious. I guess to... they didn't want to, because, because they're going to kill Jackie off at the end of that segment, that they mm -hmm. didn't want to, you know, too much time on it. Yeah, I guess so. So a game called Cyberpunk lets you customize your dong and there's no robotic go-go gadget dong option? What's the point, then? <laughs> there isn't. There simply isn't. Go-go gadget dong. Dongle It's literally unplayable. I mean, you wouldn't describe that as a cyberpunk game if you can't have a go-go gadget dong, right? That would be misleading. Ding dong, fling flong. Yeah, no. Go, it defies go, the genre ding convention. Dong. That's already bad. Stupid child, come back. Whoa. I must murder you. Man, it's nice playing Crash without having a crashing PC. <laughs> and without the weird, angry Australian commentary. <laughs> yes. I thought that was just part of the game. I mean, I, I didn't have that one when I first played this game on my other PC back in the NAM. Mm. Naan bread. Mmm, <clears throat> delicious. I think we all like naan bread here, right, chat? This is the chill yeah. portion of the podcast where I ask people about naan bread. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in each of the episodes. <laughs> I was there back in naan. <laughs> Norn. Uh, in my Street Kid playthrough, Meredith gets killed off screen by Militech during the Maelstrom mission. No idea what I did to get that. You did something wrong, buddy. Wrong! Wrong! Depends how you proceeded through the quest. Yeah. Depends on whose buttons you push <laughs> and where and when. <coughs> Fuck. Shut up, Metal. Uh, no, you. Last thought from me. Companies are going to use this as an example to not be ambitious themselves and just make copies of games. <coughs> Ubisoft. Oh! Oh, no, my. they're not going to use this. They're going to use Ghost of Tsushima. Mm, how do you sushi. get? How does sushi make a ghost? Like that's fucking stupid. Um, after development. I mean, God, is about? it the ghost of the fish or the sushi in general? No, it's just the ghost. But I asked to which, which ghost. Which go you, mm. you lied to me. You lied to yes. me. Link is no, trying to murder No, I got me. raped! Ew. By a stone pusher. Come get me, Lank. <laughs> Lank. <clears throat> you lanky piece of shit. Oh. He's trying to kill me by pushing me to the edge. That's fucked up. Uh, edgy the lanky? Mm-hmm. Or lanky the edgy. Wow, a whole fap dedicated to cyberpunk? Also, Tonal, top tier episode. I mean, of course. Whoa, whoa. Would you expect anything less from Ephip? Don't think so. Ah! Stop with the boomerang! Now! Yeah, you boomer. <laughs> I see what I did there. High five. Come on. Come the, on. The tech sniper build that Upper Echelon did a video on completely breaks the game, shooting through 20 feet of concrete and doing 800,000 damage a hit. <laughs> um. Well, how do you know that's not intended, idiots? The game starts to get a bit broken by late game anyway. Sweet. Most builds seem to hit, you know, critical mass of most things can't threaten me. Sweet. I mean, that's what we want, right? No. No! Oh, Dumbo. <laughs> see, Theo, I'd just... like to talk to you about passion, okay? You said no, and then Metal went, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd like you to do more of that, because it shows that you're invested in the conversation like Metal is. Yeah, I pre dubbed it a leave and while I did it. See? I'd like everyone to appreciate can't you, that. Can you save this conversation while we're not rolling? Can we, can we edit this out? Pre! Look, when you, when you look at your lines, <laughs> they have an emotion attached to them. <laughs> Metal, I guess, read out your line by accident. Yeah. But um, I think he nails... 
Did you know, you I can't read. I just guess. Oh. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Like, what's everyone laughing at? Just look at the script and shrug and just start saying things. It's like, uh, Flubumius, <laughs> Ding Dong, Shrang Dong, Burp. And they gave up on it at one point, the script was, and they just put Metal Talks. <laughs> 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 and everyone reacts to him as if he just said something specific. Like, yeah, it's exactly right, Metal. <laughs> yes, Metal, Pat's head. <laughs> Stop touching me, you freak! God, Mom! Mom! Uh, hey guys, I found it interesting that Cyberpunk hey. had an 8 year development cycle compared to The Witcher 3 which had 3.5 years. That probably doesn't represent how much time was actually I'm spent not, on both games though. I'm not convinced it had an 8 year development cycle, I want to know when people are getting it, getting that from. From my understanding of things, it started development after Blood and Wine released, but... Are they going from when it was announced? I would assume so, which... CDPR, I, I think, on record is calling that a mistake. <laughs> well, whose fault is that? I need to Fringy down. That just means that I think Fringy's wrong it about everything. Fringy's Makes sense. Maximum effective range for an M4 around 500 meters. Here is a site that adds 0 to <coughs> 0 0.02. Oh, thanks, guy. Hey, five hundred point zero two is more than five hundred. So shut the I fuck like up. That, I like, that? I like that zero times multiplier you showed earlier on the stream. <laughs> Have you ever times anything by zero? It's, it's really. Oh. <laughs> the combination Dude, of shorts. Got us, got us so much better now. It shoots like little things go. Uh, uh, well, okay. The combination of short circuit and overheat make you OP. Camera control, ping, short circuit, and overheat. Everyone's down in 30 seconds without seeing me. Overheat isn't the broken one, it's contagion. What's that do? Uh, you apply poison damage to someone uh, by leaking the toxic oh. parts of their cyberware into their bloodstream, and it can spread to like a bunch of nearby enemies. So from stealth, if you're like a good enough hacker man and you know have enough bonuses to your damage, you just pop it on an enemy, and then three of them just explode and die immediately. Mm. And then you short circuit the other one for approximately 20,000 damage or so, and uh, yeah, you're off to the races, because you can do all of this through a wall. Why do you go to the races? You're fucking playing a video game. That's stupid. What if the video game has racing in it? And then you'll be in the video game, you'll be going to the races. What you've said is lies and slander. Also, I killed Moth. His his theme in this game is pretty awesome. Good for you, Moth. Ma Moth. I am proud of Mouth. Oh wait, I did it with Ice Climbers already. No! Yeah. Ice Climbers. <coughs> um, but yeah, so that poison thing, can you apply it without getting noticed? Yes, though I've found some weird little inconsistencies with uh, oh God quick hacking from stealth as to when you actually get put into combat and when you don't. Usually people just start wandering around in like alert state like as if to go the fuck is happening but sometimes you just end up in combat and if they spot you for a split second you know they'll know exactly where you are and you're detected and they'll start shooting at you and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Hmm. The game does also have enemy hackers try and reveal your position if you just sit in stealth hacking too much. But being able to find enemy hackers and stop them from doing that is kind of weird. So I don't think they're actually physically present in the world. All right. All right. Um, I think this is all an elaborate frack you to the peasants on console, and I respect that. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't see any project that came out like that. Like the five years from now, they announced like all of this was actually on purpose. We kind of just wanted to own the console players. Because they go on to say that it's impossible to code as amazing of an experience the PC gets for the console, and that they give up, and console is bad. And they bet their entire company on trying to destroy the console industry. <laughs> what? Fucking stupid what a movie. villain. Yeah. It's just a super villain in some film. 
this piece of media is all talking and walking. Rags channeling cinematic venom. Well, there is a lot of talking, right? But, a lot uh, of walking. As long as it's good talking and good walking, is it really that bad? I don't think so. The newfound obsession with walk and talk segments in video games is really annoying. Hey. It's like a cut you can't skip. Yeah, it's like the movies. You know when the people, they sit and talk in the movies? I like that. <laughs> they sit and talk, it's fine when they're just, you know, wandering the fuck around. That's bad when they wander, really? Wow. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, they stole my stupid Pokemon, but it was a Goldeen. No one likes Goldeen. Anyone in chat says they like Goldeen, they are fired. Ugh. I'm watching, I'll ban them as soon as they say it. Just absolutely outrageous to say you like Goldeen, that's all. That's all I'm saying. You could add skill nodes that give three different bonuses dependent on background, easy to implement, one or two in each tree that you could unlock. Sure, you could add a lot of stuff. Um, but who knows how it permeates through the game, yeah. you know? Maybe it fucks the whole thing up. Did you think about that? Didn't think so. I'm just I'm just gonna post this here in Discord. You do with this whatever you want. Movies aren't about logic and plot. <laughs> That's why I almost I almost never talk about those things. They're about emotion and feeling. Oh boy. I talk. <laughs> How do you think you get those emotions? <clears throat> Hmm. The first response I know is just no. Almost as if they're not. It's almost as if these feelings aren't just spontaneously generated from nowhere. And that the piece of media you watch that evokes these feelings kind of counts for something in how it was put together. I like this whole they aren't about that, they are about this. It's like, I mean, all of those things are what a movie is about. I don't know, it's, mm. it's all semantic shit that I hate. They're about emotional It's all feeling. annoying, declarative, you know, categorical statements. Like, this is what films are. Mm. Yeah, thanks. <sighs> High top, high top, high top. This is because he's seen uh, South Pole's video, probably, isn't it? Might be, I don't know. Yeah, probably. I imagine <clears throat> it is. Because uh, I don't think he can resist looking at videos that shit on Spider-Man 2. <laughs> I think he would, he'd be like, how dare you? Uh, but since South Pole's video is heavily about the logic of how everything comes together... Um, hmm. But yeah, what do you think is used to translate emotion or, or the messages of the story to the audience? What do you think it is? Is it a is it a boot? A scissors? A pair of scissors? A scissor? Or a laser? Is it logic? With how everything comes together. Character. I'm gonna go with the boot. It's the boot, yeah. <laughs> the brain. <laughs> Movies aren't about logic. They're about boots. Rolling out this fucking take again. This take's as old as, like, cheese. But it just doesn't go away. But I like cheese. <laughs> Stop it. I like cheese, cheese too, but, you know, we can do okay. better than cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cheese... Cheese not good enough? I mean, cheese is neat, but... I feel like there's just more things we could do. Does anyone disagree with this? I don't know. Che it's not all about <laughs> cheese. What can I say? <laughs> no, I don't disagree. I sure. Don't. It's a part cheese. of a conversation. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Good old cheese. Cheese and heim, cheese and heim, hammer, heimer, heimer, cheese and heim. Why is everyone silent? Mom. Well, I want to quote tweet him, and I'm trying to think of what to say. Oh. I'm also doing this well, live gonna... stream about cheese. I'm gonna look at chat and see what they what they think about cheese. I guess. Very well. Movies are about cheese. Cool. That, that's it. That's all you got from chat. Was asking where's the doggo? 
Doggo went to sleep in Heimer's because mm -hmm. tiredisms. I'm going to cheese myself. Metal gay. See, that's why we that that's why I hate chat. My Twitch chat, on the other hand, those guys are. Nah, I can't lie, they're not they're, they're degenerates. <laughs> oh, okay, so. uh, that got the Germans out there. Hi mortal. Uh plagued was was uh I love me. Well that's at least one person, I guess. Metal! Scooby is yelling at me again, as always. Some of us are the same chat. Ah, oh, shit. Let's get Buddha. Moodle is love. Yes. Hey, I'm your Twitch chat, Moodle, and I'm nice. Shut up, Freddo! Screw you, Metal. Wow, Strig, that's fucked up. I like how all the people from the Twitch chat in here is like, Shut up, Metal, you freak! Why does everyone hate you, and Fringy, and Rags, and Theo? Jeez. You're all I the worst. I thought the chill one. You're not supposed to hate me. Moodle is cheese. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna eat myself. I wouldn't recommend that, honestly. Hey, Moodle, you're my sixth favorite e -fapper. I mean, that's okay to be wrong. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> cheese is pretty gouda. <laughs> I get it. Or I guess in English it's gouda, I think. I don't know. Weird language. I'm in your Twitch chat on occasion, and you're correct. We all degenerates. See? Metal chat rise up. <laughs> we're the toxic root. Obviously, we're the everyone. But Metal's German, so hey. Metal is love, Metal is life. Too easy to pick on Metal. It's like picking on Michael Jackson. I don't touch children. Why aren't you streaming Metal? Well, I'm here. I'm chilling out. I'm gonna stream tomorrow. We're gonna beat up some Valkyries. Metal Commander more like plastic private. Wow, that's so fucked up. Plastic Commander. Uh, don't worry, Mola, we hate you too. We hate oh. you in opposition world. Six that's is pretty nice. good to be honest. Yeah, I'll take it. Metal is an elusive beast to me, as I've known him for, for ages, but only today learned what he's known for. <laughs> Metal, I don't love that you don't love yourself. Loving cheese don't can't love to begin with. Yeah, exactly. Everyone likes Shad though. He has swords. Yeah, I can't. I can't hang with swords. Uh, I, I can't do anything against those. I only have the uh, booze. <laughs> Metal's voice is surprisingly intriguing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna touch the intrigue. What does it mean to be intriguing? Are they trying to say you're exotic? Do they find you sexually attractive through your exotic voice? These are just questions I'm I asking. Mean, I have a very sexy beard, so obviously. Mm. Hey, Metal, if I want to visit Germany, where do you recommend I visit? Don't. I'm always in your chat, Metal, yet you let Julius out of your basement more than me. Well, you know how to use the doorknob, so you can just leave. I never lock the door. Julius is just too dumb to do it. Uh, but no, uh... It depends if you want to visit Germany. Do you want to go to the cities? Do you want to have some nice landscapes? Because landscape-wise, I would recommend like Munich uh, or Bavaria. They have like some really nice, uh, nice places. Metal is the bestest, except when he isn't. It, it, yeah. And that's the side. Metal, why aren't you better at video games? Listen, fucker. Okay. I don't know. I got nothing. Metal refused to leave the Valkyrie fight to grind for gear, refused to retreat. I gotta respect that. Yeah, and who beat the Valkyrie? Me, baby. Me. This is not Moodle stream. I mean, yeah, Mollus uh, streams on Twitch, and I stream on uh, YouTube. That's how it works, right? Yeah, basically, like, Metal and I own those platforms, so we can't yeah. cross over. Uh, King exactly. of Twitch and King of YouTube. And I'm pretty neat, <laughs> yeah. to be honest with you. Gas and Chamberheimer when? Uh, I don't know, like five years when I'm big enough. <clears throat> I'm disappointed by the person who has an anime profile pic instead of Christmas one. Theo. Oh. <laughs> Germans are exotic, especially the dom dominat dominatrixes. Have you smoked Gouda? I don't think I have. Sounds good though. Do -do -do -do. Stupid chat, stop skipping. 
when are you gonna finish your God of War Ascension, Mortal? Never. Fuck that game. That game is fucking trash. Oh my god. That stupid fucking trial they put in there. Fuck that. Especially on hard. Tell us the truth, if you actually like John Wick 2, don't you? Fuck no. After I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it after I'm done with the highlights that I started preparing today, or if I just change or switch in between. German beer sucks. Okay, where's the ban button? You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Get him. Wasn't he shown some Median? Everywhere. Mortal, I'm the captain now. <clears throat> Great suit today, Metal. Thanks, man. I try. Demos. Also, chat aren't just skipped. Watching. I don't even know where it was. Metal secretly is Mala. Mala is just really good at voices. Yeah, exactly. What's your favorite beer? Budweiser. Not Budweiser, Budweiser. Budweiser is really good beer. It's my favorite. Is that of War better than Ascension or not? Nah? <laughs> Fuck, way better. Way better. <laughs> German beer is yumbly in my bum tumbly. Mm -mm. What is yumbly happening? I don't know, Mola is trolling on Twitter and I'm, I'm just I'm writing a tweet. Chat. Do you, what do you think, Theo? <laughs> do you like my tweet? Uh, for Metal Mole and Theo, have you ever been to Scotland and tried Haggis? And which drink would you want me to buy you? I, I've never been to Scotland, no. I have never been to Scotland, I'm afraid, and I don't drink. Racism. Also, review my uh... tweet. Metal, where did you get your name from? Uh, so basically, I was at like a little <laughs> a little concert, uh, like, I like it. Fuck, probably 12 years ago now. And had like some kind of military style coat on. And while the concert was going on, some some Randy came up to me and he was like, "You look like the the battle commander." I was like, "That that sounds fun." And that's where I got it from. Wie Deutsch bist du zusammenhalten mit Abstand natürlich? Ja, richtig. Meisels? Uh, not too shabby. That's all right. Also. He said, I'd rather watch a flick with 10,000 things that don't make sense that made me cry than a film that made me feel nothing but made perfect sense. When do these things happen? When do these things? Yeah. When, is there even a movie that makes perfect sense? That's pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, but it's just funny to me because I already know he agrees with my take. You just have to uh, frame it correctly, semantics-wise. So, his mm -hmm. criticisms of a lot of different things that happen in um you know with 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 his least favorite spoodamans mm. or uh, movies he doesn't quite gel with he like patrick willems like just right like all the rest they will cite inconsistencies it'll always be inconsistencies it's rarely ever um like something that couldn't be classified under that and then they'll talk about how like yeah this this didn't line up and so it affected the emotional Belch. outcome and it's just like mm, is that right Belch. i cried when i saw it Oh, I thought it was a big weenie, and um... Looking forward I mean, to some know. female abuse tomorrow in the Coombs room. Yes. Bam, Is it okay? Bam, Nine. Hey, hey, Metal Gay. Do you ever get tired of German Nazi jokes? Do they get tiresome to you? People don't make them often. I, I make them myself most of the time. <laughs> so... Hakab Shor or Paulana? I never had Hakab Shor. I like Paulana. Also, Theo, I know you have the power to do this. Um, can you make people stop equa like dichotomizing logic and emotion? Uh, sure. Stop doing that. Everyone, That's stop it. Okay. Enough now. You've done it really... enough. Really, things are kind of at odds in ways, but they're also not. The idea <laughs> that if you do something logically, then it can't be emotional is fucking crazy, and you need to stop. You need to sit down. <laughs> you know, have enough. some cereal. Yeah. You don't eat much in the mornings, and it's making you act crazy. Maybe some toast. They're opposed <laughs> in different fields to this. This is not where you should be throwing them against each other as if they're in some kind of death battle and you can't have one without the other and one isn't informed by the other. Oh no. Like, take metal. Is it logical that metal huh? is always emotional? 
Yes. Because <laughs> no. he's beaten regularly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think someone asked why my why my uh, my uh, profile picture has a Pepe. That 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 uh, stems from like a pretty much my OG the OG meme about me. So. Uh, oh, you want to tell start the OG with meme your. You? Sorry. Do you want to tell them the OG meme for why you cry? Is that what you're doing? I mean, I was about to. Uh, mm -hmm. I was about to ask. Do you know which highlight it, highlights it was? It was like five or six or something when you made that. Uh, the, I'm not gonna be able to tell you which one that is. Mon yeah, I, I need to look up. Basically, uh, Mumblo did a montage of me beating, f trying to beat Fume Knight for the first time ever. And it was like my first Dark Souls 2 playthrough, so I had no idea about ADP or whatever it was. So it was painful. I died a, a lot, like probably close to 200 times. And at some point, I'm just really angry to say, leave me be! And yeah, that's the, that's where the crying Pepe came from. I think at some point I just made that emote and made it my profile picture. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> Mel um, says some funny things, and and when you're desperately looking for something to leave you alone, and you probably have the words in your native language, it would make a lot of sense. But not many people, when seeing speaking the old English, say "leave me be" desperately <laughs> in a moment of fury. It is it is quite funny. Yeah. So metal leave I me spoke, be was born. I spoke very differently back then as well. So, yeah, much more like a disgusting foreigner, you know? Yeah, it's like, a... <coughs> We couldn't have that, so we had to fix you. Oof, he's dead. Unfortunately, upper management types hate concepts like exclusive decision paths. It's only going to be seen by a fraction of the people who play the game. It's seen as inefficient. Yuck. Yep, I believe the first time I heard that argument was actually from Toll Biscuit. And uh, mm. I was like, holy shit, I miss a lot Total of sense. Biscuit. I miss this video. I think YouTube could really use Total Biscuit. Like, it's. Uh... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Oh, man, he was good for discussion. Not always the person I agreed with 100% of the time, but fuck me, do I miss that guy. Mm hmm. <clears throat> when you guys played the original Deus Ex or its sequel, Invisible War, what were your thoughts? Also, Hi Rex. I have not. You guys played Deus Ex of the Civil War? I think I played the original Deus Ex a ridiculous amount of time ago, to the point where I don't really remember it even. It's one that I've been meaning to go back to at some point, because... Yeah, it's a very good game. It's one of the classics, by most people's accounts. Well, good. i be honest with you, I don't like playing as Jigglypuff. There, I said it. I don't find Jigglypuff that great. <clears throat> the most fun I have with Jigglypuff is using weapons. Yeah. Oh, big map or what? Big Mac or Whopper? Uh, that's a good question. This reminds me, I haven't had proper McDonald's since I did the Movie Bob Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the movie Bob Challenge is his way of getting people to stop eating McDonald's. <laughs> I think the last time I was at McDonald's was with my mum, and I was like, I'll just have a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You've had enough, okay? You just stocked up for the year. And I don't have a lot of Burger Kings around where I lived in Germany. We do have Burger Kings here, but... I mostly had McDonald's around me. I, I couldn't even tell you if I... I mean, I probably... I, I like a Whopper, but I don't know which I would prefer. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, honestly, I, I don't have an answer for that, because I can't even quite remember. I haven't had one of either of them in ages. Yeah, same. That's... Uh, yeah. Theo, you'll know the answer to this. You love fast food. <laughs> uh... No comment. Oh. Wow. Racism. So that guy Behaviors. sent in that super chat looking to find the scientific answer and he got nothing. Well done, guys. I do, you? I do like me some, some, some Big Mac. Some chumbas. Some chumbas, yeah. Belch. Dude, it's so satisfying being Jigglypuff and firing a giant laser weapon at a Donkey Kong and he fires into space. That's Donkey what this game Kong. gave to the players, okay? <clears throat> they didn't have that before. 
AC Valhalla gear system is better than Odyssey. Odyssey, you had to upgrade gear constantly. Valhalla had a few gear sets. It's not level based, so you can wear the gear you liked whenever you wanted. <coughs> what do we think? I don't know anything about those. I, 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 the same. I, I, I'm sorry. You, <laughs> Ubisoft games poison. Keep them away from me. <laughs> Yo, that's bigotry. Yeah, I was never, I was yes. Never into those games yes. At all, so like. <laughs> I sign off on this bigotry. Anything. Bigotry means I get to hate Ubisoft games, then I'm all aboard. Oh, 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 what a KO. I don't know if they had a line KO. to explain it, but I find odd the entire plot hinging upon you solely witnessing the patricide when memory playback technology is established. That was a thing I had, uh, an issue I had with the story around that point, is... Like the game acts as if it's uh, like uh, it's all in your you know your personal testimony, so no one will ever believe you. When DK. I, like I have cyber eyes, this is a known quantity. Uh, so it makes me think: Do they just not record what they see somewhere? Are there no like data banks in my cyber eyes that show things? Or maybe it, uh, is everyone just assuming that if I show that footage around, it'll be like, oh, it's doctored. But if that's the case, <laughs> then you know that needs to be expanded upon in the actual game. Like, have someone say something like that. It's like, you know, we'll just show them the tapes and then someone goes, no, fucking idiot. Everyone will immediately assume that shit's doctored. And you'd be contending with Arasaka's legal team and, you know, bring hell down upon yourself and all that stuff. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. The game kind of neglects some of the implications of every single person in the world having machinery primarily in their eyes, because Eye implants seem to be pretty much ubiquitous. Uh, I have not been watching uh, any new animus recently. I still have to finish Code Geass, but my 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 work basically consisted of work, stream, and or EFAP stuff, sleep, and then repeat. <laughs> so. Live in the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> How do you feel about the whole, the story as a whole, from what you played Theo? Like, in terms of uh, shoring up, making I sense. Have, I have enjoyed it a lot. I think it makes pretty good sense. Uh, it's pretty simple in concept. It's you know very character focused about you and Johnny for the most part, really. Uh, my only thing at the moment is I wish there was more of it. Hmm. DLC. Because I know... Yeah. Give me some DLC. Dulce. Dulce. Uh, no, no. I don't know if like, honestly, if the entire game was the Johnny Silverhand sequence stretched out for 20 hours, it'd be a far superior game. What do you think? <clears throat> that sequence was fantastic, but part of what makes it so good is that it's such a strange occurrence and it's not the norm of the game. Um, I guess because I haven't done it yet, what is that sequence? So, um, after the job goes balked and your character gets shot in the head, uh, you like everything goes blank for a bit, and then you come back in like a completely different setting. You're like backstage of you know some gig that some band is playing, and uh, you know through a few subtle things, it's revealed that um, you are playing Mr. Keanu Reeves, Johnny Silverhand. You've swapped to him because this is how you know your mem you end up getting integrated. Because at this point, you have the chip in your head that has his engram on it, mm -hmm. and then you go through, you flash through basically almost like a fever dream of things from Johnny, like significant events from Johnny Silverhand's past, with the most prominent being uh, you head out and do the most significant thing he did in his life, which was uh, nuking Arasaka Tower. Me. And uh, there's really good music to go with the whole thing to make it feel like, really unique and different. Johnny's gun handles fantastically and has a really cool reload animation. And uh, the entire sequence feels like something really special and cool to witness. 
Uh, and I think if you were to stretch all that out into an entire game, that would probably take the magic away from it, and it'd take away what made that bit so special. And it'd probably turn into like a fairly generic shooter, and it wouldn't it wouldn't hold out well if you stretched out just that bit of the game. Maybe they'll uh, do something a little more like it with DLCs, or if Hopefully. people are responding positively to it. There was a lot of things that if the the stuff with Johnny Silverhand, honestly, more than anything else, reeks of cut content and running out of time. Like Mola, you know the stats screen, right? Well, first off, I guess you don't really mind spoilers. That's fine. Do you mind yeah, spoilers? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know how spoily this is. You know the stat screen, right? Where your attributes are like cool and intelligence and stuff? Yeah. Uh, in that screen, after all of the business has gone down and you've got Johnny Silverhand in your head, an extra like block will appear there down at the bottom between some of the other ones. And if you hover over it, it goes all fuzzy and stuff. So my first thought upon seeing that is, Oh, the hell is this? Can I actually put points into this? You can't at first, so I figured, you know, it'll unlock later. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, probably something really cool to do with Johnny. Maybe it's, you know, a Johnny skill tree, and I can feed into this. Uh, turned out, well, I'm, I haven't completely finished the game, but I am at the point of no return, so to speak, where if I proceed the main quest now, I will be doing nothing but main quest until I have completed all of them. Um, and nothing has been done with that box. Hmm. It, it's still just nothing. And there's another thing that feels like there was a mechanic that was supposed to be in the game, in that the character will give you two kinds of pills. Uh, blue pills and uh, orange pills. The blue pills will slow the effect of Johnny's engram taking over your mind, and that kind of thing. Uh, whereas the orange ones will accelerate it. Uh, I was disappointed because I thought that was going to be like, again, another big mechanic to see how much I could play into siding with Johnny Silverhand or acting like him or making my character more like him in certain aspects. Uh, that turned out to mostly be a nothing burger again, but the pills do come back in some much later on sequences, just with no real very interesting implementation. So those two things specifically really feel like they had lofty ambitions for what to do with Johnny and stuff that they might have gone with but they just couldn't figure out how to how they wanted to make it happen shame yeah absolutely because there's potential for some really really cool shit with the story set up and the things they hinted at with those couple of things uh, sorry, can't super chat right now. Be in chat though. No, all good. <laughs> Judy <laughs> Alvarez and Paman Panama Palmer mic drop. Are we just are we just saying those two are cool? Uh, what was what was that? Judy Alvarez and Panama Palmer mic drop. Oh, those are a couple of characters in the game. They're both so good we... characters. I like them both. Bringy, do you think GTA 6 will release in the next few years, and what are you looking forward to? I hope there's more activities. Do you like sports, eating, entertainment, etc.? Make choices. I'll I'll save all of this. Take it away, Bringy. If I am able to no. have him like on the next EFAP or something, I'll try and get it to him. But I'm sorry if he's not going to be able to see it or not. Um, Theo is a pretentious a-hole. Oh, I remember reading that. <laughs> <laughs> well, off to work. Hope you guys are still going Aww. in 10 hours from now. Yeah, there's a good chance. Oh my uh, god. Oh, we read those two. I wanted to play Cyberpunk with Russian VA, but installing Russian voice files resulted in crash on launch. I had to delete the in the English voice file archive and rename Russian one to English manually to make it work. Oh. Game can't ha handle the bleed. Yeah, maybe that's just a message to Russians. Oh my god. Like, yeah, okay, it's a little bit edgy, but, you know. Hey, White Light, you dragging yourself through Destiny 2 again for uh, Europa DLC? I'm sure you've also heard they vaulted half mm -hmm. the game. What does it mean to vault a game? I don't know. Like lock it off? or? Bing, bing, bing. 
Prequels were good. No. <clears throat> no. No, no, no. Uh, could you explain why Empire is objectively better than New Hope? I keep hearing it, but it's never expanded on. Oof. Um, if I've made that claim before, I would probably be like, actually, uh, I would have to rewatch them and go super in depth to try and argue why, because they're both pretty damn strong. They both got little issues, and some of them. There's some, like, larger issues in both, too, but they do fantastically well. I might argue that um, Empire is more ambitious and complicated, and thus uh, it's more impressive that it manages to stay so stable or something like that, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, would have to rewatch them both again before wanting to claim it, but I know that Empire is definitely the one that I believe to be better, and it's my favorite. Empire was uh, quite liked by a whole bunch of people. And it's what made Star Wars what it is, uh, along with The New Hope. Those two together, oof. It was already over. But then Return of the Jedi gave you a, a really, really good payoff, so probably helped too. No. And then the prequel sparked a whole bunch of bonus content that everyone really liked. And then the sequels spawned a whole bunch of movies that everyone really liked, right? Yeah. <sighs> sure. What? <laughs> uh, TLJ EFAP movies for 500k sub special? I... We could do EFAP movies at TLJ. I don't see why not. One day. Don't know what we would talk about. Till Probably just this crazy journey that has been TLJ that started up stuff. I wouldn't even be talking to Metal right now if it wasn't for TLJ. Wait, why? <laughs> It's a way for you to be like, what? We met before that, what do you mean? We yeah, met before that. <laughs> We've seen it. It's weird. Because it was only as a result of TLJ that Metal started paying me so that he could hang out with me. I wouldn't have accepted that, otherwise. Wait. That's where my money is going. You should oh, yes. actors. Cyberpunk has the substance to be one of the greatest RPGs ever. And don't get me wrong, I love playing it when it works, but I'm currently unable to play it for more than 15 minutes without a full crash, even on my 3080. Damn. Yeah, I, um... Man, sounds like you were all real bad in terms we, of crashes. Yeah, we need... We just need some updates. CD Projekt Red, get, get the bigger issues out of the way quick, because my globness... It is nor so good. The suit. The sooner the conversation stops being about bugs and crashes, the sooner we can, you know, actually mm -hmm. have a more productive conversation about what's actually wrong with the game. I say actually wrong with the game as if bugs aren't, you know, legitimate problems, but... The name Bo-Katan derives from Filoni's wife Anne and her cat Boogie. So it's Boogie, Cat, Anne. Boo, or Bo, Cat, Anne, Bo-Katan. Um, this is the thing. I don't mind that pronouncing sounds it. Up. I mean, it could be. I don't really care. It's, it's not to do with whether or not it's Catan or Catan. Yeah. It's just, can you guys pronounce it consistently, please? <laughs> like, it's awkward. Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to say it? I don't know if it was a matter of they fucked up on The Mandalorian or if they fucked up on uh, TCW slash Rebels. I don't know. I don't want donuts. Mm. You always want donuts. We had, to, we had to stop allowing people to have donuts on EFAX. You kept eating them all. How could be? Well, I want them all. So if a guest has to have at least one, and then they look at the sprinkles one, and you're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, we'll get two sprinklers from now on. And then the guest's like, can I have the two sprinkles? And you're like, mm -hmm. and he's like <laughs> <laughs> you can't have two sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up the you touched the Pringle. Pringles? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Yeah. <laughs> Do not touch the sprinkles. Give me the prongles. What? What prongles? Prongles. Ah, you died. Pringle I hunt. I also killed the guy who killed me, so that counts for something, right? Well, it didn't happen yet on my screen, so it actually... Okay, now it ha No, I thought that was the one. Oh, okay, the... People need to wake up and smell that coffee. All right. I like some coffee. Oh, oh no! Uh, you, you got minus 500 points for being a coward. I'm, not, I'm allowed to be a coward, sure. Jupiter oh. is a crunchy fart, EFAP 2020. 
So what? No, it's said, a fart with a crunchy middle. I thought he said it was a chewy center. Then I guess he said crunchy after. Yeah. Well, crunchy I mean, after. I said, I think I said crunchy actually. Mm. Maybe I don't remember. It's been like two hours. Yeah, Yo, you like planets? Not even is, real it, anymore. is the crunchy or chewy in the center of Jupiter? Somehow I don't think a ball of rock is very chewy. So we'll go with, mm -hmm. but then it really? might be molten. I don't know. Is it molten? Molten. Crunchulon. You know, lava might be chewy. I don't think anyone's taken the time to test that. <laughs> what you did? That was like the whole reason I hired you. Oh, I thought you hired me for my spectacular, you know, emotive range. <laughs> Dude, why do you sound so angry? <laughs> uh, conservative satirical website The Babylon Bee released an article called Trump confirms there will be no presidential pardon for Ryan Johnson. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess it was worth Ryan trying, right? Uh, being Try eaten by Chumbo is what happens when you don't accept Gene into your heart. True. <laughs> The only thing better than Spider Chumbai is Venom Chumbo. Chumbonio. I guess we're gonna find out who's gonna win out of Tom Hardy's Venom and Spooderman Tom Holland eventually, right? That's gonna be something they'll do. It's gonna be so fucking exciting. Oh no, did my game freeze? Oh, it's okay. <sighs> did y'all ever play Ultimate Alliance? Awesome four-player co-op Marvel game with tons of heroes and lots of cool cutscenes and levels would be perfect for Super Chats and gaming. I did. I have not. I actually played it relatively but... recently, like a year or two ago on Steam. Uh, it's still kind of fun, especially for, for what it is. Can I remember they the cutscenes. from Steam or something? Is it, is it like you can't buy it anymore or something? Maybe. Mixing it up. Let me check. Or was it Ultimate Alliance? Yeah. Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, starring Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor Man, doesn't look like it's on there. Man. I think I remember something that they pulled it for reasons. Ultimate Alliance. Activision lost Marvel rights, so not on Steam. Ah, oh, there you go, okay. <clears throat> Ghoulish. Ghoulish indeed. Yeah, I liked it. And maybe we'll it'll pop up in a E5 Gaming at some point, who knows. Batwoman DeLorean, am I wrong? <laughs> They're saying the Batwoman DeLorean is bad, by the way, if you didn't pick that up, okay. Oh, yeah. Say, Mel's a little slow with these things. We're just making sure he's got it. Wait, um, who are you again? W Wallace. Oh, hey, Wallace. 32-hour stream when, when metal? 32? Yeah, they, they want a 32 one. I thought it was 87. I guess maybe this is on top of that. Mm. Are you going to do it? Uh, in 2107. 2107. You're not going to be alive then. Well, you don't know that. I literally checked the calendar. It says you die tomorrow, a so. A shma oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You're less concerned about that. You're just like, don't tell him. Don't tell him. <clears throat> wow, I, I thought I was doing okay as Moth here, but apparently not. <laughs> Complete. The Disney trilogy was so bad that Mando in the finale feels amazing and tear-jerking by comparison. <coughs> if you say so. Mando episode two or three, I super chat saying it was the same old Disney gobbo, and Mube and Rag told me no wrong. Were you tricked by Disney, or are they still good? Uh, so I liked episode one quite a bit. I thought episode two was kind of lame, and then episode three pissed me off. And it pissed Rags off too. And I think the first thing we did was talk to Fringy about it, because Fringy was like, no, episode 3 was good. And we were like, motherfuck, it's bait. <laughs> and then episode 4 what? happened, and I was like, okay, so this show is fucking dreadful, because episode 4 is the one. It's the one, guys. That's the one that fucked everything up for everybody. Um, 
and then Rags wanted to do... Uh, no, wait. Rags wanted to do his video after. we did. So we did the podcast, breaking down the episodes, and we had to watch the season again to make sure, you know, references were okay. And when we did, we found loads of issues with episode one. And we were like, oh no! That ain't, that ain't good! And so we, uh, we explained them all on the podcast, and then after that, Rags has been making his video, and we've found that it's just the entire thing is fucking broken from beginning to end. That's no good. Bly Manor is a masterpiece. Hill House is a masterpiece that drops Yay. the cake right at the door just before the birthday party starts, Yay. and then shums its pants in front of everyone. Aww. I mean, kind of. On that last episode, it yeah, does shum a little bit. Yeah. You know who doesn't shum? Bly Manor. Yeah. My air. Oh, yeah. Blood. Yeah, but there's a the penultimate episode's flashback sequence that ruins oh. tension or something. Like that. It ruined Shut everything up. by making it better. <sighs> Can't have that. Yeah. Ah, but hand. You need to get past Dongo Dial and reach Dingo Septence Fring. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. It's good. Ringy, don't be a dongo dial like Rama Rama. Put the petrol in the car. Don't drink it. Learn from Rama Rama. Is this like a language? Yeah. It's, yeah. Is, is this a weird Australian language thing? Because I don't get no. none of it. Save me hands. I don't think they're there to save you. What? Why? I mean, they're squishing you and knocking you off the oh, stage. Oh, okay. You can't squish something with love. <laughs> I know it's kind of, kind of painful. No, 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 don't uh, do that. Why must you hurt me? Oh, really? I just lost a life for nothing. For nothing. No, 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 don't put me to sleep. Uh, I don't like these hands. They're all touchy-feely. Racism. Oh, great. I'm never winning this. No, with that attitude. I don't think the attitude is going to matter. <clears throat> no, 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 Oh, do, 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 dab, dab, dab. Oh, you grabbed on. What a good little moth. No. Oh, he, oh, I died. I'm so sad. Don't forget TCW's Not Godzilla episode where the Zillow Beast was brought to Coruscant from an outer world and broke free and went on a rampage. What? Yeah, it was really stupid. Is it a Godzilla oh, episode? Not That's even. Right. Yeah. Oh. They, had, they had a whole Godzilla arc, even. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm mean... surprised it didn't damage the other hand even once. By oh, well, I don't want to damage them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it would be oh, a waste, okay. wouldn't it? <laughs> Gotta take one out first. Yeah, if you're a little bitch. No. Taking on two at once is just dumb. What are you, a stormtrooper? <laughs> No, I, I, yeah. What a fool, in it? Why can't they do any of the shitty moves like the lasers? Come on, no, stop doing the hand wave. Blap it. Oh, blap. <clears throat> yum, yum, yum. The super chat just says blap. My. The spot in the bottom right really made my day better. Hail spot, hi rags. Oh. Spot. Spot is here for us all, really. Wants to take care of you in your time of need. Yes. Fun fact, Beskar can be shot through because Clone Wars and Rebels show it happen and can't stop lightsabers either. Uh, is that true? That's your opinion. Yeah. Well, I don't know if the man who's wearing Beskar in, um, what do you call it, uh, TCW, but yeah, they get shot and it works. Hmm. Chat, what is your opinion on this? Some of you have seen the TCWs and the Rebels. And I can't trust Theo, Bo apparently Katan he lies. Gets... <laughs> yeah, all the time. I need <laughs> I need people to think the show is shit, even though it's really Stop. good or something. Oh, yeah. Your life depends on it. Yes, that's true. Pesco is broke by lightsabers <clears throat> and blasters. Really? By blasters? Well, that's... Beskar <laughs> versus Grunge. pure Beskar. Um... Uh... Yes, it breaks Mando. In Rebels, they make a weapon specifically for Mandalorian armor, so I'm gonna say yes. Everyone told us that um, Beskar defending against like all that shit uh, was like like established already. 
Uh, fun fact. Oh, wait. Taking on Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul? Or takes on them? Walter and Jesse are wonderfully written duo. Cheers, dudes. Uh, Breaking Bad's kind of in the top slot for me in terms of quality oh, TV yeah. show. Not my favorite, but the one I'd probably really say good. is the best. And, uh, <clears throat> I remember watching... I watched some of Better Call Saul, and I thought it was pretty good. I had a good time with it. Well, I got a pee, so I'll be right back. Hello. Mando made the Disney fanatical Star Wars universe real. <laughs> White Light, have you been playing Phoenix Rising, and should I expect content about it? I don't know what the answer to that is. The funny and stupid thing about Beskar is that it deflects both lightsabers and blaster bolts. Cortosis Weave in the EU deactivated lightsabers upon contact with the material, making it useless. So anyone saying that they're the same and that the EU had something the same is wrong. Lol, oh yes, and Cortosis is even rarer than Beskar. I, I don't I don't really know what to make of all of that. I, um, Star Wars stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of it is Star Wars stuff. I'll agree with you on that, yeah. <laughs> I highly recommend playing Spider-Man PS4. It's a good story and a pretty good gameplay and an open world that isn't bad either. Sweet! Uh, I do want to play it at some point. I don't know when I will, though. I can't remember what I have to do now. Do I just have to beat Adventure Mode with everybody, too? Okay, fine. I don't understand why people think this is combat is good. I'm level 34, have 687 armor, and I die in one shot. I built my character for high armor and crafting, and it absolutely does nothing at all. Hmm. It's not the experience I've heard from other people who have gone, like, deep into crafting and, you know, big tanky characters. But from what I've heard, they do a great job of being, you know, invincible. But who knows, I won't know until I play like that, and that's not how I tend to play games yep. like that. Who so. plays a game tanky? That's lame. Blech. Oh look, it dropped grapes and I'm hammering them. I'm gonna get wine. That's how that works, right? Yes. Bringy's reactions are often the funniest. I'm not gonna disagree with you there. He's a wonderful little Uzi. Hello. Metal with what? Yeah, Xbox cool. Live microphone. <laughs> Excuse me, what? You sounded like you had an Xbox Live microphone. Oh, when my microphone fucked up? Yeah. I have no idea what happened there. That sounded so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we randomly fight a bunch of Yoshis? What's the point of this? It's kind of fucked up, isn't it? Yeah, it just I kill see them. someone who's paying attention to the lore. So I guess there's enough super chats that I can make another drink, um, I reckon, right? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Nice. So there's about a half an hour left of them, I think. I like not being, uh, not having to take care of time. Yay! I don't like taking nation. care of time either. <laughs> it's just like, I just stay up until I go to sleep. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, but... It's not like, oh, if I stay up super late, I have to fix my sleeping schedule. It's like, I don't need to sleep my schedule for like two weeks <laughs> live in the dream yeah uh, this week on efab phone interview with metal <laughs> hey how do they know we're doing that we're setting that up i don't know uh but yeah i'm gonna make a drink be right back all right uh, rags is the reindeer that ran over grandma when did that happen why was there a did a reindeer run over grandma? Is that is that canon? No. Oh. I was sure for a moment there that it was. Uh, finishing WL's seven hour video was my proudest moment. I imagine that's White Light's uh, Death Stranding video. Stranding. I am referenced in that. That means it is also my video now. That's how it works, right? How did it feel to make a seven-hour Death Stranding video? Feels good, man. Feels good. 
uh, Death Stranding. Is, you know, it's mm. it's a really it's a game. So I don't remember what he said in that video from what I saw of it. And I and I, if he said it was shit, it's shit. If he said it was great, it's great. There you go. Hey Rags, if you Muller and Wolf were captured by someone and were held at gunpoint and had to choose which one was to live, who would you choose, Uwu? Wait, so is the question for Rags, and he has to choose... Oh, so he has to choose if I or me or Wolf die, jeez. Well, I mean, I guess I'll save the question for him. That's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> like, who, who dies, Rags? Yeah. Drags. Uh, you guys already have thoughts on how CDPR will add what elements in-game, DLC slash update? Uh... No clue. I think there's probably feature enough in the game for now. I would focus on getting everything running as best as possible with everybody's iteration of the game. Um, and proceed. Yeah. Uh, if the question is like, what features would you add? It's like, I, I wouldn't even want to begin to say what the best thing to add first would be. Uh, I'm, I hope that the release journey goes well. What, what else can I say? I don't know. I am pretty certain at some point we will get a Siri cameo. Wait. I've heard that's what the fans want. Yeah, because she references uh, Cyberpunk in Witcher 3, so... Cyberpunk. Buy Wonderful 101 on Steam. I don't know what that is. You guys know what uh, that is. I think it's a GameCube game uh, oh. from back in the day. Uh, Wonder Interesting. Wonderful 101. Nah, no, oh, that's yeah. a Platinum game. The Planet game? Wonderful 101 remasters. Platinum. Oh. Yes. I was going to ask you, I did not it? know about the genre Planet. <laughs> <laughs> it tells you off. Uh, Matthew Matosis very much likes the Wonderful 101. He talks about it all the time. Oh, Wii U, apparently? Okay, I thought it was a uh, GameCube one. Oh, uh, I Wii think U. I'm mixing up with uh, Beautiful Joe. Wasn't that on, on GameCube? I believe so. Okay. I think so. I think I'm mixing the... Oh, I was mixing those up. Uh, He's bigger. 45 bucks for a remaster, that seems pretty steep. A demo? Props to them already. I, I always give props to... <laughs> do either of you have the stream? Demo. Uh, I do. Ready, <laughs> go! <laughs> that was always a tough battle, you know? I, I hmm. think... I think one time I had that one and he just killed himself immediately. Like he walked towards me and just fell in the water. <laughs> like it didn't do anything. Yeah, it's, um, the AI in this game isn't too bad, but every once in a while they just fucking off themselves. And it's like, oh man. I assume they're doing it just, you know, to simulate what it's like in real real life with battles, you know? A lot of people yeah. just don't want to have at it. So Fun fact about, uh, about me and my childhood, those, uh, I think they're called Redeads in, in Zelda. Those zombies you're, you're seeing there, I was terribly terrified of them as a child. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you make That's... it? No. Oh man. <laughs> hey, no! Go away, Zelda. Die, Zelda. <clears throat> That's not Zelda. Zelda? <clears throat> Zelda? I'm gonna throw Come another on. flower at you. You ain't gonna look so pretty anymore, pretty boy! Mom, Zelda's immune to damage, that's cheating. Cheating Heimers. Okay, just let it run out, that's cool with me. I don't want to play as Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Steam sometimes is just great. So I'm looking at the wonderful 101 remastered store uh, store page. I'm scrolling down. It's like more like this: Devil May Cry HD collection. It's like I don't know. I guess Persona 5 Strikers, maybe. And the third one: Sex Quest. 
<laughs> like, I don't, Not I don't even know. trying. How can you I question mean, that? I mean, uh, does it look similar? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. know. Not, conv not convinced yet. <laughs> <laughs> It's like all normal games. But you could be convinced. Like, everything else is like, oh, Devil May Cry 5, Brutal Legends, blah, blah, blah. But in is like, sex quest. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's so funny, though. <clears throat> it has nine user reviews. Man, I wonder if it's any good. Uh, Not recommended. Just Someone wrote like a -like. pretty long review below <laughs> this. Is it a good review? I, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't want to read it right now. One says just garbage. Uh, 0 0.1 hours on record. You know what's more fun? Getting a Zach to me with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man. It's funny. I mean, do you mind trying it out just to see if that's true about the uh, vasectomy thing? I don't want to pay twelve fifty for this game. <laughs> that's your I response like to you what can... I just said, really? <laughs> you <can> buy... <laughs> do you know how funny <laughs> that is? I don't even know if you've realized. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, because I, I, I said it, then I saw it, and I can't buy the soundtrack for 80 cents. <laughs> <laughs> so I, That's a steal. I don't Pick know, that, ex that exchange was hilarious, and I feel like I blew a pistol even though it happened. <laughs> oh well, no, sad face. There was no exchange. I think chat, chat must have picked it up, I'm sure. Sex right. Quest EFAP Gaming when is the only thing I see. How many else do you have less than one? Fuck you, Zelda. Uh. <clears throat> hey. I'm gonna grab you like Bowser. Oh, that worked too. <sighs> Good shit. But yeah, Theo Light. I guess they're trying to say that you really do sound like White Light, Theo. Maybe steal the channel? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. See how, yeah, see how Someone in chat just add, added me. The wonderful 101 soundtrack is fantastic. That's not the soundtrack I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how look at how Metroid just died. Uh, Watch how Metroid just died right there. <laughs> Metroid. Oh, Metroid. Oh, that's a shame. Metroid, no, because Metroid almost did it, but then Metroid died. <laughs> it's too bad, so sad. <laughs> um, I think the clip from Mandalorian with the red letter media guys clapping for Boba Fett is one of my new favorite things. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. I love it so much. It's incredibly on point. And I feel like anyone who sees it will just be awkwardly like, who it, like really loved it, would be like, eh, well, you know. What, am I not allowed to enjoy stuff now? That's that's the, the thing no, I usually hear. It's like, yeah, no, we're, we're the enjoyment police. Put your hands up. We're gonna, we're gonna suck the enjoyment out of your flaps. It sounds painful. A lot of people say that. I really feel like they've been over-exaggerating. Complete. Uh, nope, my earlier solution to Russian VA didn't work. It got me to character creator, but it crashes before starting the gameplay. Oh my god. Ah, oh, bleed. That sounds so very unfortunate and uh, gay. It's fucking bullshit. Bringy, do you endorse yeah. Sassy the Sasquatch? No. No? Of he does. No. You know what's really difficult? Not simping for Critical Drinker when he face cams. The man is too damn handsome. It's wrong. He really is. He really is. Ready? Matt Muller, wasn't the best part of Endgame when Tony forgave Steve because he didn't like being angry? Because that's how people work. Hey man, in the cinema, I was unhappy with that scene. I was like, nope, the the payoff for Civil War's whole shit should have been way longer than that, and way harder. And um, I was kind of, when in one of the trailers they had uh, Steve saying, do you trust me? And then Iron Man saying, like shaking his hand. I was like, oh man, I hope they earned that. They didn't really. 
It's kind of meh. This is a message Why to all Metro people. Make stuff I like, okay? Why can't Metroid crawl? Metroid can crawl. Go and lock it. Mm. Is it? Hey. Hey, White Light, love your Dark Siders 2 video. Been playing it for a long time, one of my favorite games. I'm sure he appreciates Dark that. Dark so... Now, wait a minute, Metroid, no! <laughs> Here's money so you don't have to play the Weeb game. Oh, for... don't eh? play Doki Doki, 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 Doki I guess, Doki. yeah. Here's money so you have to play the Weeb game. Oh, man. Dzikiai rags. I have no idea what that means, but I'll read it to him the next time he's around. And he's gonna be like, what? <clears throat> have you ever watched any Gundam series or shows? 10 out of 10, would love to see you analyze those. I have not. And is Gundam a genre, or is it an IP? It is an IP. It is a series of mecha anime. <clears throat> and oh. people get inside machines and go boom boom? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wait. I've heard <clears throat> that there is some good stuff in the fucking ocean of stuff that is Gundam series, I guess, but uh, not something I've ever watched. I've been recommended Iron Blooded Orphans many times, but. I'm yeah, that one's popped up in Super Chats a few times. Mm -hmm. Bring you to a Cajun act. Oh, we read that one out. Mutually, have you seen Doomcock's tweet about plot holes? I have. It's bullshit. I'm sorry, but if you want to take that position, then TLJ is off the hook. Because millions yeah. of people felt that TLJ was absolutely a fucking masterpiece of emotion. And that uh, the plot holes in it really don't do much to take away from that. So, uh, if you want to make the claim that TLJ is bad because of those plot holes, but Mandalorian is fine because you felt something, I feel like that position is untenable. But good luck. Yeah. I hope it works out. By the way, I'm surprised to, uh, to know now that Gundam is an IP because I thought everything that has like robots like this is just Gundam. That's what I. That's why I clarified. I've been <laughs> operating this whole time yeah. not knowing if that nope. was the case. Because I was about to ask, does Guru Lagan count? Because I have watched that. <laughs> no, that's uh, just a mech. Uh, Guru Lagan. Code Geass is a Gundam, because they have mechs. Right? Yeah, by the way, sure. Gurren Lagan, wildest shit I've ever seen, and I love it. <laughs> I love it, it's great. When it guys... gets to the second phase, and they just make up shit, it's like, yeah, it's just you know, folding time stuff. A very small <laughs> like, fraction. Okay. A very small <laughs> fraction of the EFAB audience even see the, the tail end of EFAB videos. You guys are getting your anime shit now, you happy? Listening to Metal and Theo talk about anime. Ugh, terrible. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell Rags. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's between you Someone and makes me read out okay? a super chat that's like, Hey Rags, do you know that Mola went behind your back and had Theo and Metal gush about anime when you were gone? Oh, <laughs> friendship ended. Ended right there. <laughs> You'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, Gurnagan, fun <laughs> shit. What, what recommend? Uh, also, hi, Rags, Moobsley, Mootle, Fring Daddy G, White Light, and I guess Theo. I guess. I, 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 hey, I'm just re I'm the messenger man. I, I, I don't wanna. I ain't doing nothing. I do. Do your best stereotypical Canadian accent, that. asking as a moose screwer myself. Um, I can't remember what the Canadian accent even is. Found our prey. Stay clear. Get ready, um, is it just right? Does he have a right Canadian accent? Right. No, it's... Not everybody knows what a Y wing is. <laughs> they will ask, "What are you talking about?" I don't know. Just say Tim Hortons a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Those Canadians did Tim Hortons, huh? Yeah, um, that's the best I can offer, and I, I don't know if these two want to try a, a Canadian accent. You got anything, uh, guys, apart from a boot? Nah, not a chance. Oh well, I'm sorry. Sorry, eh? No. You gotta <clears throat> talk about boots and stuff, eh? 
How do you pronounce the word T O Q U E? Toke? 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 I don't know. How do you guys pronounce Toke? Sounds like talk, but someone skipped the R. Yeah. Talk? I don't know. Raggleton, speech, speak French to chat, please. All right, I will save that for him. Just started learning Japanese? Now that's a hard accent to pull off. Also, gunnichiwa, rags. You'd appreciate that. Uh, Mola, can you say hello to your family for, for chat? I think they deserve a hello. You know what? I will do that. Fucking will. You'll see. You'll all see. Mola, can you say... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, there are only two British accents, Posh and Cockney. Exactly. Absolutely. Damn. This person knows their accents. Hmm. Uh, Uganda Knuckles asking Mando Season 1 to 2. Do you know the way? Mando Season 1 and 2. This is the way. Uganda Knuckles looks, then shakes his head. This is not the way. Uganda Knuckles was right. What? I know, do we? Nobody trusted him, but he was right. When will V and J be on EFAP so that they can be kicked simultaneously? Also, Gene rags. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes in the future. Are you boys aware of the existence of Megalania, aka the giant Australian Komodo dragon? No. <laughs> No. That is not something I'm aware of. <laughs> I am now. Sounds pretty cool, though. Um, hey, boys, I'm finally editing my Longman anime review, and I believe it might be two hours at best. However, my biggest concern is YouTube's copyrightisms. Any advice? No clips that are visually, like, consistent longer than six to seven seconds if you want to be safe. Um, unless you want to warp the visuals a la the... Uh, sort of thing I do with EFAP Mini, right? Um, uh, audio, you're looking at a little bit more in terms of second freedom, um, which is something you just have to kind of play with and test. And if you can fuck enough with, with uh, what was the clip of the thing you were using, then you might be able to get away with uh, quite a, a lot of, you know, content. But um, it's all a matter of testing, depending on the IP slash, well, whatever the content, just depending on which one you're using, different rules apply. And um, they also have different levels of copyright attached. It's a whole nightmarish system. I haven't cracked it, and I've been doing it for fucking ages. When I started doing YouTube videos, I thought I had a good grasp on it, and I still don't feel that way anymore. It would be nice if they had, like, YouTube agents that could clear you as a creator. Um, <clears throat> or at least every time you go to release a video, they can approve of it themselves by watching it and being like, yeah, this is copyright cool. But, uh, it's a tough one. Uh, what do you think is the biggest problem with the prequels lightsaber fights? Um, I think a lot of them are a bit dancey in that everyone is hitting their marks rather than trying to kill each other. I think there's a couple of opportunities in different fights where if they did something uh, obvious they could kill someone, but it's nowhere near as bad as uh, the sequel type fights. Or Mando, for that matter. And uh, I typically quite like the uh, the prequel fights. And uh, it would be neat to watch Shad break some more of them down, to be honest with you. See what he comes up with. Doesn't Blitzen translate to lightning in German? I don't know. Is that raw uh, metal? Lightning? Yeah, 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 pretty much. Das und Blitzen. I think Blitz is more like a flash. Let me, let me, let me double check here for a second. Uh... I know about the Blitz. Yeah, Blitz Krieg. Uh, Blitz. Wait, what is Krieg? No, Lightning is there. Yeah, sorry, Blitz Krieg. Oh, it's it's it, it both checks out. Blitz is Flash and Lightning. We we you you Gucci, you're correct. Neat. You got approval from <clears> the gym, man. Bam, 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 Hey Mola, started watching you at the start of the year, enjoying all what you do, even had a little crush on your soothing, sexy voice, till I watched your <coughs> webcams, lol. Wow. Racism. <laughs> I, I'll admit, my voice is better than my face. Alright, I'm sorry. 
Um, your dissect vids. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just randomly thought of, of, of a random clip from me highlights where someone says, why is, why is Mala's face a moon? <laughs> I don't a even moon. know the context anymore, <laughs> but I remember it being fucking hilarious. Oh shit, which game was that? Fuck. I don't uh, know what was funny. It was, really, it was really funny. Uh, your dissect vids are the best content I've had in years. Would love to be a part of your team someday. I don't really have a team. Metal's just like a pet, and uh, everyone on EFAP's hey. just guests. Silence, wow. pet. I'll activate the taser. <laughs> 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 um, and yeah, I look forward to making more as time goes on. And uh, I'm glad you enjoy the stuff, my dude. More is on the way. Um, I want to write an essay about how Cosmo Variety Hour is wrong about everything in his BVS video. Tips about how to write a good video essay response essay? Oh, gosh. You know, when I made the Hitch Bobble Guy response, I was just thinking throughout it like, this is going to be so fucking long. <laughs> is anyone even going to watch it? And I was fueled almost exclusively every time I lost any motivation by like, no, it has to be said. It has to be said. Um, and I did not concern myself with sort of, I don't know, um, molding what I was writing and presenting to any standard other than what I found to be consumable in video form. So, uh, that's kind of how I make them all. I don't have, like, it's kind of hard to give, like, general advice on how to respond in video essay with a video essay, you know, it's all very... Um, I think splatter your thoughts onto a page and then try and form them and reform them and reform them until you you have a script. It'll work out eventually. Trust me. It'll it'll make itself. Go get them words down first, because then you look at it again after a while and you're like, ew, I don't like how this works. And you know what I think is a better idea if you put this word here and this word here, and then it's already improved. And now you start building a script without even necessarily realizing it. Also, is one of you gonna say something there? I don't. I think I missed. No, I just want to say redraft. <laughs> That's Do the that one. Well. Keyword. It's the, it's the best. Right. I think before I released my John Wick video, I had like six or seven versions that I rendered. And I watched them again. It's like, oh, there's like a weird frame. I want to change this and that. I think I, I, I recorded my whole John Wick video like twice. Because I always just like, this doesn't sound right. This is dumb. And now look at yeah, it. A glorious video. Yeah. Glorious! Uh... I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna make the John Wick video public again on my other channel and see what happens. Nothing has been happening. I uploaded already, but there's no, no problemo so far. So I just, I'm just gonna see what happens if I make it public again. <clears throat> Because I do want to put my John Wick 2 video, and it eventually comes out on there. That would be nice. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, boop boop. By come light. I don't know. Was that Fringy they're referring to? Maybe. Oh wait, white light, come light. There you go. It was. It was white light. Thank you. Theo has a sexy voice. Hey. We take those. We well, I don't. I'm not going to take your voice. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, thanks. give it to me. <laughs> give, <laughs> give. Uh, for example, Peter B. Parker is animated at 24 FPS while Miles is at 12 FPS until he gains confidence to be Spider-Man. If this is used as evidence for why it would be considered eye cancer, I thought it was pretty awesome as a detail, actually. So, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Give me the ice block. <sighs> Fine, I won't take it. Dude, uh, why did that ball you threw up went so fucking high and so quickly? That looks super weird. Because the map's moving <clears throat> as well, I think. <laughs> Never seen it go up so fast. It's like, whee! Uh, doesn't like TCW, doesn't like AOT. Mola, I really appreciate you entertaining the mentally handicapped. They deserve love too, Kappa face. Oof. Oh my god. Bruh. Why would you say that to me? That's fucked up. Oh, he was talking about the other one, Mel, not even you. Oh. 
Yeah. But, oh. <laughs> you are faster, damn it. Kind of fucked <laughs> up, bro. <clears throat> Come fight me, loser ice climbers. Uh, plasma pistol, yay or nay? I, what what do we think of plasma pistols, everyone? Like in, in sure. Smash or in, like in general? I assume in general. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I, I was assuming Halo I or Halo, yeah. Oh, I know that thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm 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 cool with any it. other problem with games with plasma pistols. I mean, if you play on legendary, pretty much a must, <laughs> so you can get rid mm. of the shields. All right, there you go. We we consider them necessary, um, and chat maybe have better answers because I I I I just I don't know how to answer that in an interesting way. You know, plasma pistols, Yone's like they have their use. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. can do. They they have plasma and a pistol. Like it's two things. It's That's actually good. true. Yeah, what you just said, very true. Thanks, man. No problem, man. I, really, so, good job. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I might even upgrade you from pet to slave. You won't, you liar. Is it an upgrade? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't... I think I'd rather be a pet than a slave. Yeah. One of them get least I'm getting out, They both have the same number of rights. At least so... I'm getting fed as a pet. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 has a new update. Warning, it reserves 40 gigabytes worth of space for 1.5 gigabyte update. It almost stopped my PC by leaving 5 gigabytes of free space. Okay, is that... Do you think that's to account for the increasing save files because of the, uh, the thing they were talking about, or...? No. I, I, mean, I don't know. It sounds weird, though. Reserving so much space for such a... In comparison, little update. Uh, Clearly, the fucking they're doing something evil yeah we should stop them uh, how did it how did jane fingle go oh uh, good it was fun uh we try to do it again on sunday but that it's all it's all dependent on jay so if it doesn't sunday, happen sunday, uh, Black sunday. Day, which is today actually <laughs> so some sometime today in theory mom, 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 mom. Mom, mom. Hi Ragsamoller, I've seen what you look like in old videos and I don't know what to do now. Oh. Also, shout out to mm. Rub with 2k donation, absolute king. Um, oh, 2k rubles? Uh, yeah, I fucking, yeah. I have no idea how the conversions work or, or what they mean, but of course, thank you all very much. Uh, bye Rags. Oh, Rags just left in the continuity, we're catching up. Ooh. Fook dun, dun, Halo dun. 4. I really love Master Chief's USB adventures. I've never played Halo 4. Is that on the is is that on the Master Chief Collection by now? I think it is, right? I don't rightly know. I have not been paying attention to their releasing, so I don't know. Why do I gotta fight BLC? Hey guys, I'm gonna cheese Bowser. I'm gonna just only shoot medical things at him. This is a this is commentary on uh, uh, the pharmaceutical Captain. industry. Oh shit, dude. You see, it That's looks like I'm helping Captain. him, but I'm really actually taking health away from him. Pew, pew. Like, pew. oh, take the vaccine. Yeah, take it. Yeah. Oh, look, look at that. You're dying. <laughs> What's that? That effect deals surprisingly good amount of damage. 5%, they fucking dropped a it. maxim tomato on him. Thanks, game. <laughs> I think the game was like, what are you doing? You lay- stop it. <laughs> stop. I'm playing it the way it was intended, Mom. <laughs> um, great, the one Rags question I give him and he goes to sleep tisms. Please make sure to read it out to him live next time, long man. Will do! Collected all of the Rag ones. We'll be alright. <laughs> Yeah, fuck off head thing. Ringy, would you say that the relationship arc between Chief and Cortana in Halo 4 is good in isolation of the previous games, or is still bad regardless? I'm gonna hang on to that one. I really do hope that F Fringy should be in the next um, EFAP that we do live, because it's Ooh. probably gonna be a Mandalorian one. Oh no. The contradiction is that he didn't talk before, and now that Cortana is- oh, I think uh, Ringy read that one out. The comments on the Geeks and Gamers videos are hilarious. The Mandalorian literally saves the shit out of Star Wars franchise. I literally cried, etc. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have. I'm pretty, a... sure I'm pretty sure Widow stands clear about the Mandalorian. I don't know, like. Yeah. Well. Yeah, a lot of people are crying. Um, a lot of people are upset Sorry. in a good way. Literally killed my dog. How about that? Yeah. They gave Bowser a gun because I keep shooting him with pills. <laughs> so he needs to shoot too. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid dinosaur thing doesn't get to have a gun. Fucked up that you'd use one on him. Stop. <sighs> oh, he's dead. Bram, 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 bram. No! He talks before he knows no. she's dying. Yeah? He asks where she, he is and what happened. A good question when you've been in cryo for several years. I like you, Fringy, but you're grasping at straws here. Referencing my older super chat about Halo 2, Fringy's wrong, like with Halo 4. They pretty much had to start from scratch, so they really made it in 10 months. Okay, never mind. Fringy's getting it correct now about Halo 2. Oh, that was a ride. <laughs> Emotional journey. Hell yeah! More, more character than Mando. You're treating what? Bowser and killing him with debt. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Chris Duckman just released his Mandalorian season two video. He gave it an A minus. Said Boba Fett only talked to Vader and fell in the Sarlacc pit. Okay, so <laughs> every, everyone who says that Boba Fett didn't do anything has forgotten what happened in the OT. That is all I can say to those people. I'm sorry. I mean, I haven't seen the OT in forever, but doesn't he bring in uh, Han? No, he just gets to... eaten by a sand vagina. That's all that happens. So I guess I'm correct. Okay. <laughs> um, best sports movies. Rocky IV, Rocky knocks out dirty commies. Fringold, say the line. I mean, he said no. it a whole bunch. An absolute whole bunch. <laughs> Since I've already upset two EFAP hosts, I guess I might as well go for the trifecta. More your opinions about Avatar trash. Oh, how will he recover? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm sure I'll survive. Um, Do ya? Sure. Wait, screw it. Might as well get all of the metal. John Wick 2 is better than you'll ever be. Excuse me? Well. It's better than you'll ever be, Mel. How do you feel? I feel that's a lie. I'm just glad we can all agree that Atla had a shit ending. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even remember the ending. I think they had like a big fight and something happened after. They gave Aang a, an out. Now? They committed to one question throughout like the three seasons and then at the end they were like, lol, no. <laughs> it's like, okay. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> Hoyo. Kirby's review of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> I would watch Kirby reviews. All that. Molly, you're Welsh. Do you know about the Chronicles of Prydain? It's a children's fantasy series based on Welsh legend and mythology. The Black Cauldron movie by Disney is based on the first two books. It's pretty different from the books. Oh, that's pretty neat. <clears throat> uh, no, I do not know about that. Or rather, did not know about that. Now I do! Uh, one of my favorite quotes of the year. We thought... We thought Nazi, it was Bob. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we had that a bunch. Uh. Muller, well, I've been trying to wa Oh, we did the- we did the Buffy one. Um, stick it on- you know what? Watch Buffy with a friend, that might help. Talk about the silly things, and then talk also about how you were promised it gets better. And to try and, you know, look out for how it might be improving. Because I will say- uh. It does help if I'm watching it with people and I like just just ask. So like you start season three and it's like, hey look, the direction is already way better, especially in Anne. Um, the, the, the all the characters are pretty damn focused at this point. Oh look, a plot line that wasn't garbage. Oh, uh, lots of drama already based on everything that's happened in the prior seasons. Man, uh, and then you watch a couple of season episodes in season three and it's like, hey, do you think any of these have been bad yet? And people are usually like, no. Like, Guys, you're almost there now. The show is almost really good. Get excited. No, as you said, you're almost there. <laughs> while watching through it. Yeah, well, you can tell. All I'm thinking about when people watching Buffy and getting to the good shit is season six. It's just like, oh, <laughs> get there. And what's fun for you, Theo, is that there's plenty in season seven that I'm also thinking about. And then all of Angel season five, which you're going to love. I'm right going just to spite you. 
See, that's the thing, I'm not even half... Like, I get worried that people might not like Buffy Season 6, but there's just no question. Everyone likes Angel Season 5, it's so fucking awesome. There's some stuff that... You, you're probably thinking about it in the way of, like... It's just gonna be what you've seen before with these other seasons, but well-written. Which isn't a bad thing or anything, but there's some stuff you're not gonna see coming at all. Uh... I'd say there's there's three key things that are gonna 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 just just from the get go make you go whoa. Mm -hmm. You ready to emote, Theo? Yeah, Cause you're gonna. I'll have to try. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear you say whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. Uh, I know Theo has seen the Tism new Clone Wars, but has he seen the Chad 2003 Clone Wars made by the creator of Samurai Jack? Oh, yeah. Does he have? I got to this one. Yes, I yeah. have, and it is fun. It is fun. Uh, I've been enjoying the Mando Season 2 coverage. Can't wait to see the reaction to Episode 7 and 8. Also, RLM Boba Vid in latest vid was great. Yeah, I think <laughs> out of all of our Mando coverage... I think episode 6 is probably my favorite. That one was not only funny, but I think those last two videos that we watched back to back kind of just summed up the experience of watching Mando and not getting sucked in by the nostalgia. Mm -hmm. It's funny to watch everyone else praise the shit out of this show when you're just sitting there like, clap because Boba Fett? Kind of weird. <laughs> but okay. I, 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 I remember Boba Fett. Um, the episode 7 coverage is also pretty peppy and fun. Shad is there. We have lots of lots of exciting responses, and we have all kinds of references. It's good shit. I'm a little bit worried about the episode 8 coverage, because it's kind of dour. We're not happy <laughs> that this is what Star Wars is going to be. Dude, I was... I was so tired after watching this. Yeah, and we, we struggled to, like, commentate after it finished, because we were just like, well, what is there even like to we... say? Before we saw, I was, like, like, in a good mood. I was like, yay, finally vacation, I'm gonna get really drunk, and everything's gonna be fucking amazing. And then the episode finished, and I just wanted to lie down and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted life to stop. I wanted it to stop. Uh, but, uh, remember Star Wars? I remember Star Wars. I share Fring and Moodle's Crash Bandicoot Rage, especially for... Yeah, I think that's fair. Crash can definitely I've make you angry. I, 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 I was playing uh, the first one on the Insane Trilogy. I mean, this stuff that can enrage yes. in all of Crash, to be honest. You know, it's video games to a degree. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Especially when you're playing the clunkier one being the first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sucker Punch EFAP movie just for shits and giggles? Um... I am on the board with that. Was that the weird thing with the with the girls or whatever or when? Yeah, it's a bunch of girls in like a mental asylum who dream that they are warriors who battle giant creatures in weird adventures. I really can't say more than that because I don't. I I think I saw that movie like fucking ages ago. Uh. Don't remember shit. How are they not tired? If I did a stream this long, I would immediately sleep after the two hours of stream. I'm very hungry and tired. You think we're not tired? Uh, I don't mean to brag, but it feels like coat season. So let's talk about coats. How do you feel about the coat fashion in Cyberpunk 2077? Hashtag coats. <laughs> so, not a fashion person. I like coats, but only in a utility sense. And I'm going to save that question for when I can speak with Rags. Maybe he says more about coats, because I don't have anything to say. <gasps> About coats. I wish I could be excited to go about my day-to-day -day life as this guy is to talk about coats. Like, Metal, I wish you I have... had that kind of enthusiasm. Mel, you have things to Sorry? say about coats, right? Not really. I had coats back in the day. I had one coat. <laughs> day. Which I got my name from. I told that story today, so I'm not gonna reply. Uh, not gonna say it again. Your name comes from a coat. That's pretty lame, dude. I had like a military style coat. You know that. Fuck you. <laughs> I've never ever seen you wear a coat in my entire life, and it's offensive it's that you just assume I did. Said. Coats are kind of gay. I mean, great. Hey. Wait a minute. That's what did you just great. say? Um, still working on Tism War episode one. Looks to be thirty to forty-five minutes long. Ten episodes planned for season one. OST currently one hour and eighteen minutes. Other songs will be copyright. Thoughts. 
I have no idea what you're crafting. I hope it's yeah. not a nightmare for you, and that you end up like <laughs> sad with our possible reaction to whatever it is you're cooking. But good luck, and I hope it goes well. I I, I have no idea what the Tism War is. I think we watched a trailer for it. Um, I I don't mm. know what's gonna happen. Uh, hey Theo, you watch Digimon at all? If you do, what do you think about the new adventure remake, the first series, that's airing right now? I do not, I'm afraid, so I have nothing to comment. I watch Digimon a lot back you watch as a all child. anime though, what the fuck? I, yeah. I had Connoisseur. The, I Connoisseur, had Connoisseur, Connoisseur means doer of all. I had OS, yes. OST CDs, but the huh? German version, which is probably oh. still there. But yeah, I was a big fan. I don't remember shit about it though because it was Digimon, a child and dumb. Though. Digital monsters, Digimon gay, and champion. Yeah, because they yeah, they, they, they they like to <laughs> to translate all the OSTs to German lyrics. And back as a dumbo child, I I liked it. I think if I would listen to it today, I was like, ah, cringe. I don't think you're cringe, Mel. That's not what I said! <laughs> but I appreciate it. But, I mean, it's true. <laughs> no! <laughs> stop! Stop hitting me, Metroid. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> There's not even a Metroid on screen <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like Zelda, so pretty if you Metroid. Uh. Don't die early in life. There's... Oh wait, can I get a motivational quote from you? Um... Don't touch the flangers before the dangers, otherwise you die. Redraft. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, redraft. <laughs> You're like, I'm not really motivated. Like redraft. But how does that really like? What if I'm trying to redraft and I'm not motivated? Redraft. redraft. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I guess um, a longer quote would just be the same thing, but the E is like many mi millions of E's. Re I think mean, like you trip over a rock on, when you head outside on your way to work, and then you just say redraft, and then get back up and go back into your house, and come back out a few minutes later. You could probably make some kind of beat out of it, you know? Just redraft. Do -do -do -do. Redraft. And you just have to get it in your head, and then you'll know what my quote <laughs> is, and it is to redraft. Like, we what wouldn't be again? in this mess if Ryan Johnson knew what redrafting was. <laughs> True. Uh, don't die early in life, there's your motivational quote. Yeah, don't die early in life. Good quote. Look up the song, Don't Be Rama Rama. Hey Mel, can you look up the song, Don't Be Rama Rama? I guess I'll, uh, I'll regret it, but sure. Uh... Don't be ra Rama Rama or Rana Rana? Rama Rama. Uh, Rama Rama. Don't be Rama Rama by Warburton community members. Okay, there's also a Nightcore version. I fucking hate Nightcore. <laughs> I thought you loved Nightcore. What are you saying? Just the... yesterday, how much you love Nightcore? Was it? Oh, wait, was no. that when you didn't want. You have to know. He doesn't like it at all, guys. Fuck that shit. That's sad. Yeah. I hate it so much we too. <laughs> I was click into it and it says, "Don't smell petrol from a can." <laughs> okay. Don't smell petrol from a can. <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's some good advice, I will say. <laughs> it is good advice, but, uh... <clears throat> Ow! Metroid!
I don't know what I'm listening to right now. This is so weird. What is the meme? Is it is it just weird lyrics? I, I think the meme is that you don't smell petrol from a can and that it goes into your car. Okay, that's instead. strange. And then it says, don't be Rama Rama and sniff it up your nose. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. Words to live by. I guess Rama Rama is someone who sniffs petrol up their nose. I, I will say this narrative is confusing, but not impossible to follow. Um, I love Blind Mana, but one question. How exactly does Peter learn the special possession words and how it all works? Through other ghost memories? Um, so how to work the ghost mechanics would have been something he would just figure out eventually on his own. The specific words, I don't think they have to be those specific words. It was more the concept of, uh, give yourself over, grant permission, that sort of thing. Um, the words being the same, I, I don't think it's like a spell or anything with those specific words. Yeah, and I think he, I think he, he disappears for like a, for X amount of time. I don't know if he specified a time, but it's like, yeah, I, I was gone because I was trying to figure out how the fuck this shit even works. Yeah. How to make you able to see me. He went to ghost school. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Today class, we're going to learn how to spook someone so that they drop a turd right there and then. Yeah. Lesson number five of ten of this subject. The use of spicy foods. I like spicy food. Better Call Saul was surprisingly very good. I've only heard good things. I watched the first two seasons, I think, and thought they were fine. In fact, I quite I like season one. Never even tried it. Well, I don't see how that's my fault, Metal. Why do you keep blaming me? Because you always say, no, don't watch this. We're going to watch Buffy someday, so you can't watch anything No, else. I always ask us to watch Mando, because it's fucking great. I cried. Uh, <laughs> I cry. I cry every time. I team. creed. I so very creed. I, I creed. I put water on cheek. What? <laughs> With my <laughs> bottle of water. I was very sad. Very. <laughs> God damn. Uh, hey, at Zach Gilbert, why do you hate at the OT trees takes? Surely a series as long as. That has massive problems, especially with supposed titans of the show, Dave and John, behind it. Oh my god. I guess, I guess that's their battle to have. He must have responded in chat, I don't know. Did you read my Rockstar Syndrome super chat? I think I missed it. Sorry guys, also hey Metal. Um, yeah, Hi. just the fact that the game is clearly suffering from trying to be like Rockstar. I agree. Wait, which one? Uh, Cyberpunk. I wish I hadn't asked, now I'm confused. So, so Cyberpunk <laughs> is suffering from Rockstar Syndrome, as in it's trying to be like Rockstar Games, in that it's trying to be like GTA. <laughs> How is that difficult? <laughs> I was thinking about the rhythm game, Rockstar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody remembers that game, come on. Why? Why would you think about that? I don't know. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. Leave me alone. It is late a.m. True. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. <laughs> Did you read? Really, oh, uh, more money to not play weeb game. Even more money to play weeb game. What is it with you people? <laughs> uh. Please don't weeb, Mola. You're actually cool, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, I've not succumbed to the weeb. I am not like these fools you see before you. Hey. And besides, even if I did succumb to the weeb, you'd still have rags. You will never succumb to the weeb. Ragulon is so immune to such weebery. If, if you gotta pivot your identity around hating anime, more power to you, bro. <laughs> wow. He's gonna super chat that you're an asshole. <laughs> just wait for it. <laughs> Dude, look at the way I just killed Fox. <laughs> Neither of us had dealt any damage from what I, at least I didn't think we did. Wait, what? I was just like, bye. <laughs> well, you hit him at 22%. Well, it, it was explosive, right? It hit. Fucking destroyed you. Stop deflecting it, you ass. Let me grab him. Okay, uh, 
play it. Oh god. Hey Moodle, remember imaginary space in Gurunlagan? Gurunlagan. Yeah. I still love the show even when they get to the point of chucking galaxies at people. Dude, Gurunlagan. I if you would look at it objectively, I don't know if it would hold up at all. I don't even know how you would do it. <laughs> it's so fucking <laughs> just, just um. like I remember, like, at some point someone says, yeah, we need to do a, what was it, Schrödinger's time swap attack. I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Schrödinger's <laughs> time, what? <laughs> they like, kick reason, I mean, like, kick reason to the curb is like a tagline of the show, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're just in there for the ride. Like, it, <laughs> it starts, it starts so, so casually. It's like, oh, like, there's two guys, they're gonna break out of their thing. And then they, they they beat some king. I was like, oh yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden, there's like a little time time jump, and like, okay, we go to space now and galaxies <laughs> and things. I was like, whoa, shit, what is happening? I love it. <laughs> Galaxy shuriken, bring it on. And mm. all of a sudden, the fucking moon is a mecca. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, that does sound like it makes sense with what we know about the moon. At least I think so. I know, so. right? Yeah, the moon is a mecca. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it's 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 awesome. I fucking love it. <laughs> it's, it's it's just so insane. But is it as crazy as Jingle All the Way? And be honest. Oh, way way more crazy. Boo! Arnie tried so hard to make that movie crazy and just give it to some anime. Feel bad for that man. <laughs> just fell off the map like it's a flumpus. It's, it's like, oh yeah, if you, you you're as strong as your will is. So basically, they have like no limits. <laughs> I told you I could eat my cookies. Spiral yeah. power is a hell of a drug. Thanks for the show. Three months in, all caught up. You you watched all of EFAP in three months. I'm assuming that's what that means. Oh, congratulations. I don't even know that was. Is that possible? Because that means you'd have to have it pretty much constantly playing while you're awake to get it done in three months, right? Something like that. I think so. Because we're we're gearing up to like a month and a half or more now in time, so. Wow. Excellent. And, uh, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, is Theo a cute trap asking for a friend? Well, Theo? I'm not even going to respond. <laughs> That's a yes. I didn't think you would That's actually just let it slip so easily, but alright. Oh, great. Cool. <laughs> yeah, kind of cringe. <laughs> just kind of cringe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're treating Bowser and you're killing him with debt. I still like that. It's just good. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, thank you so much for the treatment. And you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so, how are you paying for all this? <laughs> and he's like, huh? And you're like, well, you know. It's not like I can just, you know, materialize these pills from thin air or anything. Won't cost you. <laughs> what are you doing? 17 like times, what are you talking about? <laughs> I literally watched you. It's like, no, no, that cost um, uh, magic juice, and I have to buy more. Are you gonna pay for it, yeah. Bowser? I thought. No, I'm the bad guy. I'll pay for it. I don't care for I can afford castles, but that's not the same. Uh, who knew that the past week sees CD Projekt Red lose all its goodwill so quickly? Not just the Cyberpunk console debacle, but the banning devotion from GOG after spamming input from Chinese bots. Yeah, they're not in a great nope. place right now, reputation-wise, and this will mar them forever. Um, people aren't going to forget this one, I don't think. Whether or not they can correct, you know, their mistake, be one of those things. Yeah. Uh, learn to use the weeb side of the force, the power to save Misato, Asuka, and Rei. Rai. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Shinji. Yo, does any of that make sense to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> it's like I spoke Imagine a if someone language. said, like, a sentence that just had Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, like, just Star Wars names slapped in it randomly, that'd be... Ah, uh, that's... now I understand it completely. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll just translate everything into Star Wars every time this comes up. Stay with. Mola, thank you for not succumbing to the weeb. Here is some money. Give some to Rag. It's two. And tell him hello. I will tell Paying him hello. Paying you for it. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I oh, guess thank that's God you don't watch anime. I have some money. <laughs> well, the other ones pay me to watch anime. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> what do I do? You know, I'm trapped. <laughs> Wait, you're getting paid to watch animes? Oh shit, Imagine. I fucked it up again. I don't think you're an a-hole, Theo. Mostly just joking. Aww. <clears throat> he thinks you're an a-hole. I appreciate that, but you're wrong. I, I am the worst. <laughs> like, how dare you say oh, that I'm a nice guy. <laughs> um, I just don't like how pretentious he is about the Clone Wars. I don't- I don't- wouldn't describe Theo- Theo, you could I'm... say he's an asshole about the Clone Wars, but pretentious? I'm absolutely an asshole about the Clone Wars because I really I hate it. But I don't know if I'm pretentious about it. Yeah, I just I wouldn't use that way to describe your attitude toward the Clone Wars. That's all. Uh, yeah, no. Not knowing subtlety, it's bad because it doesn't wrap themes up in five layers of subtext. I don't think that's what his references were, from what I remember. Subtleties. But um, fuck me, I will say no. that I prefer a little bit of subtlety in my themes. Just saying, just a, not complete subtlety, okay? Before, that, but you know, I don't think it, I don't think it doesn't know subtle, right? but also that is true. The main thing is it's allergic to nuance. Wait, did you just imply it's allergic like to having actual. a brain? Yes. Wow, he's gonna send another super chat saying And here's asshole. why. <laughs> Fuck. Take more Damn money it. to make Theo stop watching Animu. Oh, Theo, sure stop watching Animu. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all over. Uh, well, it was a it was a fun it. ride, Theo. But <laughs> I mean, it was a good run. But I, yeah, it's out of my hands now. Clearly, I'm Gotta sorry. Stop. I wish I could do something to prevent this, but yeah, you know, I just I only have so much you? power. Um, and that's it. I don't understand. We started earlier than usual for Super Chats, and yet it's a nine-hour episode. Uh, okay. I think we went on <laughs> some tangents <laughs> a few times. This has been a weird EFAT, because it yeah. really does feel like it was ages ago that we had this EFAT where we talked about Cyberpunk with CJ, White Light, <laughs> and uh, Tonal. That, it, yeah, feels feels weird, man. Um, so, what's what's happening with, with stuff? We got Crimbus is on the way. The, um, yes. if I can get... Our episode seven coverage completed bef uh, episode eight's coverage completed before uh, Wednesday, or at least in a in a stable position by Wednesday. I will release the Bill Burr episode on Wednesday, and episode eight on Crimbus Day. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done by then because I've got to edit something else as well uh, for Crimbus, which would be EFAP one hundred and sixteen. Uh, we recorded it already. We get some. We have some fun. Right. We talk about Jingle all the way. We do um, some games, and uh, we catch up on some super chats. Uh, the the guests mm -hmm. are J Metal, Rugs, oh. Chase Moriarty. Is there anyone else? I or am I blanking? I think that was it. I don't think so. I think that's it. I'm sorry if we missed someone. Yeah, sorry if we did. And there's there's memes. There's there's some memes. The, the, I look forward to you guys discovering wet bread. This is gonna be good. That was a sentence. The, well, I'll tell you about it at the end of the stream, Theo, but chat, I'm gonna have to wait okay. until Crimbus Day. So, yeah, yeah. the way it's gonna work, guys, Christmas Day, we will be premiering the EFAP movies quite early for Jingle All The Way. You're gonna get that straight up. Real Christmas. Nice. Day. Then, you will have the EFAP premiere on Moolah for the for like the mid to late day, and if I have Mandalorian done by then, I will also premiere that after the the EFAP. I think I don't really know. It's it's complicated. Those things are happening. Um, it's been a oh. nightmare getting all of the editing done for each of those episodes as fast as possible. Um, and they've they've taken up my days a, a tad, but I'm still looking to work on uh, the boys with, with with every moment that I have for freedom. And then, of course, uh, EFAP. So next week, the EFAP will be coming out, not live. And we've still got the meme fap recorded. Um, oh, so, right, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be coming out in January at some point, And it'll probably be to fill in for a week where we can record some more EFAP movies, be it for Wonder Woman 2 or uh, Monster Hunter, because we've got to do that as well. Um... And Rags is chipping away as well at his Mandalorian video. We've got this. It's it's been a pretty good time. With lots of stuff happening. Lots of fun tisms. And uh, I realize a few more messages have come in. Una momento, por favor. 
Go oh, for it. and the reason why I'm not playing Metroid, some people have asked, is because the continuity of Metroid continues in the Christmas episode. You need to see my, like, six hours of Metroid gameplay before I continue playing Metroid, so... Right! Yeah, yeah, I remember. So I've been playing Smash as my game to fill in until Metroid is back on the table, yo. Uh, Smoosh. 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 Uh, boop, boop, boop. Of course, the supers that were for rags, I've got in a little, a little notepad right here. I'm gonna get it to him whenever we do whatever it is that we do. And all right, where's the asshole? <clears throat> there it is. Take one minute. Mando made the Disney fanatical Star Wars universe real. Kinda, yeah. Really, really did. Allergic to nuance. Okay, see, Theo, that's the crap I'm talking about. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, I think what Theo means usually is that they don't have um, very detailed or, or uh, balanced takes on topics. They're usually going to be pretty quick and pretty one-sided. Is that is that what you mean? Uh, More or less. It's the, like, in terms of any position where there could be a moral dilemma, there is a hard pivot away from, like, the ambiguity. any sense of ambiguity with it, yeah. It it's very much there is a very strong pivot into this one side is correct. Never is it allowed to remain ambiguous. Like who might be in the right in a given situation or a dilemma that the show puts forward. Hence, allergic to nuance. It's like they're worried that children will get the idea that things aren't black and white. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Also, did Hightop really just tweet out he's sorry to the people who think he's objectively <laughs> wrong? He's got a... he fucking says in his Daredevil video that people are objectively wrong if they think the Daredevil's boring. Do you guys know about that? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure... Sounds like a cool thing to say. Well, it's the thing. I remember showing it on one of the EFAPs because I was really surprised. I was like, oh, okay. Because I remember... Uh, Fringy and I were watching it because we were like, oh, you know, Did Evil was a decent show. Let's see what he has to say about it. And fucking like the opening, he's like, you're allowed your opinions, but if you say it's boring, no. No. You are objectively wrong. And it's like, uh. <laughs> uh oh. It's awkward because, of course, if someone told me they found anything boring, I'd be like, yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of how humans work, so. Turns out we all get entertained and bored by different things. For example, some people find uh, nine and a half hour streams where people are chatting about something boring. I don't understand why these people exist, but hey. Probably shouldn't be allowed to exist. Yeah, you cringe lords. Well, we're trying to get something done about it. Um, you know, like, mm. with, uh, with with science, but I, I don't know how far we've come with that yet. <laughs> with but science. <laughs> The scientists are going to make EFAP more viable. <laughs> um, hey Theo, you recommended Baka Monogatari. That's probably not how you pronounce that at all. To me a year ago on Discord, just letting you know I still haven't watched it yet. That is all. <laughs> Good, okay. don't watch it. Don't watch I'm it. I'm never... I'm, no, I'm done recommending that show. I'm burned too many times. Oh. Have you tried watching it it's with people um... to help them through it sort of thing? I have watched it with people to great success because then I can pick out people I know can be trusted. <laughs> and, yeah, and, you know, help guide them through it. But mostly just know that they can be trusted. Uh, Wonder Woman when? Uh... So it needs to be, it hasn't been edited yet. That's the other project I've got to do. Uh, das and I might try and fix it so that he edits Wonder Woman 1 and I edit Wonder Woman 2 or vice versa. So we can try and get them done and plug them together and you guys can have a wonderful adventure of watching us watch both Wonder Woman's. Ugh. Um, so yeah, on the way. Uh, are you going to do a New Year's stream? Probably. Uh, we did it last year. Um, we'll probably play some video games, invite a bunch of people, chill, you know, and celebrate yeah. ringing in the newest of the years. Fuck you, 2020. <laughs> it's like, go rot in a ditch. <laughs> uh, Theo, you are a b-hole. Smiley face. I don't know what's a bull. <coughs> um, a bull. <laughs> a bull. Language assassin. Language assassin. South Cantonesian. 
know what language is that in. I don't know. Something terrifying, if I may say so myself. Um, I agree. Also, can I just upload this now? Hang on, stream. I hope it doesn't lag you too much, but I... If you guys don't, mind don't. watching, because I made a clip for Fringy once upon a time, and I'm going to tweet this out if it's the right clip, so if you guys can watch that while I'm saying goodbye to stream, which I'll do right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for the very kind donations. Thanks all the guests for, for hanging out as long as you did. It was good shit. And, um, and Cyberpunk is not as, as, as pleasurable as we would have liked it to be. But yeah. what are you going to do? Um, I hope you had fun. And we'll see you on Crimbus Day while we're all actually not even there. Oh boy. Actually, uh, I'm I'm probably gonna stream on the twenty fourth and twenty fifth in the evenings because I only I'm only busy in the on the daytime, so if well, you all want you some company, I'm I'm gonna be streaming on over on the on the Twitch, most likely. So can, go can, watch come chill there if you wanna do, do the strumblings. Yeah, just probably just hang out, do some tisms. I don't know if anyone anyone else is gonna be around. Maybe it's just me. I don't. I. I. I have no plans. I'm just gonna be gonna be live because I'm just at home. After I did the family tisms. Well, there so, yeah, you go. Y'all, y'all invited to hang out. Go hang out with Metal and Crimbus if you're not doing nothing. Okay. Poor Metal is just like round table. How fucking dare you. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah. Anything else you guys want to say before we uh, frumbo? Uh no. Just uh, I'm, I'm working my on my new highlights. Uh, from the whole year, which is a lot of clips, yeah. and next I'm gonna do the John Wick Two video. It's it's happening. I'm going. I'm going back to it. I'm excited. Merry Crimbles to you all. Merry yeah, yeah, Crimbles. Merry Crimbles. Goodbye. See ya. Plan Manor is good. So true. <laughs>